Chapter 601 Return Deng Shitong was speechless. He was not a fool. And of course, he understood that Zhang Yi was declining his invitation. But Zhang Yi gave him enough face and expressed it very clearly in his words. Zhang Yi is a defensive genius and doesn't like to run around and take risks all day long. It would certainly be inappropriate for him to join the investigation team. After Deng Shitong looked at Zhang Yi for a few seconds, he suddenly laughed. He pointed at Zhang Yi. You are indeed a bit interesting. You are smooth-tongued. You are obviously very powerful, but you are so stubborn. It is stable. Zhang Yi corrected him. But wouldn't you get bored of being in that damn place all day? Deng Shitong looked at Zhang Yi playfully. People who have great power will be eager to find ways to show it. Otherwise, they will always feel dissatisfied in their hearts. Can you endure this kind of thing for a lifetime? Zhang Yi nodded honestly. Isn't it good to be alive? Besides, he is not living in seclusion in the mountains and suffering hardships. The environment at home is so good. He has no worries about food and clothing. And he is accompanied by a bunch of beauties. He was living such a comfortable life. And it was only because of something wrong that he went out to fight with others. Deng Shintong. Deng Shintong's eyes were a little confused. He couldn't quite understand Zhang Yi's thoughts. But this is also normal. After all, Deng Shintong already had all the things Zhang Yi wanted when he was born. What Deng Shintong pursues is to become a hero. Enjoy supreme glory. And the excitement of bloody battles. You. Deng Shitong pointed at Zhang Yi and originally wanted to say something, but suddenly sighed helplessly. Well, everyone has his own ambitions. Since you think so, I won't force it. But if you change your mind one day, you can contact me. Of course, it's not that I really want you to join my team. It's just that I give you such a chance. You better come to me as soon as possible. Otherwise, once I meet a more suitable team member, you will have to be a substitute. Zhang Yi laughed in his heart but sincerely said thank you Captain Ding on his face. I'll definitely think about it after I go back. Although Zhang Yi rejected Ding Shitong, he also gave Ding Shitong enough face. Ding Shitong was not angry, but chatted with Zhang Yi for a long time. Although Ding Shitong looks very bold and has the style of a rich second generation, his tone is rather strict. It was no problem to chat with him about eating, drinking and having fun. But when Zhang Yi tried to get information about Linhai City from him, he took him away lightly. Zhang Yi secretly thought that he was a well-informed person after all. So he should not be underestimated. The two chatted for a while. And each other's personalities were quite manageable. It got dark. And Zhang Yi stood up to say goodbye. Wait a minute. I have a little gift for you. Deng Shitong snapped his fingers outside. And a waitress came in carrying a black box. Zhang Yi looked at the black box. What is this? Deng Shitong smiled and said. Don't you know it just by looking at it? Zhang Yi nodded and reached out to take it, only to feel that it was very heavy. He opened the box and took a look. In the box, there are all densely packed black bullets. Origin bomb. Zhang Yi couldn't help but blurt out. There are at least hundreds of origin bombs in it. According to Lu Karen, the cost of an origin bomb is no less than 100,000. Of course, this is still based on the price level before the end of the world. Today, when resources are more difficult to obtain and working conditions are limited, it would not be excessive to increase its value tenfold. And Deng Shitong fired a hundred origin bombs in one shot. It can only be said that the rich second generation is the rich second generation. Zhang Yi looked flattered. Captain Ding. This. How embarrassing is this? Your gift is too heavy for me to accept. Deng Shitong smiled faintly, waved his hand, and said that this kind of thing is nothing to me. But it's very necessary for you. Right? Just accept it, and it will help you in the future. Zhang Yi saw this and stopped refusing. So he thanked Captain Ding. If you can find Zhang Yi in the future, please feel free to ask. Zhang Yi will definitely try his best. Ding Shitong nodded with satisfaction. Well, let's do this for today. If you come to Blizzard City next time, maybe we will have a chance to meet. Zhang Yi used his backhand to put the origin bomb into a different space. This technique still made Ding Shitong a little moved. Zhang Yi said goodbye and left the Ding family. Deng Shitong looked at Zhang Yi's retreating figure with a little regret in his heart, because that kind of space power is indeed extremely rare. If he can bring such a strange person with him, it will be much easier for him to go on missions in the future. What's more, Zhang Yi's own combat effectiveness is not weak. Bai Chun Yi walked up behind Deng Shitong and asked the captain, Zhang Yi, is he willing to join our investigation team? Deng Shitong said calmly no. He refused. Bai Chun Yi was a little surprised. What? She actually refused. You know, many people would never dare to dream of such an opportunity. 
but he actually refused. The corners of Deng Xintong's mouth turned up slightly. Maybe this is what makes him interesting. Hey, man, you managed to get my attention. Then you gave him a box of origin bombs. Deng Xintong smiled disapprovingly and said it was just a box of origin bombs. What's the big deal? As long as they are useful to me. I can accept them no matter how much it costs to win them over. Those who seek to dominate the world must not skimp on the details. Even if Zhang Yi doesn't join my team of gods, today's affection will make him remember my benefits. Bai Chun Yu took a deep breath and saluted him respectfully. The captain is wise. Your wisdom and broad-mindedness are admirable. Zhang Yi left the Ding family. The Ding family's driver was waiting outside. When he saw him coming, he asked him to get in the car and took him back. Zhang Yi couldn't help but have a better impression of the Ding family. Originally, he thought that the young master of such a big family must be domineering. Those who obey me will prosper, and those who go against me will perish. But Ding Shintong's magnanimity made him realize that not all second generations of big families are so arrogant and brainless. Even if Zhang Yi did not agree to join the Tianshan team, Ding Shitong did not show any dissatisfaction with him. It's good to make friends with this kind of person, Zhang Yi said secretly in his heart. He got in his car and returned to his apartment. After returning, other people in the team came to ask him how his chat with Deng Shitong was going. After everyone heard this, they felt relieved. Fortunately, Deng Shitong did not embarrass Zhang Yi. Otherwise, there would be friction on Tianhai City's territory, which would not be a good thing for Zhang Yi. And they couldn't leave Zhang Yi. Zhou Kier asked, What should we do next? Want to go back? Zhang Yi thought of the group of strangers in Dei's city. His eyes dropped slightly. And he said calmly that it was time to go back. Prepare a gift for them by the way. Chapter 602 Speculations about strangers in Dei's city. Here is the alien group in Tianhai city. After Zhang Yi and Dang Shitong completed their communication, there was no reason to stay in Blizzard City. He immediately called Xiao Hong, Lian Xingqian and Chen Jingwan over. The three people came to Zhang Yi's room. And everyone from Zhang Yi's team was here. Zhang Yi pointed to the sofa, and you guys should sit down. There is something I should tell you now. The three of them were confused. And they all sat opposite Zhang Yi honestly. Zhang Yi stared at them, and said with a very serious expression. I'm going back to Tianhai City soon. Leaving tonight. If you have nothing else important to do, come back with me. The three of them were a little surprised when they heard what Zhang Yi said. Xiao Honglian glanced at the sky outside and asked puzzledly, Are you in such a hurry? It's getting dark. Can't you wait until tomorrow to go back? Qin Jingwan is now Zhang Yi's younger brother. After some speculation, he asked the boss, Is it because of those strange people in Dei's city? Qin Jingwan's title surprised everyone. He hadn't had time to tell anyone about Zhang Yi becoming the leader of Chao Yu base. Seeing everyone's weird expressions, Zhang Yi said smoothly, I'll tell you. Now Zhao Yu base is under my control. And Qin Jingwan is also my subordinate. It's good that everyone knows what's going on. Zhang Yi said it lightly. But to Xiao Honglian and Xing Tian, this incident was like a big earthquake. Qin Jingwan took the initiative to seek refuge with Zhang Yi. So what should they do in the future? Although they were willing to surrender to Zhang Yi in the past, Everyone has selfish motives. Xing Tian and Xiao Hong practice more or less because they wanted to be the leaders of the base themselves. They can clearly tell which one is more comfortable. Being someone else's little brother, or being a boss. And Qin Jingwan's actions forced them to consider the future situation. Now there are alien organizations from other cities outside that are ready to take action. And they might invade Tianhai City one day. Then, Chao Yu base has become Zhang Yi's power. And it will definitely be protected by Zhang Yi. And it's hard for them to say. The two of them were hesitant. Thinking about whether they should imitate Qin Jingwan and do the same. They didn't make up their mind for a while. But decided to go back and think it over carefully. Zhang Yi didn't care about their inner thoughts and continued. I know you are very angry now about what those people in Dei's city did. I said that the most important thing now is the district meeting. And everything else must be put aside. Now that the district rally is over. We can free up our hands to focus on dealing with those guys. Judging from the current situation, they have determined that Tianhai City is weak and the invasion of Tianhai City has become a certainty. And it is very likely that they took advantage of the fact that Jiangnan region's energy was focused on Linhai City. We take the time to go back and get ready. The local combat advantage lies with me. Zhang Yi explained simply and quickly. He had told this to the people in his team before. But this was the first time he told the leaders of the three forces. Qin Jingwan's eyes immediately lit up. And he said happily, Boss, you are so smart. Planning before deciding made them mistakenly believe that Tianhai City was weak. 
and then carelessly underestimated the enemy. When the time comes, we will open a big net, wait for them to fall into our trap, and then annihilate them in one fell swoop. Chin Jing Wan's eyes are getting brighter and brighter. When the time comes, everyone will know the strength of Tianhai City, and they will no longer dare to covet us. Hi, really hi. Chin Jing Wan is worthy of being the person who has always been the second in command, and his touted skills are top notch. Zhang Yi couldn't help but laugh. This kid is no longer the leader of Chao Yu base. The burden in his heart has become lighter, and he is starting to let himself go again. Some people are not born to be leaders. Probably people like Chin Jing Wan. When Xiao Honglian and Xinqian heard this, they also looked happy. They have been humiliated quite a bit recently. The strangers in Dei's city were full of ridicule when they saw them. And even the strangers in other cities looked down on them. Because of Zhang Yi's order, the two did not dare to conflict with those people and chose to tolerate it silently. Now that Zhang Yi told them to fight back, of course they were happy to vent their anger. Xiao Honglian leaned forward and asked excitedly, Do you have any plans? How do you want us to cooperate? Zhang Yi said calmly, Stay the same to cope with all changes. He spread his hands, and we didn't know what action the other party would take. But fighting on our home soil, the right time, the right place, the right people, and the right people are all on our side. After everyone returns, they should take precautions and organize their weapons. Then be vigilant and don't let your guard down for a moment. As for what to do next, it depends on their movements. Zhang Yi has a clear understanding of himself. He is not some scheming Zhuge Liang who can use tricks to manipulate the opponent. Therefore, he must make all preparations in a down-to-earth manner and make himself invincible first. At the very least, if he really wants to fight, with his current strength, looking at the entire Jiangyan region, there are few who can be called opponents. Everyone nodded. Under the premise of lack of information about the alien forces in Dei's city, this approach is the most stable. Zhang Yi immediately asked everyone to go back and prepare to pack their things, and then took a special train back to Tianai City. Zhu Shen said this. They can leave Blizzard City at any time. If you think about it again, you must get permission from Blizzard City. Everyone knows that if you go back earlier, you can prepare for battle earlier. After all, no one knows when the strangers in Dei's city will take action. So everyone went back, summoned their soldiers, and then left the apartment together. Their number was not small. So the news of their departure could not be concealed from the strangers in Dei's city. Some people were specially responsible for keeping track of them. After noticing their departure, they immediately reported it to the ears of several leaders. After Sun Jiaming got the news, his eyes flickered, and then he sneered. They ran away overnight, because they were worried that we would take action against them. Really cowardly. His contempt for the Yuran organization in Tianhai City grew even stronger. It looks like it's time to take action. Tianhai City is rich in materials, and should not be occupied by these weak forces. It is a complete waste. After the violent beating of Qin Jingwan, Sun Jiaming stole the limelight, and is now in full swing. Almost everyone can see that he will attack Tianhai City, or at least attack the fleet at Chaoyu Base. However, he is not as arrogant as he appears on the surface. He is both coarse and fine, and he is relatively stable in his heart. Although Tianhai City is weak, only my family went there, and even if we defeated them, it would be a miserable defeat. This matter requires other forces to cooperate with me. With this in mind, Sun Jiaming immediately took out his mobile phone, contacted Chen Liangyu and Gu Hongdai, and invited them to come to his place for tea. Chapter 603, Unify the Sky and the Sea Chen Liangyu and Gu Hongdai received the news from Sun Jiaming, and they both understood what Sun Jiaming was thinking. After Chen Jingwan exposed the current strength of Tianhai City, not only Dei's city, but also foreign organizations in many cities have tacitly coveted Tianhai City. Everyone is looking for an opportunity to swallow this piece of fat. And in Dei's city, just to the northwest of Tianhai City, you can definitely get the first come first serve position and take over Tianhai City first. But there are still three genes left in the rotten ship. Even if Tianhai City is destroyed, the foundation of several forces cannot be underestimated. For the sake of stability, it would be wisest for everyone to join forces and divide it up. Chen Liangyu and Gu Hongdai came to Sun Jiaming's room. Several people were old acquaintances. And Sun Jiaming did not treat them politely. You too. The gangsters from Tianhai City ran away under the cover of night. I wonder what you think about this piece of fat. Gu Hongdai smiled sweetly. But a cunning light flashed in her eyes. We all want to eat this piece of fat. So don't hide it. Sun Jiaming. If you have any ideas. Just tell me. 
She glanced at Chen Liangyu next to her. I guess the three of us had the same idea. Chen Liangyu smiled and nodded. Sun Jiaming laughed loudly. Okay. I'll just say it. Tianhai City is obviously a piece of fat. We have to start early. Otherwise we will easily be overtaken by others. It's hard for our family to eat this piece of fat. So it's better for the three families to join forces. Sun Jiaming sat on the sofa calmly, holding his knees with one hand. However, although their forces are weak, there are still some capable strangers. For example, Xiao Honglian from Yangsheng Base, Xing Tian from Chipei Base, and Zhang Yi should all be strong. Fighting to the death will do us no good. It's easy for others to be fooled. So I suggest that the three of us jointly put pressure on them. Let them hand over most of Tianhai City's resources. And we leave them a way to survive. Anyway, Tianhai City is so big. Leaving them some resources is enough for them to survive. On the other hand, we seize most of the territory and supplies without losing any blood. Isn't it beautiful? After hearing this, Gu Hongye's eyes flashed with approval. She nodded, and it was indeed a good idea. We don't want to start a war easily if it's not necessary. It would be best if they are wise. But if they are stubborn, then wipe them out. As the three people talked, they already regarded Tianhai City as their own. No wonder. Judging from the number of people coming to Tianhai City this time, Tianhai City's power is indeed too weak. Those from other forces who come to Blizzard City must at least be strangers. The foreigners in Tianhai City had almost died in the war against Yuan Kongya. They even need to bring some ordinary people over to top up their numbers. Strictly speaking, the total number of aliens in the entire Tianhai City may only be a little more than the number of aliens in Sun Jiaming's hands. Chen Liangyu said, Let's act as soon as possible. Someone from the province is coming to compete for this piece of fat. After the three forces finished talking, they began to take out the map of Tianhai City and divide the territory of Tianhai City. After finally reaching an agreement, they began to draft a letter and planned to send it to the leaders of several major forces in Tianhai City. Zhang Yi and others hurriedly left Blizzard City and took the Jiangnan special train back to Tianhai City. After walking out of Xiaomaishan subway station, Zhang Yi asked everyone to return to their respective territories immediately and start preparations for defense. Xiao Honglian was a little relieved. He looked towards Zhang Yi. Qin Jingwan was following Zhang Yi, one position behind, as if he was already Zhang Yi's loyal subordinate. She frowned slightly, feeling a little uncomfortable in her heart. It always feels like the relationship between closeness and distance has been established. According to Zhang Yi's character, if a war breaks out, they will most likely be the one to be sacrificed. She walked up to Zhang Yi and asked eagerly, if the strangers from Dei's city come to kill us, you will come to save us. Right? Certainly, Zhang Yi said with a smile. Xiao Honglian. She didn't say anything because Zhang Yi answered so cheerfully that it seemed untrue. Xiao Honglian has been dealing with Zhang Yi for so long. So of course he knows what Zhang Yi is like. What he cares about most is always his own interests and those of those around him. Thinking of this, Xiao Honglian made a decision in his heart. She quietly clenched her fists, took a deep breath, and then looked directly into Zhang Yi's eyes in front of everyone. Zhang Yi. Please accept the Yangsheng base as well. As soon as these words came out, the scene became quiet. The others looked at Xiao Honglian and then at Zhang Yi. Although this incident surprised everyone, it was reasonable. Yangsheng base can no longer withstand a conflict at the level of armed forces. Without Zhang Yi's protection, unless they have been hiding in an underground shelter, they will no longer be able to face the crisis. But then, everything they have on the surface will be given away to others. Qin Jingwan raised his lips and praised. What a wise choice. He was a little proud. Although everyone is seeking refuge with Zhang Yi, this is also a first come, first serve basis. He was the first to join Zhang Yi, so his status must be higher. Only, his strength is indeed not as good as Xiao Honglian. Xing Tian, who was about to leave not far away, was stunned by this scene. Everyone else was dumbfounded. Good guys, we are the only powerful forces in Tianhai City. And now you are all fooling around with Zhang Yi. What do you want me to do? After hesitating for a moment, he gritted his teeth and ran to Zhang Yi. Lao Zhang. From now on our Chi Pei base will also follow you. Zhang Yi's expression was very calm. In fact, he was not particularly interested in several forces taking refuge in him. Because he does not lack any resources. However, if you want to maintain a stable living environment for yourself and your team members, there must be no turmoil in Tianhai City. The existence of these forces is one of the important factors in maintaining harmony in Tianhai City. 
Zhang Yi looked at Xiao Hong Lian Xingtian in front of him and asked calmly, Do you understand what it takes to do this? Being my little brother means that you will listen to me no matter what you do from now on. An evil smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. And he even told you to die. Xiao Hong Lian and Xingtian were shocked. Let them die. Of course, it is impossible for them to do it. But they immediately realized that Zhang Yi was just reminding them that to submit to Zhang Yi, they must obey him unconditionally. To be fair, no one wants this. But the current situation is stronger than others. Tianhai City has such attractive resources, which will definitely cause competition from other urban forces. Even though Xingtian and Xiao Hongyan are both Delta level strangers, they can't do anything without the support of their forces. It is difficult for a lone wolf to survive in the apocalypse. Not everyone is Zhang Yi. Since you have to surrender to one force after all, it is better to choose someone who knows the basics. At least they could stay in Tianhai City and enjoy a certain amount of authority by joining Zhang Yi. Chapter 604 People Coming from Dei's City Xiao Honglian and Xingtian nodded and agreed to Zhang Yi's request. Whatever you ask us to do from now on, we will do it. I just hope you can protect the people in our base and let everyone survive. Xiao Honglian said. Xing Tian looked at Zhang Yi. Lao Zong. We had a pretty good relationship in the past. You won't treat me badly. Right? Zhang Yi smiled. He waved his hand and said, You can just go on as usual. And then waited for my instructions. He didn't say too much. After all, he didn't have high requirements for the three forces. What's more, no matter how many requests are made, if there is a major problem, these guys will always use their own interests as the starting point. Loyalty? It's ridiculous. That kind of thing doesn't exist. It will only be based on Zhang Yi's strength. Xiao Honglian and Xingtian nodded. And then left the Xia Maishan subway station with their men. Let's go back too. Zhang Yi took out the snowmobile, and everyone rode it back to the shelter. The atmosphere along the way was a little solemn. After all, the leisurely days are over. If nothing unexpected happens, there will soon be a conflict with other cities. Why do we always have to fight? So tired. Fatty Su sighed. Looking bored. This is the general trend, and there is no way around it. Uncle Yu said. A society where the weak prey on the strong and has lost its civilized state originally follows Darwin's law. We can only hope that Jiangnan region will establish more comprehensive laws as soon as possible to restrain these forces. Zhang Yi sat in the co-pilot, folded his arms, listened to the conversation between the two, and said leisurely that after this battle, we will be much more peaceful. His eyes were shining brightly. Zhang Yi couldn't just pretend that nothing happened when those guys in Dei's city humiliated them. To kill a chicken to scare the monkey, we need a chicken to set an example for others. This time, I'm going to collapse their chicken coop. Everyone returned to the shelter, and several women at home came out to greet them. Zhang Yi and others had not been away for long. Nothing happened at home, and everything was as peaceful as before. But after hearing Zhang Yi and the others talk about their experiences in Blizzard City, Zhou Haime and Yang Mi had helpless expressions on their faces. There's going to be a war again. Why can't we live a good life and have to fight for life and death? I really don't understand what those people are thinking. Zhou Haime shook her head, looking regretful. It seems to be condemning those who do not cherish the good life and insist on fighting with their lives. Uncle Yu put his arm around her shoulders, smiled and reassured her. Don't worry. No matter how big the problem is, we will take care of it. You just need to do your work at home and don't worry about anything else. Zhang Yi sat on the sofa and everyone formed a circle in the living room. Zhang Yi started arranging tasks directly. Xin Xin, the three forces in Tianhai City have been taken over by me. You immediately take over their network systems. Through this, we can keep abreast of the trends in various regions of Tianhai City. Yang Xinxin nodded. Okay, Brother Zhang Yi. In addition to these, I can also try to hack into other cities' network systems. Zhang Yi was stunned for a moment and looked at her in surprise. Can you do this too? Yang Xinxin smiled and nodded. In the past, it was because there was no need. Our main opponent was in Tianhai City. But now, the forces that threaten our security have become power organizations in other cities. So it is necessary to do this. Except for the network in Blizzard City. I dare not touch it at will. Unless the network in other cities is an internal network system. It will not be difficult for me to crack it. Although we are in the end of the world, the network system has not completely collapsed. After all, there are national level transcendent forces such as the six major regions, which are maintaining these infrastructures for the national economy and people's livelihood. Most of the forces are inseparable from communication equipment and central control systems. Then they have to rely on the internet. 
and Yang Xinxin will find flaws. Zhang Yi's eyes flashed brightly. Then you try to invade Dei's city's network system. I want to get their combat power information. Preferably the alien superpower information. Yang Xinxin smiled slightly. Just leave this matter to me. Then, Zhang Yi looked at Lu Karen again. Flammable. You have been exposed to a lot of things in Blizzard City recently. For example, the black battle clothes and building materials. You should absorb it well. And then the top priority is to reproduce that kind of suit. Zhang Yi is very coveted for the training uniforms in the martial arts arena. For the first time, he saw clothing that could improve a person's basic physical fitness through clothing. It is probably similar to a human exoskeleton. Something Zhang Yi has seen on the internet. It was the first time he had seen human exoskeleton technology developed to the level of clothing. With this thing, the overall strength of their team will be greatly improved. Even a few girls, who are not good at fighting will have a little more life protection with it. Receive. Lu Karen gave a playful military salute. Zhang Yi looked at Yang Mi again. Your work must continue. The more superpower food you reserve, the better. Yang Mi nodded playfully. People know. People have not slacked off during this period. Zhang Yi nodded approvingly. That's right. Then, there were the preparation arrangements for the others. Nothing special. Just to keep them ready for battle. The next day, Zhang Yi and the others received a letter from Dei's city. The messengers came in snowmobiles. There were ten people in two cars. All of them impressive and strange people. During the previous gathering, they had already seen that Zhang Yi was the leader of the major forces in Tianhai City. So the car drove directly to the shelter. Immediately, the shelter's artificial intelligence system alerted Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi saw the two black armored snowmobiles through the surveillance camera. He immediately guessed that these people were from other cities because of the signs on the car that he had never seen before. Zhang Yi quickly changed into his combat uniform and walked out of the room. Liang Yu and Uncle Yu were also dressed neatly and came to Zhang Yi's door. Come on. Let's go see what's going on. Liang Yu said that they were very cautious and stopped 200 meters away from the shelter. Judging from their clothes, they must not be locals. Zhang Yi walked downstairs quickly and said, I know. Someone from Dei's city should be here. Uncle Yu frowned. Are they here to declare war? Declare war? Zhang Yi looked back at Uncle Yu in a funny way. Have you ever seen anyone who talked so much about martial arts and told you in advance if they were going to fight? Uncle Yu, who are they? Zhang Yi said with a playful smile that he should have come to intimidate us into surrendering without a fight. Chapter 605 High sounding. After listening to Zhang Yi's words, Uncle Yu and Liang Yu had very strange expressions on their faces. Came here to persuade you to surrender? There is indeed some truth. After all, no matter how severe the collapse of Tianhai City is, there are still some remaining alien powers and armed capabilities. If a fight breaks out and they are forced into a desperate situation, no one will gain anything. But, 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 Zhang Yi and the others are not weak. Does anyone really think that Zhang Yi and the others are weak? Even a few months ago, Zhang Yi and the others could win against all-out attacks from multiple bases. Not to mention that now, Zhang Yi's strength has undergone a qualitative change. The Epsilon-level Yuan Kongya was already defeated by Zhang Yi. Who dares to say that he can beat him? I'm afraid even the strongest people in Blizzard City wouldn't dare. Zhang Yi also had a playful smile on his lips. Let's go and take a look. Zhang Yi and the others went downstairs. And everyone else in the shelter was waiting for them to come down. With Zhang Yi here. They now have a backbone. Zhang Yi smiled lightly and looked at what he was doing. It's okay. Everyone can go about their business. Wa Wa jumped on Zhang Yi's shoulder. Zhang Yi stroked its soft hair. Uncle Yu and Teacher Liang followed me and said, That's it. They are just a bunch of minions. Why bother giving them too much face? On the contrary, it would appear that Zhang Yi was afraid of them. Several people left the shelter and walked in the direction of the visitor. Zhang Yi slowly opened the dimensional shield with his right hand in front of him. An invisible round shield appeared in front of several people. Just enough to block all directions around them. Zhang Yi now has three defensive uses of dimensional gate. The dimensional gate has the largest defense range and the strongest defense. But cannot move. Dimensional shield has a small defense range and medium defense power. But it can be used flexibly and is suitable for close defense. The two realms are absolutely connected and the defense range is the smallest. But it can form an all-round defense without blind spots. However, the dimensional gate is distorted for the spherical characteristics, resulting in the weakest defense. He needs to choose these abilities carefully according to the situation. Several people walk slowly towards the two cars through the snow. In the car over there, 
there were ten fully armed soldiers. Also watching here cautiously, seeing Zhang Yi and the others walking over. A muscular stranger with a beard said leisurely that they were coming. A companion poked his head out of the window, just took a look, and said casually, just give them the letter quickly, and then we'll go back. Don't waste your time in a place like this. A skinny monkey in the back seat patted him on the shoulder and smiled and said it was a rare trip. So don't be so anxious. From now on this place will be our territory. The man curled his lips and hoped they would be wiser. A few people chatted and did not take Zhang Yi and others seriously. Because they all believe that Tianhai City has been defeated long ago. And the remaining strength is completely unable to fight against the three major organizations in Linhai City. Zhang Yi and others walked up to them. Who are you and what are you doing here? Zhang Yi asked in a deep voice. The leader with the beard looked at Zhang Yi with squinted eyes. Are you Zhang Yi? Zhang Yi nodded and was right. The bearded man smiled, reached into his pocket, and took out a brown paper document bag. We are from Day's city, and are the messengers of the three major forces there. The leaders of our three factions have a letter for you. I hope you will read it carefully. He handed the document bag to Zhang Yi, not forgetting to remind him that there was contact information on it. Once you figure it out, Send an email to this address. John E. smiled faintly, stretched out his hand, and the email disappeared into his alien space. Several strangers from Day's city whistled when they saw this. Wow, it's actually a rare space power. Really not bad. But the teasing and mocking expressions on their faces clearly did not take John E. seriously. The bearded man continued to say to John E. that he would give you one day to make a decision. That is to say, well, it's only 19 hours from now. After all, we have to deduct the time we came. Zhang Yi didn't say a word, and the bearded man touched his forehead with two fingers. Then, goodbye. Wish y'all good luck. A group of alien soldiers got into the car with a smile, then started the snowmobile and rumbled away from here. Uncle Yu's face looked a little angry. He came up to Zhang Yi and asked why not kill them. These guys are so arrogant. Zhang Yi just said calmly that I have no interest in miscellaneous fish. And if we act rashly, it will only make the enemy wary of us. Let's see what they say first. Zhang Yi watched the strangers in Day's city leave, then turned and walked towards the shelter. Uncle Yu took a deep breath and looked at Zhang Yi's back with deep admiration in his eyes. He is only in his twenties. But he can remain so calm and tolerant when encountering things. It's so rare, Leon Yu said jokingly. Isn't it a good saying? Dogs that bite don't bark. Zhang Yi's voice suddenly came from the distance. Don't think that I can't hear what you are saying even if I walk far away. Liang Yu was so scared that she quickly covered her mouth. Me. I'm not talking bad about you behind your back. Zhang Yi raised his eyebrows and looked back at her walking towards him. It would be even more outrageous to say it in front of her. Liang Yu's face turned slightly red. This was obviously a compliment to you. Telling you that you were steady. I'll just assume you're complimenting me. Zhang Yi shook his head speechlessly. As a teacher, the way you praise others is so special. Um, I almost forgot that she is a physical education teacher. After Zhang Yi returned to the shelter, he immediately asked Zhou Kier to go to the infirmary with him. Check the document bag first and make sure it is safe before opening it. You must have safety awareness. Even a powerful alien can die easily. After returning to the shelter, Zhou Kier checked it and confirmed that there was nothing wrong with the document bag. Zhang Yi used tweezers to open the document bag and carefully took out the documents inside. The only thing inside was a piece of paper, which was a handwritten letter to Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi put the letter on the table, put on his tactical helmet, and leaned over to look at it. After reading the content of the letter, a meaningful smile appeared on his lips. What is written inside is very simple. The general idea was that Sun Jiaming, Chen Liang Yu, and Gu Hongdai proposed to help them defend Tianhai City. Tianhai City has now experienced a tragic war, with a large population loss, and several major local forces unable to defend. As friendly neighbors, the three major forces in Linhai City are willing to come to help in the spirit of humanitarianism. Please do not refuse. Johnny couldn't help but laugh. And the laughter became louder and louder. What a high-sounding reason. These people are really interesting. If I guess correctly, they have also worked in the unit before. Hearing Zhang Yi's laughter, Zhou Kier and others couldn't help but come over and ask him what happened. Zhang Yi asked everyone to come over and read the contents of the letter. I have to say, these guys are really smart. If this method is used, even if the Jiangnan region wants to accuse them, they will have reason to deal with it. Chapter 606, Preparing Scented Bait to Catch Turtles After everyone read the letter, 
The expressions on their faces were very strange. Because they all feel very... Nausea. They obviously wanted to come here to seize Tianhai City's territory and resources. But they came here under the guise of humanitarianism to help with defense. Isn't this just wanting to be both a person and a person? Luke Karen was young and didn't quite understand this kind of thing. And he just felt extremely angry. It would be better for them to come to Ming Dynasty and just become bandits. Why bother to disgust us? Everyone looked at each other and smiled. Shaking their heads helplessly. Naturally. A little girl like Luke Karen who is inexperienced in the world, would not understand the routine. Zhou Kier explained to her that there are some things that everyone knows, but they still have to do some superficial work. For example, according to what they said, they were just here to help with defense. So the help in defense cannot be in vain. Right? Areas where troops need to be stationed need to be provided with the supplies they need to survive. Lu Karen rolled his eyes. If we don't give it to them, won't they still have to rob it? How will we explain it then? Joker smiled and said, Then they would say that we were the first to be unethical, and their people had no choice but to take action. At worst, I'll just apologize after grabbing all the supplies. If we can't stand it anymore, we'll attack them. They will fight us legitimately, and claim that it is self-defense. They thought they would secure Tianhai City. And as long as the matter ended quickly, they would use the above reasons to explain to the Jiangan region. By the time the dust settled, Jiangan District was busy dealing with the Ronin incident in Linhai City, and could only turn a blind eye and recognize their management rights in Tianhai City. After Lu Karen heard this, his face turned red with anger. Doesn't it mean that even though they are obviously robbers, they can still think of themselves as good people? On the contrary, we are doing something wrong. Zhang Yi said calmly that it was just an excuse. Whoever wins is right. Give Jiangan region a step up, so as not to slap Jiangan region in the face when the Superpower Federation was first established. Jiangan region could only acquiesce. You don't need to worry about these things. It's just a very simple language art. A simple understanding is that the three major organizations in Dei's city require Zhang Yi and others to surrender unconditionally. In that case, some living space and supplies can be reserved for Zhang Yi and the others. Liang Yi looked at Zhang Yi. Her eyes were as sharp as razor blades. And she was also angered by the shamelessness of the alien forces in Dei's city. John E. Fight them. Yes. Fight. Teach them a lesson. These shameless guys underestimate us and must be taught a lesson. Everyone was filled with indignation. John E. nodded. Of course we have to fight. But the question is how? The three major alien forces in Dei's city may be no less powerful than the previous major Al-Qaeda organizations. If we reject their proposal, they will understand that we must be prepared to fight them to the end. Therefore, it is better to numb them first and pretend to agree to their suggestions. Yang Xinxin smiled and said, Brother, I understand. You want to make them become careless and lure them into our trap. The last trick is to catch the turtle in the jar. Right? Zhang Yi nodded approvingly. Yang Xinxin can always guess his thoughts. To achieve this victory at the minimum cost. This is what we have to do. Uncle Yu said to Zhang Yi. What should we do? You make the arrangements. Zhang Yi thought for a while and said, Call Xiao Honglian and the others over. At present, everyone is on the same side, and they need to be involved in this matter. The total number of strangers from the three major forces is quite impressive, so they must be used. As for the battle plan, Zhang Yi actually had a prototype in his mind. After the conflict with Osawa City, he was already thinking about how to kill these guys. There are at least three plans in his mind, but the current situation is what he wants the most. The next step is to make a game and then let these self-righteous guys fall into the trap. Soon, Xiao Hong, Lian Xingtian and Chen Jingwan both came to Zhang Yi's shelter. This was the first time they entered Zhang Yi's shelter. Seeing this magnificent house, and feeling the paradise-like living environment inside, they were extremely envious. Zhang Yi entertained them in the living room, and asked them to sit down enthusiastically. And then Zhou Care poured them tea. Xiao Hong Lian seemed to have noticed something, and asked Zhang Yi eagerly, if there was any movement among the alien forces in Dei's city? As soon as these words came out, Chin Jingwan and Xing Tian also put down the teacups in their hands, and their expressions became nervous. Zhang Yi glanced at them and said lightly, You guessed it right. It is indeed about them. He briefly explained to them the news sent by the three major forces in Dei's city. After the three people listened, the expressions on their faces were shocked and angry. Nowadays, they do not have the capital to compete with the three major forces in Dei's city. Chen Jingwan swallowed and said to Zhang Yi in a pleading tone, Boss, you won't leave us alone, right? 
Xiao Honglian coughed and his face turned red. Boss, you have to help us come up with an idea on this matter. John Yi. He took a deep look at Xiao Honglian. This woman was really honest, and she changed her tune very quickly at critical moments. He took a sip of hot tea in a leisurely manner. I have already thought of this matter, and there is not much you need to do. You just need to cooperate with my actions. Indeed, given the strength of the three major Al-Qaeda organizations, their role in this operation was only a supporting role. More importantly, it's how Zhang Yi does it himself. The first thing to do is to paralyze the opponent. Ask them to be careless. We pretended to compromise and trick them into coming to Tianhai City first. As for what to do next, I will tell you when the time comes. Anyway, for now, take precautions and cooperate with me in acting. Zhang Yi didn't reveal much about his plans to them. Three Al-Qaeda organizations had just been taken over. And Zhang Yi could not guarantee their loyalty. So he still had reservations. The heads of the three families, who can no longer be called leaders, listened quietly and expressed that they would resolutely follow Zhang Yi's instructions. However, they still looked a little worried and repeatedly confirmed to Zhang Yi that Zhang Yi would protect them if something happened. Zhang Yi could understand their mood. So he made an exception and made many verbal promises. In the past, he would have scorned any verbal promises. But now the three bases are in danger, and they will hold on to any possibility of protecting themselves. Like a life-saving straw. Zhang Yi can understand their mood. Chapter 607, Obtaining Intelligence. Here are the three forces in Dai's city. After sending a letter to Zhang Yi, they were waiting for Zhang Yi's reply. However, it doesn't matter if Zhang Yi doesn't reply to them. They have already assembled their troops and can set out to occupy the major resource points in Tianhai City at any time. However, they still received an email reply from Zhang Yi soon after. Since the mailbox left for Zhang Yi is shared by three families, they could all see the email sent by Zhang Yi. Greetings from the three major forces in Dai's city. I received your letter today, and the intention in your words to plot the territorial resources of Tianhai City is clear. On behalf of several major forces in Tianhai City, I firmly oppose this approach. We have the ability to protect our own home without the need for outside forces to intervene. I hope you can restrain yourself and not use weapons rashly. Otherwise, we will report to the Jiangyan region headquarters and let them decide the matter. If you can be good friends and neighbors, we can dedicate some of our resources as a gesture of friendship. Zhang Yi, Tianhai City. After reading this email, Sun Jiaming and others' faces almost broke out in laughter. Ha 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 ha. Was this email written by Zhang Yi? It just made me laugh. He was obviously scared to death. But he still wanted to save face. Do you really think that just mentioning the Gangnam region can scare us? In the email, the look of being scared but pretending is really making people laugh. Sun Jiaming's contempt for Zhang Yi became more and more serious. Such a guy. As long as he continues to scare him, he will definitely give in. Chen Liang Yu and Gu Hongdi's reactions after seeing the email were similar to Sun Jianming's. Gu Hongdi smiled and held her stomach not straightening up for a long time. Ha ha ha. This brother is so cute. I have decided that after I capture Tianhai City, I will let him be my little brother. Just tell me jokes. Gu Hongdai smiled brightly, but there was a faint light flashing in her eyes. He'd better not know how to appreciate it. After receiving the email, the three people immediately started communicating in the group chat. Sun Jiaming, have you seen Zhang Yi's reply message? Ha ha ha. Gu Hongdai made me laugh so hard. I am in a rare good mood today. This brother is so cute. Sun Jiaming. Stop being so cute. If he doesn't know how to appreciate him, let's take action. Gu Hong Dai. I think we don't need to be anxious. If possible, try not to fight. His attitude is very scary. We can scare him again. Gu Hong Dai had a deep meaning in her eyes. And then typed, after all, the apocalypse has been so long. And everyone who is still alive now does not want to die. Shen Liang Yu just said, I think we can talk to him again. Moreover, is there a possibility that he is acting? Chen Liangyu is an extremely cautious person. He would not conclude that Zhang Yi was weak and incompetent just because of an email. It is impossible for that kind of person to dominate Tianhai City. However, they do have limited information about Tianhai City, let alone Zhang Yi's brilliant achievements. Sun Jiaming frowned, then sneered. Chen Liangyu, are you too cautious? Whether he is pretending or really, it is well known that Tianhai City is weak. Our army will pass through and sweep everything away. Chen Liangyu replied calmly that it was not that simple. We'd better talk to Zhang Yi again. If it can be resolved peacefully, no one wants to pay the price of bloodshed and sacrifice. 
Gu Hondai looked at Chen Liangyu's words and typed lightly with her fingers. Then just talked to him again, asking him to hand over his territory and resources obediently can save their lives. People, as long as there is still hope of living, they will not seek death. Let's not make people anxious. Chen Liangyu and Gu Hongdai both said so. Sun Jiaming had no choice but to say okay. Let's talk to him again. But we have to let him know that our patience is limited and we don't have time to argue with him here. The three people reached a consensus and decided to communicate with Zhang Yi again. But just in the blink of an eye, on Zhang Yi's side, top hacker Yang Xinxin had broken through their organization's network firewall and obtained all their information. Not every force has such a powerful network security system. Tianhai City is one of the cities with the most developed information technology in China. At the beginning, there were some powerful programmers working in several major bases. But in Dei's city next door, due to the siphon effect of Tianhai City, such characters are relatively scarce. Yang Xinxin broke through their network firewall, just like passing through a wall made of spider webs, with no difficulty. Immediately, she brought the information about the three major forces in Dei's city to Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi was in the living room sitting cross-legged on the sofa with bare feet and wearing a set of warm yellow pajamas. There was a computer on his lap, and Yang Xinxin was sitting next to him, introducing him to the information he had obtained. According to the current intelligence, the scale of these three forces is not small. Although it is not as good as the five major forces in Tianhai City in its heyday, the gap is not too big. After all, Dei City has a permanent population of more than 8 million, and supplies are relatively sufficient. They have space to develop their own strengths. Zhang Yi moved his fingers on the touchpad, carefully flipping through the specific combat strength information of the three major forces. The most interesting thing is that they not only have their own internal intelligence, but also collect statistics on the other two companies. This made Zhang Yi gain a lot. After all, no one would clearly record the abilities and weaknesses of their leader in their own database. Sun Jiaming, a person with enhanced ability, also known as ability, and Jean has the effect of breaking armor and penetrating the body. Once in close combat, even those wearing heavy armor will be injured by him. No wonder Chen Jingwan was beaten by him. They ignored his external defenses and went straight to his internal organs, completely restraining him. I would say that Chen Jingwan is not that useless. But if he is restrained, there is nothing he can do. Gu Hong Dai is a person with mental abilities. Capability code. Crimson Kiss. Can confuse the mind and make people completely their own puppets. And, it's the kind of love that comes from the heart. Zhang Yi couldn't help but take a breath of air. This ability is perverted enough. The other party clearly knows that he has been tricked. But because he cannot extricate himself from love, he still sinks. No wonder Zhang Yi remembered that Gu Hong Dai had the most subordinates. This kind of strong control allows her to have a large number of subordinates. Which can be called a weakened version of Yuan Konya. Hey, the weaknesses of her abilities are also recorded here. The activation of Crimson Kiss has a distance limit and must be within 100 meters. And the closer the distance, the stronger the effect. If they kiss directly, even a Delta-level alien will fall. Good guy. This Gu Hongdai used to be a professional technician. Chapter 608, All Out. Zhang Yi carefully checked their abilities. The leaders of the three major forces are all Delta-level aliens with extremely abnormal abilities. It's just that every ability, no matter how abnormal it is, has its weaknesses. Even Zhang Yi, who has now reached the peak of the Delta level according to the strength of his abilities, is still likely to be attacked at close range. Therefore, Zhang Yi will always remain cautious and never underestimate any enemy. Chen Liang Yu, a person with orc ability, ability code name, Jadwar. It has a running speed close to the speed of sound and a fierce hunter's instinct to capture prey. Zhang Yi calmly read the information introduction of each of the three major forces and already had a rough assessment of their strength in his mind. Not as good as the five major forces in Tianhai City in its heyday, but still very strong. In terms of weapons and equipment, it is lackluster, and it is not as far away as the Shishan base. Presumably, when they come to invade Tianhai City, they cannot bring a large number of thermal weapons. In this case, their strength will be weakened by at least 20%. Zhang Yi calculated carefully in his mind, and did not miss any details. At this moment, a prompt came from his mailbox. A flash of light flashed in Zhang Yi's eyes. Knowing that this was Dei's city's response, he reached out and clicked on the email to check. The content of the email is scanned in less than a minute. They still use the same hypocritical rhetoric to express their tough attitude. Tianhai City is an important city on the southeast coast and must not be missed. 
This is not a problem for a few of your forces, but a problem for the entire Jiangan region, and even the entire country of China. Therefore, the assistance of the three major forces in Dei's city is necessary. Please put the overall situation first. If you insist on resisting, we can only take strong measures. It would be bad if there were some friction or casualties. I hope you will think it over carefully. There is one last sentence. We are already on the road, and will meet in Tianhai City soon. Zhang Yi narrowed his eyes slightly after reading the email. With a playful smile on his lips, he had only one purpose in sending that email to disguise. Let the people of Day's City underestimate their strength. If he surrendered directly, the people in Day's City would become suspicious. Zhang Yi calmly sat down to drink tea and watch TV dramas. After waiting for half an hour, he sent another email to the other party. It's not impossible for you to come over to help with defense. Our defense is indeed a bit weak now. We can allocate part of the area to you. But you cannot touch our current base. After the leaders of the three major forces in Dei's city saw the email, they secretly laughed. Zhang Yi's actions have revealed their inability to compete with Dei's city. He even agreed to cede territory, which shows his weakness and cowardice. Cut off a city today and a land tomorrow. And soon the three major forces will completely swallow up Tianhai city. By then, even Zhang Yi and the three Al-Qaeda organizations will have to eat them all. After all, what they hold in their hands is the core resource. Materials, weapons, and aliens. The leaders of the three forces gather together again to discuss. Sun Jiaming softened his tone. It seems that we can take Tianhai City without spending a single soldier. How to say? Gu Hong Dai. What are you waiting for? Without further ado, let's quickly lead our troops there and capture some of their important resource areas first then slowly nibble it away. Chen Liang Yu said that this was not good. They still had some troops in hand. I think it's better to let them surrender, so that we can be completely stable. Gu Hongdai smiled and said to Chen Liang Yu, Are you too impatient? If we ask them to hand over their weapons and surrender, they may risk their lives with us. Although we are not afraid of their small strength, it is not good to lose troops and generals in a fight. Sun Jiaming also said that although there were not many survivors among them, they were still elites. There is no need to push them into a corner. Chen Liang Yu frowned. I just felt that they would not give up their territory and resources so willingly. Only when they completely lose their resistance can I feel at ease. Sun Jiaming said that of course they would not be reconciled. But the strength is here. And they can't be reconciled. Gu Hong Dai advised that it is better to be a human being and keep a thin line. Tianhai City is so big. It would be okay to divide a barren area for them and let them live. Sun Jiaming said. I think this is a good idea. Chen Liang Yu said okay. But beware of their counterattack. Gu Hongdai said with a smile. Then we have brought enough of our elites. In the face of absolute strength. All conspiracies and tricks are just a joke. The three people discussed it and decided to take the most elite aliens from the headquarters to Tianhai City. This matter must not be delayed. Lest the Jiangnan region discovers it and there may be trouble. When they arrive in Tianhai City, they can naturally use powerful force to pressure Zhang Yi and others and make them hand over their territory and resources. The three families reached a consensus and immediately organized the manpower to set off. Of course, they did not respond to Zhang Yi, lest Zhang Yi ambush them in advance. Although they believe that their strength is absolutely strong, there is no need to take risks. But one thing they never expected was that all the conversations between them were clearly monitored by Yang Xinqin. So Zhang Yi knew about their plan. Zhang Yi slowly stood up from the sofa and sent a message to the leaders of the three bases with cold eyes. Get ready for action. In the ice and snow, with a biting west wind, the alien convoy from Dei's city drove into the border of Tianhai City. Sun Jianming and others made up their minds, and took the first step to go directly to Shishan District. Because that's Zhang Yi's base camp. Then, they set up camp in Shishan District to intimidate Zhang Yi and force Zhang Yi to surrender to them. But they didn't know that Zhang Yi had a clear insight into all their movements. There is a landmark building in Shishan District. Sanchi Tower. This used to be the Tianhai City radio station. The tower is 52 meters high and can be clearly seen from a long distance away. Even when the end of the world comes, it still stands in the white snow. On the way from Dei City to Shishan District, you will definitely pass by here. Because without satellite navigation, it is always easiest for people to choose the same conspicuous landmark as a reference. The convoy from Dei City rumbled towards the Erki Tower. There are a total of 50 tanks, a total of 800 elite warriors, and 72 strangers from the three major forces. 80% of the entire day's city's combat power has been mobilized. Three powerful Delta-level alien leaders lead the team. 
This time, they will decide the outcome in a battle and take over the material-rich Tianhai city. They don't even have to worry about losing their rear. Because after capturing Tianhai city, they can move their base camp here. Tianhai city is vaster and richer than Dei's city. Chapter 609 Condensing the Void The convoy from Dei's city move forward leisurely. They do not have the navigation system of Tianhai city. Although the Jiangnan region has opened some permissions on Nebula to the forces in each region, it is only within their own region. After all, Zhu Zheng did not want to see fighting between cities, which would be harmful to the entire region. Therefore, the driver leading the way is a veteran in the transportation industry and is familiar with the environment of Tianhai city. He can judge the direction through buildings. From Dei's city to Shishan district, you must pass near the Sanji Pagoda. On a chariot spray painted with white paint in the middle of the convoy, Sun Jiaming, Chen Liangyu and Gu Hongdai looked at a map and began to discuss which barren area they would drive Zhang Yi and other local forces to after taking over Tianhai City, and how to divide the various important resource points in Tianhai City. Sun Jiaming's hand directly touched the Chaoyu base. Chaoyu port is mine. Our fleet could use this thing. Gu Hongdai leisurely pointed to Yangsheng base. I want the refinery in Yangsheng base. Chen Liangyu crossed his arms with an indifferent expression and pointed at the steelmaking plant at Qinpei base. A curious look suddenly flashed in Sun Jiaming's eyes. Speaking of which, where is that guy named Zhang Yi's territory? Chen Liangyu and Gu Hongdai also showed brilliant eyes. They are also curious. Although no one said it, everyone knew that Zhang Yi was the leader of the most powerful force in Tianhai city. And the area he occupied should also be the best. But after the end of the world, the intelligence between the regions was cut off. They were busy fighting for territory in their own cities. So how could they care about other cities? Sun Jiaming suddenly grinned and said, Why don't you just call Zhang here and take us to see him? Anyway, he will have to give up that place by then. Makes sense. Gu Hongdai and Chen Liangyu both nodded, with smiles on their faces. They have long regarded everything from the major forces in Tianhai City as theirs. At this moment, Gu Hongdai caught a glimpse of a tall light outside the window. R. She turned around and glanced, and saw a tall white tower standing a few hundred meters away from them. The tower was covered with white snow, making it look quiet and mysterious. Sanji Tower. Gu Ha Dai murmured. Then she turned around and continued to discuss the follow-up carve-up plan with Sun Jiaming and Chen Liangyu. The night is dark. If it was bright daytime, maybe she could see the extremely dark light and shadow on the top of the tower. When the motorcade passed near the Sanji Tower, Zhang Yi was on the top of the tower, looking down at everything below with cold eyes. In his mind, he silently calculated the distance between himself and the convoy. When the convoy was only 500 meters away from the Sanchi Tower, Zhang Yi could clearly see them in the tactical eyepiece. He slowly opened his right hand, and an extremely dark spark suddenly appeared in his palm, beating like black lightning. Condensate the void, the power of the dark space, as black as ink, expanded rapidly, beating erratically like lightning, almost out of control. Zhang Yi Xu shook his hand, and the dark void power extended and turned into a void spear nearly two meters long. After Zhang Yi absorbed the incomplete origin of Yuan Konya, he awakened the most powerful killing move condensing void, Spear of Destruction. This is the first time he has used it against an enemy. Zhang Yi looked coldly at the passing motorcade. Precise shooting. The ability locks the area in the center of the convoy. Then he raised the void spear high, pointed it over there, and threw it hard. Call out. Through the void. In an instant, the black spear disappeared in front of Zhang Yi's eyes, shooting at the convoy in Dei's city with the help of the endless night. The world is still silent and snowflakes are falling. However, a second later, with the alien convoy in Osawa city as the center, a huge dark sphere appeared on the earth. The dark sphere enveloped the space with a radius of one kilometer, silently, as if it existed in that position to begin with. Most of the vehicles in the entire fleet were covered, with less than 10 vehicles outside the range. Even when a car, that wasn't covered behind hit him. It disappeared without a sound. Laugh. The driver of the car behind him hurriedly stepped on the brakes and saw the huge black sphere suddenly appearing in front of him. With a look of extreme fear in his eyes, he felt the danger of death. This. What is it? Above the Sanchi Pagoda, Zhang Yi's eyes suddenly condensed, looking at an afterimage running wildly on the snow. But he ignored it and just used the communication device to say close the network. He paused for less than a second and added, leave no one alive. The convoy was now in chaos. The huge black sphere that suddenly appeared swallowed up almost the entire convoy. On the few vehicles that were not enveloped by luck, 
the aliens at Osawa City hurriedly contacted the swallowed aliens. Unfortunately, they didn't get any answer. The scene was in panic, and they didn't know what they had encountered. But soon, the black sphere disappeared. Everything that was swallowed up left nothing behind. Only a huge, smooth hemispherical hole was created on the ground. Cars, people, not even a trace of dust remains. The horrific scene in front of them made the battle experience warriors sweat profusely, and their faces looked frighteningly pale. A foreigner fell to the ground in horror, screamed as if he saw a devil, and then ran away like crazy. But at this moment, strangers from Tianhai City appeared in all directions in the snowfield in the distance. The strangers from the three major bases and the people from Zhang Yi's team were guarding one direction. This time, no one will be left alive, because Zhang Yi does not allow anyone to spread his strength. Xiao Hong, Lian Xingtian, Qin Jingwan and others did not know what Zhang Yi's plan was at first. They are still struggling with how to defeat the strangers in Osawa City, who are several times their number. But just when the huge black ball appeared, they suddenly understood something. It turned out that an insurmountable gap had long formed between them and Zhang Yi. And they no longer existed in the same world. Kill. Follow the leader's orders. Kill them all. Leave no one behind. Qin Jingwan pulled out the gun on his waist and rushed towards the foreigner from Dei's city, who was fleeing in his direction. At this time, Zhang Yi looked a little pale. The dimensional spear consumes a huge amount of money for him. He had to swallow a large amount of supernatural food immediately to replenish his supernatural energy. Then, he took one step forward and traveled through space through the two-dimensional door, arriving at the place swallowed by the void. Almost everything was devoured. But deep in the spherical depression, there was a miserable body lying there. At this time, he could no longer see clearly because his body was covered in blood and his skin no longer existed. But to be able to survive Zhang Yi's killing moves, he is obviously a very powerful reinforcement player. One of the leaders of the three major forces in Dei's city, Sun Jiaming, has a delta-level enhanced existence. Zhang Yi walked towards him slowly and took out the Hengdao Shengdao made of Edmund Metal in his right hand. Stop pretending to be dead. Can you fool me? Chapter 610 Lion Fights Rabbit The Spear of the Void is a new skill that Zhang Yi obtained after devouring the incomplete origin of Yuan Kongya. Compared with Shui, its release skills are farther and cover a larger area which makes up for Zhang Yi's lack of AoE attack ability and insufficient long-range attack strength. But if you encounter a powerful enhanced type or orc-type alien, you may not be able to kill them with one blow. For example, an elite delta-level alien like Sun Jiaming. Zhang Yi held the Holy Judge in his hand and defended himself with a dimensional shield in his left hand and walked towards Sun Jiaming step by step. Zhang Yi has always adhered to the principle of cutting off the grass and rooting out the roots. Today, he will not leave any monks in Dei's city. Sun Jiaming's bloody body was twitching on the ground. Zhang Yi's cautious appearance was actually a bit redundant for him. Because just now, he relied on instinct to explode all his strength. So he was not completely crushed by the power of the void like others. But almost all the bones in his body were broken. And his internal organs were severely damaged. And he couldn't even get up. Sun Jiaming felt extremely fearful, and at the same time extremely confused. When he was on the verge of life and death, all these emotions turned into anger. That's right. It's anger. Why do you pretend to be weak when you are so strong? If you had told us earlier, how dare we come to trouble you? Sun Jiaming raised his neck with difficulty and stared at Zhang Yi fiercely. At the last moment of his life, he roared from his throat. Why? Zhang Yi stopped a hundred meters away from him. Then he opened the dimensional door casually, raised the Holy Inquisitor in his right hand, and seemed to be adjusting the position of the sword. Why are there so many? Zhang Yi said calmly, and passed through the dimensional gate with a knife, piercing Sun Jiaming's head. It's just that you are too good at it. At this point, the alien team from Dei's city that invaded Tianhai City had already killed 80% of the aliens on the way, including two Delta-level alien leaders. Zhang Yi had no expression on his face. Everything went as smoothly as he imagined. The difference in strength between a high-level alien and a lower-level alien is completely crushing. He felt very much like Dian Junwu, when he first arrived in Tianhai City. Even if he is at the same delta level, he crushes others in a fault-like manner. In another direction, a figure ran desperately on the snow, setting off a series of huge snow waves. That was Chen Liangyu, one of the leaders of the three major forces in Dei's city. As an orc-type superpower, his transformation is Jaguar. Out of the orc's hunter instinct, he had already sensed the crisis of death the moment Zhang Yi condensed the void. In just a second, he had escaped from the coverage of the Void Spear. 
looking back at the huge dark space. Chen Liang Yu felt horrified. This? Is this still a Delta level alien? I'm afraid Blizzard City's investigation captain is nothing more than this. What kind of monster have we provoked? Escape. You must escape immediately. Otherwise you will definitely die. Chen Liang Yu didn't care about anything. In the face of a life and death crisis, he could give up everything. However, on his way forward, a huge wall of fire suddenly blocked his way. The sky was covered with flames, and there was a strong smell of alcohol in the air. This is? Chen Liang Yu was forced to stop by the flames. He raised his head and saw two strangers standing in front of him. A woman with magma runes flowing all over her body, but her eyes, as cold as a knife, looked at him with a huge wine gourd in her hand. Behind her, there was a man with a gentle face. His eyes narrowed and a smile on his face. Xiao Honglian, the person in charge of Yangsheng base, and his deputy Zhu Qingting, have been waiting here for a long time. Zhang Yi did not chase the others, because the remaining miscellaneous fish were already frightened out of their courage, and there was no need for him to exert any more effort. After absorbing Sun Jiaming's origin, he returned to the Sanchi Tower, took out a chair and sat down, resting while waiting for news from others. Half an hour later, people arrived one after another, each holding a different number of heads in their hands. Red ice and snow formed on their bodies, which was formed after the blood froze. But there was a smile on everyone's face, because this time Day's city sent elites, many of whom were strangers. After killing them, with Zhang Yi's acquiescence, the aliens in Tianhai City devoured their origins. In this wave, except for some of the aliens who were wiped out by Zhang Yi without even leaving ashes, the other aliens all made up for the aliens in Tianhai City, especially Hua Hua and Liang Yu. They killed the most enemies in this battle and gained the most. Xiao Honglian came to Zhang Yi with his head held high and placed Chen Liang Yu's head under his feet. This is the leader of one of the three major forces in Dei's city, Chen Liang Yu. Xiao Honglian had pride written on his face. After all, killing the leader of a force was an extremely rare achievement in the Jiangnan region. But in front of Zhang Yi, her attitude became more and more submissive. The kind of surrender that came from the heart. Before, she might have been a little unwilling. However, after tonight, this feeling completely disappeared. Because everyone has seen Zhang Yi's strength. That is an existence beyond their reach. R. Everyone bowed their heads in front of Zhang Yi. Showing respect and submission from the bottom of their hearts. Zhang Yi turned to look at Liang Yu. Liang Yu wore gray deerskin gloves on both hands and held a long knife with a cold expression on his face. Count the number of people to see if they match what Xinxin said. Liang Yu couldn't help but said that this may be a bit difficult. After all, most of the people have been killed by you and no one is left. Zhang Yi laughed dumbly. And that was what he said. Then he looked serious. But tonight, don't relax. I've said it before. Not a single one of the strangers who attacked A's city can be left behind. In addition, no one is allowed to reveal a word of what happened tonight to the outside world. Even if Blizzard City asks, just let them come to me. Do you understand? His strength and ability may be exposed sooner or later. But the later that day comes, the better. Because one day later, he would get one more chance to kill his opponent through information difference. Moreover, exposing his strength prematurely will also lead to him being targeted by the Jiangan region. Qin Jingwan was the first to stand up, straightened his back and said yes. We at Chaoyu base will strictly abide by whatever the boss requests and will never violate it. Xing Tian also quickly said that I am the same. Xiao Honglian gritted his teeth angrily when he saw that he had been beaten first. Is there any need to say this? My whole body already belongs to the boss. If anyone dares to disobey the boss, I, Xiao Honglian, will be the first to let him go. As soon as these words came out, everyone at the scene looked at Xiao Honglian with strange eyes. And then, their eyes moved back and forth between her and Zhang Yi. Only then did Xiao Honglian realize that what he said in a hurry was somewhat ambiguous. And Zhang Yi was also slightly speechless. Ahem. I mean. Zhang Yi waved his hand. Okay. Everyone understands what you mean. At this time, the more explanations, the more troublesome it becomes. Chapter 611 Encirclement and Suppression of Eclipse Moon The alien team in Dei's city never expected that they came to Tianhai City with the confidence to win and plan to plunder. But not only did they gain nothing, they even lost their lives here. Zhang Yi ordered everyone to do their best to eliminate evil and kill all enemies who would commit crimes in the future to prevent them from spreading Zhang Yi's true strength and causing trouble for Zhang Yi. Such an easy victory in this battle also made the people of Tianhai City more united. 
No one in the three major bases could not help but be convinced by Zhang Yi. Xing Tian asked at this time if Jiang and Regent asked, How would we answer? How else to answer? Let's just say that with the concerted efforts of all the forces in Tianhai City, we have completely wiped out the invading enemies. Zhang Yi smiled. Xing Tian scratched his head. I was worried that they would be suspicious. After all, judging from our strength on paper, we can't win so easily. Zhang Yi shook his head. These things don't need to be made too clear to them. We are the victims, and have no problem fighting back in self-defense. When the Jiangan region formed its own super federation, it announced this in public, and we still have their letters to prove that they acted first. Why do victims need to explain? As for why we won so easily, it's easier to explain. The battlefield is constantly changing, and nothing happens unexpectedly. Let them guess. Anyway, the Jiangan region's attention is now on Lehigh City, and they have no time to care about what is happening here. Zhang Yi is not afraid of accidents. Everyone took the order and went to carefully search the surrounding area to prevent any fish from slipping through the net. In fact, this approach is purely for insurance purposes and does not make much sense. Because most of the powerful strangers in Dei's city were instantly killed by Zhang Yi with one move. The remaining ones were frightened out of their courage and were killed one by one by the strangers in Tianhai City who waited for work. R. Finally, Zhang Yi asked Fatty Su to use the snow to fill up the huge hole he had created. The scene was as quiet as ever, with not even a trace of blood left on the white snow. It was as if nothing had happened. Just as the war in Tianhai City ended, a more dangerous and massive war began in Linhai City not far away. This war is under the unified command of the Jiang and Region Combat Command Center. A total of 10 alien organizations were dispatched, and the headquarters provided all-round assistance. The most important thing is China's nebulous system which can guide them on the road and monitor them from the universe. Corrosive moon. Trends. At this time, in a shopping mall building, the 13 people who were eclipsed were enjoying food in a warehouse. There were two corpses lying next to the open door. Their blood was still steaming, but it cooled down quickly. These two people were a couple. After the end of the world, they occupied this warehouse and lived until now. Originally, they thought they could survive until the end, but they never expected that they would fall under the sword of a foreigner. The man wearing a gray newsboy cap and a tight gray vest was picking from the shelves and found a can of beef, with a happy smile on his face. With just a little force on his right hand, a ball of flame rose up and melted the frost on the surface of the can. Bo! The can was heated and popped open when he squeezed it hard. Instead of eating the newsboy hat, he turned around and handed it to the girl behind him, who was wearing a thick red winter coat. Then he threw the cans one by one to the others in the room. A stern-faced, Lazy samurai-looking gangster holding a black metal baseball bat. A gentle middle-aged man wearing glasses. Unsmiling. And with a slick back hair. After everyone took the can. They all used their own methods to open the can. A boy with short hair, who looked like a high school student squatted on the ground with a smile, and started to set up a pot and light a fire. While the short-haired boy was cooking. Saikaro Jinguji. A middle-aged man wearing gold-rimmed glasses. Looked at the newsboy hat, and said in a hoarse voice. We have killed so many people here. And the people sent by the Jiangan region to hunt them down will be here soon. Team leader. What do you think? It would be very dangerous for us people to continue fighting with them. The gray newsboy hat. The boss of the Eclipse group. Phoenix and Anrun. Just smiled relaxedly when he heard this. But his smile always gave people an evil feeling. He stretched out his hand and pointed at the Jingdu temple. His movements confident and flamboyant. Just in time. If we don't let them see the strength of our Eclipse team, how can they obediently cooperate with us? Jinguji crossed his arms with a look of disgust on his face. You are always like this. Adventurous. Although there is a bamboo inside, the feeling of walking on a tie trope is really not wonderful. Phoenix Academy walked up to Mayumi Takeuchi, the witch in the team, with a smile, and then sat on a cardboard box. But right now, this is what's best for us. Isn't it? Don't worry. Jiangan region can't use all its strength to deal with us. As far as I know, there are a lot of troubles in their area, enough to make them miserable. As long as we teach them a little painful lesson, let them understand that we are not easy to mess with. We also have a chance to negotiate. Phoenix Academy smiled and stretched out his hand, making a small gesture with his thumb and index finger. It was enough to give them a little neon shock. Jinguji pushed up his glasses, feeling helpless at the adventurism of the Phoenix Institute. He looked at Takeuchi Mayumi, who was quietly eating canned beef next to the Phoenix Academy. Takeuchi, let's start today's divination. 
Takeuchi turned a deaf ear. Phoenix Academy smiled and reached out to touch her head. Mayumi, let's start. Takeuchi nodded obediently. She put down the can of beef in her hand and took off her gloves, revealing a pair of extremely white hands. Then she slowly inserted her right hand into her temple. The next moment, she actually took out a scroll from her head. This scene made everyone present couldn't help but their eyes lit up. Even the short-haired guy who was cooking was full of joy. He's coming. He's coming. I love watching Mayumi's divination the most. Mayumi Takeuchi unfolded the scroll on the ground and then took out a bottle of red liquid from her arms. Due to body temperature, the liquid does not freeze. She unscrewed the lid and a faint smell of blood escaped into the air. Takeuchi's right hand paused in the air for a moment and a strange force began to condense in her palm and finally turned into a slender brush. It is like a long bamboo stick and at the end there is a naked kid holding the bamboo and chewing it. Takeuchi's expression became solemn and her eyes began to take on a hazy color. Immediately, she dipped the brush in red fuel and then wrote on the scroll extremely quickly. After a moment, the long scroll was filled with red words and a strange light shone out from the blood words. Chapter 6 12 Railgun After the divination was over, Takeuchi Mayumi put away the pen in her hand. But after doing all this, she looked a little weak. Some of the people hurriedly came over to look at the signature, while others pretended as if nothing had happened. But their eyes still glanced this way involuntarily. As the boss, Feng Wang Yuanren picked up the scroll and read it carefully. His eyes became brighter and brighter, and the curvature of the corners of his mouth became wider and wider. Their people are coming. And a lot of people. Jinguji snorted with a look of disgust on his face while some of the others had dull expressions, while others looked excited. The Phoenix Academy raised its head and looked at everyone, and began to assign tasks one by one. Long Zay and my wife, the two of you, go southeast. As lovers, Takizawa Takashi and my wife Nanako nodded, immediately picked up their weapons and left the warehouse. Nobunaga, you go to the west. The enemies are there for you. The samurai Sukamoto Nobunaga looked lazy and said nothing. He just picked up his samurai sword and left silently. Da Gongjue, you go east. Where is your luck today? A black-faced man. Da Gong Yanjin, who was two meters tall and as strong as a bear, also walked out carrying a cello case. The Phoenix Academy assigned tasks to its subordinates based on the divination in the Takeuchi scrolls. Soon, more than half of the people in the room were missing. The short-haired high school student named Shimonoba Satoru was unaware of these things and just cooked his lunch with a smile. Phoenix Academy came to him and squatted down. He took out a silver spoon from his arms, scooped a mouthful of soup into the pot and put it into his mouth. Then an expression of enjoyment appeared on his face. It tastes really good. It's time to have a full meal again. Not sure if he was talking about food or the upcoming battle. Linhai City. Although the people from the Jiangnan region headquarters have not arrived, they have already locked the area where the eclipse moon is located through satellite positioning. At the operations department, Minister Tu Yun Lai is personally responsible for directing operations. However, it is said to be a command. But in fact it is more of an observation. Because the Jiangnan Superpower Federation has just been established, the alien forces in the outer city will not completely obey their orders. Based on the intelligence from the operations department, ten alien teams have formed an encirclement from all directions and gradually began to tighten. Southeast direction. The force coming here is the Peng Jiao organization in Hang City. He brought 20 elite men with him on this trip, six of whom were powerful strangers. Among the remaining people, there are also elites who are proficient in sniper reconnaissance and blasting. The ten forces made an agreement when they acted to encircle and suppress Eclipse from different directions. No one would be careless about the organization from Neon. After all, it was a powerful organization that wiped out all the forces in a city. However, no one thought their operation would fail. They occupy a favorable location and have satellite positioning guidance from the Jiangnan region. But the other party is in a foreign land. Like a headless fly. In terms of number of people, they are dozens of times larger than the Eclipse organization. Moreover, each organization is the best in its respective city area. Even if they use the number of people to pile up, they can pile up the organization to death. At least, that's what Ping Jialua thought in his heart. He Ying's alien organization braved the snow and marched cautiously forward. They keep in touch with other forces at all times through communication equipment. I am Peng Jialua, and we have arrived near the predetermined area. Other people's voices soon came over there. We also reached the edge of the reservation area. We're almost there too. Three minutes. Very good. 
after everyone arrives at the predetermined location. We will reduce the encirclement together. Don't be careless and underestimate the enemy. And avoid taking unauthorized actions. Hee <laughs> hee. Do you need to say this? No one who can survive till now is a daredevil. Peng Jialue ended the communication and headed towards the target area in no hurry. But just when he was about to let the scouts investigate the nearby terrain first, his pupils suddenly shrank. Because he saw a person walking slowly from the street in the city ahead. A man with slightly long hair and wearing a black combat uniform. One person. Peng Jialue was a little surprised. And his nerves became a little tense. Immediately ordered his men to prepare for battle. At the same time, he reported the incident on the communication channel. This is Pengalo. We have encountered the enemy. Only one person. Only one person. Aren't there 13 of them? Be careful. Others may be hiding in the dark. Look what he's going to do. When Peng Jialua was about to continue communicating, suddenly there was a harsh sound of electricity in his ears, which made his ears hurt. Peng Jialua frowned and was about to curse when he saw the man stopped a few hundred meters away. His left hand was still inserted leisurely in his pocket. And he looked here with an indifferent expression. But he took out a coin in his right hand and placed it between his thumb and index finger. A white electric light suddenly burst out from his body. The coin turned into a railgun SH. L and penetrated the space, shooting at everyone in hang. The speed of lightning was so fast that no one expected that he would strike suddenly. And an alien was immediately penetrated through the chest. A large burnt hole was exposed on his chest. And his eyes were full of incredible expressions before he fell straight down. How dare he take the initiative? Peng Jialua never expected that they were obviously hunters and the other party was the prey. But how dare the prey take the initiative to show its claws to the hunter? Damn Neon Man. Kill him. No matter how good-tempered Peng Jialua is, he can't bear the other party killing his men in front of him. He roared angrily. And his whole body expanded rapidly. And golden light enveloped his whole body. His muscles were expanding and his body was getting taller. He suddenly turned into a golden Buddha over four meters high. Hang City Defo Kor. King Kong is indestructible. Pendalo. Although they were caught off guard, they clearly had the advantage in numbers. Coupled with the fact that Delta level Peng Jialua was in charge. He was not afraid of Takizawa Takashi who came alone. The advantage is mine. Peng Jialua and others thought. Just as the group of people activated their special powers and planned to kill Takizawa Takashi. A melodious music sound suddenly came from the distance. The sound is deep and deep. Somewhat similar to the sound of a flute. The sound floated across the city's concrete buildings and into the strange crowd of people in Hang City. The scene in front of everyone's eyes has undergone strange distortions. The light began to become mixed. As if there were countless colorful butterflies flying in front of my eyes. And the whole world became distorted. Their heads began to feel dizzy. And they no longer knew where their hands and feet were. Pung Jialua yelled angrily. He is a spiritual ability user. Plug your ears. But the moment the music sounded, Takizawa Takashi had already raised his hands, holding eight coins between his fingers, pointing them in this direction. The railgun triggered wild silver lightning in the air, and the surging current shot out of the coins, drawing eight silver lightning trails in the air. Chapter 613 Chao Hu The encounter on Peng Jialwa's side attracted the attention of other nine forces. The aliens in Hang City were attacked? They were really unlucky. It looked like someone was about to break out from them. Do we want to go over and provide support? Someone asked in the communication channel. The call fell into silence for a while. After a long time, a person said quietly, How about we go over and take a look? But no one responded to his words. The rewards for this mission are very generous. And the person with the greatest merit can even capture the entire Linhai city. There are only so many rewards. But there are ten participating forces. And they are in naked competition with each other. If Peng Jialua's people can fight to the death with the Eclipse group and consume part of the Eclipse group's power, it will definitely be good news for others. However, their thoughts soon changed. In Yunzhou City, the team led by Li Tianlong is still on standby, hesitating when to go to support Pang Jialua. Very suddenly, there was a burst of sound from high in the sky. Li Tianlong suddenly raised his head and saw a dark shadow rushing down from the high-rise building where they were hiding. The silver sword light flashed in midair, illuminating this hazy area. Sukamoto Nabunaga sprinted through the crowd. But before anyone could react, five people had been chopped to pieces. Everyone in Li Tianlong was dumbfounded. How could it be possible? What surprised him was not the warrior's strength, but the opponent's actions, as if he knew they were here. However, they obviously have satellite support from the Jiangan region. So the intelligence is ahead of the other party. Right? 
Why on earth were they found by the other party first? Not only them, but in just a few minutes, almost every alien force was attacked by Eclipse. They were clearly hiding well and were preparing to launch a collective sprint at a signal. But every step they made seemed to be seen through by the other party, which instead made them fall into a passive state. In the combat command center of Jiangyan region headquarters, two Yulia's sharp eagle-like eyes were fixed on the screen. He could see these images through the communicators carried by the ten alien organizations. Even he didn't expect that they would be beaten first. How could this happen? Could it be that we leaked the news? But immediately, Tu Yulai rejected this idea. Impossible. The only place that can accurately determine the position of each power is the headquarters. His eyes wandered around the combat center, scanning every staff member on site. Then he shook his head and rejected the idea again. The security level of the command center is the highest. Every message sent here will be intercepted. And no one can pass the security network to them. Then, it should be some kind of superpower. Detection type abilities? Can it cover such a large area? Tu Ilya's eyes became sharper and sharper. And he suddenly felt that this incident was starting to become a little tricky. The battle in Linhai City has begun. The sudden situation caught every family by surprise. The ten major forces were a little panicked at first. And they lost part of their combat power due to the surprise attack. But after all, they are also powerful people who dominate one side. Soon they secured their position especially when they discovered that they were not the entire Eclipse group, but only one or two people. They began to feel relieved, especially in the east of the city. The two teams of Li Guiqiang and Meng Xu Cheng of Sixing jointly faced the enemy. Their opponent was only a man in a suit, as strong as a bear, and carrying a cello box. Just one person. Li Guiqiang frowned, wondering if there was something wrong with these neon people's heads. Haven't you seen that there are 40 or 50 people in his two families? It would be enough for him to die alone. Kill! Li Guiqiang didn't talk nonsense. There was no possibility of peace talks between the two parties. And he couldn't understand what the other party was saying. Immediately, ten sharpshooters came out, holding sniper rifles, and started shooting at Dadong Yanjin. And the bullets used are high-energy bullets specially approved for them by the Jiangan region, this time for use against aliens. Dadong Yanjin looked at the bullets they shot. But he didn't have the slightest intention to dodge. Instead, he silently took off his suit, then reached out to open the cello box. Crackling, the bullet fell on him, ripping his clothes but not penetrating his skin. Instead, the strong muscles inside were exposed, as if they were made of dark steel. It turned out to be an enhanced alien. Meng Shuchun said lightly, High energy bullets are more powerful than armor piercing bullets, and even strangers are in danger of dying if they are shot. But among the aliens, the enhancement type is a kind of pure monster. Their abilities are not fancy. They just simply strengthen their basic physical abilities. Because that is a physical change. Allowing their bodies to reach the level of tanks and even fortresses. They are immune to bullets and even small thermal weapons. Li Guiqiang looked at Meng Shu Cheng with a teasing smile on his lips. Isn't it just right to be an enhanced alien? Under Meng Shu Cheng's long hair. His narrow eyes were also full of smiles. Just right indeed. Because both of them are powerful enhancement type aliens coupled with the many subordinates. More than 50 people versus one person. How could they lose? But at this time, Dogong Yanjin had already taken something out of the cello box. It was a strange-looking spear, more than three meters long when assembled. But the tip of the spear was flat, like a dragonfly's wings. Dogong Yanjin held the dragonfly Kiri, looked at the strangers from the two factions, and muttered in neon language. Mayumi's prediction is really accurate. Meng Shu Cheng and Li Guiqiang have already activated their abilities. Meng Shu Cheng's whole body was shrouded in a hazy black light, and his long hair spread quickly, even covering his body. Every black hair is shining with a sharp light. Every hair is sharper than the sharpest knife. It can cut gold and cut jade. Li Guiqiang, on the other hand, took out two heavy black iron crutches from behind and protected them in front of him. He first defended, and then was ready to attack at any time. Go ahead and kill him. Dozens of strangers quickly surrounded Dogong Yanjin. Various means began to be used towards him. The two leader-level strangers acted as the main attackers, attacking him one after another. But when the iron tower in the middle faced the airtight attack, it just waved the dragonfly Kiri in its hand with cold eyes. A hurricane began to roar, covering his whole body. After the hurricane subsided, he suddenly transformed into a three-meter-tall, peerless monster with long hair and tawny markings all over his body. Daiku Yanjin a person with beastman ability. A mythical monster. Chao Hu. Holding a huge dragonfly cutter in his hand. 
His brown vertical pupils scanned all the strangers around him. Li Guixiang and Ming Shu Cheng were attacking from two directions. He just made a simple horizontal slash, drawing a circle with himself as the center. The blue-green sword light passed through the air, and a beautiful arc appeared. Two powerful delta-level enhanced aliens suddenly split into two on the way forward, with their upper and lower bodies separated from each other. Chapter 614 Kamitashi In Battles Between Strangers After the absolute gap in levels appears, the number of people can no longer make up for it. The leaders of the two major forces, Li Guixiang and Ming Shucheng, did not expect that their bodies, which had been tempered for many times, could not block the sword of Dadong Yanjin. They couldn't even block it, because they didn't even have time to react before they were already cut in half. All martial arts in the world are invincible, except speed. It wasn't until their bodies fell to the ground that the other men around them realized what had happened. Ah! Ming Shucheng and Li Guixiang's extremely painful wails could be heard in the air. This kind of execution is 10,000 times more painful than killing them directly, since they were all enhanced aliens with tenacious vitality. Even if they were cut in half, they did not die immediately despite the freezing temperatures. But everyone understands that their death is only a matter of time. And what follows is a torturous time. The dozens of aliens and elite warriors who surrounded Dadong Yanjin were all frightened. And they even lost the courage to attack. However, Dadong Yanjin did not intend to stop there. Now that you're here, don't leave. He was killing in one direction like a hurricane. The huge dragonfly in his hand cutting through people like a hot knife cutting through butter. That kind of incomparable power. When facing aliens below delta level, even if they are wearing combat uniforms, they are completely unable to resist. Unilateral. Overwhelming massacre. Two Yun Lai at the combat command center saw the scene clearly. The entire center staff was shocked and overwhelmed by the scene. The combined forces of the two major forces in the outer city were actually killed by one enemy like chopping melons and vegetables. Tu Yulia's eyes became more solemn. At least it must be at the level of an elite member of the investigation team. Or even above the level of deputy captain. No wonder these monsters are running rampant in Kanto. Making the Azumo organization helpless against them. On the side of Dagong and Yanjin. The battle was resolved very quickly. There were more than 50 people. And no one was left. Those who come here are all the elites of the forces in the outer city. Nearly half of them are aliens. After Dai Gong Yanjin killed them, he happily devoured their alien origins. Although at his level, the improvement gained from devouring lower level strangers would not be too great. But the quantity could slightly make up for the lack of quality. What a delicious treat. A smile with endless aftertaste appeared on the corner of Dai Gong Yanjin's mouth. He really hoped that Jiangnan district could send more food. Better quality food. On the hang side, Peng Jialu's people met Takizawa Takashi and my wife Nanako. A team of 20 aliens faced off against a duo using a rail gun and a phantom sound. But the battle turned out to be one-sided. My wife, Nanako, was hiding in the dark, using the shakuhachi in her hand to perform a musical attack. Peng Jialu immediately ordered everyone to close their hearing systems to avoid being disturbed. But in this way, the communication between them was lost. And Peng Jialu quickly killed eight of them. And then, when others wanted to fight back against Peng Jialua, they discovered that strange changes had occurred inside their bodies. Just like a drowning person, he always feels that there is a liquid-like power surging in his internal organs. Peng Jialua noticed this immediately and was shocked. That kind of phantom sound attack can penetrate the defense and reach directly into the body. And it's not a simple illusion attack. By the time he realized all this, it was already too late. There were two strangers whose bodies were like balloons filled with water. After some strange expansion, poof, the sound exploded directly. Colorful liquids collapsed everywhere. Peng Jialua also felt the power of that power and quickly used his supernatural powers to protect his body. But on the one hand, they have to withstand the musical attack of my wife Nanako. On the other hand, Takizawa Takashi is watching covetously not far away. They were clearly the party with more people. But they seemed to be surrounded. Peng Jialua refused to sit still and wait for death. His indestructibility is a powerful ability that combines offense and defense. My wife Nanako's little tricks are not enough to kill him. He could see that Takizawa Takashi's superpower was a means of long-distance combat. So he had to close the distance to fight. As long as Takizawa Takashi is killed quickly, then there will be nothing to fear from the secretly capable person. Thinking of this, his golden Buddha body burst out with even more dazzling light, burst out violently, and rushed straight towards Takizawa Takashi. Takizawa Takashi frowned and fired the electromagnetic gun at Peng Jialua one after another. Peng Jialua did not dodge or evade, 
but in order to reach Takizawa Takashi as quickly as possible. He chose to resist with his body. Golden light enveloped his whole body, and coins comparable to cannonballs shone with electric light on him, causing dents in his muscles. Then the flesh and blood shattered, and the coin was deeply embedded in his body. However, it did not completely break through his defense. With his strong physical strength, he clamped the coins forcefully, and all he suffered was superficial injuries. In one second, Peng Jialua rushed to Takizawa Takashi's side, and then slammed his golden fist into his head. Takizawa Takashi's pupils shrank. His arms were covered with lightning, and he quickly blocked his side. Boom! This blow directly blasted Takizawa Takashi hundreds of meters away. My wife Nanako also noticed how powerful Peng Jialua was, and the voice of Shakuhachi in the air became more urgent. And Peng Jialua finally felt something flying in the air, screaming and attacking his body. That's my wife Nanako's ability. Itachi can cause hallucination through phantom sound attacks. It can also use sonic resonance to directly attack people's internal organs, causing them to explode from within the body. Peng Jialua's King Kong is indestructible. Attack and defense are integrated. Especially the defense is extremely powerful. Comparable to a tank. But no matter how tough a man is, his internal organs are still fragile. Peng Jialua, who was attacking Takizawa Takashi with all his strength, had no way to defend himself. Itachi. After the attack, with a muffled groan, a stream of blood overflowed from the corner of his mouth. But now, no one can come to help him. All of his men were killed by the duo in just a few moments. In a battle between strangers, when the level gap is too large, numbers are really meaningless. Takizawa Takashi walked out of the smoke. One of his arms was obviously twisted. He himself was a little surprised, because the opponent in front of him was obviously more difficult to deal with than he had imagined. He couldn't help but think of Mayumi Takeuchi's prophecy. His action this time was Shuji. It gets the job done, but it doesn't go too smoothly. What bad luck. Today I, he muttered. However, the next moment, Peng Jialua's attack came in front of him again. Chapter 615 Total Destruction In Hang City, Peng Jialua, the indestructible King Kong, was eventually killed in the attack by two members of the Moon Eclipse group. His strength is considered top-notch among the ten forces that came here. However, with one against two, he was unable to face the attack from opponents of the same level. In the end, during the battle with Takizawa Takashi, my wife Nanako used Itachi. The sneak attack was successful and penetrated his heart. Seeing his huge golden body collapse, Takizawa Takashi let out a long breath. Something almost happened. Suddenly there was a burst of laughter in the air. Takizawa Takashi raised his head and saw my wife Nanako flying towards him slowly on the wind. After landing, she looked at Peng Jialuo with a proud look on her face. Without my help, it would be difficult for you to take care of this big guy. So he gave it to me. Takizawa Takashi snorted. If it was one-on-one, -on -one, I could definitely beat him. It's just that he had too many helpers and wasted a lot of my energy. My wife Nanako exposed him without mercy. Forget it. His ability is to restrain you. But I am the one who restrains him. So I am the main force in this operation. Takizawa Takashi looked disgusted. But he was unable to refute. Because in fact it was indeed the case. If the supernatural ability is restrained, it may not be able to exert even half of its strength. My wife Nanako didn't care about his expression and just absorbed Peng Jialua's ability. In Blizzard City's Combat Command Center, the shots in the screen disappeared one by one and turned into snowflakes. As the fighting continued, the equipment they used to observe the situation on the scene was also damaged one by one. But Tu Yunlai didn't see any battlefield where they had the upper hand. On the contrary, within five minutes of the battle, three forces were completely wiped out. Tu Yunlai still watched all this indifferently without saying a word. The staff at the combat command center quickly used the remaining footage to record all the information about the members of the Eclipse team, and then compiled it into a book. An hour later, the last force also lost contact. An observer turned his head and reported the news to Tu Yulai. Tu Yulai just said coldly, I know. There was no expression on his face. But the fluctuation in his eyes could not be concealed. Sort out the information immediately. And I'm going to report to Zhu Shui. In the shopping mall building. Phoenix Yuan and only ate a little something. Then came to the window. Put his hands in his pockets. And looked down at the city in front of him leisurely. Linhai City is not a very big city in the southeastern coastal area of China. But its prosperity is pretty good. But for Phoenix Inn, who came from Tokyo, this place has a unique charm. That is the calm and heavy feeling coming from the continental plate. 
Neon people have had a deep sense of urgency since a hundred years ago. The instability of island countries makes them always dream of becoming a land country. The classic film, Neon Sinking, is the best example. And after the end of the world comes, the panic of the isolated island at sea becomes even more serious. As a result, radical landing parties like them began to develop and grow. The Eclipse Group is the most radical pioneer among this group of people. The door was suddenly pushed open, and the team members who had gone out to perform the mission came back one after another. Some people looked relaxed, while others suffered minor injuries. The great engineer, Yan Jin, was still wearing the suit and was sitting leisurely on a sofa. His calm expression showed how easy this mission was for him. The members of the Eclipse team all had smiles on their faces, talking about the opponents they encountered and how they solved them. At this time, there was a shuffling sound outside the door. Boom! Something hit the door. Everyone followed the sound and saw Sukamoto Nobunaga lazily opening the door. With the long sword to Hanya Changwang slung at his side. But his right hand was dragging a man covered in blood. Jinguji Saikaro saw the man. Frowned and asked. Is this the prisoner you captured? Sukamoto Nobunaga looked at him lazily. It's not okay to just kill people. We are facing a huge force. It would be great if we could get some information about them. Nobunaga lowered his head and glanced at Li Tianlong the leader of the forces in Yunzhou city. This guy is a leader and should know a lot of information. Li Tianlong suddenly opened his eyes angrily at this moment and used his remaining strength to shout, You damn neon bastard! If you want to kill me, do it. I won't say a word. Sukamoto Nobunaga frowned. He couldn't understand what Li Tianlong was talking about. At this time, the short-haired high school student who had been staying here to cook said with a smile that the combat uniform has a matching translation system. Sukamoto Nobunaga said, I don't like wearing that thing. It affects how quickly I draw the knife. Shimanamino Satoru shrugged helplessly. Let me do it. He stood up and walked to the weak Li Tianlong. Don't even think about it. Li Tianlong stared at Shimanobu Chengwu and said in his most ferocious tone at the moment. But no matter how he looked at it, he was too weak to be true. Shimano walked up to him with a smile. Not angry at all. It doesn't matter. You will tell me. Li Tianlong sneered and said, uh huh. You are dreaming. But his voice stopped suddenly. Because Shimano's hands were placed on both sides of his head. Li Tianlong's eyes turned white. And his whole person became like a dementia. A pair of ethereal hands reached out from Shiwa's chest. And then fiercely inserted into Li Tianlong's head. Phoenix Yuan Ren smoked a cigarette outside. When he came in, he found Li Tianlong's body lying on the ground. And he had lost consciousness. Shishua pushed up his glasses with a smile. Boss. We have collected all the information about them. This time, we really made a big fuss. The smile at the corner of his mouth gradually became abnormal. And he looked excited, like a middle school boy who had done something earth-shattering. The entire Jiannan region is now encircling us. Oh, they want to kill us so bad. I didn't expect that our escape here at the critical moment would cause such a big commotion. Jinguji Saikaro looked at him with disgust. This was not something to be happy about. It will only cause us unnecessary trouble. Shishuwu ignored his advice and spread his hands. But he was really handsome. Wasn't he? How could he be targeted like this by one of the six major regions of China? Jinguji said in a deep voice that if they were really provoked and used all their strength to deal with us, even with Mayumi here, we might not be able to escape and scathe. Shimano suddenly made a face at Jinguji. Don't worry, Uncle Jinguji. I have just confirmed this. His lenses reflected a strange light. Only two of the six top-notch investigation teams in the Jiangnan region remain at the headquarters. And one of them has just lost its captain-level combat capability. Now is our best chance. Chapter 616 The Incredible Battle Situation Phoenix and Jean heard Shimanamino Satoru's words. And a devilish smile appeared on his face. He put his hands in his pockets and said leisurely, 40 things! Tell everyone about the memories you spied on! 40 Material Field Enlightenment Spiritual Ability User Ability Code Name Enlightenment ghost. Can peek into other people's memories. Shimanamino Satoru crossed his arms. When talking about business, he was still very serious. There are currently 13 cities in the Jiangnan region guarded by large-scale alien organizations, among which their headquarters is Blizzard City. Shimanamino Satoru spent a certain amount of time telling everyone about the important memories he had peeked from Li Tianlong's mind. After hearing this, the Phoenix Academy sat on the cardboard and stared dimly, making a battle plan based on this. The people who attacked us were forces from the 12 outer cities. These guys pose little threat to us. The real threat should be the official troops in Blizzard City.
Blizzard City can't take action for the time being. And judging from the fact that they dispatched troops from the outer city to deal with us. They don't want to lose their elite. Jinguji Saikairo said, in other words. There is room for negotiation. Right? The Phoenix Institute nodded, and it might not be possible. But now, he opened his arms, and said with a heroic smile, We have shown them our strength. Now we are qualified to negotiate with them. Jinguji said slowly. But I don't think they will agree to our request so easily. After all, the real elite troops haven't been dispatched yet. He pushed up his gold rimmed glasses and said with a stern expression that the people sent here this time were just the vanguard. To test our strength, the next one who comes here should be their six major investigation teams. Sukamoto Nobunaga slowly moved his eyes and looked at Jinguji Temple and Phoenix Temple. The others also suppressed the smiles on their faces. After all, it is a district level special operations force and its strength is completely different from that of these people. It might be a tough fight, Jinguji said. The smile on Phoenix Academy's face did not weaken at all. Isn't this something that must be experienced? If we want to take root on this land and complete the first step of landing, we are bound to go through a fierce battle. He even said with some pride that Columbus, who discovered the new world, died fighting the indigenous people. But his discovery brought huge changes to the entire world and brought huge wealth to his country. As pioneers, we will also be recorded in history in the future. Phoenix Academy spoke enthusiastically, his bold and confident voice carrying a powerful appeal. Then, he looked at the Miko Mayumi Takeuchi, who had been sitting there quietly. What's more, we still have this trump card, and good luck will always be on our side. There were different expressions on everyone's faces. Ever since they agreed to follow Phoenix into the icebreaker, they had been mentally prepared. At this time, Shimobu Chang was suddenly pointed at the unconsciously Tianlong. Is this guy still useful? If not, I'm going to eat him. He licked the corners of his mouth. Sukamoto Nabunaga could leave this Delta-level alien without caring about his life. But Shimanaman Satoru is very willing to enjoy this delicious food. No. He is still of some use now. Phoenix Yuanren stared at Li Tian Long with a playful look in his eyes. You can ask him to go back and bring a message to the senior officials of Jianan region. He raised his neck and said slowly that we are pacifists and don't like to fight and kill. It would be great if we could negotiate peacefully. Blizzard City. Combat Center Headquarters Building. Zhu Sheng's office. Tu Yunlai came to Zhu Zheng and personally handed over the battle damage report. When Zhu Zheng looked at the reports one after another, his eyes became sharp. Even at the end, his eyes swayed in a rare way. This is impossible. Zhu Zheng slapped the document in his hand on the table. He stood up suddenly and stared at Tu Yunlai and said that no matter how strong Xia was, he would not be able to destroy our ten alien troops so easily. Not to mention them. Not even our investigation team can do it. In less than an hour, thirteen of them killed all ten of their alien troops without even dispatching all of them. And the leader of each alien force is a Delta-level powerhouse. If it were really done by the six major investigation teams, it would be impossible for them to do it so neatly. Tuyulai said in a low voice that according to common sense, such a result would indeed be impossible. This is our territory and we have almost every advantage including the right time, right place, right people, and so on. Logically speaking, they should be like blind men, being manipulated by us, no matter how bad it is. There will be losses. However, I anticipated all possibilities, but I did not expect this outcome. So I think that the other party has some way to master our information. Zhu Zheng stared at Tu Yunlai and said word for word if you have anything to say. Just say it, and don't play riddles with me. Tu Yunlai said that either there was a traitor within the war department and he leaked the information and locations of the 10 alien troops in some way. Either that, or someone from the other side has the ability to conduct investigations and has accurately grasped all our actions and personnel dispatches. He pointed to the reports on the table. We analyzed it carefully. An extremely important reason why the people of Eclipse were able to win so quickly was that the strangers they said happened to have the ability to restrain the team in that direction. You should understand that in a sudden encounter, if the ability is restrained, the alien's combat effectiveness will be greatly reduced. Even under the condition of being completely restrained, the alien will directly become a useless person. Tuyulai put his hands behind his back, his eyes hidden under his military cap sharp. Our intelligence on the Eclipse organization is completely inadequate. Originally, we could have asked the Neon people to provide information on these Ronin's abilities. Zhu Sheng's expression darkened and his tone became calmer. What you said does make sense. But those cunning guys, on the grounds that these people were Ronin not affiliated with Neon officials. 
did not provide key information at all. They really want these guys to cause chaos in China. So how can they sincerely help? But, even so, so what? Zhu Sheng's tone was a bit harsh. How can we still deal with a mere rogue organization? In fact, many countries and regions are already aware of this matter. And they are all waiting and watching. So we must win beautifully so that they can see. They must die on this land. Executed by our own hands. Only in this way can we show our strength. Shock the surrounding Xiao Xiao. Chapter 617 Weirdness in Tianai City Tu Yulai certainly understood Zhu Sheng's anger. Although he didn't speak much, there was already a blazing flame burning in his eyes. As if it could destroy everything. Zhu Shui. We can't continue to let them be arrogant. I sincerely request that I lead the team and personally go to Linhai City to annihilate this group of rogues. Zhu Zhang directly rejected Tu Yulia's proposal without even thinking about it. No. You and Yan Yun's troops are the most important forces guarding Blizzard City. And you must not leave. It is your responsibility to protect our base camp. Zhu Zhang crossed his hands, took a deep breath, and looked at the ceiling. The strength of the alien organization in the outer city is still too weak. Without systematic training. They were fooled when they encountered slightly stronger enemies. This time, we still have to let the investigation team go to deal with the Eclipse organization. Tu Yulia's eyes narrowed. Zhu Shui. With all due respect. This time the opponent was a bit unusual. Currently, only the gods and the black robe squad are able to take action. However, since the death of Bian Junwu in the battle, the black robe squad has suffered a severe setback in strength and is no longer able to complete the A-level mission. As for the celestial team, Tu Yulai paused for a moment, then continued, Deng Shintong's character is still a bit immature and stable, so I'm not very reassured. The corners of Zhu Zhang's mouth raised slightly. He understood that Tu Yunlai and Deng Shitong had never dealt with each other. The Celestial team now has the highest points among the six major investigation teams. And their missions have always been completed relatively smoothly. We should believe in their strength. But, what you said makes some sense. Zhu Zhang's eyes narrowed slightly, and he put his hands under his chin. We cannot afford another failure. So for this operation, not only the god team needs to be dispatched. More power must be summoned. Tu Yulia's eyes lit up. Then let me take the 500 Yinyan guards there. No. Zhu Zheng rejected him directly. I said, this is not your task. The pillars of Blizzard City are the six investigation teams and the 5,000 Yinyan guards. The investigation team is responsible for external investigations. And Yin Yun Wei is responsible for guarding Blizzard City to suppress the unrest. If something goes wrong with either of them, it will be an unacceptable loss to Blizzard City. Zhu Zheng implements military management of Blizzard City so he must be strictly disciplined and will not let them overstep their responsibilities without authorization. Otherwise, if this is started, major problems will arise in internal management in the future. Tu Yulai pressed down the brim of his hat and stopped talking when he saw Zhu Sheng's firm attitude. Zhu Sheng thought for a while and said that he would mobilize a group of powerful strangers from other cities. The main purpose of the last battle was to find out. Now we have to point out the generals. It is necessary to bring together those strangers with outstanding strength. This battle must be successful in one go. After Zhu Zheng said that, he immediately ordered his secretary Lan Xinqing to take charge of this matter. As for the candidates he needs, he already has an idea in mind. The intelligence of the Jiangnan region is no joke. He has already figured out the details of almost every force in the entire Tianhai city. Of course, it's almost every force. Not all. Soon, Lan Xinqing brought him an interesting piece of information. Zhu Shui. Just in the past few days, a very interesting thing happened in Tianhai City. When Lan Xinqing said this, there was a strange light in his eyes. Zhu Zheng couldn't help but stare at Lan Xinqing. The most urgent task now is to deal with the Eclipse organization in Linhai City. Lan Xinqing suddenly mentioned the matter in Tianhai City. It must not be for no reason. After all, he is no longer a fledgling boy. Oh, what happened there? Tianhai City. I remember isn't that the territory of that boy named Zhang Yi? Zhu Xing still had some impressions of Zhang Yi, vaguely remembering that he was a very capable stranger. But Tianhai City has been defeated and needs strong people to guard it. In addition, Zhang Yi's team is too small and does not look particularly powerful. In fact, Zhu Xing had no intention of letting them join the next operation. Lan Xinqin looked at the report in his hand and read it slowly. According to the intelligence from the investigation department, last night, Three large alien organizations in Day's City integrated a huge team and entered Tianhai City. The convoy is led by three Delta-class aliens, as well as 72 aliens and 800 elite warriors. 
and also carried a large number of weapons and ammunition. When Zhu Zhen heard this, he frowned deeply. They are going to attack Tianhai City. These damn guys. How long has it been since then? They actually ignored the district's regulations and killed each other. The Jiangnan Superpower Federation has just been established. And it clearly stipulates that conflicts between alien forces in various regions are not allowed. But a few days after the meeting ended, a fight started over there. Is this obviously not taking them seriously? However, Zhu Zheng was only a little angry. Now, it was impossible for him to divide his troops and help Tianhai City. The Jiangnan region is indeed very strong. But they are not yet able to completely govern the entire region and can only use their absolute superiority in force to deter suppression. This is why Zhu Xin wants to establish the Federation. He sighed. With the current strength of Tianhai City, I am afraid it has already fallen. Are you going to tell me about this? Lan Xinxin looked at Zhu Xiong with strange eyes. No. Zhu Shui. According to the latest intelligence, Tianhai City is very quiet now. And there is no sign of any exchange of fire. On the contrary, the team from Dei City completely disappeared. The expression on Zhu Zheng's face froze for a moment. And then, he looked at Lan Xincheng with a puzzled expression. Disappeared? Lan Xincheng nodded seriously. Yes, and disappeared. We tried contacting them, but got no reply. Even using satellites to scan the entire Tianhai city. No sign of the existence of a large convoy was found. The look on Zhu Zheng's face became increasingly weird. What the H, L are they doing? Could it be that they want to rebel? They dare not respond to the news from Jiangnan region. This is definitely an act that provokes the dignity of the region. However, is the alien organization in Dei's city really that stupid? Zhu Sheng's right hand knocked on the table. And he suddenly asked, Have you ever contacted the local forces in Tianhai city? Lan Xinxin was slightly startled. But that was not the case. But? All the forces in Tianhai city were defeated in the previous battle. They shouldn't have the strength to wipe out the alien alliance in Dei's city so cleanly. Right? Lan Xinxin thought, that was completely impossible. Even if you have experienced a war, you can at least see the traces of the battlefield on the map. In fact, there is no abnormal movement in Tianhai City. Chapter 6 18 Recruitment Almost all the combat power of the three major forces in Dei's city has disappeared. This strange phenomenon made Zhu Zheng, who had a keen sense of smell, notice something was wrong. In his mind, the face of the indifferent young man appeared. For some reason, Zhu Zheng felt that Zhang Yi must know about this matter. He immediately told Lan Xinxin to call Zhang Yi. I want to talk to him. Lan Xinxin quickly said yes. Then took out a black satellite phone. Found Zhang Yi's contact information and dialed it. At this time, Zhang Yi, who was in a shelter, had actually been waiting for contact from Jiangnan district. Such a big thing has happened. And Jiangnan region must express its gratitude no matter what. However, Zhang Yi knew in his heart that this was just a matter of going through the process and doing a face-saving project. Anyway, the matter has been settled. And they are the party that was invaded. So there will be no problem. After seeing the unfamiliar call, Zhang Yi answered the call without hesitation. Hello. Hello. Is this Zhang Yi? Well, it's me. Lan Xinxing glanced at Zhu Zheng and said, I am Lan Xinxing, secretary of the headquarters of the Jiangnan Region Combat Command Center. Zhu Shui is looking for you. As Lan Xinxing spoke, he handed the satellite phone to Zhu Zheng. Zhang Yi's voice became much more enthusiastic. Zhu Shui, long time no see. Although it was only three days since we last met, your heroic and strong image has always been deeply imprinted in my mind. An imperceptible smile appeared at the corner of Zhu Zheng's mouth. No one would be unhappy if someone flatters them. But some people can hide it better. The key is to see who the flatterer is. In Zhu Zheng's eyes, Zhang Yi is at least a talented person. So he is very happy to be flattered by Zhang Yi. Okay, okay. Stop flattering me. This is of no use to me. Tell me. Did something happen again in your Tianhai city? Zhang Yi had already prepared his words in his heart. The alien alliance in Dei's city was destroyed. This matter could not be concealed. He did not dare to underestimate the intelligence system of Jiangnan region. The three major forces in Dei's city intend to invade our territory and resources in Tianhai city. They do not listen to our strong protests and directly dispatch large troops to attack. In the end, under the tenacious resistance of all the aliens in Tianhai City. They were all destroyed here, based on our original intention to protect our homeland and the basic guidelines you issued at the founding meeting of the Jiangnan Superpower Federation. We took reasonable, legal and compliant actions. Resolutely block all invading enemies. 
we have achieved high standards and strict requirements of being able to fight, knowing how to fight, and winning the war. Zhu Zheng's head felt dizzy after hearing this. Stop. 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 Where did you learn so many twists and turns? So, were the strangers in Dei's city really killed by you? Zhang Yi nodded and was right. I have evidence in my hand that they actively invaded us. I will send it to the district immediately and ask the leaders to comment on it for us. That's not what Zhu Zai cares about. Judging from the action trajectory, the invasion of Tianhai City by the Dei's City Alien Alliance is an indisputable fact. This is the obvious thing about lice on a bald man's head. It's just that he doesn't understand that Tianhai City does this so neatly. There were nearly a thousand people, many of them powerful strangers. But they were all wiped out. Even the remains of the battlefield were not found by them. How did you do it? The three major alien organizations in Dei's City are not weak. Zhu Zheng asked curiously. Zhang Yi laughed. Zhu Shui. We also have our own secrets. This is the foundation on which we live. Please forgive me for not being able to reveal it. Because you also know the current situation in Tianhai City. We need life-saving means. Zhu Zheng raised his eyebrows. Do you want to keep it a secret from us too? Zhang Yi insisted. Please forgive me. We don't dare to take any risks. This is not disrespectful to you. After Zhu Zheng was silent for a moment. He nodded. Well. It's just that I'm very curious. The smile on Zhang Yi's lips became even thicker. Zhu Sheng was reminding Zhang Yi that he would investigate the matter. But Zhang Yi swore that Zhu Sheng would not be able to find out in a short time. Because no one can imagine that there is a stranger of Zhang Yi's level in Tianhai City. In the eyes of those in the Jiang'an region. Only they could cultivate top-notch aliens. Even if the aliens in the outer city have high power levels. They are far inferior to Blizzard City in terms of comprehensive aspects. By some strange coincidence. Zhu Xing suddenly had an idea. He said to Zhang Yi that he should come to Blizzard City again in the next two days. There is something you need to do. Zhang Yi's smile froze on his face. Passed again? That. The war has just ended. And we still have many things to be busy with. A smile flashed in Zhu Xing's eyes. As long as you come here by yourself. That's it. He felt more and more that he had underestimated Zhang Yi. There must be some secrets hidden in this boy. So this time in Linhai City. We must take him with us. At the very least. He is extremely good at defense and has the ability to be an elite investigator. So he will definitely be helpful in the past. Zhang Yi rubbed his head. He hated these troubles so much. Can I ask? Why did you call me there? Of course he was going to go. But he also had to know what it was so that he could be prepared. Zhu Zheng took a deep breath and said in a deep voice that the first batch of alien organizations sent to Linhai City were all wiped out. What? How so? Zhang Yi couldn't help blurting out. Those are ten powerful alien organizations. None of the alien organizations that dared to go to Linhai City is too weak. Although Zhang Yi knew that Linhai City was in danger, he could not imagine that in less than three days, they would all be defeated. Corrosive Moon. Is this organization really that strong? Zhu Xing said that next time, we will form a stronger team to deal with these ronin. At that time, an investigation team will be led by you, and you will be responsible for assisting. Zhang Yi took a deep breath, and then said with firm eyes, I understand. I will rush over as quickly as possible. There is no need to think about this matter. That Ronin organization from Nian must be eradicated from this land. Otherwise, everyone's face in the entire Jiangan region will be dull. Zhang Yi may be cautious, but he still has the most basic sense of honor. He didn't go there before because he felt that Jiangan region could be settled, and he wanted to get more information. But now, the seriousness of the problem is beyond his imagination. So he had to go there and contribute his share. Chapter 619 Liang Yu's Question Zhang Yi decided to go to Blizzard City without hesitation. If his strength was needed this time, he would not stay out of it while ensuring his own safety. At the very least, you have to know that those rogues have been completely eliminated before you can feel at ease. Otherwise, this land will never have peace from now on. With the first batch, there will definitely be a second batch and a third batch. As long as an opening is opened, the surrounding forces that are eyeing the continent's resources will swarm in like locusts. Whether it was for the sake of justice or for his own interests, he had to go. Zhu Zheng did not ask Zhang Yi to bring all the elites in Tianhai City. After all, cities also need to leave some strength for defense. But after Zhang Yi thought about it for a while, he decided to bring a few people with him for safety reasons. In case of any situation, it is still convenient for others to use it. So he called everyone in the shelter to gather in the living room. The ten alien organizations sent by the twelve outer cities 
have now all been wiped out by eclipse. Now Jiang and region has called me over. And I plan to take two people with me. Zhang Yi stretched out his hand and pointed at Liang Yu. Liang Yu. This was no surprise to anyone. In the current shelter, Liang Yu was the second most powerful person after Zhang Yi. Although her abilities are only ordinary enhancements, she is a powerful martial arts master. So her combat effectiveness is excellent. Just when everyone was thinking about who would be the second candidate, Zhang Yi hugged Hua Hua over. The second one is naturally Hua Hua. Unexpected, but reasonable. Hua Hua's fighting ability is probably the same as Liang Yu's. Uncle Yu frowned and pointed to his nose. Zhang Yi, what about us? Are you planning to leave us this time and face the danger alone? This is about the honor of my country and my country. As a veteran, I absolutely cannot sit idly by and ignore it. Fatisu hesitated for a moment, then clenched his fists and said that we had dealt with any problems in the past together, and we hope to help you this time too. Zhang Yi stroked Hua Hua's soft fur, and a gentle smile appeared on his face. You mean well? But this is war, not a game of brotherhood. The strength of each of the ten alien organizations sent in the first round was not much different from the base forces in Tianhai City. They are led by Delta-level alien leaders. Even such a huge lineup was completely killed by Ronin. Do you think you can defeat those Neon people in the past? Zhang Yi's eyes swept over Uncle Yu and the others calmly. Uncle Yu's expression was a little gloomy. His superpower level is only at the LV3 Gamma level. In past battles, he has always acted as a human shield. However, as Zhang Yi became stronger and stronger, and Liang Yu and Hua Hua also grew rapidly through their kofagic abilities, his role in the team's combat power became smaller and smaller. This made him feel a little guilty. Fatty Su was okay. He was used to being careless on weekdays. On the battlefield, he was more responsible for controlling the field. He would be happy if he didn't have to fight. Anyway, he's already lying down. If you don't let me fight, boss, I won't. Zhang Yi noticed Uncle Yu's disappointment, thought about it, and changed his words. This time, we just went to understand the situation in Linhai City first. If you need help at that time, I will contact you and let you go. Zhang Yi did have this plan for the people in the three major bases. Although the three major bases have fallen, there are still some powerful aliens still alive, especially Xingtian and Xiao Honglian. Both have delta level strength. But if necessary, he still wanted to put these two people under guard in Tianhai City to avoid accidents. But what Uncle Yu said was just to comfort him. No need for too many words. Among adult men, too much comfort will hurt his self esteem. Only then did Uncle Yu's eyes light up. Well, you must remember to call me over when the time comes. Zhang Yi smiled and said yes. Why do I feel that this operation will be very dangerous? Zhou Kier sat at Zhang Yi's hand with a nice frown on her face, and a worried look on her face. Is the opponent this time so scary? Didn't it mean there were only 13 people? Zhang Yi shook his head silently. I don't have any information about them. So I can't talk about it. But I believe that after this battle, Jiang and Region must have collected their information. When the time comes, go and take a look and you will know. Yang Mi hugged his arm tightly. Her soft body pressed against his, and sighed softly and said, We are going to fight again. I am really worried that something will happen to you. Now, Zhang Yi has become the backbone of everyone in the shelter. Only with Zhang Yi here can they live a stable life. No one wants anything to happen to him. Zhang Yi smiled slightly, put his arms around her soft waist, and felt her graceful figure. After awakening the superpower, use, doctor, the ability to transform her body has made her figure reach the golden ratio. And her hand feel is completely impeccable. Don't worry. I know what to do when the time comes. I, John E, have a rule of life, if I am successful. I will help the world, if I am poor, I will take care of myself. When the time comes, I will act on the premise of protecting myself, and will not act like a hero. And this time, the Jiang and region is taking the lead. And the investigation team will definitely be the main force. We will just cooperate. After a brief explanation, Zhang Yi put on his equipment, and planned to set off immediately. He would communicate with Lan Xinqing and a special train from Blizzard City would come to pick him up. Soon, he left the shelter on a snowmobile with Liang Yu, who was also fully armed. After the car started, Zhang Yi sent messages to Xing Tian, Xiao Honglian and Qin Jingwan, telling them about the situation in Linhai City, and let them be ready to go and provide support at any time. It was impossible for Zhang Yi to charge in the front, and their younger brothers, to enjoy their leisure time in the back. Zhang Yi's side did not allow this to happen. Zhang Yi was on the phone in the front row, 
calmly reminding them to take precautions when he was away. Although all the aliens in Day's city have been wiped out, other cities may not be so honest. Of course, after Zhang Yi went to Blizzard City, the first thing he did was to ask Xu Zheng to promise him that he would not let any force invade Tian Ai City, at least provide safety guarantees during his absence. Only when the safety of the rear is guaranteed can Zhang Yi deal with the Neon Ronin without any worries. Liang Yu was sitting in the passenger seat, with Hua Hua lying on her long legs that had been trained to perfection. Even cats like long, slender and round legs. Liang Yu looked at Zhang Yi's side face from time to time, hesitating to speak. Zhang Yi was naturally able to detect her abnormality. So after ending the call, he put down the satellite phone and asked calmly if there was something wrong with you. You can just say it. Liang Yu frowned slightly and asked without any delay. Zhang Yi, will there come a day when the people around us have no value to you and you will abandon us? Chapter 6 21 hour. Liang Yu's question was not without reason. This time, Zhang Yi only took her and Hua Hua with him to Blizzard City, but refused to take Uncle Yu and others there. Joe Karen. Lu Karen and others can be easily explained. After all, they are auxiliary aliens. But what about Uncle Yu and Su Chunlei? Both of them are fighting type aliens. There is only one reason why Zhang Yi does not take them with him. And that is that their combat power is no longer enough in the battles that Zhang Yi is participating in now. This will inevitably make Liang Yu, who is also a team member, worried. After Zhang Yi listened to Liang Yu's question, a playful smile appeared on his lips. He did not answer Liang Yu's question directly, but asked Teacher Liang, Do you think I am the kind of person who is eager to build a strong force and continuously develop his own team? Liang Yu blinked. Isn't it? Zhang Yi decisively replied. Of course not. Indeed, from the end of the world until now, it seems that our team has grown in size. But I have never planned to create a large force and then dominate it in the end. He glanced at Liang Yu. Otherwise, I can integrate all the power of Tian Hai City at any time now. Do you think I did this? Liang Yu looked thoughtful. You didn't do that. Even after accepting people from the three major bases as his subordinates. Zhang Yi had no intention of managing them. This really doesn't seem like something an ambitious person should do. Zhang Yi said lightly that when the end of the world first came, I kept gathering talents because I had no ability to protect myself. Everyone can survive well by hugging each other for warmth. At that time, my criteria for selecting team members were indeed very utilitarian. But now, the most difficult years have passed. And you and I are no longer simply using each other. Zhang Yi looked at Liang Yu and his eyes became gentle. We are family now. How can a family dislike who is less useful? Even if you can't do anything. As long as you can accompany me. That's enough. Zhang Yi's eyes were full of sincerity. Which relieved Liang Yu. Who had some grudges in his heart. She nodded and that's fine. In fact. I have already regarded everyone as my own family. I hope we can all live well in the end of the world. Zhang Yi smiled and nodded. That's right. So you are not allowed to have such thoughts in the future. How can a family doubt each other? Liang Yu lowered his head in embarrassment because I was thinking too much. Feel sorry, Zhang Yisen said. I am not a devil. In essence, Zhang Yi considers himself to be just an ordinary person. He's not very good, and he doesn't have much evil either. All he wants is to survive peacefully in the apocalypse. It would be better if he could have a group of warm companions. People always need a little spiritual comfort. Therefore, even if Uncle Yu and the others cannot help Zhang Yi in the future, Zhang Yi's superficial attitude towards them will not change. Having a group of people you can trust to accompany you is extremely valuable in the last days. Zhang Yi and Liang Yu arrived at Xiamayashin subway station. He put away the snowmobile and then came to the platform to wait for the special train to pick him up. The patent arrived on time as agreed. It was still the familiar female robot flight attendant, smiling and asking them to take a seat. Zhang Yi and Liang Yu walked into the special train, while Hua Hua squatted on Zhang Yi's shoulder as usual. This time, since there was no need to pick up people in other cities along the way. It only took less than two hours to reach Blizzard City. Zhang Yi and Liang Yu got off the bus. The platform was quiet, with only a few soldiers guarding them with guns. But Zhang Yi met some old friends. Bailey Chan Ching, the current captain of the Black Robe Investigation Team, as well as old acquaintances Wu Di and Ming Siyu. The three of them were all dressed in sharp black combat uniforms. After seeing Zhang Yi, Bailey Chan Ching and Ming Si both had smiles on their faces. Although Wu Di still looked timid, the look in his eyes still revealed a hint of awe when he looked at Zhang Yi. After all, Zhang Yi defeated him head on while suppressing his strength last time. Ha ha ha. Zhang Yi. Welcome to Blizzard City. You've come at the right time. 
Bailey Chanqing laughed and walked over, giving Zhang Yi a bear hug. Zhang Yi asked in surprise why did you come here? The captain of one of the six major investigation teams actually came to greet him in person, which made Zhang Yi somewhat strange. When did he become so proud? Bailey Chanqing let go of Zhang Yi, smiled and said that Zhu Shui asked me to come and pick you up. To be honest, I'm a little surprised that you actually agreed to join this operation. Zhang Yi suddenly realized that his elimination of the alien alliance in Dei's city must have attracted Zhu Jing's attention. After listening to Bailey Chengqing's words, Zhang Yi just smiled flatly. Do you think it's possible for me to refuse? The smile on Bailey Chengqing's lips became even thicker. That's different. Zhu Shui said that you were very cooperative this time and immediately agreed to come. Zhang Yi took a deep breath. This is not a strange thing, right? Even if I am facing an invasion from a foreign enemy, I can't be alone. Right? Zhang Yi is not stupid. Bailey Chanqing nodded in approval. And then sighed. You are right. The trouble this time is indeed more serious than we imagined. Mentioning this, Zhang Yi couldn't help but look serious. What exactly is going on? Is the Eclipse group that strong? Can actually destroy 10 alien troops? Bailey Chanqing said in a deep voice. It's much more serious than you think. Not to mention you. Even Zhu Shui was shocked when he heard what happened at that time. The power of the Eclipse reveals a strangeness within it. Do you know how long it took them to deal with those ten alien troops? How long did Zhang Yi stare at him? One hour. Bailey Chanqing said word for word. What? Zhang Yi was shocked. One hour. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Even if Bian Zhenwu led all the members of the Black Robe team, it would be impossible for them to do it at their peak. Because there are too many uncertainties in war. Without knowing anything about the enemy, you need to carefully test and allocate troops reasonably to fight. If this battle was a black robe team versus 10 alien teams, Zhang Yi would have to spend 10 days and a half trying to figure out what to do. The same is true even when the border troops use Nirvana. Because when your abilities are exposed, others will take corresponding measures to deal with it. Even if you lose, you won't be allowed to kill everyone within an hour like a pig. Right? Let's talk as we walk along the evergreen road. Let's go to the bar and have a good chat. Zhang Yi raised his eyebrows and asked curiously, Shouldn't I be allowed to go directly to see Zhu Shui? He must have a mission when he comes here. Zhu Zheng asked Bailey Chanqing to pick him up. But Bailey Chanqing took him to drink? Chapter 621 Doubts Bailey Chanqing smiled and said, Don't worry yet. This time, Zhu Shui was really angry. He has summoned many experts from the entire Jiangan region. And you are not the only one. Moreover, this mobilization also needs to be discussed with other high-level officials in the region. As for the specific situation, I don't know much about it either. Bailey Chanqing spreads his hands. You should understand that I am just a combatant. A strange color flashed in Zhang Yi's eyes. Just a combatant? I'm afraid it's not that simple. To put it bluntly, Bailey Chanqing's strength is still far behind the level of Bian Junwu and Deng Shitong. Although he was reluctantly promoted and served as the captain of the Black Robe team, but others may not recognize his identity. Zhang Yi didn't say anything. Just nodded. Let's go! Bailey Chanqing and Zhang Yi walked in front, while the others followed behind. After leaving the subway station, they got on the evergreen car and soon arrived at the cipher bar. Bailey Chanqing has her own box here. This was not the first time that Dong Yi came here. After entering the room, he sat on the orange sofa in the middle very familiarly. Crossing his legs, Liang Yi took Long Ming on her arm and took a curious look at the surrounding scene, and sat down not far from Zhang Yi. Bailey Chanqing called the waiter, and ordered two bottles of whiskey for himself. Wu Di and Meng Ziyu also ordered their drinks. Zhang Yi, and Miss Liang Yu, what do you want to drink? Zhang Yi reached out, and stroked Hua Hua's saw fur. I want two glasses of milk. Evergreen. Wu Di couldn't help but complain, did you go to the bar to drink milk? Zhang Yi raised his head, and looked at him. Zhu Shui might summon me at any time. Do you want me to go see him smelling of alcohol? Bailey Chanqing said with a smile that's what he said. But you may not know that Zhu Shui also often has a drink. After all, the weather is too cold. And liquor has become an important drink for people. Liang Yu said lightly, I want a cup of oolong tea. Bailey Chanqing asked the waiter to serve the wine. After the waiter closed the door, Bailey Chanqing stopped the smile on his face. Sat up straight and chatted with him about Linhai City. The situation in Linhai City is very complicated. If this were not the case, Zhu Shui and other senior officials would not be so cautious in deploying troops. Regarding the Eclipse group, we actually collected some information through our own intelligence channels. They are very strong. 
and each one of them is a Delta level alien. When I was in Neon, I was in the Kanto area. Even the highest institution in the Kanto area, Izumo, there is no good solution for them. But even so, it was absolutely impossible for them to wipe out 10 alien troops so easily without any preparation. Zhang Yi frowned and felt a chill on his back. Are you saying that there is a spy in Blizzard City? Revealed all our actions to them? Bailey Chongqing also frowned and said slowly that this possibility is not impossible. But it is not very likely. After the end of the world, in order to prevent someone from attacking Blizzard City through information channels, the headquarters adopted the most top-notch information defense methods. The combat center is one of the most important departments in Blizzard City. And its security level is S-level. No one can leak the news from there silently. Zhang Yi took a deep breath and said in a solemn tone. But if they hadn't completely mastered the intelligence of the 10 alien troops, they would never have been able to eliminate them so easily. This is where we get confused. Bailey Chongqing crossed his arms and said in a deep voice, Don't forget, this is a great era full of mutant creatures. None of us know what kind of alien abilities the other party has. Perhaps, this is the ability possessed by someone from the other team. Zhang Yi's breathing was a little heavy. You mean, the ability to predict the future? If they really have this ability, what will they use to fight this battle? No matter what you do, they can predict the trajectory of all your actions. It's like playing rock, paper, scissors. But you have to go first. Bailey Chongqing rubbed his head. Now it is just a guess. And we have no conclusive evidence to prove it. But I don't think it's that exaggerated. If they really had that kind of ability, they could take down all the alien organizations in Neon. Why come across the sea? John Yi folded his arms and sneered. Speaking of which, the intelligence collection was not sufficient. Bailey Chongqing said that he couldn't say that. We have already paid a heavy enough price to obtain their information. The smile at the corner of Zhang Yi's mouth slowly disappeared, and then turned into contempt. The prices you mentioned are referring to the first 10 alien organizations that applied to go to Linhai City. Right? Bailey Chongqing seemed to have remembered at this moment that Zhang Yi was also the leader of the forces in the outer city. Perhaps it's because Zhang Yi is so strong that Bailey Chongqing always lets Bailey Chongqing see him separately from other strangers from outside the city. This, there is nothing that can be done about it. Bailey Chongqing smiled bitterly. Zhang Yi shrugged. It didn't matter. It didn't have much to do with me anyway. Speaking of which, I would like to thank you for reminding me. Zhang Yi has no objection to the actions of Zhu Sheng and other Blizzard City executives. This is war. If a chess player wants to win the championship, it is impossible to keep every chess piece. Some chess pieces must be sacrificed. As long as it's not Zhang Yi who is sacrificed. It doesn't matter. Zhang Yi's heart became more vigilant. Although he came with the intention of driving away foreign enemies, he would never agree to being used as cannon fodder. Suddenly, another idea emerged in Zhang Yi's mind. Bailey, do you think there are people at the Epsilon level among their people? Bailey Chongqing was silent for a moment. And even Wu Di and others couldn't help but look sideways. Epsilon, these four words have great magic power. During the battle in Tianhai City, they had already seen how terrifying it was. If Eclipse really exists, then it would be much more reasonable to kill 10 alien teams in one instant. But Bailey Chongqing decisively denied this statement. Not at all. Videos from the battlefield were relayed back. And we clearly saw the rogues taking action. Although their strength is good, they are definitely not up to the level of Epsilon. Zhang Yi nodded. If that was the case, there would be something to do. Those were Ronin. Not girls with little fighting experience like Yuan Kongya. If Epsilon really existed, even if Zhang Yi passed by, the possibility of death would not exist. Chapter 622, Phoenix Academy's Provocation Zhang Yi and Bailey Chongqing chatted and inquired about the situation in Linhai City, especially the information about the eclipse. He has already felt that if there is no accident, he must go to the battlefield. At this time, you have to collect as much information as possible. Bailey Chongqing didn't know much about the situation in Linhai City. The real core information is only in the hands of senior officials such as Zhu Zheng and Tu Yulai. But seeing Zhang Yi's serious look, he smiled and encouraged, Actually, you don't need to worry too much. For this operation, you people mobilized from outer cities are just assisting. If it weren't for the lack of manpower in the investigation team, there wouldn't even be a need for you to come. Zhang Yi looked at Bailey Chongqing curiously. Will you go there? Bailey Chongqing's eyes were a little gloomy, and he shook his head. It said that if we have not recovered from our injuries from the last mission, we should not participate in this operation. The battle with Yuan Kongya left serious injuries to everyone in the Black Rogue team. But this reason is obviously perfunctory. 
with Blizzard City's medical conditions. Most people have long since recovered from their injuries. For example, Wu Di is very lively now. To put it bluntly, it is not that the Border Army is dead and Evergreen cannot support this team. At least, he couldn't take on a task of this difficulty. But you don't have to worry. If there are no accidents, the God team will take over this mission. If they take action, they have never failed. Bailey Chongqing smiled. The doorbell rang outside, and the waiter brought drinks. Zhang Yi took two glasses of milk, one for Hua Hua and one for himself. It can be seen that you trust them. While drinking milk, he stared at Bailey Chongqing, waiting for him to say more. Bailey Chongqing said that although no one among the six major investigation teams was convinced by the other, it was difficult to distinguish between them. But the God team is indeed the one with the highest degree of mission completion. They have consistently ranked first among the six survey teams in terms of points earned. Wu Di couldn't help but said, Isn't it because their family has money? Zhang Yi could hardly help but laugh. He wiped the smile from the corner of his mouth and said, You mean? He relies on the resources of the Ding family. Right. Bailey Chongqing nodded. Yes. The Ding family itself is an important force in Blizzard City. Blizzard City relies heavily on them for its technology. Especially biotechnology. Origin bombs and various compounds that can strengthen aliens are all from their Ding group. As a direct descendant of the Ding family, Ding Shatong was naturally the target of their full cultivation. Zhang Yi drank the milk silently, and he smelled an unusual smell. Why does it sound a bit like creating a god? If Ding Shatong maintains this state, his prestige may even overshadow the other six teams in the future. He might even become Zhu Xing's successor. Zhang Yi murmured to himself. This topic is somewhat sensitive. But what the Ding family did was too obvious. And many people knew it. Bailey Chongqing even said without hesitation that Blizzard City now relies heavily on the Ding family. Although Zhu Shui is the supreme commander of Blizzard City, he still needs to give some face to the patriarch of the Ding family. It's not surprising that they want to take advantage of the troubled times to gain more benefits. After Bailey Chongqing finished speaking, he suddenly laughed and raised the whiskey in his hand. Ha ha ha. What do these things have to do with us warriors? No matter who is in power. As long as he can make everyone live comfortably. We can just follow orders. Drink. Drink. Zhang Yi picked up the milk in his hand with a smile and drank it. Zhang Yi finished the milk in his hand. And Bailey Chongqing also drank a large glass of whiskey happily. It can be seen that he has a good drinking capacity. When Zhang Yi arrived in Blizzard City, a meeting with only a few people was taking place in the high-rise conference room of the Combat Center building. Zhu Zheng, the Supreme Commander of Jiangnan Region, Lan Xingqing, Secretary of the Commander's Office, and Sun Lushuan, the guard who is almost inseparable from Zhu Zheng. In addition to these three people, the next ones are Tu Yulai, the Director of the Operations Department, Deng Yuanbua, the Chairman of the Deng Group, and Deng Shantong, the Captain of the Tianshan Team. These people are the most powerful people in the entire Jiangnan Region. Except for the four captains of the investigation team, who are on missions outside. And today they are gathered together just because of one person. A person who was released by the Eclipse organization the leader of Yunzhou forces. Li Tianlong. In the first battle, all ten forces sent there were destroyed. And Li Tianlong was the only one left alive. But when he returned to Blizzard City, he quickly lost his life. But from the satellite phone on his body, he found something that the Eclipse organization had given to Blizzard City. The boss of the Eclipse organization, the man who wears a gray newsboy hat and likes to wear a gray suit and vest, gave it to Blizzard City. This important information was delivered to Zhu Zheng immediately. And this is why Zhu Zheng summoned so many high-level officials from Blizzard City. At this time, the lights in the conference room were turned off. The huge screen lit up. And then the face of Phoenix Yuan appeared. The bosses sitting at attention below all wanted to see what this arrogant Ronin leader wanted to do. After the video played for a few seconds, the man in his 30s smiled brightly at the camera and waved H. Low. Note, Phoenix Academy speaks neon language. But the senior officials all wear translation tools. Hi. Everyone in Jiangnan region. Hello you all. Nice to meet you. I'm Phoenix and Jean. The leader of the Eclipse team. Nice to meet you all. Recently, we seem to have had some minor conflicts which really makes us both unhappy. He put his hands down and made a serious expression on his face. I think we should all calm down at this point. In fact, we should not become enemies because continuing to fight will do neither of us any good. He held up a finger, a sly, cold gleam in his eyes. What we want is just a piece of land for us to survive in the area you call the Central Plains. 
Anyway, so many people in your country have died. And such a huge land cannot be used up. Why not take some out and give them to us poor wanderers? Of course, we will also be very grateful for your kindness and will remember your great kindness forever. So don't let this farce continue. As long as you withdraw all your soldiers, promise not to attack us in the future and give us a piece of land. Then, we will no longer massacre people on this land. Phoenix Inner narrowed his eyes and smiled like a fox. Please think carefully and I'm waiting for your response. But if we continue to fight, I believe you have seen what the consequences will be. Those alien troops before were the best examples. Chapter 623 High Level Meeting The video basically ends here. And everyone in the conference room has very ugly expressions. No one is surprisingly angry. These damn Ronin have such great ambitions to go to the land of China to claim territory. Boom! Xu Zheng slapped the table on the spot. As a soldier, his eyes almost burst into flames. So outrageous. These rogues are so brave. They dare to run wild on our Chinese territory. They must be eliminated on the spot, leaving no one behind. Deng Shitong stood up, his slender body and determined eyes both revealing his confidence. Zhu Shui, let me lead the team to destroy them. Give me a day, and I will come to you holding their heads. Zhu Zheng looked at Deng Shitong with a look of approval in his eyes. Young people are motivated. But at this moment, a cough sounded in the conference room. Cough, cough, cough. This voice made Zhu Zhengdu look sideways. Deng Yuanbo, chairman of the Deng Group and uncle of Deng Shitong, put down his right hand and said with a smile, Why bother dealing with these Ronin? Used directly. Death of love. Wouldn't it be okay to lock and bomb them? He is a bit short in stature. He is in his fifties. But he looks younger than his actual age. His smooth skin does not even have any wrinkles. But that Buddha-like face always has a slight smile. Which makes people think of. Peace brings money. After four words. No one could see the change in expression on his face. He is the head of the Deng family. Deng Yuanbo. Known as the Eight-Faced Buddha. In the field of technology in Blizzard City. The Deng group provided at least half of the help. Even Zhu Zheng had to give him some face. After Deng Shitong heard Deng Yuanbo's words. He immediately said anxiously. Uncle. They are just some rogues. Why bother to mobilize troops like this? Isn't it? Okay. If I take people there and just kill them? Deng Yuanbo glanced at him with a smile and gently pressed his hand. Magical power. Don't get excited yet. Sit down. Sit down. Hey, you young people are really easy to get into trouble when things happen. Why not use your brain to think about it first? Deng Shitong still listened to his uncle's words and sat down honestly. But from the dissatisfied expression on his face and the fingers tapping on the table, it can be seen that he still wants to fight Eclipse. Zhu Zheng looked at Deng Yuanbo and said with a smile, Mr. Deng, the death of love is not something that can be used casually. He put his hands behind his back and said seriously that our Jiangnan region has a limited number of deaths of love. And every time it is used, it must be explained to other regions. The most important thing is that if we are just to deal with a small group of rogues, we will use this kind of big killer weapon on our own land. Wouldn't that mean to tell others that there is no one in our Jiangnan region? I'm afraid the whole world will laugh at us then. Deng Yuanbo smiled and shook his head. Compared with face, I think lighting is more important. We haven't fully figured out the strength of this Ronin organization yet. Although the ten alien organizations are all aliens from the outer city. If there are too many ants, they can kill an elephant. Not to mention they are a pack of hyenas. But such a powerful force was completely destroyed by Eclipse in just one hour. I think it would be difficult for even our investigation team to do this kind of thing. Deng Yuanbo's attitude is also very clear. This mission was too dangerous. And he didn't want his nephew to take risks. Deng Shitong is a key talent cultivated by the Deng family. And he has high hopes for the future. The son of a rich man cannot sit down in the hall. Even in previous missions, the Deng family would use all their strength every time to obtain enough information before taking action. But the current situation is that Jiangnan region has too little information about the eclipse. Deng Yuanbo was worried. At this time, Chief of Operations Tu Yunlai also spoke. I don't think Eclipse is stronger than the investigation team. According to our investigation, Eclipse Moon comes from Neon Kanto, and its components are complex. These include mafia workers, mafia workers, and even students and squatters at home. Even though they have awakened their powers, they have not received the same professional training as the investigation team. This can be seen from the previous video. When we look at laypeople, it is easy for them to appear to be strong. However, this is not the case. In terms of combat literacy, 
the celestial team completely surpassed them. Zhu Zheng also said that this time, it was not just the members of the god team who acted. I also transferred some of the best aliens from the outer city to cooperate with them. These people, plus the Tianshan team, also have the assistance of our entire Jiangnan region. Taking down these Ronin will definitely not be a problem. Ding Yuanbo could only smile when he saw Zhu Zheng speaking so solemnly. Although as the head of the Ding family, he has a certain identity and status in Blizzard City. He cannot openly oppose Zhu Zheng. However, he put forward another suggestion very tactfully. In that case, can other members of the investigation team be brought back first to participate in this operation? Lan Xingqing pushed up his gold-rimmed glasses and said calmly that demon reincarnation and other investigation teams were performing very important tasks. In terms of mission level, I'm afraid it won't be much lower than Lenhai City. The Jiangnan region is too big. Nowadays, we are leveling the mountains and rivers and clearing away the internal and external chaos. I don't know how busy it is. No one can be idle. Deng Shitong immediately frowned when he heard the names of other investigation teams. No need to wait for them to come back. For this mission, our god team will attack. If we had waited for them to come back, I'm afraid these guys would have run away long ago. There is a vague competition between the six major investigation teams. And they all hope to be the leader of the six major investigation teams. And Deng Shitong, the noble young master, cares about reputation very much. If word got out that he had to ask other investigation teams to assist him in his mission, wouldn't it make people laugh? Deng Yuanbo frowned slightly and glanced at his nephew, feeling helpless. But before he could say anything, Zhu Zheng made his decision directly. You are right. Time waits for no one. It would be terrible if these guys went to other cities and caused massacres in other cities. The Celestial team will be responsible for this mission. We must end this farce quickly. Even if they know there are risks, they still have to do some things. The purpose of the investigation team's existence is not to allow them to perform tasks that are 100% safe, but to use their own strength and blood to create a bright future for this land. Deng Shitong said firmly, Commander! Zhu Zheng looked at him with a stern expression, but his eyes were somewhat soft. After the strangers from the outer city arrive, you have to meet them. After all, they are cooperating with you. Deng Shitong touched his chin and suddenly asked Zhang Yi from Tianhai City, is this action coming? Zhu Zheng smiled and nodded. His name was indeed on the list. Chapter 624, Living in the Same Room. Zhang Yi chatted with Bailey Chan Qing in the password bar and learned some about the changes in Linhai City. He already has some calculations in his mind. This operation still takes his personal safety as the first criterion. While ensuring your own safety, kill as many Ronin as possible. After all, there are only 13 people in Eclipse Moon. And Zhang Yi knows very well that they are able to cause chaos in Linhai City only because they have no power to restrain them. The territory under the jurisdiction of the Jiangnan region is too large. And it is impossible to concentrate a large number of troops to deal with them. Otherwise, if the six major investigation teams and 5,000 Yin Yue take action, even if the number of eclipses increases several times, there will be no possibility of winning. Therefore, the end of this farce is inevitable. But the process is still unpredictable. It is impossible for Eclipse to be stupid enough to fight Jiangnan region to the end. If they choose to escape or keep wandering around the Jiangnan area, that will be the most troublesome problem. Except for Blizzard City, the headquarters of Jiangnan region. There are almost no cities in Jiangnan region that can compete with them. After all, it was an organization that assembled the most vicious thugs in Kanto. But except for Tianhai City, if they went to Zhang Yi's territory, they wouldn't be able to get even half a cent. It's just that Zhang Yi doesn't want to see that kind of result. In the afternoon, Zhang Yi received a notification from Lan Xingqing. Inform him to go to the combat center tomorrow morning to attend a combat meeting. Zhang Yi burst into laughter after seeing the news. I thought Zhu Shui would talk to me alone. It seems that I am overthinking it. He shrugged at Evergreen. This is a good thing. It shows that Zhu Zheng doesn't care too much about his existence. And Zhang Yi is happy not to be noticed. Bailey Chanqing laughed. This time, the people summoned from the outer city were all top-notch experts. It's not just you. It's not easy for Zhu Shui to meet one by one. It's more convenient for everyone to chat together. His eyes flashed. After all, this time, something very important and complicated was involved. You don't know a lot of information. And I have to explain it to you one by one. Johnny nodded. That's fine. He is also very interested in the top players in the outer city. There were too many people here last time and he couldn't tell which ones were strong or weak. And this time, 
due to the special nature of the mission. It must be a master with superior strength. It's also good to talk to them. When Zhang Yi was thinking like this, he unconsciously forgot one thing his strength was top-notch in the entire Jiangnan region. This is Zhang Yi's old problem. His overly cautious attitude made him accustomed to paying attention to others. However, since Xu Zheng does not see him today, then, Zhang Yi reached out and knocked on the black plexiglass table, smiled and said to Bailey Chongqing, Let's have some drinks together. Bailey Chongqing smiled and pressed the service bell. Okay, let's have a good drink today. Zhang Yi has always had a good drinking capacity. And he and Bailey Chongqing drank a lot of bottles that night. Meng Siyu's cheeks were red. Her figure was swaying. And she had difficulty walking. Woody came over carrying two bottles. His eyes blazing to avenge Zhang Yi. Although he lost to Zhang Yi in the fight. He wanted to regain his place at the wine table. But this time, he lost even worse. Even Liang Yu, who had always been silent, was pulled by Meng Siyu to drink some. It wasn't until midnight that Bailey Chongqing drove Zhang Yi and the others to an apartment hosting strangers from outside the city. I don't know whether it was intentional or accidental, but Bailey Chongqing only opened one room for them. Liang Yu drank less wine, and his head was still clear. She looked at Zhang Yi lying on the bed, and then realized that the two of them were in the same room. And she couldn't help but blush slightly. Just when she was about to get another room, Zhang Yi suddenly sat up from the bed. Although his eyes were a little wandering, his mind was still clear. That little bit of wine wouldn't make him drunk. With Zhang Yi's character, it's impossible for him to really get drunk in a strange place. Are they all gone? Zhang Yi yawned and asked. Liang Yi bit her lip, put the long knife aside, and said leisurely before leaving, Are you pretending to be drunk? That's not the case. Zhang Yi said lightly, Even if I am drunk, my head is still clear. He did drink a lot, but only at the beginning. Later, when Wu Diha came up to fight with him, Zhang Yi secretly used his ability in different dimensions to pour most of the wine in. He took out a bottle of milk from another space and asked Liang Yu to help her heat it up with a hot water bottle. Then Zhang Yi sat on the sofa in the room, waved, and Hua Hua jumped up and sat cross-legged on his lap. Zhang Yi was stroking Hua Hua while leaning on the sofa and thinking about the information he had obtained today. His eyes were sharp and sparkled with wisdom. This time, the region summoned the top aliens from the outer city. Instead of summoning all forces like last time, this means that the tactics have begun to change. Instead of using the advantage of numbers to carry out encirclement and annihilation battles, elite teams are used. In other words, is the advantage of numbers useless? Zhang Yi narrowed his eyes slightly. This approach is indeed correct. After the aliens reach the delta level, especially the combat type aliens, their power has far exceeded the scope of human understanding. Even the vast majority of light thermal weapons can be ignored. In such a state, low-level aliens and ordinary humans, even well-trained warriors, would find it difficult to function in front of them. After the ten alien organizations were destroyed, the Jiangnan region realized this and began to change the way it fought. Next, the team will be led by the gods, and the aliens from the outer city will most likely assist in the battle. Then what are the responsibilities of myself and other strangers from the outer city? Cannon fodder? Johnny whispered these two words in his mouth but he soon shook his head and denied the idea. If you want cannon fodder, a large number of ordinary aliens and elite warriors are the best choice. And this time, the people transferred here are definitely stronger than the aliens from the first batch of the top 10 alien organizations. Although our overall combat capabilities are not as good as those of Blizzard City's professional team, we are strangers from outside the city, but personal combat capabilities may not be much weaker than them. According to some information previously obtained, Eclipse has only 13 members. Either way, we're outnumbered. Therefore, the district's consideration is to let us contain those people. Then create opportunities for the celestial team? Liang Yi warmed the milk and handed it to Zhang Yi. I wonder, are we just going to make sure those rogues don't escape? After all, once they find something wrong, they are likely to run away. Hunting them down is much harder than annihilating them. Chapter 625 Heartbeat Pounding Zhang Yi nodded, took the bottle, and took a sip of warm milk. After drinking wine, drinking this again really makes people feel a lot warmer and more comfortable in their stomach. Yes, it is easy to decide the winner, but this is a war, and others will not open up a battle line and fight you to death. They will use all kinds of tricks, and they will run away if you can't defeat them. He suddenly thought of an interesting fable and looked at Liang Yi with a smile. Teacher Liang, I want to ask you a question. What would you do 
if a rat ran into the ammunition depot with fire in its mouth. Leon you blinked. And she quickly reacted. This is a very classic story. From movies and TV series from decades ago. Then let the cat chase it with water in its mouth. She said with a smile. We are cats and the eclipse is the mouse. Johnny smiled and asked. But in this story, what are water and fire? Leon Yu frowned slightly. She was a little confused by this question. Fire should refer to the various negative impacts they bring. As long as they exist, the region will not be stable internally and externally. People will think that our Jiangnan region is incompetent. As for water, I don't know. Water is used to extinguish fires. How does Jiangnan region plan to deal with these prodigals? How does she know? Zhang Yi took a deep breath. Maybe. This water is us. Us? I. Not very understanding. Liang Yi was confused. Zhang Yi rubbed Wawa's head vigorously. We acted together with the Tianshan team. The main force was naturally the Tianshan team. Then, we may be the objects for sacrifice. If possible, I believe that the higher-ups at the regional headquarters would not mind exchanging our lives for the demise of the Eclipse group. Do you think so? This is Zhang Yi's biggest concern. He doesn't mind facing danger and taking on the Eclipse. But he doesn't want to be cannon fodder either. Liang Yu's eyes were shaking wildly. She wanted to say something. But when the words came to her lips, she didn't know how to speak. Indeed, according to common sense, this is the case. I don't think there's anything wrong with Jiang and region doing that. Even on the battlefield, there will be methods of luring the enemy deep into the enemy's territory, allowing some soldiers to be sacrificed as bait. This is how war is. In order to achieve overall victory, small soldiers and even large vehicles can be sacrificed. Everything is for the final victory. But, Johnny emphasized his tone a little more. He lowered his head and stroked Hua Hua, feeling the soft warmth of its fur, which had always been his favorite. I'm not that great. Especially with you and Hua Hua. We need to be even more careful when we are together. No matter what happens, you have to remember one thing. We must put our own safety first. Once you find that your life is in danger, flee to a safe location as soon as possible. After Liang Yi listened, he was silent for a moment. She suddenly raised her head and asked Zhang Yi seriously whether he would do this even if the mission failed because of our escape. Zhang Yi glanced at her with amusement and ridicule. Do you take yourself too seriously? If Jiang and region really wants to eliminate the eclipse moon, it can do anything. It's just that they are weighing whether the price they have to pay is worth it. There is even a possibility. If the price they need to pay is too high, they may not negotiate with Eclipse to allow them to survive on this land. These are the last days, and everyone has their own interests that need to be protected. Even the top executives of Blizzard City will definitely not be an exception. Liang Yu was shocked and said excitedly that this is impossible. If you do something like that, you will be reviled by everyone in the world. But Zhang Yi said with a smile that since the day Blizzard City convened a meeting of all alien organizations in the Jiangnan region to establish the Super Federation, it meant that Blizzard City was unable to govern the entire region. This is not just the current situation in this land, but the whole world. China's national power is strong, and it can still maintain the stability of the six major regions. In other areas, many areas are falling apart, and there are many different forces, large and small. Even Neon itself is divided into Kansai's. Pelican. And Kanto. Izumo. Two major organizations. And there are many more below. Such as. Eclipse Moon. Such undercurrents are surging. With the intention of defeating the alien organization. Conflict and chaos will become more frequent with the emergence and growth of strangers. To use the classic words of the three kingdoms. It is the general trend of the world. If it is divided for a long time. It will unite. And if it is united for a long time, it will divide. Zhang Yi had already been prepared in his heart. However, although Liang Yu experienced a lot of changes in his temperament after experiencing previous changes, it is difficult to change a person's nature. Zhang Yi must make it clear to her to prevent her from getting angry at the critical moment. After all, this wasn't the first time she took risks because of her excessive enthusiasm. Liang Yu was not as good at talking as Zhang Yi. She pursed her lips. And after being silent for a long time, she folded her arms and said, Everything is your fault. Got it. Anyway, whatever you ask me to do when the time comes, I will do it. She teaches physical education. She was very good at using the knife. But it was a bit difficult to ask her to use her brain. Zhang Yi nodded with satisfaction. That's right. Zhang Yi looked at her and then at Huawa, who was purring on his lap and looking like she was enjoying herself. He felt that such a partner was really great. Strong in combat and obedient. 
It couldn't be any better. Thinking of the meeting tomorrow. John he said. Okay. It's getting late. Let's go to bed early. As he said this, he stood up with Huawei in his arms, planning to take a shower and sleep. Liang Yu's face suddenly turned red. Stop. Rest. Zhang Yi blinked and then remembered that Bailey Chan Ching had only opened one room for them. I don't know if I drank too much and forgot about this. Perhaps Bailey Chan Ching felt that their relationship was unusual. Damn it. It's already this hour. And the apartment management staff has already taken a break. Zhang Yi touched his chin, feeling a little troubled. The conscience of heaven and earth. This was not his intention. At that time, he was full of thoughts about dealing with the eclipse of the moon and did not think of it at all. Liang Yu's face turned red with embarrassment. She forced herself to calm down, twisted the door handle, and planned to go out. I'd better go out first. Zhang Yi said calmly behind her that it was so cold outside at night. Do you want to freeze to death? Besides, if you don't take a good rest today and attend such an important meeting tomorrow, aren't you trying to make a fool of yourself? Liang Yi lowered her head and sounded like a mosquito. But, there's only one room. How can I sleep there? Dong Yi took a look at the bed in the room. It was a large double bed. This bed is quite big. So it doesn't matter if you squeeze it a little bit. Chapter 626 Strange Couple Of course Liang Yu didn't dare to squeeze into the same bed as Zhang Yi. At their age, it is normal for a gun to go off accidentally. Zhang Yi was okay. He didn't lack it on weekdays. But it was Liang Yu himself. Ahem. Just don't mention it. There was no other way. Zhang Yi had to let her sleep on the bed while he rested on the sofa in the living room. He is quite gentlemanly among his own people. Johnny got up early the next morning. He didn't get a particularly good rest this night. At least, he couldn't sleep until he woke up naturally like he did at home. When he thought about the trouble he was about to face next, he also felt worried. Everything is unknown. And the unknown is the scariest thing. After washing up in the morning, he sat in the living room and turned on the TV. Jiang and region also has its own TV channel. After all, the city is still functioning normally. TV entertainment programs are the cheapest form of entertainment for Blizzard City residents. But basically don't even think about new programs. All you can watch are past film and television works. But every day, Jiangnan TV station broadcasts news. Zhang Yi turned on the TV and watched JNTV One's morning news. In the camera, the female anchor is a girl with long hair and a sweet smile. Compared to the past, today's anchors dress much more openly. You can even clearly see her unquenchable desires, which he would have never dared to think about in the past. But Zhang Yi can also understand. This method is also a means of comforting residents, especially the vast number of men who do not have partners. On April 26th, the Ronin organization Neon, which crossed the sea from Neon, has been fully monitored by the district. Their movements are completely within our field of vision. At present, the headquarters has launched a combat meeting to assemble superior forces to annihilate this invader in one fell swoop. The outdoor temperature has risen slightly today, and the daytime temperature can reach as high as minus 52 degrees Celsius. Residents are asked to take measures to keep warm. Johnny watched with gusto, although the content was dull and boring. And it was true and false. It was still live news, and he hadn't seen it in a long time. You can vaguely feel the flavor of peaceful times. Soon, Liang Yu also got up, and she came to the living room. When she thought about being in the same room with Zhang Yi last night, she bit her lip, feeling a little complicated. I didn't expect Zhang Yi to be so honest at night. Could it be that she is not attractive enough? Although in terms of appearance, she is a bit worse than Zhou Kier and Yang Mi. But in other aspects, she is even better. For example, martial arts and the like. Liang Yi was startled by the thoughts in his mind and quickly shook his head to throw away the thoughts. In fact, this is no wonder for her the huge pressure caused by the external environment, coupled with her age at this time, will inevitably make her have thoughts about the few and outstanding men around her. Zhang Yi saw her and said age, low to wake up. Wait a moment. Would you like something to eat? Zhang Yi was referring to the food stored in his different space. As for the meals provided in the apartment, they will not be delivered until 7 o'clock. Zhang Yi never eats those things. There was no way. Blizzard City's supplies were limited, and it was impossible to provide them with a sumptuous meal. Leon Yu shook his head. I'm not hungry yet. She came over and sat a little far away from Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi didn't notice anything unusual. He still sat on the sofa and watched TV boredly. However, at this time, his heart was not as peaceful as it seemed on the surface. He was both nervous 
and looking forward to the upcoming meeting. After a while, a service staff came over with a dining cart to deliver food to them. The breakfast is quite generous. The standard configuration is two boiled eggs, a cup of soy milk, a plate of side dishes, and two meat and vegetable buns. It was still piping hot when it was delivered, making you want to take a few bites. However, Zhang Yi fluently put them into the different space, and then took out a table of delicious food from the different space to share with Liang Yu. At 8.30 in the morning, he received a call from Bailey Chan Qin, informing him to go to the combat center at 9 o'clock. Zhang Yi took Liang Yu and rushed there without saying a word. When he walked out of the apartment building, he happened to see two people cuddling intimately in front of him, spreading dog food as they walked. The living area in Area B is very large, and not everyone lives in the same place. Zhang Yi looked around. It was so quiet that he could hear a pin drop. There was no one else except them. Therefore, he concluded that the two people in front must be strangers from the outer city. Zhang Yi did not say H, Lo, but just pulled Liang Yu and kept a distance from them. If you don't know the opponent's abilities, it's best not to approach them easily, otherwise you will easily be attacked. Liang Yu also looked at the two people in front of him curiously. They seemed to be a young couple. The man looked to be only 24 or 5 years old, not tall, and was wearing a white down jacket. The girl next to him was a head taller than him. He couldn't see her face clearly, but he could hear her smiling heartily. The most interesting thing is that the relationship between this couple is quite interesting. The little boy kept holding the girl's arm tightly and leaned against her intimately. On the contrary, the girl looked neat and elegant and walked with great grace. Before. Seems like I've seen them before. Zhang Yi thought secretly in his heart. It seems to be a stranger from Sixing City. Zhang Yi doesn't understand the others. At the first meeting, everyone was just familiar with each other and knew almost nothing about each other. The impression left on him by the two people in front of him was even shallower. No matter who sees them, they will think that they are a normal couple and it is difficult for them to make people wary. However, being able to appear in this place at this time has shown that their strength is definitely extraordinary. Sure enough, people cannot be judged by their appearance. Zhang Yi couldn't help but sigh. The distance was relatively close. So the two people in front must have noticed Zhang Yi and Zhang Yi. But they seemed to pretend that Zhang Yi and he didn't exist and didn't care at all as they were saying disgusting love words. Zhang Yi was okay. But Liang Yu frowned and kept reaching out to rub his arm hard. What's wrong? Zhang Yi asked curiously. I got goosebumps. Liang Yu said through gritted teeth. For an older single like her, the scene before her was really unbearable. Zhang Yi couldn't help laughing and then turned away pretending to be nonchalant. Calm down. Don't think that they are a simple couple. Liang Yu gritted her teeth, stared at them and said, I understand. But that's it. Looks angry. Two groups of people arrived at the combat center one after another. Chapter 627 Still having a meeting. When Zhang Yi and the couple arrived at the combat center, someone was waiting at the door to greet them. Probably because the information has been entered into the information system. As soon as I saw them, the woman at the reception smiled and guided them. Please follow me. The conference room is on the 16th floor. Zhang Yi and the couple got on the elevator to the 16th floor. After the elevator door closed, the five people were very close to each other in the small space. This also gave Zhang Yi the opportunity to see clearly the appearance of the couple. The man has a standard male-female appearance, with a baby face and fair skin like a girl, coupled with his small stature and round-framed eyes. At first glance, it is even hard to tell the difference between male and female. From the moment they met, his eyes had been quietly looking at Zhang Yi, the flowers on her shoulders, her eyes sparkling with cuteness. You can tell he's a cat lover. As for girls, it's the other way around, with a somewhat strong look and feel in their body and temperament. When Zhang Yi was watching them secretly, the two men were also looking at him and Liang Yu. After a while, the girl said, You too. She must be from Tianhai City. Right. Zhang Yi raised the corners of his mouth slightly when he heard this. Do you know us? The girl smiled disapprovingly. The last time I came to Blizzard City, you were very famous. But you didn't have a good reputation back then. But this time, it's really surprising that you can come here. She looked Zhang Yi up and down openly, with a look of surprise in her eyes. Because Chen Jingwan was beaten up by Sun Jamming before. People in other cities thought that Tianhai City was extremely weak. But today, Zhang and Yi appeared here. Obviously also invited by the headquarters. This proved the strength of Zhang and Yi, which inevitably surprised this woman. Nothing too surprising. Zhang Yi didn't explain too much. R. 
The destruction of the alien alliance in Day's city has not yet spread due to the lack of news. So it's normal for this couple to be unclear. I remember you are from Sixing City. Right? Haven't asked for advice yet? Out of sincerity. Zhang Yi introduced herself. Oh, by the way, my name is Zhang Yi, and she is Liang Yu. Zhang Yi did not call Liang Yi by a name like subordinate or subordinate. After hearing Zhang Yi's self-introduction, the girl folded her arms and said cautiously, My name is Xiao Lingling. The person next to me is my husband Yuan Hao. Yuan Hao's face immediately showed a nervous look. And while waving his hands, he explained to Zhang Yi and Zhang Yi that in fact, we are not married yet. Just a relationship between boyfriend and girlfriend. Xiao Lingling clicked her tongue, hugged his neck, stared at him, and said condescendingly, It's time for this. I said you are my husband. You are? Do you understand? Yuan Hao. On the other hand, looked up at her, with a look like a little white rabbit on his face, which really made me feel pity for him. He nodded to me. I see. Zhang Yi and Liang Yi made me laugh all the time. Such a pairing is indeed interesting. But it is not uncommon in today's society. The most important thing is that Zhang Yi will not despise them because of their state. Again, no one who can be invited to Blizzard City to participate in this operation is Yi. Suddenly, Xiao Lingling reached out and wiped Yuan Hao's lips. And then kissed him domineeringly. This feeling of being like no one else made Zhang Yi raise his eyebrows. Exclaiming in his heart that it was awesome. Liang Yi was very embarrassed and didn't know where to look. Fortunately, not long after, with a ding, the elevator reached the 16th floor. The deep kiss between Xiao Lingling and Yuan Hao was not over yet. As if nothing could interrupt them. It was the female waitress who reminded them softly that they reluctantly separated. Facing the looks in Zhang Yi and Liang Yu's eyes, Yuan Hao was a little shy and buried his head in Xiao Lingling's arms. Xiao Lingling looked indifferent, held her head high and held him in her arms and walked towards the conference room. Awesome. Zhang Yi sighed and shook his head. Meow. Hua Hua squatted on Zhang Yi's shoulder, but suddenly shouted. Zhang Yi turned around and saw Hua Hua staring straight at their backs with bright eyes. It seems that something unusual has been discovered. It's a pity that Zhang Yi doesn't understand cat language and can't communicate with it. He felt a little more vigilant and walked towards the conference room with Liang Yu. After stepping through the door of the conference room, Zhang Yi found that there were already many people waiting inside. Counting them, there were about 10 people. This kind of small conference room has a circular layout. And almost everyone maintains a certain distance between them. Except for the pair of women on the left. They were seated next to each other and looked like they were acquaintances. Zhang Yi quickly looked at them and couldn't tell much just by looking at them. So he took Liang Yu and found an open space to sit down. After the others looked at the newcomers, they quickly dropped their gazes. And then the whole conference room was so silent that you could hear a pin drop. Zhang Yi did not see Bailey Chongqing or Deng Shintong and others. According to his guests, these people should come with Zhu Zheng. Sure enough, things went as he expected. When the time was about to reach 9 o'clock, there was a burst of footsteps outside. Everyone followed the sound and saw a heroic middle-aged man walking into the conference room with his head held high. Behind him, there were five or six people following him. This person is familiar to everyone. He is Zhu Zheng, the supreme commander of Jiangan region. Behind him are his personal guard son Lu Xuan, Secretary Lan Xinqing, Director of the Operations Department Tu Yulai, as well as the Captain of the Tianxin Squad Ding Shitong and the current Captain of the Black Robe Squad Bailey Chongqing. After Zhu Xing walked in, he glanced at everyone and then asked his Secretary Lan Xinqing behind him to confirm if all the Taoists were here. Lan Xinqing nodded and everyone arrived. Ah, that's good. He strode to the front of the conference room. Others also found their seats and sat down. Zhu Zheng pressed his hands on the table and said seriously, Everyone, I believe you all understand the purpose of calling you here today. Just a few days ago, we sent to Lanhai City to wipe out the Ronin organization. Eclipse Moon. The vanguard of the army failed. He knocked on the table. This defeat sounded the alarm for us. The Ronin organization that appeared in Lanhai City this time is very powerful and must not be underestimated. Because of this, I mobilized elites from the entire Jiangnan region to participate in this operation. In other words, everyone here is the best among the best. I'm so happy to have you here. In particular, some comrades came here resolutely without any hesitation, saying that they would do their best to expel the bandits. I was very touched. Chapter 628 Landing Party Zhu Zheng opened the meeting with an impassioned speech. He did not make a long speech. 
because basically everyone present knew what happened. Next, we will use the Celestial Team as the main force to form a special force, specifically responsible for handling this incident, Zhu Zhen said, looking at Bailey Chongqing. As for the Black Robe Team, since they have just completed their mission in Tianhai City, they are still in a state of rest, so they should not directly participate in the operation for the time being. However, as a veteran, Bailey Chongqing can provide tactical support during this operation. Bailey Chongqing gave a military salute. The strangers in the outer city were all prepared for the above content. So they had no opinions and just listened silently. From the perspective of identity and status, they only had to obey the headquarters arrangements. But Zhu Zheng took the time and effort to explain to them, which was a sign of respect for them. Zhu Zheng pressed the table and said that if you have no objections to the arrangement of this operation, then the highlight of the day will be next. When the first batch of aliens we sent out performed their mission, the video devices they carried captured precious footage. These are the important information we have collected so far about the lunar eclipse. Let's all watch the video first to have a general understanding of the enemies we will face next. And then I want to hear what you think. After Zhu Zheng finished speaking, he motioned to Lan Xingqing to play the video. And he slowly sat down. Everyone's expressions turned serious indeed. Collecting intelligence is crucial to the alien's battle. They also wanted to see what was so powerful about those Ronin that they were able to eliminate 10 alien organizations from the outer city in just one hour. This will have a great impact on their next actions and may even determine their life or death. The lights in the conference room went out and a huge projection appeared on the wall, playing the video that had been saved from that day. At the beginning of the scene, everyone saw the team led by Peng Jiaolua, the alien organization in Hang City that was first attacked. The video plays for a long time. Although it has been edited, it still plays for more than three hours to ensure that no key information is missed. From the perspectives of many people, the battles faced by the ten alien organizations that day were basically restored. Even so, the completeness of the video is still not enough. Because some battles ended so quickly that the video couldn't even fully capture the footage. During the whole process, everyone watched very carefully, even reluctant to blink. After watching the video, Lan Xingqing came forward and solemnly told everyone that in addition to the information collected on site, our headquarters also collected information about the incident through various intelligence channels. Eclipse Moon. Group information. Please take a look. In addition, I will pass all the image data to everyone's hands later. Zhang Yi felt relieved, which made him feel more at ease. During the viewing process, many details may have been missed, and he needed to watch it several more times to study out the abilities and characteristics of those Ronin. Immediately afterwards, Lan Xingqing opened an information document and conveyed it to everyone through projection. Eclipse Organization. From the Neon Kanto region. There are a total of 13 members. Before the end of the world, their identities are various professional personnel in society, rather than professional combat troops. After the end of the world, the leader of the Eclipse group, Phoenix Inner Run, began to gather powerful aliens, forming the powerful and vicious existence of the Eclipse group. When they were in Kanto, they were already an executioner organization that everyone feared, and they are not trying to survive, but in a cruel way, massacre the aliens in Kanto. According to the current management organization of Kanto, Izumo, according to some of the information provided, the reason why they carried out such a large-scale killing of aliens was because they were the first to discover that aliens above the Delta level could absorb the alien energy of others to complete their own evolution. Because of this, the Izumo organization began to rely on its power to launch a campaign against Eclipse. According to Izumo, Eclipse was a ronin who was defeated by them and had to flee out to sea. Lan Xingqing pushed up his glasses, and a blue light flickered on the lenses, carrying a strange smell. However, there is another saying that they are true believers in the Neon Landing faction. It was not that Izumo drove them away, but that they chose to land on their own and come to our Chinese territory. Zhang Yi learned many new terms. For example, Neon's current division of forces, such as the Landing faction. Although it is very novel, it sounds confusing, which is not a very good feeling. Zhang Yi raised his hand and asked, what does the landing faction mean? Lan Xingqing pushed up his glasses. The landing sect is an extreme ideology that has always existed in Neon. Since the restoration movement, some people have proposed that islands are not conducive to the development of the race. The most far-reaching and widely known idea is the Neon sinking theory. This idea is that Neon, as an island country, is far away from the continental shelf and will one day be affected by the movement of continental plates and sink to the bottom of the sea. 
The final destination of the Neon people must be to land on the Continental Plate before they can survive. In short, in the eyes of the landing faction, they must leave the Neon mainland. So, in their eyes, the most ideal new habitat is on the other side of the sea. Zhang Yi murmured to himself, the other side of the sea? However, this is also unreasonable. He carefully analyzed that if you want to land, it is undoubtedly the easiest to land from Scylla and Beach. And that small place probably doesn't have any powerful force to defend it. Right? Lan Xinqing nodded. You're right. If it was the landing party in the past, they indeed set off from Scylla and Beach first, and then attempted to conquer China's territory. But now is the Ice Age. The situation becomes different. Previously, the leader of the Eclipse group sent a video asking us to give them a piece of land to live in the Central Plains area. This means that they are worried that after the glaciers melt, coastal areas will be flooded by rising seawater. Lan Xinqing added that the landing faction was originally a group of lunatics with a serious sense of worry. If it weren't for the difficult living conditions at high altitudes, I even doubt they would have set their sights on the plateau area. Chapter 6 29 13 People in the Eclipse of the Moon After listening to Lan Xinqing's explanation, Zhang Yi couldn't help but frown slightly, because he had also had this idea of the landing party. There is no sign of the arrival of the Ice Age, and human power cannot compete with nature. No one knows when it will end, and when the global Ice Age ends and the temperature warms up, it will inevitably lead to a huge torrent sweeping the world as the ice and snow melt. By then, Tianhai City, located on the coastline, will definitely be submerged by the sea. It has to be said that the Neon people's considerations in this regard are quite prescient. And this is also related to the special living environment of their island country. Of course, Zhang Yi would not sympathize with them. Now that a natural disaster has arrived, who can survive depends on their own abilities. Their desire to occupy the fertile land of the Central Plains is completely wishful thinking. Snort. Zhang Yi suddenly heard a cold snort, accompanied by the sound of smashing the table. Everyone looked around and saw a man who was tightly wrapped in gray-white clothes and wearing an exaggerated hat. Almost his whole body was wrapped up. He showed a fierce look in his eyes and said through gritted teeth that these damn thieves even dared to plot in the Central Plains. They simply did not know how to live or die. We must kill them all and then let those dogs on the island take a look at the consequences of offending us. Although the man disrupted the rhythm of the meeting because of his excitement, no one criticized him. At this time, everyone was filled with righteous indignation and wanted to punish those rogues severely, and then frighten the young people around them who had designs on them. Lan Xinqing waited until the man's mood stabilized before continuing. In short, this is the origin of the Eclipse organization. They are not composed of professional members such as soldiers, SWAT officers, etc. They are Ronin in the true sense. However, its leader, Phoenix and Jean, has five years of military service experience, which we will talk about next. Then what I want to introduce is the information about each of them. Neon also provided some information. But due to concerns about the authenticity of the information, we will not refer to it. The following content is all sourced from reports from our own channels. I won't read it anymore. It contains a lot of content. So please read it carefully. Lan Xincheng retreated, and the content in the projection also changed to the information of the members of the Eclipse group. Everyone couldn't help but sit up straight and read the contents of the information word by word. Although they all hated these Ronin, they had to admit that the strength of these guys was terrifying. The following is some information about the 13 members of the Eclipse group. Team 1 leader Feng Wang Yuanren. Male. 36 years old. A person with enhanced abilities and unknown abilities. He served in the Neon Maritime Self-Defense Force from 2033 to 2037. Note, his action was not found in the first battle. So there is no accurate information on his abilities. To Takeuchi Mayumi. Female. 22 years old. A descendant of the Neon Takeuchi family and a novice shrine maiden. Ability unknown. Note, his action was not found in the first battle. So there is no accurate information on his abilities. 3. Sukamoto Nobunaga. Male. 33 years old. His original name was Tsukamoto Oki. And later, he was renamed Tsukamoto Nobunaga. The current descendants of Urkian's first-class swordsmen are all expected to be masters of swordsmanship and slaying. A martial arts idiot. He was imprisoned in 2042 for killing his opponent in a duel. And was released after seven years. He is an enhanced alien with unknown abilities. Note, in the first battle, he fought against Yun Zhou Li Tianlong and captured him alive. For Dagong Yanjin. Male, 33 years old. Former Neon Sumo Wrestler. Yokozuna Rank. 
or type ability user. Ability code name. Chaohu. Weapon Dragonfly Cut. He is an extremely powerful melee alien. In the first battle, he single-handedly annihilated two alien teams. Sixing Meng Shucheng and Ba Qing Li Guqiang. Extremely dangerous. 5 Jinguji Saikairo. Male. 42 years old. Before the end of the world, he was a stock trader. Those who release abilities have unknown abilities. Note, during the first battle, the footage could not be captured. 6 Akutsu Shinichiro. Male. 29 years old. Former key member of Chiba Prefecture Yafin Group. A person with enhanced abilities is a melee type alien who fights with a baseball bat. 7 Kamaya Naito. Male. 38 years old. Former professional baseball player who played for the Mifune East Baseball Club. Or type ability user. Ability code name. Big Snake. Can transform into an ancient giant snake up to 15 meters long. 840 or 50 field woo. Male. 19 years old. After graduating from high school, he became an ET. His abilities are unknown, and he did not appear in the first battle. 9. My wife Nanako. Female. 26 years old. Former reserve member of Neon Girl Group KBA 48. Person with special abilities. Ability code. Itachi. The currently known ability is to create illusions through music and use sound waves to attack the inside of the human body. 10. Takizo with Takashi. Male. 27 years old. Formerly a network engineer at Zendayasai Group. A person who releases abilities. Ability code. Railgun. Can control electric current to fight. 11. Naruz Hanachio. Female. 24 years old. He is a descendant of the Neon Ninja family and is proficient in ninjutsu. Since most of his attacks were sneak attacks and he would not take the initiative to fight, no footage of his actions was captured. Ability unknown. 12. Akira Kurosawa. Male. 34 years old. Former member of the Neon Maritime Self-Defense Force. Later retired. A person who releases abilities. Ability code. Carry out justice. Can release supernatural attacks through special weapons. 13. Sakuraba Yashimitsu. Male. 28 years old. Nara Prefecture Road Workers. Its capabilities are unknown. And no footage of it was captured in the first battle. The above is basically all the information about the Eclipse organization. After reading it, John E. felt speechless. There is too little information, and it is impossible to get the means to defeat the enemy from it. The most you can do is to be more careful when encountering Eclipse members. It seems that so many people were sacrificed in the first battle, but not much meaningful information was returned. After reading the information and videos, Zhu Zheng sat on a chair and looked at everyone carefully. Everyone, you have finished reading the information in your hands now. Do you have anything to say? If you have any good suggestions for next action, or if you still have questions in your mind, you can put them forward at this time. Let's discuss together. After all, compared to Blizzard City soldiers who are better at group combat, you are the experts in the field of lone wolves. This also expresses Zhu Zheng's true inner thoughts. It can be seen from the way Eclipse fights that they are not good at group combat. After all, everyone is a lone wolf put together by Phoenix Academy Rin. But this time, the dozen Delta level aliens summoned from the outer city can be said to be of the same kind as them. Chapter 6 30 Team 3 With Zhu Zheng's encouragement, someone actually spoke first. The first person to speak was one of the two women sitting together, seemingly to facilitate fighting. She kept her hair very short. And her oval face always had a serious and focused expression. This is Qin Xiao Xiao, a stranger from Ba City. She graduated from a national key university and has served as the president of the student union all year round. She does not have much of a bureaucratic air about her. But she always gives people a sense of energy and never feels tired. This positive spirit also allowed her to quickly build a huge team in the apocalypse. Making him the leader of the most powerful forces among the seven forces in Boss City's four meetings and three factories. Chin Xiao Xiao sat on the chair with a smile and calmly analyzed, from the image just now. I noticed something was wrong. Although these Ronin are very strong, they should be at the Delta level on average. But even so, they shouldn't have eliminated 10 heavily armed alien organizations so quickly. I had this suspicion before. And after watching the video today, my suspicion became even deeper. Zhang Yi couldn't help but look at her twice. Zhu Xiong also looked at her sideways. Oh! What do you suspect? Qin Xiao Xiao said that the reason why the first 10 alien troops we sent out were solved so easily is because they all encountered the type they were least good at dealing with. She crossed her arms. We all know that aliens have all kinds of abilities, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. Therefore, 
there is an extremely obvious restraint relationship between different abilities. Those who are good at long-range attacks are afraid of being approached. And those who are strengthened are afraid of being kind. And so on. Zhu Sheng nodded approvingly. You are right. We have discovered the problem a long time ago. Chin Xiaoxiao smiled, nodded to Zhu Zheng and said, You should understand what my concerns are. Zhu Zheng said to Chin Xiaoxiao, and everyone present very seriously with a straight face. I can assure you. During the first battle, absolutely no one leaked any information. This is not only a trust in all the personnel of the Jiang and Region Combat Command Center. It is also a matter of trust in the network defense system of the headquarters. No one can break through it and deliver information to Eclipse Moon. Chin Xiaoxiao frowned. That would be terrible. Her good sister Peng Li next to her heard this and couldn't help but ask, Would it be worse if there were no spies? Why do you say this way? Chin Xiaoxiao explained that if there is a spy in our headquarters, the problem can be easily solved. As long as the spies are uncovered, a defeat like the first battle can be avoided. However, if no one leaks our information, it can only be understood that the other party has an extremely terrifying ability to obtain information. Among the dozen or so people present, more than one had the same idea. Like Shang Yi and Chen Xiao Xiao. They all realized something was wrong. Catching a spy is easy. But if the opponent has this ability to see the opportunity first, whatever they fight next will be discovered by the opponent in advance. Liang Yu couldn't help holding his chin and said, No wonder it was our people who acted first in the first battle. As a result, the opponent seemed to have been prepared for the fight. At this time, a man with short hair and sharp eyes sitting not far from Zhang Yi raised his head and spoke. He is from Yun Zhou, and his name is Zhu Fei Yu. Zhu Shui. The amount of information we received today is too much. I haven't been able to give a better opinion for a while. Can you give us some time to study this information carefully? And then discuss it? Zhang Yi nodded and said, I agree with this proposal. If you just read it once, you won't be able to remember a lot of things. And it won't be easy to speak. Other strangers also raised their hands to express their agreement with Zhu Fei Yu's proposal. Zhu Sheng thought for a while nodded and said that's fine. But you don't have much time to think. Because time waits for no one. If we delay for a day, those wanderers will go somewhere. By then, our compatriots on this land will be in danger. A strange look flashed in Zhang Yi's eyes. As the commander of Blizzard City, Zhu Sheng had no problem thinking so. But do the strangers in the Twelve Cities really care about the lives of ordinary people? When they were fighting for supplies for survival, each of them was more ruthless than the other. Now let's talk about this. Is there something wrong? Strange. But thinking about it carefully, Zhang Yi also felt that it made some sense. Although he is cruel and ruthless, he is not a good person. But he asked himself that he would generally not take action against those who had not offended him. When foreign enemies invade, Zhang Yi is willing to protect this land and the people on this land who are kind and worthy of protection. For example, Zhang Yi still hopes that people like Li Jian can survive in the apocalypse leave a spark of fire for human civilization. Zhang Yi couldn't help but shake his head and smile bitterly. Human beings are really a complex of contradictions. Immediately afterwards, Zhu Sheng said again that I will only give you one day to study this information carefully. Then we have to prepare for battle to defeat those damn Ronin. So now, while everyone is here, let me announce the basic grouping of the battle. Due to the strong strength of the Eclipse group aliens, individual actions are too risky. So the 12 people here today will be divided into three groups for action. Your mission is to support the Celestial Team. The Celestial Team is responsible for the main attack. In addition, to make things easier, each team has a captain. In the absence of orders from above, all team members must obey the captain's orders. Zhang Yi raised his eyebrows when he heard this. He wants to cooperate with people from other forces? He couldn't help but glance at the people around him. And others were also looking around. This action mode is not bad since they are all super-powerful strangers. They can delay enough time even if they encounter super-powerful enemies. It is naturally best to give the Celestial Team a chance to take action. In the worst ending, you can also gain more information about the Eclipse. Next, I'll announce the groupings. Zhu Sheng took out a list of names from the pocket of his military coat and read it in a steady and powerful voice. The first team, Captain Zhang Yi. The first one mentioned was Zhang Yi. And he was also the appointed captain. This made everyone cast curious glances at Zhang Yi. Ding Shitong looked at Zhang Yi with a playful smile. An expression of appreciation. The captain of the god team, a well-known noble son, has never given up on recruiting Zhang Yi to join his team. Zhang Yi just coughed slightly to lighten the atmosphere. Team members, Lian Yu, Qin Xiao Xiao, 
Pang Li. Liang Yu acted very calmly. She was originally Zhang Yi's person. However, Qin Xiaoxiao and Pang Li had a look of dissatisfaction on their faces when they heard that they had become Zhang Yi's team members. Qin Xiaoxiao's palace was slightly deeper, and Kanna soon returned. But Pang Li stared straight at Zhang Yi. Her doubts and dissatisfaction palpable. Everyone is a powerful person in their respective territories. Why should Zhang Yi control them? Chapter 631 A Discordant Team Zhang Yi could sense Peng Li's gaze, but he didn't care. Anyway, rather than letting others manage yourself, it is always better to manage others. At least you can have independent power. As for the subsequent actions, if they are disobedient, just throw them away. Anyway, it is enough for Zhang Yi to have Hua Hua and Lian Yu by his side. Oh, I almost forgot. He is actually quite strong. Damn it. Zhu Zhang began to announce the configuration of the other two groups. Everyone listened carefully, and everyone hoped that they could be the captain, which represented the recognition of them by the Jiangnan region headquarters. The second group consists of Captain Zhuo Feiyu and team members Yu Jingyang, Yuan Hao and Lu Yuchen. The third group, Captain Wu Shifang, team members Mo Xingning, Li Weihai, Jia Heading. After the group list came out, the atmosphere at the scene became a little stiff. As captains, most of them felt a little proud. But at the same time, they were worried about whether their team members would obey their orders. The team members were thinking about the strength of the people on the same team, and somewhat doubted the captain. They are accustomed to being the boss, and taking command in their own territory. Who would be happy if someone ordered them? But at this time, Zhang Yi's focus was on another place. There were only 12 people on the announced list. There were 13 strangers from the outer city at the scene. His eyes fell on pretty boy Yuan Hao and then quickly moved to his girlfriend Xiao Lingling next to him. No Xiao Lingling. Zhang Yi frowned. He didn't think the headquarters would make such a stupid mistake. Liang Yu was the person he brought here, and was judged by the headquarters to be qualified as a combatant. Even if Xiao Lingling is not the leader of the force, she should still have her name. Unless she, like Hua Hua, is actually some kind of war pet? Xiao Lingling felt several strange looks from around her. She folded her arms in dissatisfaction and snorted. What are you looking at? We, husband and wife, are one. Do you have any objections? Yuan Hao looked panicked. Lingling, don't be angry. Then he stood up, sweating profusely, and bowed to everyone to apologize. This scene made Peng Li laugh out loud. Zhu Zheng crossed his hands on the table and said seriously that the distribution of the teams has been decided. We have configured the team based on your abilities. And the selection of the captain has also been carefully considered. I hope you can cooperate well and complete this mission together, he said, glancing at his watch. Before I knew it, it was already past three in the afternoon. That's it for today. It will be the same time tomorrow afternoon, and we will gather here as well. When the time comes, I hope you can carefully analyze the eclipse information and find the most advantageous way to fight. Because in two days, we have to go. The eclipse group will not just sit there and wait for them to encircle and suppress them. A new situation may arise every minute and second that passes. Moreover, the impact of this incident is also relatively subtle. Some things are only worth four tails if they are not put on the scale. But they can weigh a thousand pounds if they are put on the scale. If Jiangnan region does not handle it well, not only will Jiangnan region status among the six regions plummet, but the influence of all regions in the world will also decrease. This matter is no longer a simple encirclement and suppression of Ronin. The meeting was temporarily over and Zhu Xiong stood up and left the conference room. Lan Xingqing said that the information will be transferred to you immediately. Then he pushed up his gold-rimmed glasses and followed Zhu Xiong away. When Deng Shitong saw that there were other people around Zhang Yi, he thought that Zhang Yi still had to deal with the internal affairs of his team. So he did not come over to say anything to him. Soon, people from the headquarters left one after another. There are only 13 strangers from the outer city left here, each with their own thoughts. Zhang Yi was the first to stand up. He put his hands in his pockets and said calmly to Liang Yu, Let's go back and study the information carefully. Liang Yu nodded and followed Zhang Yi outside. When passing by Qin Xiaoxiao and Peng Li, Qin Xiaoxiao raised her beautiful eyebrows slightly. She pursed her lips, planning to say a few words when Zhang Yi came to find her. But Peng Li still looked wary and unconvinced, ready to fight back as soon as Zhang Yi showed off. But what they didn't expect was that Zhang Yi didn't even look at them and just walked out of the conference room. Jin Xiaoxiao and Peng Li were both stunned. They felt that they had charged up a blow and hit the air. That's all he is. Gone? Jin Xiaoxiao was confused. At such an important moment, 
I saw that I was about to rush to the battlefield to fight those powerful and ferocious Neon Ronin. Zhang Yi acted indifferently. Jun Xiaoxiao suddenly felt angry. What did he take this mission for? What do you think of yourself as the captain? Suddenly, she stood up all of a sudden and said to Peng Li, who was also astonished, Go and find him. After saying that, she followed Zhang Yi. And Peng Li reacted and quickly followed. At this time, Zhang Yi and Leon Yi were walking in the corridor and were about to reach the elevator. Suddenly, a clean female voice came from behind. Zhang Yi, please wait. No need to look back. Zhang Yi knew who it was. But out of politeness, he still glanced back lazily. What's up? Zhang Yi's indifferent attitude made Chen Xiaoxiao feel even more angry. But she was not an immature girl and would not show her dissatisfaction on her face. She walked up to Zhang Yi and forced a smile from her face. We are working as a team now. And you are the captain. I think we should at least get to know each other better. Moreover, if everyone studies the information about the lunar eclipse together, it will be convenient for more people to discuss it. Right? Zhang Yi raised his eyebrows. Jin Shishia's resolute appearance looked a bit like Xiao Hunglian. It seems that she is also a heroic girl who has a straightforward personality and refuses to admit defeat. Chin Xiaoxiao opened her arms, smiled, and said to introduce herself. My name is Chin Xiaoxiao, and the person next to me is Peng Li. We are from the same organization in Baz Ho. The introduction ended here. She looked around cautiously, and then said to Zhang Yi, You see, it's not very convenient to talk here. How about we find a place to talk slowly? Team leader. She slowed down the word captain and spat it out word by word from her lips. Zhang Yi thought to himself that you look more like the captain than me. He knew that Chen Xiaoxiao and Peng Li were a little dissatisfied with him being the captain. But so what? This is Zhu Sheng's order. If you have the ability, go to him. However, although they are somewhat competitive, Zhang Yi will not find them annoying, thinking that the four of them will work together in the future. As long as they have no ill intentions, it is not impossible to have a good relationship. Zhang Yi nodded and gave him a thumbs up. That's great. Let's go to the password bar and I'll treat you. Chapter 632 Ice Dancer John E. generously asked for a treat. And Leon Yu couldn't help but lean into his ear and ask in a low voice. Do we have money? Money in Blizzard City refers to points. And only people in Blizzard City can obtain them through work tasks. John E. naturally doesn't have any. He has to rely on the allocated materials to eat here. John E. pouted. It's okay. I have friends. Of course, he was referring to the Everlasting Green. This guy is now the captain of the investigation team and has a lot of points in his hands. In addition, he owed John Yi a huge favor, so it was no problem to use his name to open a private room for drinking. Chin Xiaoxiao and Peng Li smiled and rejected Zhang Yi's kindness. Forget about drinking. Why don't you go to your room and let's talk slowly. Although they are the leaders of the force, they are still wary of drinking with a man they meet for the first time. However, the suggestion they put forward inevitably sounded a bit misleading. Go to your room. Talk slowly. Zhang Yi couldn't help but have endless reverie in his heart. What? Are you greedy for my body? Peng Li noticed something was wrong with Zhang Yi's eyes. And angrily explained that it was not what you thought. It's just that we have nowhere else to go now. They, people from other cities, were not familiar with the local area. So it was not easy for them to find a quiet and secluded place to chat. Zhang Yi scratched his head and apologized. Then let's leave it at that. So the four of them got on the elevator together and then planned to go to Zhang Yi's room to talk together. After they left, other strangers came out of the conference room one after another. Shua Feiyu, the captain of the second team, didn't talk to the team members. Everyone knows in their hearts that it is more difficult to convince these unruly people. It's not something you can impress with just a few words. Shua Feiyu, a dull voice stopped Shua Feiyu, who was about to leave. Shua Feiyu's eyes flashed, and he glanced behind him, and saw the veteran Yu Xingyang from Xuchuan. Is there a problem? Shua Feiyu asked somewhat coldly. Yu Xingyang stood a few meters behind him and said coldly, The team assigned by Zhu Shui. I can't say anything. But I want to remind you. Never think that just because you are a captain, you can order us around. A coldness flashed in Yu Xingyang's eyes. And if you dare to do something stupid, I won't listen to you. Shua Feiyu glanced at him lightly. Just do whatever you want. Huh? Of course. After Yu Xingyang said that, he turned and left. Not only them. The other team's condition is not very good either. Obviously. No one is convinced by the so-called captain. They are all strong men who relied on their own abilities to fight in the last days. 
They have their own rules of conduct, and it is difficult to convince others. In fact, Xu Zheng and the others knew this in their hearts. However, there is an urgent need to eradicate Eclipse. So these powerful lone wolves must be used. Adaptability is more important on the battlefield. It depends on how they handle it. What's more, the region will also supervise the operations remotely when the time comes. So we won't be afraid of them causing trouble. Relatively speaking, the situation in Zhang Yi's team is even the most harmonious. Chin Xiao Xiao and Peng Li came to Zhang Yi's room. Zhang Yi sat down in the middle of the most comfortable sofa, while Liang Yu held her long ming and sat on the armrest of the sofa. Chin Xiao Xiao and Peng Li pulled up two chairs and sat across from Zhang Yi. Peng Li crossed her legs. Because the chair was higher than the sofa, she could look down at Zhang Yi from above. There was no concealment of her arrogance in her eyes, as if she was warning Zhang Yi not to try to command them. Zhang Yi didn't care at all. It doesn't matter if you have these two so-called teammates, or if you don't have them, but if they want to act with him, they must be obedient. Okay, now there is no one else here. Let's have a good chat. Zhang Yi stretched out his hand to stroke Huawei's fur and looked at them with a smile. Jin Xiaoxiao smiled and said that since it was a group assigned by the district, we had better act according to the rules. Everyone knows that all the aliens in Eclipse are very powerful. Even. And above you and me. Zhang Yi smiled and said nothing. Jin Xiaoxiao continued. So we must work together to ensure that we survive on the battlefield and successfully complete the mission. Then, at least we need to know each other's abilities. So that we can cooperate easily when the time comes. Jin Xiaoxiao spreads his arms so I hope everyone can tell each other about their abilities. Of course, if you agree, in order to show sincerity, I can first talk about my abilities. How about it? Liang Yu glanced at Zhang Yi and waited for Zhang Yi to make up his mind. Zhang Yi just smiled lightly and nodded without any hesitation. Okay, I think this suggestion is good. Even if he did, he would not completely reveal his true identity. He knew that Chen Xiaoxiao and Peng Li might not come clean. Chen Xiaoxiao smiled slightly. Okay, let me introduce myself first. She put her hand on her chest. My ability is called Ice Dancer, Strengthening Type Alien. Because I have studied Brazilian war dance for 10 years, so I am good at using kicking skills when fighting. As she spoke, she pointed to Pung Lee beside her. Pung Lee's ability is Priest, Release Those with Abilities. From the name, you should understand that her ability is biased toward auxiliary growth which can help people greatly improve their basic physical fitness and heal injuries. If she wasn't fatally injured, she could heal it quickly. Zhang Yi glanced at Peng Li after hearing this. The two turned out to be a team. A powerful reinforcement type melee master, paired with a Nani, is indeed a perfect match. Peng Li's ability is somewhat like a weakened version. Shinkian Legion. With Zhou Kier. Doctor. However, if one person has both of these abilities and can give blessings to one person, he can exert a powerful effect of 1 plus 13. Zhang Yi knew in his heart that they were hiding something. The most obvious thing is Qin Shishi's ability. Ice Dancer. These three words were not reflected in her introduction to abilities. Zhang Yi smiled slightly. Then it's our turn. I am Zhang Yi. Those with special abilities and spatial abilities. Capability code. Different space. I can open different spaces for storage and defense work. And use dimensional gates to travel through space. After Zhang Yi finished talking about his abilities, Qin Xiaoxiao and Peng Li's expressions became solemn. Space Ability Chapter 633 Power Space system abilities are extremely rare. And because of their powerful comprehensive abilities, they have always been a coveted existence in legends. After all, the only other space alien Zhang Yi has seen so far is the one from Blizzard City, who has never shown his face. Martial Arts Arena And the female stranger who could pass through the wall in Shishan base, who was the first to be killed by him. Chen Xiaoxiao murmured, No wonder Zhu Shui asked you to be the captain. It's no wonder that he is a Delta-level alien with space-based abilities. The two people who had some objections to Zhang Yi as captain at first gradually came to understand. Zhang Yi smiled and said, My ability seems to be quite popular. Isn't that natural? Chen Xiaoxiao shrugged and said with a smile, You don't understand how useful this ability is today. Peng Li curled her lips and said sourly, People always don't realize how beautiful the things they have are. In the current world of ice and snow, even if the space system ability is only used to provide support, its convenience is also coveted by all other types of aliens. For example, Zhang Yi can use different spaces to transport a large number of heavy weapons and equipment. If two armies were to confront each other, and one side had such a stranger, it would be overwhelming in terms of weapons and equipment. 
and when traveling far away, other strangers need to carry a lot of supplies. Heating, food, medicine, hygiene, etc., etc. Even aliens are very fragile in the apocalyptic world. It is possible that due to insufficient supplies, one may die of infection after the battle. But with a space alien by his side, these will not be worries at all. John Yi is used to using it himself and doesn't think it's a big deal. But others are very jealous. Chun Xiaoxiao looked at Zhang Yi and said suspiciously, Zhang Yi, what is your fighting method? Even if you can't show them all to us, you still have too many to keep. Zhang Yi smiled lightly. My offensive methods are very simple. It's a gun. Gun? Chen Xiaoxiao and Peng Li looked suspicious. For high-level aliens, ordinary firearms have no effect at all. Zhang Yi said that my space ability can help me assist shooting and increase the range and attack power. It can cause some damage even to strangers. Unless it is an enhanced type or orc type alien with extremely strong defense. I can cause a certain amount of damage to other aliens. Not to mention that Zhang Yi now has a large number of origin bullets and holy silver bullets in his hands. Chen Xiaoxiao nodded. And then a happy smile appeared on her face. Then we are so lucky. I can team up with you. Peng Li next to her blinked curiously. Huh? Why? Chen Xiaoxiao calmly explained that with the space alien in the team, logistical supplies would not be any problem. In other words, we can fight outside for a long time. And from Zhang Yi's introduction, it is not difficult to see that he is a defensive counterattack type of stranger. He is better at defense than offense. In this way, we will be safer with him. Peng Li nodded. And her eyes when looking at Zhang Yi became much softer. So this is all. During Zhang Yi's contact with the two of them, he gradually understood their personalities. At first glance, Jin Xiaoxiao is used to being a team leader and likes to take the initiative. But fortunately, she is very smart and her logic is relatively clear. Dealing with smart people has always been what Zhang Yi likes to do. Zhang Yi looked at Lian Yu and introduced that this was Lian Yu. She is a person with enhanced abilities and a master of martial arts. There doesn't seem to be anything else worth introducing. Right? Zhang Yi looked at Lian Yu with a smile and said, Lian Yu's abilities are actually relatively simple. Just the most common strengthening abilities. But her own fighting power is too powerful. It can even be said that even if she has no powers, she can fight against LV2 beta level aliens just by relying on her own kung fu. Sometimes, Zhang Yi also thought that with such talent, once she gained a close advantage, it would be possible for her to kill someone by leapfrogging. Zhang Yi swallowed silently. He should be nicer to Lian Yu in the future. However, from the past to the present, he has been sparing no effort to win over Lian Yu. Peng Li and Chen Xiaoxiao Xiao didn't react much and just nodded towards Lian Yu. There is nothing too surprising about the enhanced aliens in their eyes. And they don't quite understand the concept of a martial arts master. So, what about it? Chen Xiaoxiao Xiao suddenly pointed at the flowers on Zhang Yi's knees. A wise light flashed in her eyes. And she smiled and said, Don't tell me. This is just a pet. No pet can withstand the ultra-low temperature of minus 60 degrees. And you don't look like the kind of man who would forget to take his pet out to play at such a critical moment. Zhang Yi smiled faintly. You have a good insight. Indeed. My Hua Hua is no ordinary cat. Peng Li asked if it was the cat in Wang Wei's poem. Seeing the weird looks from everyone, she curled her lips and said, Can't you just show off your skin? Qin Xiaoxiao quickly explained to Zhang Yi and Lian Yu that her character has always been like this. So don't mind it. It doesn't matter. Zhang Yi stroked Hua Hua, which was a mutated creature. It divided according to the level of human abilities. It is also a delta level. Hua Hua can evolve by swallowing aliens, which obviously meets the criteria of delta level. That's great. Chen Xiaoxiao stared at Hua Hua, her eyes a little excited. In this way, our team will have the combat power of five deltas. And there is also a rare space system. Now, our probability of obtaining mission points will be higher than other teams. Peng Li also smiled and said, So, do we have a chance to win Lanhai City? Chen Xiaoxiao nodded. Yes, that's it. Zhang Yi just smiled and said nothing. Chen Xiaoxiao couldn't wait to say to Zhang Yi. Then, let's read the information a few more times together. It is always better to discuss and brainstorm together than to watch alone. Okay, let's take a look together. Zhang Yi smiled faintly and reached for a water glass to drink. But when he reached out and touched the cup, he realized that the water was already cold. Liang Yi took the cup from his hand with understanding and went to the water heater to get a cup of hot water. Zhang Yi looked at Chen Xiaoxiao and Peng Li with a smile and spoke slowly. However, shouldn't we talk about teamwork first? He spread his hands. 
I mean, I hope you two can understand. Now that we are members of a team, you must obey my orders when taking action. Since the meeting, Chen Xiaoxiao has been actively trying to take the initiative. Johnny didn't object. He just smiled and followed her lead. It's not that he's stupid. It's just that he doesn't care. This so-called team is not that important to him. Because until now, Zhu Zheng and others don't know his true strength. Perhaps in the next actions, Zhang Yi may not be able to eliminate several members of Eclipse Moon. But when he wanted to leave, no one could hurt his life. However, if Chen Xiaoxiao and Peng Li want to team up with him, they have to listen to him. Chapter 634 Research Information As soon as Zhang Yi's words came out, Chen Xixiu's eyes suddenly became sharp. Peng Li also stared at Zhang Yi with a serious expression. In the end, the right to speak in the team is still a topic that cannot be avoided. Jin Xiaoxiao wanted to always control the rhythm and naturally become the talker in the team, making Zhang Yi the nominal captain. But obviously Zhang Yi would not listen to her so easily. Jin Xiaoxiao said, Your ability is indeed very rare and powerful. As the captain, we respect your opinion. However, if you make inappropriate decisions during the task, we also have the power to correct you. There seems to be no problem with what he said. We listen to what you say. But if what you say is wrong, we have to correct you and make you follow our wishes. But if you think about it carefully, they still have the initiative. To put it bluntly, they do not intend to accept the leadership of Captain Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi still had such a light smile on his face. In this case, there is no need for us to act together. When he spreads his hands, you two can move freely. There is no need to be with us. After all, according to the team configuration, I... Liang Yu and Hua Hua are only one less than the regular four-person configuration. He looked at Liang Yu beside him and stroked Hua Hua, who was sleeping soundly on his thigh. Moreover, we are in a team, and we cooperate well, and they will also act according to my orders. So it doesn't matter if there are two of you more or two of you less. Different ways do not work together. You think so too, right? A flash of astonishment flashed in Chen Shishu's eyes. Peng Li looked at Zhang Yi in surprise and shouted, Are you serious? This mission is very difficult. All ten teams that acted before were wiped out. Only by staying together can we increase our chances of survival. Originally, the five of us should have been the ones with the best chance of completing the mission. If you split it up like this, it would not be good for any of us. Zhang Yi slowly leaned on the sofa, crossed his legs and said, But you don't recognize me as the captain. Everyone is separated from each other. And being together will only drag each other down. Has no meaning? Jin Xiaoxiao said calmly that the time we had been in contact was too short, and it would have been inconvenient to get along. But if there are more people, it is always guaranteed to increase the chance of survival. The corners of Zhang Yi's mouth became wider. Liang Yu also couldn't help laughing. She looked at Jin Xiaoxiao and Liang Yu with some pity, thinking, Do you know who you are talking to? Today, Zhang Yi is a top-notch expert in the entire Jiangyan region, especially his life-saving skill. His Everyone who sees it will scold him. The top Delta level aliens whose defense power is 10 times the attack power. Even the Epsilon level legendary aliens are all dizzy when they see them. If you don't believe it, you can ask Yuan Konya. Are you talking about the chances of survival in front of him? Zhang Yi didn't want them to follow him, as that would affect his actions. But he couldn't refuse to be grouped, as that would arouse suspicion among others. So Zhang Yi said that's good. We can act together. But if disagreements arise, you can take action on your own. Leave us alone. Jin Xiaoxiao couldn't help it. As a shrewd team leader, she thought Zhang Yi's approach was too childish. Zhang Yi, this is no joke. This is a life and death crisis. You can't put everyone in danger just because you're angry with us. Zhang Yi sighed lightly. He sat up straight and put his chin on his hands. I can only tell you that my life-preserving ability allows me and my people to definitely survive this operation. So do you think I have an obligation to protect people who disobey my orders? Zhang Yi's words were straightforward enough. If they still don't understand, Zhang Yi won't waste time with him. You say, can you absolutely guarantee that you and them will survive? Chin Xiaoxiao held her chin in one hand and began to think. Not long after, she took a deep breath. And I understood. That was it. Pumli quietly asked, what do you understand? Jin Xiaoxiao looked at Zhang Yi and said with emotion that this is the benefit of space ability. Didn't he mention it before? He can travel through space. In other words, if something goes wrong, just run away, given the rarity of the space system. As long as he wanted to escape, basically no one could kill him. Maybe the opponent has that kind of strange person. 
but with the celestial team attracting frontal firepower. It is impossible for Eclipse to pursue him with all its strength. In this way, wouldn't he be invincible? Pungli glanced at Zhang Yi with a strange look in her eyes and whispered, You are so stubborn. Is it possible that I can hear Zhang Yi? I did it on purpose. Pungli smiled at him with a proud look on her face. Zhang Yi. It was simply a speechless incident. After careful consideration, Chen Xiaoxiao made a decision. All right. Next in the mission, we will act according to your orders. But if your order is too outrageous, we will part ways with you. How about everyone going their separate ways? Zhang Yi nodded. Okay. Deal. If it weren't for the purpose of deceiving others, he would even go directly to Zhu Zheng and ask to take only Liang Yu and Hua Hua with him. Qin Xiaoxiao and Peng Li didn't look very annoying. So I took them with me first. If they cause trouble for him later, Zhang Yi will abandon them without mercy and leave alone. So next, let's start studying the information about the lunar eclipse. Qin Xiaoxiao said. Just do the research you said? Zhang Yi smiled. Qin Xixia's tone suddenly choked. Zhang Yi waved his hand and was just joking. Okay, let's start researching. Qin Xiaoxiao always likes to take the initiative. Zhang Yi must make her understand who should listen now. Qin Xiaoxiao also saw Zhang Yi's purpose. But now she didn't want to cause disharmony among the team. So she endured it. The four people gathered together, opened the information sent to them by Lan Xinqing, and began to study it carefully. A few hours later, the four people went through the image data carefully since they have already had a viewing experience. This time, they can quickly jump to unimportant parts to observe the key points. Among the four, Pumley was responsible for taking meeting minutes and recording the key points. After reading it, Zhang Yi sat on the sofa and said with a smile that since we have finished reading it, it's time for us to talk about our opinions. As the captain, I said it first, regardless of whether they have ulterior motives or not. Everyone has the same purpose in fighting the eclipse. So Zhang Yi will not have too many reservations in this regard. Chapter 635 Three Front Battle The current imaging data is limited. And we do not even have complete information on the other party's personnel capabilities. But there is one most critical thing right now, they have extremely huge intelligence acquisition capabilities. Since they were able to figure out the first 10 alien teams that fought. We have to be prepared, and we will encounter the same situation. When he said this, Zhang Yi felt a little funny in his heart. If there is really someone with such strength in Eclipse's team, then when he appears on the battlefield, I'm afraid no stranger will be willing to face him. But this is just speculation. We don't know how the other party obtained our information, let alone how detailed the information they obtained is. So it's always good to be fully prepared. Zhang Yi took a deep breath and looked at Qin Xiaoxiao and Peng Li with a smile. Like the first battle, they always let their aliens deal with their easiest opponents. So it is possible that we will also encounter beings that we are particularly difficult to deal with. This should be the reason why the district asked us to divide us into three teams and let strangers with different abilities form teams. Only in this way can we make up for the shortcomings in our abilities. Jin Xiaoxiao listened carefully and nodded from time to time. She agreed with Zhang Yi's views. Zhang Yi picked up the water glass and took a sip. And then continued. In addition, some of these people's combat effectiveness is obviously much higher than that of others. He turned on the satellite phone and projected the profile images of the 13 people in the Eclipse group in midair. Zhang Yi pointed at the former sumo wrestler Aga Kanobutsu. This guy is at least as strong as the deputy captain of the investigation team. In the video data, Daiku Yanjin was able to defeat two alien teams head-on with his own strength. Even Zhang Yi couldn't help but look at him with such powerful fighting power. According to his estimate, this person's strength is even comparable to that of Bailey Changqing. Swish swish. Pumli held a notebook and took notes quickly. Although she occasionally looks like a playful girl. At times like this, she is still quite serious about what she does. Zhang Yi pointed his hand at the warrior Sukamoto Nabunaga with a long bun among the 13 people. Sukamoto Nabunaga, a master of neon swordsmanship, is even called a contemporary swordsman. Of course, although neon people often like to describe someone in an exaggerated way, there are so many rice immortals and instant noodle immortals that I wish I could even have an immortal in the toilet. But this guy's strength should be very valuable. So we have to pay attention to it. When he mentioned Tsukamoto Nabunaga, Leon Yu's eyebrows stood up. And there was a proud fighting spirit in his cold eyes. As the martial arts master of China, she has her own pride. On her way to martial arts, she would certainly not surrender to a neon ronin. Therefore, after hearing that Zhang Yi attached great importance to Tsukamoto Nabunaga, her fighting spirit also ignited. If possible, I would like to fight him. 
Chin Xiao Xiao, and Peng Li looked at Liang Yu curiously. There was some suspicion in the eyes of the two of them. Because as far as they knew, Liang Yu was just Zhang Yi's subordinate. How dare she say such a thing? You know, Sukamoto Nobunaga wiped out an alien organization with one sword and one sword. And captured Li Tianlong alive. On the battlefield, capturing alive is always more difficult than killing. Liang Yu felt the suspicion of the two of them. But she was too lazy to explain anything. She was not good at words. And for a martial artist, the best way to prove one's strength was to type with one word. Zhang Yi continued to chat. In addition, there are three people whose strength we don't know. He stretched out his hand and pointed at Phoenix and Jean. Takeuchi Mayumi and Shijimanoba Satoru in the picture. These people have to be careful and not be careless. Especially the leader of the group. Phoenix inner Jean admires Keshin's Neon. If he was not strong enough, he would not be regarded as the leader of this group of fierce ronin. Zhang Yi's eyes couldn't help but become serious. If even his subordinates are that strong, what level is his strength? The first battle did not test his strength. Then, in the second battle that Zhang Yi and others will participate in, Zhang Yi and others will have to face this unknown. Afraid? That's not the case. Zhang Yi is a stranger with first-class life-saving methods. It's just that if you don't know the opponent's strength, it will be difficult to eliminate it, and various changes may occur by then. Qin Xiaoxiao saw Zhang Yi's worries. She said calmly that when encountering an enemy of this level, all we can do is do our part. Don't forget, the leader of this operation is the headquarters, and the main combat force is the celestial team, not us. Then, she stared at Zhang Yi with burning eyes, and I could basically understand what the headquarters battle plan was. As soon as these words came out, Zhang Yi and Liang Yu couldn't help but look at her a few more times. The corners of Peng Li's mouth rose slightly, feeling a little proud in her heart. Although she and Qin Xiaoxiao only met after the apocalypse, they became best friends because of their similar personalities. Their abilities complement each other, just like their relationship. They support each other and step by step reach the pinnacle of power in the city. Qin Xixu's mind is something she is also proud of. Oh, tell me the story. Zhang Yi smiled and spread his hands, gesturing for Qin Xiaoxiao to continue speaking. Qin Xiaoxiao said that your analysis is correct. Eclipse didn't show its strength at all in the first battle. And because of this, we have to form two echelons to act. Considering that the opponent has extremely powerful intelligence gathering capabilities, they will adopt the best formation when fighting us. The phenomenon of ability restraint between aliens is very serious. As obvious as water extinguishing fire. If you lose the opportunity in this regard, you will be easily broken through. Chen Xiaoxiao continued. But we have the advantage of playing at home. That's the number of people, she said, reaching out and taking four water glasses from the coffee table plate. First, put the two water glasses in front. Our three teams are the first line of battle. The meaning of our existence is to force Eclipse to take action and expose their power first, even though they can choose a suitable response plan to attack us based on our formation. However, we have a second layer of protection. Chin Xiaoxiao put two more cups at the back. That's the Celestial Team. All we need to do is find members of the Celestial Team who have abilities, and attributes that are different from ours, and can even complement ours to follow us. Then you can perfectly resolve the opponent's tactics. Chin Xiaoxiao touched her chin and thought for a few seconds, then smiled and said, To put it simply, it's like playing rock-paper-scissors. If you put it this way, it's easy to understand. Right? And if we do this? Even if the other party understands our strategy, there is no good way to break through. Because I don't think they are superior to us in terms of hard power. Chapter 636 The Fall of Jiangning City Chen Shishu's insights made Zhang Yi nod his head repeatedly. He very much agreed with Chen Shishu's view. Yes, I think so too. Although these aliens from Neon are all Delta level, but they are not much different from people like Zhang Yi and Chen Xiaoxiao. Most of them are civilian strangers who have not received professional combat training. Perhaps there is a strength gap between them and the aliens in the first battle. But the dozen or so people summoned this time were all top-notch in the outer city area of Jiangnan region. Zhang Yi doesn't think he is weaker than them. It can even be said that, except for the fact that they are not as good as the members of the investigation team in terms of team combat and discipline. At the individual level, their strength is not weaker than that of ordinary investigation team members, or even one person is not weaker than the investigation team leader. Qin Xiaoxiao was very happy that Zhang Yi agreed with her opinion. So say it. As long as we fight in this way and avoid the other party fighting with information gaps, our chances of winning are very high. Zhang Yi leaned on the sofa, glanced at Liang Yu next to him, 
and then said lightly that if this was the case, then this mission would be easy. After all, what I am best at is being a bait to delay other people's time. As long as he doesn't seek death, no one within the current known range can kill him. At this moment, Pung Lee, who had been lowering her head to take notes, suddenly raised her head and looked at Zhang Yi with a surprised and slightly disgusted look. However, our purpose is not just to serve as bait for others. Don't forget, as long as we can make a contribution in this mission, we have a chance to take over the entire Lehi city. Zhang Yi frowned. So what? So what? Pang Li's face was full of surprise. Linhai City is very rich in resources. As long as we can capture it and divide at least part of the area, our power will be greatly enhanced. Jin Xiaoxiao said calmly that although the Jiangmen region headquarters had established a federation, it strictly prohibited fighting between forces in various regions. But you have to understand that this kind of thing cannot be banned at all. Although the Jiangmen region is powerful, no one dares to provoke it but their power cannot completely govern the entire area. Therefore, subsequent wars between various forces in the Jiangan region will definitely become normal. Only by making yourself stronger will you not be passive. Zhang Yi nodded and said it indeed made sense. But I'm not interested. Peng Li sneered. You are also the leader of Tianhai City after all. With this mentality, be careful of someone having your hometown stolen in the future. You can't be too comfortable as a human being. Zhang Yi smiled and said, but I think there is nothing wrong with being comfortable. Chen Xiaoxiao frowned. She and Peng Li looked at each other, feeling that things were getting a little tricky. Their purpose is to make achievements this time in order to obtain the task rewards given by Jiangan region, which includes the territory of Linhai City. But now, two people in their team do not support their approach. How will they compete with the other two teams after that? It will obviously be at a disadvantage in terms of strength. Chen Xiaoxiao took a deep breath. Zhang Yi. Please think carefully about this matter. Linhai City is right next to Tianhai City. If you can take over the territory and resources there, it will be the most suitable for you. Zhang Yi didn't want to dwell on this topic anymore. He waved his hand and forgot what we said at the beginning. In this team, I am the captain, and you must listen to me in everything. If there are differences at that time, you can leave at any time and I will not stop you. Chen Shishia's tone suddenly stopped. Indeed, this was their agreement no matter how many ideas she had. There was nothing she could do if Zhang Yi didn't agree to it. After all, Zhang Yi is their captain on the surface. You are such a strange person, Jin Xiaoxiao said helplessly. If it were any other team, those strangers would have readily agreed. A meaningful smile appeared on Zhang Yi's lips. He didn't say much on the matter. He just knocked on the table and said, Let's get on with it! They still have a lot to dig into. For example, come up with specific strategies to deal with the special abilities of each alien in the Eclipse group. While Zhang Yi and others were busy studying the intelligence of the Eclipse group, a piece of news reached Zhu Zheng from the Intelligence Department of the Combat Command Center. When Zhu Zheng saw this news, he couldn't help but frown deeply, because it was clearly written on it that the Nebula satellite system detected that the Eclipse group began to leave Linhai City and headed towards Jiangming City in the northwest. Can't wait any longer. These guys really want to march towards the Central Plains. Damn lunatics. Zhu Zheng clenched his fists with a serious look on his face. The rampage of the Eclipse group was beyond his expectation. You don't really think that after winning an outpost battle, you can really treat the Jiangan region as if it were nothing. Do you? Zhu Zheng's eyes flashed with a sharp light. And a strong murderous intention filled the air. Jiangming City, located northwest of Linhai City and Tianhai City, is a second-tier prosperous city. The Eclipse group rode in the stolen car, and wandered from the border line to the central area of Jiangning City. Jiangning Plaza is one of the most prosperous areas in Jiangning City and a well-known commercial district. In the past, this place was occupied by the largest alien group in Jiangning City. But now, on the streets that Eclipse members walked along, there were hundreds of corpses scattered along the way. The bright red blood dyed the entire street red, and then quickly condensed into blood ice before it had time to flow. Phoenix Academy put his hands in the pockets of his gray suit vest, and walked forward while whistling leisurely. We have to find a place with abundant supplies first. Rest here for a while. Replenish supplies. And then continue heading inland. The next stop seems to be the city called Lingdu. Phoenix Academy looked at the instrument in his hand. The screen displayed a complete map. Even every path was clear. Of course, after the apocalyptic blizzard, most of the paths have lost their meaning. This is a map from before the end of the world. And it can only be used as a reference now. Behind him on the right. Jinguji Saikaro. 
with his slick back hair and gold-rimmed glasses, looked at him with a stinking look on his face. Things won't go as we expected. In the previous battle, it was obvious that those who came were not the alien troops from the Jiangnan region headquarters, but private organizations. After we killed them all, we also sent a message, but we did not receive a response from the Jiangnan region. He exhaled a puff of white smoke, with some irritation in his eyes. This shows that those guys still have to fight us to the end. Chapter 637 Let me say a few words. Phoenix had listened to Jinguji's complaints, but a brisk smile appeared on his lips. Saikiro Jinguji, a former stock trader, is a complete pessimist. From the first day he met him, Jinguji always spread negative news in Phoenix Academy's ears. However, it is also thanks to him that the Eclipse organization can develop to where it is today. And in the Kanto region, time and time again from Izumo, he escaped from the encirclement and suppression of the group. The pessimist Jinguji Saikairo is also a staunch representative of the landing faction. After the end of the world came, he firmly believed that the Neon Islands would be submerged in the Great Flood after the end of the world. If it weren't for that, he, who was cautious by nature, would never have agreed to Phoenix Enron's crazy landing plan. Phoenix Temple smiles at Jinguji Temple. Don't always be so pessimistic. Now all developments are under our control. He spread his arms and turned his back to everyone. At most, there will be one more crusade. Jiang and region will completely understand how strong we are. They will obediently give up their conquest against us. I believe there are many smart people among them who will understand this truth. After all, we are not the only enemy to them now, Phoenix Academy said, narrowing his eyes. Just like when we were in Kano. As a Ronin organization, Eclipse fought with the most powerful local organization when it was traveling across Kanto. Izumo. A conflict occurred. However, those who control the power of Neon's top management are mostly former official figures. Their first consideration before doing anything is always their own interests. The price to be paid to eliminate Eclipse is too heavy. And it is possible that their entire organization will be greatly weakened. In that case, it will give other forces an opportunity to replace them. Because of this, Izumo let Eclipse go. Jinguji looked disgusted. Yes, but this is not Neon. How do you know if those people in the Jiangan region have the same brains as the top brass in Izumo? Phoenix Academy raised his eyebrows and said playfully, Aren't all the arrogant guys like them in the world the same? Everyone watched the two bickering with smiles. Obviously already used to this daily routine. They stepped on the corpses of Jiangan city organizations and walked into this once bustling street. Jinguji pushed up his glasses. So now, in order to prevent attacks from the Jiangan region, it is necessary to conduct a thorough cleaning of this area. He raised his head, a snake-like cold light flashing in his eyes. Don't leave a single person alive within the 5-kilometer area around Jiangning Plaza. The day passed quickly. Everyone returned to the conference room of the operations center. After a little preparation, they were about to rush to the battlefield to fight against the Eclipse. Zhang Yi and others came to the conference room. And Chen Xiao Xiao and Peng Li were also sitting not far from them. Zhang Yi's eyes glanced at the other strangers from the outer city, and it could be seen that they also had some discussions yesterday. It's just that the relationship between people seems very subtle. It is naturally impossible to have a tacit understanding of a temporarily formed team. We can only say that the chain will not fall off when the time comes. After all, they were not the main force in this battle. After a while, Zhu Zheng, Deng Shitong and others also came here. But today, Zhu Sheng's face was much more serious than yesterday which made Zhang Yi and others feel bad. Sure enough, after Zhu Sheng came to the office, he did not ask everyone about the status of preparations. Instead, he said to everyone very seriously, Everyone, I have some very bad news that I want to inform you here. Just this morning, the eclipse moon has left Linhai City and arrived in the nearby Jiangning City. As soon as these words came out, a person immediately stood up and patted the table. What? Zhang Yi recognized that it was Wu Shifang the leader of the alien organization in Jiangning City. How is Jiangning City doing now? Wu Shifang was very worried. His family and friends were all in Jiangning City. According to Linhai City's previous examples, once the eclipse reaches a certain place, it will wipe out all the forces in that place. Zhu Xing said to Wu Shifang, Wu Shifang, don't get excited yet. We have notified people in Jiangning City and asked them to hide. Never conflict with a lunar eclipse. Currently, they have occupied Jiangning Square. And as expected, all organizations in that area have been wiped out. Wu Shifang took a deep breath and calmed down. But it is fair to say that if his power is attacked, 
he will definitely be contacted. But even so, he couldn't rest assured. Because as long as those vicious gangsters stay in Jiangning City for one day, his power will be in danger. Wu Shifang stared at Zhu Zheng and said seriously, Zhu Shui, I want to go back first. Arrange the internal affairs of my force. Zhu Zheng didn't speak. Lan Xingqing, the secretary next to him, came over and said with a cold face, Wu Shifang, when do you think it is now? Can you let it go according to your temper? The most important thing for you now is to cooperate with the headquarters and complete the encirclement and suppression of Eclipse. R. Wu Shifang looked confused. But I was worried about them. Worrying is useless. Lan Xingqing scolded. Do you think you can destroy Eclipse Moon by yourself? Wu Shifang was speechless. Going alone would not help at all. Zhu Sheng's gentle voice came from the side. Xingqing. He is also worried about his family and friends. Which is understandable. Wu Shifang felt warm in his heart and looked at Zhu Zheng. Zhu Shui. Zhu Zheng put his hands behind his back and said with a serious face that he was too anxious to eat hot tofu. Those people had just arrived in Jiangning City. They were not many in number, and it was impossible to destroy major organizations in Jiangning City in a short period of time. We will hold a combat meeting today to finalize the action plan. We'll take action tomorrow morning. As for the large and small forces in Jiangning City, we have already informed them. Let them go into hiding as soon as possible and don't conflict with the Eclipse. Regarding safety issues, you can rest assured. Wu Shifang felt relieved, nodded and sat down. Zhu Zheng looked at the crowd. The goal of these guys was very clear, which was to head towards the Central Plains region. So we must seize the time and kill them in the coastal area as soon as possible. We must not let these hateful ronin take a step forward. Now, let's start the final combat meeting. Please let the three teams, represented by their captains, share the results of your discussion. Zhu Zheng looked at Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi. Let me start with you first. Everyone's attention shifted to Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi coughed and stood up slowly. Since you want me to say something, I will say a few words. Chapter 638 The Final Mobilization Zhang Yi succinctly told everyone the results of yesterday's discussion between the four. The success or failure of the operation was at stake. So he had little to hide except his own abilities. The most important thing, I think, is to thoroughly understand the capabilities of all members of the Eclipse team especially find ways to crack their way of obtaining intelligence. That's all I have to say. Over. After Zhang Yi finished speaking, he sat down. After he finished speaking, many people at the scene lowered their heads and thought about what Zhang Yi said. Even Deng Shitong was holding his chin in one hand. Looking deep in thought, Zhu Sheng nodded towards Zhang Yi approvingly. Zhang Yi's analysis is correct. In our war with Eclipse, the most important thing is intelligence. At this point, we still don't know the other party's intelligence source. So we are slightly at a disadvantage. Zhu Zhang's voice suddenly became high-pitched. But, in other respects, we are at an absolute advantage. Whether it is the strength and quantity of foreigners, or the logistical assistance for local operations. He crossed his arms, and said with a confident smile that the most important thing is the armed assistance of our region. Everyone couldn't help but look at Zhu Zheng. Are you planning to use thermal weapons for targeted strikes? Yu Zhengyang. A stranger from Xuchuan City. Asked with blazing eyes. Missiles are one of the most important strategic weapons today. Its power can crush almost all aliens. However, due to the end of the world, its production line is almost cut off. And it can only rely on inventory to consume. Therefore, it is not possible for units at the regional level to use it easily. Zhang Yi and others have long had questions in their minds as to why the region does not use missiles to carry out precisely targeted strikes on the eclipse moon. Zhu Zheng seemed to understand the doubts in everyone's hearts. He explains that Eclipse has a satellite jamming device in his hands. Although our nebulous system can roughly determine the area where they are located, it cannot accurately determine their location. Lan Xingqing reminded that they can affect satellite reconnaissance within a radius of 5 kilometers. Zhu Zheng nodded. Yes, 5 kilometers. It is indeed very difficult to cover a radius of 5 kilometers with ammunition. But don't worry. This time we have prepared something else which is guaranteed to give them a huge surprise. Everyone was a little happy. It seemed that it must be the secret weapon of Jiangin region. After all, it is a district-level organization, so it is impossible not to have some bottom-up stuff. Later, Shua Feiyu, the captain of the second team, also stood up and published the results of their team's research. Shua Feiyu took out the satellite phone from his pocket, opened the text file on it, and began to read according to the script. Combined with the defeat in the first battle, 
we summed up the important experience that we cannot divide our forces to fight. Even if they are divided into three teams, they must ensure that the distance between them does not exceed two kilometers. And it needs to be stipulated that when a certain team encounters a lunar eclipse, the other two teams must support it as soon as possible. There is no need for us to let each other lead us by the nose. Since what they are good at is intelligence. They are targeting the abilities of each of our groups of aliens and sending aliens who can restrain us to take action. Then, we can also change opponents in time according to the situation on the battlefield. These words made Zhang Yi suddenly feel his eyes light up. He couldn't help but take a few more glances at Zhuo Feiyu. This man looked to be in his thirties. Very young. With greasy hair. This was because he hadn't showered for a long time. Although his face is a little ordinary. He is also a little stiff when he follows the instructions. However, being able to point out the key points of the failure of the first battle and give a method to deal with it shows that his mind is not simple. Swap opponents. This method is quite wonderful. Zhang Yi couldn't help but murmured in a low voice. In the first battle, an important reason why the ten alien teams were wiped out so quickly was that the captain's ability was restrained. Because in the battle of Delta level aliens, the influence of lower level aliens is already very small. As for the thirteen people in Eclipse, all of them are vicious men who roam the entire Kanto region and are also leaders at the Delta level. Therefore, the first battle can basically be regarded as a battle between Eclipse and ten Delta level aliens from the outer city. Zhang Yi once imagined that if he had exchanged opponents for them and prevented them from playing too comfortably, then even if the conquest troops could not win the Eclipse, they would not have lost so miserably. Zhang Yi felt a little emotional. If Eclipse really has that kind of inexplicable intelligence gathering ability, then to what extent can we detect his abilities? Will he know his true strength? If so, what kind of people will be sent to deal with him? He didn't know. Everything was unknown. Zhang Yi felt that it was better for him to be more cautious. After all, I am facing an enemy in the open. And if I accidentally overturn my car, that would be terrible. So Zhang Yi decided to continue to survive. It was important to save his life first. Zhang Yi and Zhuo Feiyu's words made everyone realize something. In Zhu Zheng's mind, he even began to consider adding this item to his action plan. He nodded to Zhuo Feiyu. Your proposal is very good. I will consider it. Zhuo Feiyu nodded, then slowly sat down. Xia Lingling held her chin with one hand and looked at Zhuo Feiyu with amusement in her eyes. Hey, Captain, that's a good point. Zhuo Feiyu just smiled faintly at her, but did not respond. Xia Lingling's boyfriend Yuan Hao was a little anxious. He quietly pulled Xia Lingling's sleeve. Lingling, I also came up with a lot of ideas. You praise me too. Xia Lingling turned around and looked at Yuan Hao, who was looking at her like a little puppy, with a wicked smile on her lips. She pinched Yuan Hao's chin. You idiot. No matter how good other men are, they can't compare with you in my eyes. I love you the most. As she said that, she kissed him as if no one was watching. There was a sticky chirping sound in the conference room. The two of them were not far away from Zhang Yi and others. A blush suddenly appeared on Liang Yu's face. She quickly turned her head away. But she couldn't help but look back secretly. Others had indifferent looks on their faces. Seemingly indifferent to these two people. After all, after the end of the world, there are more and more weirdos in the world. And they are more daring to indulge themselves. Fortunately, Zhu Zheng was also used to seeing weirdos among strangers. So he didn't express any reaction to Xiao Lingling and Yuan Hao's behavior. He just looked at Wu Shifang, the captain of the third team. Wu Shifang, it's your turn next. Let's talk about the results of your team's discussion. Chapter 639 is scheduled for early morning. Wu Shifang proposed a more cautious action plan. He believes that the members of the Eclipse team are all very powerful individually. If they fight against them in an alien duel, even if they can win, it will be a miserable defeat. Therefore, the best way is to first use superior forces to consume their effective strength. Therefore, Wu Shifang's suggestion was to send 10,000 soldiers to blockade Jiangning Square. Everyone is equipped with origin bombs. Then use thermal weapon bombing to force them out. In this way, they will either have to withstand the bombardment of thermal weapons, or they will come out and face the attack of tens of thousands of soldiers using origin bombs. I believe that no matter how powerful the alien is, he cannot withstand such a battle. Right? After listening to Wu Shifang's words, the scene fell into silence. The people at the headquarters looked at him strangely. Even Zhang Yi couldn't help but shake his head. Although this idea is good, it is a pity. Lan Xinqing has expressed what everyone is thinking. That is impossible. He pushed up his glasses and looked at Wu Shifang. Do you think it is that easy to make an origin bomb? 
Even at the Jiangnan region headquarters, there are only a few special forces that can be equipped with such bullets, and the supply is also limited, let alone 10,000 soldiers. Even a thousand soldiers equipped with origin bombs would be unrealistic. So your proposal simply won't work? Wu Shifang's face looked a little ugly. He clenched his fists and said in a deep voice. However, just relying on a few dozen of us may not be able to annihilate all of Eclipse Moon. It's better to have more people. A sharp light flashed in Zhu Jing's eyes. How could he not know what Wu Shifang said? But Wu Shifang simply doesn't understand that the Jiangnan region today doesn't have that much manpower. Even four of the six major investigation teams are currently performing tasks outside. Jiangning City is Wu Shifang's territory. So it is understandable that he is nervous and worried. However, it is impossible for the Jiangnan region to put all its efforts into dealing with the Eclipse. Zhu Zheng slowly said that our purpose this time is to destroy the Eclipse organization. He changed the subject. But it was not necessary to destroy them all at once. These guys are cunning and are always playing hide and seek with us. They can run from Linhai City to Jiangning City. And then they may escape to other places. To encircle and annihilate them. You need to mobilize at least 10 times their strength. This is equivalent to bringing together top strangers from all cities in the entire Jiangnan region. By doing so, we risk being attacked by other outside groups. Sun Tzu's Art of War says that the method of using troops is to surround it with 10. Attack it with 5. Divide it with twice the enemy. If the enemy is small, you can fight it. If it is small, you can escape from it. If it is weak, you can avoid it. Know yourself and the enemy. And you can fight a hundred battles without danger. Wu Shifang is a little anxious. What do you mean? Zhu Zheng said that he would defeat them in one fell swoop. Fight head on and destroy their organization. Find out their details. In this way, even if they cannot be eliminated at once, their arrogance can still be defeated. Don't forget, we are fighting on home soil. And a continued war of attrition is beneficial to us. Our military resources can be continuously replenished from the rear. But their number is only 13. And they will become fewer and fewer as we fight. So in this battle, the further we go, the better it will be. Zhu Zheng was a military strategist. And his thinking was strategic thinking. From the beginning, he never thought about annihilating everyone in Eclipse in one fell swoop. This is certainly a good wish. But it is too difficult to realize. Eclipse Moon wouldn't be so stupid as to come over and fight with the people of Jiangnan region even though he knew he couldn't beat them. Deng Shantong, who was sitting below, listened to Zhu Zheng's words, with a hint of impatience flashing in his eyes. He crossed his arms and said leisurely that maybe we have a simpler way. That is, kill their leader directly. As long as the Wolf King is defeated, the wolves will disperse as quickly as possible. The first time Deng Shantong spoke, he attracted everyone's attention. There is no way. In this operation, the god team is undoubtedly the main force. And this captain level figure is also the number one combat force in this operation. Zhu Shui smiled. He has always been very clear about Deng Shitong's character. He is so wanton in public. But every time, Deng Shitong was able to complete the task well. Zhu Shui likes young people like this who have fighting spirit and drive. Lan Xinqing, the secretary next to Zhu Zheng, said that we have very limited information about Phoenix Yuanren the leader of Eclipse Moon. Even in Kanto, his personal information is sealed. Preliminary estimates indicate that this person's combat effectiveness should not be lower than that of the captains of the six major investigation teams. Therefore, it is very difficult to complete the decapitation operation on him. Of course, if Captain Deng can do this, it will greatly shorten the progress of our conquest. Deng Shitong tilted his head, and his long silver hair hung down like a waterfall. Leave this matter to me. His eyes were filled with confidence. It was not arrogance or conceit, but a clear understanding of his own strength. As long as the prey is marked by me, no one can escape. Now, he is a dead man, Deng Shitong said softly. This confident tone made the smile on Zhu Zheng's face grow whiter. But opposite Deng Shitong, Bailey Chongqing, a member of the combat command team, had a somewhat complicated expression. After being promoted to captain, he did not have the confidence, like Deng Shitong, to say such words. This is the gap in strength. As soon as Deng Shitong spoke, the others basically had no more words to say. The situation is relatively clear, and everyone is basically aware of it. And we are just discussing the details of the battle. So, do you have any other questions? If not, let's go straight to the topic and talk about tomorrow's battle plan. Zhu Zheng glanced at everyone, and no one had anything to say. The thirteen strangers in the outer city knew in their hearts that they were auxiliary. 
and their main combat strength was the God Squad. Therefore, their biggest role is to draw out the main force of Eclipse and create opportunities for the Celestial Team. Zhu Zheng motioned to Lan Xinqing to tell everyone the plan. Lan Xinqing cleared his throat and revealed a plan they had drafted long ago. Just a few extra details added for today's discussion. The time for the action has also been set. At 2 o'clock tomorrow morning. This time is when people enter deep sleep. And it is also the time when people are most tired and most likely to show flaws. Chapter 640 Receive Weapons The urgency of time did not even occur to Zhang Yi. He glanced at the satellite phone. It was now 3.30 in the afternoon, which meant that in more than 10 hours, they would set off for Jiangning City to perform their mission. Lan Xinqing explained the mission content to the three teams according to the predetermined plan. The current area of activity of the other party is Jiangning Square in the center of Jiangning. This is one of the busiest commercial districts in the area, and they have used technology that blocks satellite detection, preventing us from monitoring it in real time. At that time, we will first conduct an all-round bombing of the entire Jiangning Square. Then the three of you teams acted as the vanguard and slowly approached Jiangning Square from three directions. When waiting for the enemy to appear, your task is to hold them back and fight with them. The rest will be left to the main force this time the god team. Regarding the specific details of the mission, Lan Xinqing only briefly touched on it. Zhang Yi understood that the core of this mission still lies with the god team, and what they want to do doesn't need to be known to too many people. This is also to prevent intelligence leaks and avoid a situation similar to the first battle. After Lan Xinqing finished speaking, he looked at everyone and asked again if he had any questions. Xiao Lingling sneered and folded her arms nonchalantly. The others all had similar expressions. They are very clear about their positioning and have been mentally prepared for it. But what about making bait? As long as this mission is successful, the benefits they can get are also considerable. Not only can they realize the righteousness of their family and country and gain fame, but they can also obtain a large amount of resources and territory. It's definitely worth the risk for them to give it a try. After Lan Xinxin waited for a few seconds and saw that no one raised any objections, he continued, Then, please go and prepare for the battle. Preparation for battle? Zhang Yi raised his eyebrows. He was fully armed now, so he didn't need any special preparations. Chief of Operations Tu Yunlai stood up slowly and said in a deep voice, For this battle, the headquarters has equipped you with special weapons. Please come with me to collect it later. He paused and emphasized again that they were special weapons used by Yin Yun's troops. Upon hearing this, Zhang Yi and others' eyes flashed with curiosity and expectation. They have never used the special equipment of Blizzard City's professional troops. But I have heard about it more or less and know its powerful characteristics. In Zhang Yi's mind, the black tight-fitting suit and the standard cold weapons made of adamant metal appeared for the first time. And origin bomb. So far, Zhang Yi, with the help of Lu Karen, has only reproduced the origin bomb. As for the adamant metal and black tight-fitting suits, either the materials were too difficult to synthesize, or the technological content was too high, and Lu Karen wouldn't be able to reproduce them for a while. Everyone, Zhu Zheng stood up, and others stood up one after another. Zhu Sheng's face was serious, like a piece of hard black iron. This battle is related to the reputation of our Jiangnan region and the honor of our country. Therefore, please work hard to kill the enemy and be sure to kill all these rogues. Everyone responded in unison, yes. The loud and firm voice shook the ceiling. No matter where these people come from, no matter whether they are good, evil, despicable, cunning, or evil, but in the face of the righteousness of their family and country. They will not be ambiguous. This is a glorious deed that they will be able to stand up and speak out with pride in the future. After the meeting, Zhu Zhen left Deng Shitong. Tu Yunlai and others alone. As core members, they have more detailed battle plans to discuss. The task of taking Zhang Yi and other strangers from outside the city to select equipment was left to Bailey Changqing. To be honest, Zhang Yi felt a little aggrieved just looking at it. After all, he is also the captain of the investigation team in name and is on the same level as Deng Shintong. But it is obvious that Bailey Chongqing has not entered the core circle of the combat command center at all. It can only be said that Blizzard City is a place where strength comes first. The level of ability determines a person's status. Zhang Yi and others followed Bailey Chongqing all the way to the weapons depot below. After many layers of identity verification, Bailey Chongqing opened the door of the weapons depot. What comes into view is a huge weapons arsenal with rows of weapons and equipment neatly arranged. Firearms, cold weapons, suits, tanks, armored vehicles, and even armed helicopters. 
Bailey Chanchin turned around, smiled and spread his hands to everyone. You can choose any weapons here. Take as many as you can. Zhang Yi raised his eyebrows. The smile on Bailey Chengqing's face froze. And he quickly changed his words and said, I mean the weapons that can be carried on the body. Those with space powers are not allowed to enter the space. Zhang Yi shrugged indifferently. He didn't like ordinary equipment at first. As soon as he arrived here, his eyes were fixed on the various battle clothes inside. Everyone couldn't wait to run into the weapons warehouse. And then stared at the large number of new weapons inside with bright eyes. Veteran Yu Xingyang immediately came to the place where the anti-material sniper rifle was placed, opened a heavy weapons box, and took out a huge Barrett sniper rifle. Wu Shifan came to the area where the armors were piled, picked and picked, and got himself a set of heavy armors. This suit of armor weighs 20 kilograms. It is inlaid with many metal armors on the outside and has an exoskeleton device on the inside that can enhance a person's strength. Very suitable for an enhanced melee alien like him. Some people have clear goals and quickly find weapons that suit them. Some people are thinking about what kind of weapon is suitable for them. After Zhang Yi came to the uniform area, he reached out and took down a black tights from the wall. But after he got the clothes, he frowned slightly. The feeling of this thing is completely different from the suit worn in the martial arts field that day. He tried other suits again and found that they all had the same texture. How is this going? Is that more advanced equipment? Zhang Yi thought of this and raised his head to scan the entire weapons warehouse. Indeed, the weapons and equipment here are very advanced. But they are all general purpose weapons. Thermal weapons are of little significance to Zhang Yi. He has Bai Shao and Lei Shu customized by Lu Karen. The power of these two weapons has, without exaggeration, reached the pinnacle of thermal weapons for individual combat. Used in conjunction with Zhang Yi's ability, it is much stronger than Barrett's Sand Eagle or the like. As for cold weapons, Zhang Yi walked over, picked up a dark dagger, put it in his hand and tried it. Sure enough, it is not made of adamant metal. He basically understood it in his mind. It seems that the weapons arsenal open to them in Jiangyan region is not comprehensive. Zhang Yi walked back calmly and came to Bailey Chengqing's side. He lowered his voice and said, Are you just going to send us away with these things? Bailey Chengqing laughed. This is not to deal with you. These are the common weapons of Yin Yin's troops. That. Zhang Yi looked at him puzzled. Bailey Chongqing explained that the suit you used in the martial arts field before can only be used by the investigation team and a small number of high-level officials with special permissions. The same is true for weapons made of adamantium metal. That's not a mass product. Chapter 641 Everyone has a responsibility. Zhang Yi complained in his heart. The headquarters is really a thief. At this time, it has not given them the best weapons and equipment. But if you think about it carefully, it makes sense. After all, if those weapons appear in the outer city, they will all be at the level of artifacts. If they are distributed in large quantities, they may cause competition in the future and may also lead to technology leaks. I understand. But Zhang Yi has always been a bastard if he doesn't take advantage. He approached Bailey Chan Ching and whispered that no matter what happened to them, you have to give me and Leon Yu a set of black tights. Based on our friendship, this matter is no problem. Right? Bailey Chengqing's face looked a little embarrassed. Those are control level equipment and cannot be given to others easily. Especially the battle clothes. They are all high tech products. And I can't give them to you. Zhang Yi always spoke in two different ways. Which made it very difficult for him to handle. Is it difficult to deal with Zhang Yi's eyes? Then don't do it. Bailey Chengqing smiled and waved his hand. Don't be angry. Although this matter is troublesome. It is not without discussion. If it were someone else. Bailey Chongqing would have to consider the possibility of him dying in battle. But with Zhang Yi, there is no need to worry about this at all. In the entire Blizzard City, there are not many people who truly understand Zhang Yi's strength. He Chongqing is definitely the one who knows the best. Because Zhang Yi personally told him that his strength was no less than that of the late Captain Bian Junwu. Combined with Zhang Yi's always stubborn behavior, it would be even harder to kill him. So tell me, what should I do? Zhang Yi asked. Bailey Chongqing looked around pulled Zhang Yi to a deserted corner, and then whispered, I will give you my and Meng Ziyu's battle clothes first, but when you come back, you must return it to us. In terms of weapons, you all have your own exclusive ones, so there is no need to ask me for them. Zhang Yi saw Bailey Chengqing's serious expression and understood in his heart how rare that black tights was. Although it's a pity that I can't ask for 10 or 8 sets to go back. However, being able to get 2 sets to where can greatly improve their survival rate in missions which is pretty good. Well, 
It's settled. Zhang Yi returned to the weapons arsenal and pretended to pick some equipment. The others also chose their own weapons. And they were all equipped with everything. They wanted to be armed to the teeth. Although these standard weapons used by Yin Yun's special forces are relatively ordinary to Zhang Yi, they are excellent things for them. After everyone selected their weapons, Bei Li Chan Qin told them that everyone would stay in the combat center on standby for the time being. Someone will take you there when the time comes. The combat center is relatively large and naturally has a rest area. So the aliens in the outer city separated in twos and threes. Some discussed the next tactics with serious expressions, while others went to recharge their batteries and prepare for the next war. Zhang Yi, on the other hand, mysteriously called Lian Yu and followed Bei Li Chan Qing to the special rest area of their black-robed investigation team. Bei Li Chan Qing asked Meng Siyu for her battle uniform and handed it to Zhang Yi along with his outfit. The suit shrinks intelligently, so there will be no misfit in terms of body shape. You go next door to change clothes first. Zhang Yi handed Meng Siyu's suit to Liang Yu. Liang Yu had seen this black suit and heard Zhang Yi talk about its magic. When she got the battle uniform, she couldn't help but secretly thought that Zhang Yi even wanted such a thing. It was really amazing. She took her battle uniform and calmly went to the women's locker room next door. Zhang Yi went to the men's locker room and started to take off his clothes. At this moment, Bei Li Chan Qing walked in from outside. Zhang Yi turned around and met his eyes. His eyes a little wary. What did you come in for? At this time, he had just taken off his shirt, revealing his muscular upper body. After the end of the world, he would not neglect to exercise every day, so his body was very toned, and there was almost no trace of fat on his body. Bei Li Chan Qing smiled and waved his hand. Don't get me wrong. I just want to chat with you before you set off. As he spoke, he leaned against the wall with his arms folded. Zhang Yi said calmly if you have any questions. Just ask them. Bailey Chongqing's expression became serious. He frowned slightly and stared at Zhang Yi Dao. What are your plans for this action? The headquarters doesn't know your strength and treats you as an ordinary alien to arrange operations. But I know that your strength is definitely not inferior to Ding Shitong. So, are you planning to take action at the critical moment? Capture the Eclipse Moon? And take all the credit? Zhang Yi has already changed into tights. After hearing Bailey Chongqing's words, he had a joking look on his face. Do you think I look like that kind of person? Quite similar. Bailey Chan Qing nodded without hesitation. This is how you played in Tianhai City before. Zhang Yi. Thinking about it carefully. It seems that this is really the case. At first, he pretended that he was not strong. And then waited until the right opportunity appeared before reaping the fruits of victory. Zhang Yi shook his head. At the beginning, I wanted to eliminate Yuan Kongya and protect myself and those around me. But to be honest, I'm not very interested in the credit for this mission. None of that matters to me. Bailey Chan Qing opened his arms and stared at Zhang Yi Dao. What are you doing for that? Not for anything. Zhang Yi smiled and said it's just because I'm Chinese. It's that simple. As soon as these words came out, Bailey Chan Qing looked at Zhang Yi with eyes full of respect. That's it. I'm really sorry. I thought you were wrong. It has other purposes. Zhang Yi smiled and said, Of course I have my own ideas. But at this time, if people lose their sense of collective honor, how can the eggs be intact after the nest is overturned? He put on his combat uniform unhurriedly and attached the Velcro fasteners carefully. But this time, with the Celestial team as the main force, I won't expose my identity by being a standout. I will take action when necessary. You can rest assured. But, I hope you can keep it a secret for the time being. Zhang Yi blinked at Bailey Chan Qing. Bailey Chan Qing lowered his head and sighed. As the investigation captain of Blizzard City, concealing important information made him feel uneasy. But this is a secret between him and Zhang Yi, and he must keep it secret. However, he also vaguely understood that this secret could not be kept hidden forever. At that time, how will he face Zhu Zheng? This problem gave Bailey Chan Qing a headache. Sure enough, human greed is a terrible thing and will leave you with endless troubles. Now we can only take one step at a time. Don't worry. I understand. I'm sure you won't disappoint. Zhang Yi's smile grew thicker, and he did not answer Evergreen's words. He won't guarantee anything. He can only say that he will kill as many Eclipse members as possible while ensuring the safety of himself and Liang Yu. Chapter 642 Armed Helicopter Everyone put on brand new weapons and equipment, and were equipped with communication and imaging equipment. Except for Zhang Yi and Liang Yu. Almost everyone was carrying a large tactical backpack. At this time, the convenience of space system aliens became apparent. Chin Xiaoxiao and Peng Li looked at Zhang Yi. 
and after some hesitation, they decided to carry the weapons on their backs. After all, they did not fully admit that Zhang Yi was their captain. When necessary, they will choose to leave Zhang Yi and act on their own. Zhang Yi was too lazy to take the initiative to help them, give up the desire to help others, and respect other people's fate. This is responsible for others and yourself. After the combatants arrived in Jiangning City, Zhu Zheng personally guarded the combat command center and was responsible for directing on-site tactics. Therefore, this operation can be called a large-scale mobilization in Blizzard City. This shows how determined Zhu Zheng is to win this operation. Just after midnight, Zhu Zheng's voice came from the communication equipment of Zhang Yi and others. Outer city troops. Ready to go. Zhang Yi and others immediately stood up. Thirteen of them and one cat were divided into groups and planned to take the blizzard train to the battlefield. But at this time, Bailey Chan Qing came over and said to everyone, Let's go. I will take you to the airport. Zhang Yi and others? Airport? Zhuo Feiyu curiously asked if it was still possible to take a plane to Jiangning City under this temperature? Everlasting smiles slightly. Different from military aircraft and civilian aircraft. The region has several extremely cold-resistant fighter aircraft. We introduced the technology of Northern Fremons to build the models. Although it cannot be used for long-term combat, it is still fine for short-distance use. Soldiers are very fast. But taking a special train is too slow. Moreover, Jiangming City has been invaded. So there is a possibility of being discovered by taking a special train. Fremons is a country in the north. And most of its land is in the cold zone. So their technology in the field of cold resistance is very advanced. Everyone nodded clearly. And then followed Bailey Chan Ching out of the combat center. After leaving the operation center building, they immediately took a black tank and drove to the southeast area. Less than 20 minutes later, they arrived at an airport. However, it was pitch dark at this time. And there was not a single plane visible on the airport. Only a huge dome upside down in the airport. Bailey Chan Ching got out of the car first and led everyone towards the dome-like airport. This place is heavily guarded. And at the door are dozens of Yin Yin troops wearing black uniforms. After Bailey Chan Ching walked over and checked the information with them, they allowed him to go. Zhang Yi and others followed Bailey Chan Ching into the interior space of the airport. In that huge dome-like space, I saw a dozen huge fighter planes. There is no such thing as a transport aircraft that is too large. It is basically difficult for such a thing to fly in extremely cold temperatures. Zhang Yi looked carefully and saw three styles of fighter planes inside the airport. Although he didn't know anything about airplanes, he had read some military books and could recognize their types. Bombers, fighter jets, and gunships. Bailey Chan Qing led them to an armed helicopter. He gestured to everyone. Come up! Zhang Yi looked at Liang Yu, Chen Xiao Xiao and Peng Li, then walked into the helicopter without saying anything. The internal space of this combat helicopter is not small. It is enough to accommodate a dozen of them and is relatively spacious. The others didn't waste any time and quickly got on the helicopter. However, Shua Feiyu was extra cautious and asked Bailey Chanking Dao, Can we ensure that we will not be hit in the air? If it is attacked while flying at high altitude, almost everyone on the plane will die. Even the most powerful enhanced alien would probably be smashed into mud if he fell from a height of a thousand meters. However, Zhang Yi doesn't worry about this issue because he exists in a different dimension. He can escape with Liang Yu and Hua Hua even if he encounters a plane crash at high altitude. Bailey Chan Qing laughed when he heard Zhuo Feiyu's question. Before Bailey Chan Qing could say anything, Yu Zhengyang, a veteran from Xichuan City, explained that don't underestimate the defensive power of armed helicopters. This is one of the most elite armed fighters in China. Being Long 17, coupled with a flying height factor, I can't think of any aliens who can shoot it down. Shua Feiyu calmly said. Sail the Wanyin ship carefully. It was also the first time for him to sit in Wuxi. So it was inevitable that he would be nervous. After all, before the end of the world, he was just an ordinary office worker. Then at least tell us where the umbrella bag is. Right? Yuan Hao asked weakly. If anything goes wrong, we can skydive. Bailey Chan Ching had a smile that couldn't be suppressed. You'd better not think about this problem. In this temperature. Non-professionals like you are basically courting death by skydiving, as they will freeze into popsicles in the air. But if you insist on worrying about this, there is an umbrella bag behind you. Yuan Hao found a camouflage-colored backpack according to what Bailey Chan Qing said. He quickly took the backpack and handed it to Xiao Lingling next to him like a treasure. Lingling, here you go. Xiao Lingling frowned, grabbed the umbrella bag and threw it on the ground. You are too timid. I, I'm just worried that something will happen to you. 
Ba, ba, ba. You have such a crow mouth. Can't you say something nice? Xiao Lingling stretched out her hand to tug Yuan Hao's cheek, making his face, which was already as pale as an empty young master, become even whiter. Everyone on the helicopter looked at the two of them as if they were watching the excitement. Although we are in the end of the world, the emotions between people are extremely indifferent. But it does not mean that everyone does not long for sincere emotions. Therefore, when many people saw the fight between Yuan Hao and Xiao Lingling, there were obvious smiles in their eyes, as well as a hint of envy. Zhang Yi inadvertently turned his head to look out the window and happened to see a few familiar faces appearing next to another helicopter not far away. Her long silver hair hangs down her back smoothly, and her slender and muscular figure would make most men jealous. There is no doubt that he is the captain of the god team, Deng Shantong, the son of the Deng family in Blizzard City. At this time, Deng Shantong led nine members of the Tian Shan team towards the helicopter, talking and laughing. Their actions were separated from Zhang Yi and others. Zhang Yi and the others are the vanguard, responsible for luring Eclipse into action. As for Deng Shantong and the others, they waited for the other party to reveal their target, and then took action according to the situation. However, compared to the worries and tensions of several teams in the outer city, the members of the Tian Shan team were obviously much more relaxed. Some of them had smiles on their faces, and some looked like they were still awake, as if no one took this mission too seriously. After all, in Blizzard City, their god team's mission completion rate has always been the highest, and the battle loss ratio is also the lowest. In other words, there is never a task that they cannot complete. In addition, this time it was a large-scale mobilization of the headquarters, which was fully prepared. And Zhu Zhang was personally in charge of the guidance. No matter how you look at it, this mission won't be too difficult. A team member with disheveled hair yawned. We finished the task early today, and I'm still waiting to come back and have dinner with my wife. Another team member laughed and said it's only less than one o'clock. Your wife won't be able to wake up when you come back. Deng Shitong had a calm smile on his face. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be careless. This time the opponents are not weak. So they all use their energy. Got it. Captain. The team members smiled and agreed. At this time, a black extended car parked next to the helicopter. A bodyguard came over and opened the car door. And an old man in a white tang suit stepped out. It was none other than the head of the Deng family. Deng Yuanbua. One of the giants in Blizzard City. Chapter 643 Attack. Seeing Deng Yuanbua, Deng Shitong also hurried over. Uncle, why did you come here in person? Deng Yuanbo raised his head and looked at his most valued nephew and said with a smile that this mission is very important to you and our Deng family. So I came here to give you a few words. Deng Shitong smiled and said, Uncle, don't worry. I am confident that I can eliminate these gangsters within three hours. Deng Yuanbo sighed. You can't be like this all the time. Please listen carefully to a few words. Uncle, please tell me if you have anything to say. I will definitely keep it in mind. Deng Shintong's expression couldn't help but become serious. Deng Yuan was smiled. But his tone became deeper. Don't underestimate those neon rondos. You haven't dealt with them on the battlefield in the past. So you don't know how crazy those people are. They are perverts who can sacrifice their lives for their so-called beliefs. As much as I hate those people, I have to admit, they are scary. So in this battle, you have to be extremely careful. Deng Yuan Bo opened his eyes and his slender eyes burst out with a wild light. As long as you successfully annihilate the Eclipse group in this battle, your reputation will spread throughout the Jiangan region and even the world. At that time, our Ding family will have room to operate. Deng Shintong's face was still full of confidence, but his eyes became much more determined. He nodded slowly and said to Deng Yuanbo, Uncle, please rest assured, I will definitely win this battle beautifully. Deng Yuanbo smiled and nodded with satisfaction. That's good. I'm here waiting for news of your victory. After Deng Shitong said goodbye to Deng Yuanbo, he turned and walked towards the armed helicopter. As if he felt something in his heart, he looked at another helicopter in the distance and saw Zhang Yi leaning against the window and looking over. Deng Shitong smiled brightly and stepped into the helicopter. Zhang Yi smiled lightly, but he didn't have any complicated thoughts in his heart. After all, the things that happened to the young master of a big family had nothing to do with him. There are only two things he needs to do. The first is to protect yourself and Leon Yu Hua Hua. The second is to kill the members of the Eclipse team. What are you thinking about? Leon Yu's cold voice sounded in Zhang Yi's ears. Hua Hua also raised her head and looked at Zhang Yi eagerly. Zhang Yi looked back at them with a smile on his lips. 
It's nothing. I'm just thinking about Eclipse's leader. Phoenix inner gene. How strong is he? What Johnny said is also true. After seeing some of the images of Dagong Yan Jin and others, he had already made a basic judgment on the strength of Eclipse Moon. The strength of such an organization differs from that of the investigation team. However, it is always the strongest person who determines the upper limit of an organization. Johnny had a feeling in his heart that the guy must be extremely dangerous. It even made him think that if he could not be killed in this mission, then the operation could not be considered a success. When Chen Xiao Xiao and Peng Li heard this, they looked disapproving. Just leave that kind of thing to the god team to handle. Peng Li shook her index finger, looking like someone who had come before, and pointed to Zhang Yidao. People, the most important thing is to understand your own abilities. Even though we strangers from the outer city can be kings and hegemons in our respective territories, we are ultimately not as good as the regular army. But there are also advantages to this. With greater ability comes greater responsibility. We just need to help the celestial team lure the enemy and delay time. The smile on Zhang Yi's lips became even thicker. He nodded at the two of them. Yes, you are right. I think so too. At this time, at the combat command center, Commander in Chief Zhu Zheng had already sat in front of the big screen. The surveillance equipment carried by everyone recorded the scene in front of him. And he had a panoramic view. Beside Zhu Shui, Chief of Operations Tu Yunlai and Secretary Lan Xinqin were ready to arrange actions at any time according to changes in the battlefield. Now, let's go! Head to Jiangming City. Zhu Zheng gave an order. And two armed helicopters rumbled into the air. The huge fan blades whipped up strong winds. And the airport ceiling spread out to both sides like wings. The two armed helicopters left one after the other and flew towards Jiangming City. Zhu Zheng glanced at the time and told that it was time to take action over there. Jiangming City. It was midnight. Early morning. However, all members of the Eclipse team did not fall asleep. They had just finished cleaning an area and were cleaning the battlefield. This is a small organization in Jiangming Square. And more than a dozen men have been killed. In the corner of the warehouse. A mother hugged her daughter tightly and looked at the neon man in front of her with horror on her face. Phoenix Academy Ren glanced at them. His eyes unwavering. Whether they are living or dead, there is not much difference in his eyes. Is everything cleaned up? Phoenix Academy asked calmly. Behind him, Saikiro Jinguji pushed up his gold-rimmed glasses and said impatiently that all the guys who resisted were killed. Only the two of them were left. How to deal with it? The Phoenix Academy sneered. Is this question still necessary? He spread his hands. Turn around and walk out of the warehouse. Nabunaga, send them on their way. Phoenix Academy said to the warrior next to him. Sukamoto Nabunaga looked at him as if he were a fool. Are you an idiot? Let me do this. A noble warrior would never attack a defenseless woman or child. Phoenix Academy curled his lips and pointed at him with some displeasure. Nabunaga, you? You can never get rid of your bad habits. This kind of pretentious thinking will harm you sooner or later. Sukamoto Nabunaga said disdainfully that people like you cannot understand the thoughts of samurai. The two chatted casually and left from the warehouse. The mother and daughter in the warehouse looked at Ronin in the distance. And their nervousness relaxed a little. I didn't expect that they would let me go. But just when the two thought they were safe. A girl of 18 or 19 years old wearing a black mask walked over. She looked at the mother and daughter indifferently. Raised her hand and shot two silver needles. Piercing their throats. Ninjas will not be merciful. Naruz Hanakio said indifferently. And then disappeared into the shadows. The Phoenix Academy and Nabunaga are still arguing about the so-called Bushido concept. At this time. The Miko Mayumi Tikiuchi who had been silently following the Phoenix Academy let out a light sigh. Then she slowly raised her head and looked up into the sky. Ren, there is danger coming. The laziness on Phoenix Academy's face suddenly subsided. Everyone also looked towards the sky following Mayumi Tikiuchi's voice. Crisis from heaven. Huh? Phoenix Academy laughed teasingly. Ah, I see. It must be those guys from the Jiangan region who are determined to attack us again. Jinguji Saikaro made a cut with a look of impatience on his face that was really troublesome. This time, we won't be killed. Right? Of course not. Phoenix Academy smiled confidently. The smile on the corner of his mouth was a bit crazy and cruel. They are the ones who will die. Chapter 644 Sea of Fire The armed helicopter streaked across the night sky. It's hard sh. L frozen with a layer of frost in the cold night. But it did not affect its rapid flight. However, in this environment, its endurance has also been greatly challenged. 
and it is probably only suitable for such short-distance flights. Ten minutes later, Zhang Yi and the others flew all the way from Blizzard City to Jiangning City. Just when they came to the sky above Jiangning City, through the ice flowers on the windows, they could vaguely see a warm yellow light lighting up the ground. Um, what is that? Bonfire party? Zhang Yi poked his head over. At the same time, there was a faint rumbling sound coming from my ears. Everyone heard the thunder-like movement and couldn't help but move closer to the window to watch. When they took a closer look, they couldn't help but be shocked. A sea of fire. The area in the center of Jiangning, Jiangning Square, has turned into a huge sea of fire. From time to time, there will be violent explosions coming from the ground. The sound reaching high into the sky. As loud as thunder. What's happening here? Zhang Yi frowned, feeling a little surprised. At this moment, Zhu Zheng's voice sounded from the communication equipment at the right time. Did you all see the explosion in Jiangming City? No wonder. This is the first step in our plan. First used Songlong Five bombers to bomb the entire Jiangming Square. After this round of bombing, Jiangming Plaza will no longer have a hiding place. Even if you can't eliminate a few Eclipse Ronin, you can at least force them out. Zhang Yi immediately thought of the bombers he saw at the airport and became convinced. The Eclipse Moon has special instruments and equipment that can block satellite monitoring signals within 5 kilometers. But Blizzard City also has the means to blow up the entire Jiangning Plaza for you. All troubles stem from insufficient firepower. There's no shortage of ammo in Blizzard City. If it weren't for transportation difficulties, Zhu Zheng would probably have hundreds of artillery guns pulled up and level the entire Jiangning Square. Yu Zhengyang looked at the explosion flames below and clenched his fists in excitement. Now, it will be much easier for us to move. If you're lucky, blow them all up. Zhuifeiyu on the side calmly reminded him that it is best not to have too good illusions about this kind of thing. If those guys were so easy to kill, there would be no need for us to prepare for such a long time before coming here. Yu Shengyang took a deep breath. I know. You don't need to remind me about this. Peng Li and Zhang Yi were relatively close to each other. So they went to the same window to watch. Seeing the vast sea of fire below, she couldn't help but ask how such a large-scale fire would spread unless the other party was familiar with the terrain and found an underground bunker. Otherwise it would be difficult to survive. Right? Zhang Yi did not answer this question directly. He asked rhetorically have you ever heard of napalm? Why? Peng Li blinked her big eyes. She had never heard of such a thing. Zhang Yi pointed to the sea of fire below, which was simply an incendiary bomb. It does not have the destructive power of a bomb, but it can cause burning in a large area even for the headquarters. It is impossible to use bombs to bomb everything within a 5-kilometer radius. Therefore, napalm is used extensively. This is to consume oxygen and destroy food and other resources in Jiangning Plaza. The Eclipse team was forced to come out and fight with us. Zhang Yi laughed, and I didn't believe that those guys would be burned to death easily by the fire. Especially in this weather. Peng Li blinked doubtfully, then turned her gaze to Qin Xiao Xiao. Qin Xiao Xiao nodded. He was right. But then, it will be much easier for us to find the enemy. At least, he won't be ambushed by the opponent in advance and fall into the troublesome situation of street fighting. While he was talking, the armed helicopter had stopped 10 kilometers away from Jiangming Square, since the opponent's alien ability is unknown. It is natural to keep a certain distance before landing. Avoid falling into boxes. After the fire burned, a drone flew over Jiangming Square. A spherical device protruded from the bottom of the drone, emitting a red light. Immediately, an invisible electric wave swept across the entire Jiangming Square in an instant. Here at the Combat Command Center, a staff member reported to Zhu Zheng and Tu Yulai. The communication blockade of the Jiangming Square area has been completed. They cannot use communication equipment to communicate, let alone ask for help from the outside world. Zhu Zheng nodded. Very good. Let them become headless flies first, and then crush them to death one by one. Let the other party lose the means of contact first but the communicator in Jiangnan region will not be affected, so that the battle can be taken over from the beginning. After the helicopter landed, orders from the headquarters sounded in the headsets of several captains. Team Zhang Yi, you enter the square area from the southeast. Wu Shifan team, you enter the square area from the west. Shua Feiyu's team entered the square area from the north. Remember, your job is to draw fire and delay those who live in the eclipse. If an encounter occurs, the first priority is to protect your own safety. Rather than taking the initiative, Zhang Yi calmly said received it. He took out two silver-white pistols from another space. They were by Xiao built for him by Lu Karen. They could hold 20 rounds of holy silver bullets. Zhang Yi walked over 
and opened the door of the cabin. Turned around and said to Liang Yu and the others, Let's go! Liang Yu followed Zhang Yi without thinking. Peng Li and Chen Xiao Xiao looked at each other. They were both very nervous at this time. But this nervousness was also accompanied by excitement. Risks and benefits come together. As long as they can successfully complete this mission, the rewards will be huge. The two nodded, cheered each other up, and then followed John Yi with their tactical backpacks on their backs. On John Yi's tactical helmet, the headquarters marked the location and path for him to enter the square, so he doesn't have to worry about getting lost here. At the same time, he could also check the action routes of the other two teams clearly. The three teams marched in a triangular route. There is a point in doing this. Through the three-point positioning method, you can confirm the location of the other party. After all, within a radius of 5 kilometers, the detection effect of the satellite has been blocked by the other party using technical means. Therefore, below, we can only find the location of the opponent's general through manual methods and calculations. Capture the thief first and capture the king. Killing or capturing Phoenix and Enron alive is the top priority of this mission. The three teams set off one after another, and not far away. Another armed helicopter also landed slowly. Above this are members of the celestial team. Seeing three outer city teams heading towards Jiangning Square, Deng Shintong's eyes were filled with amusement. Once they leave, there is a high probability that they will not come back. However, if they can persist and wait for our support, it will prove that they are indeed capable. At least, they can be recruited by then to join Yin Yun's troops in Blizzard City. Even joining the investigation team with outstanding performance is not impossible. The latter mentioned by Deng Shitong naturally refers to Zhang Yi. Ever since they met in Blizzard City, Deng Shitong admired Zhang Yi very much and always wanted to recruit Zhang Yi into the god team. Let me see how you can perform this time, Deng Shitong said with a smile. Then they began to wait calmly for the headquarters to issue instructions for them to attack. Chapter 645 Soul Beast Ever since Zhang Yi and the others got off the armed helicopter, there were no further orders from the headquarters. Zhang Yi understood that the next order would probably have to wait until the members of the Eclipse group appeared. The sea of fire in front of him has gradually extinguished. After all, the power of napalm cannot last long. The ultra-low temperature of minus 60 to 70 degrees at midnight was enough to make the waves disappear quickly. However, no one knows the location of the members of the Eclipse group at this time. I hope I won't be too unlucky to meet their main members. If that's the case, I can only choose to retreat a certain distance first. Zhang Yi murmured. He couldn't possibly fight off the entire Eclipse group on his own. After Zhang Yi and the others arrived at the designated location, their actions had to be judged according to their own will. Zhang Yi did not move forward in a hurry, but stood cautiously and observed all the scenes in front of him. Jiangning Square had been burned into a dilapidated ruins, and gray-black smoke was rising into the sky. Zhang Yi asked the flowers on his shoulders. Can you smell the breath of a living person? Huawa's eyes sharply scanned the ruins in front of her. She sniffed, but finally shook her head helplessly. Zhang Yi sighed and asked, Is it because of the fire? Meow. After the fire burned, the smell became complex, and it was difficult to distinguish the breath of living people. Chin Xiao Xiao and Peng Li came over. Captain, what should we do next? After Zhang Yi thought for a moment, he made his choice. Just wait here for them to come. Chin Xiao Xiao? Peng Li? Chin Xiao Xiao couldn't help but asked if there was a possibility that we were here to encircle and suppress them. Instead of them encircling us. Pumley said yes. Wait here. Is it appropriate? Zhang Yi ignored them and began to carefully examine the surrounding environment. He is good at ranged attacks. Not melee combat. Once he is attacked by melee masters such as Adaka Nabunatsu or Sukamoto Nabunaga, it may be dangerous for him. There is about a 0.01% chance of danger, which must be guarded against. So he had to figure out the environment here. Then choose a safe location. Wait and snipe. Using thunderbolts and origin bombs. His range can completely cover the entire 5 kilometer range of Jiangning Square. Zhang Yi answered them casually while checking the surrounding environment. Don't forget. Their intelligence gathering capabilities are particularly powerful. Presumably by now, they know our location and have dispatched their troops to deal with us. I was not familiar with this area. And they had the advantage of being first. So I plan to stop with stillness. Zhang Yi's eyes wandered around for a long time. And then he determined the location of his ambush a burnt black commercial building. Zhang Yi turned around and gave orders to several people. I will ambush you on the rooftop. And your job is to keep me safe nearby. After Zhang Yi finished speaking, he opened the dimensional door directly without waiting for Qin Xiao Xiao and Peng Li to agree. Lian Yu, 
You are responsible for protecting me personally. Leon Yu nodded. There was no need to say more about this kind of thing. The two of them and Hua Hua entered the dimensional gate and appeared on the top of the building the next moment. Only Chen Xiao Xiao and Peng Li were left staring at the snow below. He? Why did he leave us here? Peng Li looked in disbelief. What kind of captain? It's so irresponsible. She stamped her feet in anger. Chen Xiao Xiao raised his eyebrows and looked around carefully while saying that he knew very well that the relationship between us was only a temporary cooperation. So he had no intention of caring about our thoughts from the beginning. However, now that everyone is in a dangerous battlefield, his approach is indeed a bit naive. Peng Li sighed. What should we do? Chen Xiaoxiao said to do as he said first. Leaving the group hastily will increase our danger. The two people had no choice but to lie in ambush around the building, waiting for the Eclipse people to come and find them. And their conversation could actually be heard clearly by the combat command center. Zhu Zheng crossed his arms and couldn't help but sigh. This Zhang Yi is too stubborn. However, he is very smart. And this is indeed a good way to test the opponent's abilities. They all know that Eclipse has powerful intelligence acquisition capabilities. But what exactly this ability looks like? No one knows. Zhang Yi chose to hide outside Jiangming Square and not take the initiative to attack. If the opponent can still clearly find their location, it can basically be concluded that the opponent's ability is similar to Prophecy. Terrifying abilities of nature. So, what are the other two teams doing? Zhu Zheng looked at the other two outer city teams. The people on Wu Shifang and Zhuo Feiyu's side also maintained an extremely vigilant attitude as they moved forward. Everyone knows that there are many dangers in this operation, and they dare not be careless in the slightest. Wu Shifang and the four of them also arrived at the designated location. There is not much verbal arrangement between several people. Compared to Zhang Yi's side, people from other teams had already formulated combat plans. After all, not everyone is as confident in their own strength as Zhang Yi. They need to plan team operations to ensure nothing goes wrong. After entering the Jiangming Plaza area, the first thing to do is to investigate. Mo Xingming, who was in Wu Shifang's team, walked out. His eyes were fixed on the large ruins in front of him. And then, he slowly squatted down. His whole body was wrapped in a thick battle suit. And even his hands were tightly covered by the wide sleeves. But when he put his right hand on the snow, everyone around him could clearly see that his sleeve was swaying restlessly. A purple brilliance condensed in his palm. Then a gray rodent emerged from his palm. Mo Xingming. A person who releases abilities. Ability code name. Soul Beast. He can use his powers to transform into different animals. And these animals are like his clones and can share his five senses. Wu Shifang looked at him and murmured in his heart that it was really convenient to use supernatural beasts to investigate. However, since he is the leader of a force, his abilities must be more than just reconnaissance. There must be strong fighting ability. While others were looking at Zhuo Feiyu curiously, small soul beasts crawled out from his palm like gray water. In just ten seconds, hundreds of them appeared. They stood on the snow and turned to look at Emo Zhongning, their eyes shining with human light. Go ahead and find them, Emo Zhongning said in a low voice. The spirit beast squeaked and then rushed into the burned square. Soon, it disappeared among the ruins. Shua Feiyu's team does not have similar investigation methods. But they have a veteran who is proficient in investigation. Yu Zhangyang had been a scout for seven years. So he was responsible for leading the way, carefully searching for traces of the Eclipse group. Chapter 646 The Battle Begins A certain area in Jiangming Plaza. Thirteen members of the Eclipse group gathered here. Although there was smoke around them, and black dust and smoke everywhere. They did not look embarrassed at all. It seemed that they had already taken shelter before the bombing came. Twelve people formed a circle, with the middle-aged Uncle Jinguji Saikairo in the middle. He habitually pushed up his gold-rimmed glasses, and then took his hands out of his suit pockets. The long and thin index finger was slowly raised, and a little golden light shone on the fingertip. His eyes suddenly became sharp, and his right hand moved rapidly in the air while chanting a spell in his mouth. Those who come to fight with soldiers are all in formation in front of them. Note this is an incorrect translation of Neon. The Nine Secrets comes from Bio Pussy. In the song version, those who are facing a battle are all marching in formation. While in the Daozong version, those who are facing a battle are all marching in formation. The golden light condensed in the air and quickly turned into a huge golden five-pointed star. Golden light flickered in Jinguji's eyes. As he pointed to the sky with his right hand, the golden pentagram shattered into pieces and turned into tiny talismans that filled the sky and went straight up into the sky. After a while, with the Jinguji temple as the center, a majestic mist began to spread toward the surrounding area. 
In just a few minutes, the entire Jiangning Square was enveloped. The three teams discovered the anomaly immediately and reported it to the combat command center. Unknown fog was discovered. The coverage area is huge. Someone from Eclipse should have taken action. Upon seeing this, Zhu Zhang immediately told everyone to be careful to prevent Eclipse's aliens from attacking in the mist. Needless to say, the strangers in the outer city would also be more careful. This ability is not mentioned at all in the intelligence. Chua Feiyu said with a serious expression. Sure enough, they still retained a lot from the first battle. Veteran Yu Zhengyang said calmly that this was just a cover-up to obscure his vision and was not offensive. In the other team, Mo Jingning had a sneer on his lips. Thick fog can obscure people's sight, but it cannot obscure the soul beast. Rather, this battlefield is now more conducive to my performance. No matter what, the two teams were slowly moving towards Jiangning Square. On Zhang Yi's side, on the other hand, he erected a wall on the roof of a building on the edge of Jiangning Square, with no intention of moving forward, just waiting for the enemy to come to your door. And he was sure in his heart that the other party would definitely come to his door. At this time, the three investigation teams had the authority to act independently. With the situation ahead unclear, Zhu Sheng would not order them to do anything. This is the battlefield, and the ability to adapt to changes is the most important. Zhu Sheng chose to trust these strangers in the outer city. After Jing Guji finished using his ability, he put his hands into his pockets again. A gray bird landed on his shoulder. It opened its mouth, and then spit out twelve identical gray crows, which landed on the shoulders of others. The impatient look on Jing Guji's face never disappeared. Next, this battlefield will become an unknown area. Mayumi, it's up to you. The Phoenix Academy smiled and waved to him. Thank you, Jing Guji. Your methods are as reliable as ever. Cut! Jinguji was too lazy to pay attention to him and walked aside silently. The Miko Mayumi Takeuchi glanced at the Phoenix Academy, and after receiving his approval, she slowly walked to the middle of the circle. Her hands turned transparent, and she slowly took out the scroll from her head. The scroll was unrolled on the snowy ground, but it was not stained by any snowflakes. Even the snow flying in the air cannot fall on it. It is as if this scroll does not exist in the world. Mayumi Takeuchi knelt down on the snow. She raised her right hand and a slender brush held by a kid appeared in her hand. This time, she did not take out the bright red ink because the previous reserve had been used up. So she stretched out her left hand, revealing her white lotus root arm. The slender brush in his right hand stabbed his arm without hesitation. Puff! There was a steady flow of blood, but not a trace of blood was wasted. The kid at the end of the brush sucked heavily, and blood gathered on the tip of the brush. Mayumi Takeuchi looked extremely sacred and began to write on the long scroll. After a long time, the scroll was covered with densely written words and blood. Phoenix Temple and Jingu Temple came over and looked at the divine inscriptions on it. Mayumi Takeuchi's face was a little pale, and it was obvious that the use of this kind of power was very draining for her. However, she calmly said that the enemy had already arrived, in the west and north, and there were four of them. In addition, there are enemies lurking in the dark that have not yet appeared. Jinguji frowned. Are there only two teams coming? The number of people this time was much smaller than last time. Maybe they are all elites. The Phoenix Academy has a deep smile on its face. Maybe it's just cannon fodder. To lure us out and test our abilities. Jinguji pushed up his glasses. It didn't matter. As long as Mayumi is here. We will not be at a tactical disadvantage. He looked at Takeuchi Mayumi Mayumi. Come on. Tell us how to act. Mayumi Takeuchi held up the scroll and looked to the west. Good. In the center of the battle formation. The second-year middle school boy Shimana Minoba Satoru sat cross-legged on a cardboard box with his eyes tightly closed. His ability, Enlightenment Ghost, already activated. There are 13 people in the Eclipse organization. Each one of them is connected by a red thread in his field of vision. And the point of convergence is on his body. With his presence, the 13 people can contact each other in time no matter how far apart they are. In other words, the information blocking function of Jiangan region has no effect on them. The Phoenix Academy's smile grew even stronger. These guys must have set up a trap waiting for us to jump into it. They simply don't understand who is the prey and who is the hunter. Let's have a good time. The leaders of Jiangnan region should also be made to understand that Eclipse Moon is something they cannot afford to offend. Combat Command Center. Zhu Sheng looked at the large amount of thick fog appearing in front of him and frowned. In addition to fighter planes, the weapons they sent out also included low-altitude unmanned reconnaissance aircraft. But at this time, all the shots taken by these reconnaissance planes were blocked. 
Their advantage in fighting in the local area was completely lost. Next, we can only rely on the body-worn footage of the alien team from the outer city to grasp everything that happened at the scene. As Takeuchi Mayumi's divination ended, the members of the Eclipse team also received their combat instructions. Everyone is very optimistic about the campaign, because as long as they act according to Takeuchi Mayumi's prediction, they have never failed. One after another, the strangers left the place. With the presence of the Grey Crow, the Misty Mist seemed to have no restrictions on them. However, Jinguji frowned slightly as he stared at the map on his phone. Why are there incoming troops from only two directions? From this point of view, there is just a vacant position. Is this place intentionally left for us to escape? Or is there something else? Phoenix Academy smiled slightly, walked over and patted him on the shoulder. There is no need to follow their lead. We must seize the initiative on the battlefield. Just trust Mayumi's divination. Jinguji frowned and thought for a moment, then nodded. You are the captain. This problem is left to you to solve. Don't be careless. Someone will die if you are not careful. The Phoenix Academy waved his hand at him, signaling him to leave quickly. What a crow's mouth. He cursed under his breath. Chapter 647 You have only one opponent. Western Line. Wu Shifang and others did not move forward in a hurry, but silently waited for Emo Zhongming's investigation results. The Soul Beast has already moved through the ruins, heading towards the area within the Kona Head. They share the five senses with Emo Zhongming. As long as they detect traces of the enemy, they will be sensed by Emo Zhongning immediately. Wu Shifang and three people were guarding Emo Zhongming, and four people were hiding behind a bunker in the ruins. Suddenly, a dazzling white light appeared in the vision of a soul beast. The next moment, it completely disappeared among the ruins. Emo Zhongning opened his eyes suddenly. One of my soul beasts was killed. The expressions of Wu Shifang and the three others suddenly became solemn. Have you found the eclipse person? Let me take a closer look. A soul beast was killed. But Emo Zhongning did not panic. He could summon 138 soul beasts at one time. Now that the direction of the death soul beast has been determined, other soul beasts can be gathered in that direction. Then determine the identity of the person coming. So, Emo Zhongning immediately mobilized the 10 soul beasts around the soul beast and began to go to explore the information. The other soul beasts were ordered to retreat by Emo Zhongning. The area to the west of Jiangning Plaza is not large. Soon 10 soul beasts rushed here from the ruins. What awaits them is a thick barrel. Emo Zhongming immediately recognized his identity. The right hand is a huge black hand cannon. And its attack method is supernatural cannonballs. The gunner of the Eclipse organization. Akira Kurosawa. The moment the soul beast appeared, Kurosawa killed it with one shot after another. Emo Zhongning knew that there was not much time left for him. So he quickly used the other soul beast's only momentary perspective to observe the strangers appearing around him. In addition to Kurosawa Akira's subordinates, there are two figures walking slowly towards this side. One is the spirited guy with a sofa-style hairstyle, Sakuraba Yashimitsu. As for the third person, when he saw his figure clearly, Emo Zhengning's pupils shrank sharply. It's him. Damn it. How could we be so unlucky? As soon as he finished speaking, all the soul beasts he sent out were wiped out. Emo Zhengning stood up in fear, breathing heavily. When Wu Shifang and the other three saw this, they couldn't help but be shocked. Emo Zhengning, what did you see? What is it that scares you so much? Emo Zhengning's eyes flashed with resentment. And he gritted his teeth and said that the monster we encountered here was the monster. Great work in Yanjin. As soon as these words came out, Wu Shifang, Li Weihai and Jia Heading's expressions became solemn. They have all seen the strength of Dai Gong Yanjin. In the first battle, he easily wiped out two alien teams by himself. Among the known enemies, he is definitely the most dangerous one. He is also the guy that everyone least wants to meet. But seeing Emo Zhengning's resentful look, Wu Shifang snorted coldly, feeling a little contemptuous of him in his heart. Even if you meet a powerful guy, you don't need to be so afraid. Right? With two shoulders carrying one head, I don't believe that the four of us are no match for him. As a strength type alien of the enhanced type, Wu Shifang is also a hero and his strength is higher than that of Li Guixiang and Meng Shucheng who were killed by Dagong Yanjin. Coupled with the support of capable teammates, he believes that his team can compete with Dagong Yanjin. Emo Jingning covered his head and gritted his teeth and said, But, he didn't come alone. He also brought two helpers. Even if it's four versus three, it's hard for us to beat them. He might die. But don't forget, our goal is not to defeat them. Just hold them off for a while. This should be possible. Wu Shifang said very calmly. 
the captains of the three teams all have extraordinary courage. And the selection of candidates for the regional evaluation is not random. Wu Xiaofan's character is bold and careful. And he is not afraid of danger. When he said this, Wu Xiaofan had already sent information to the headquarters. The western team has encountered the enemy. And three people have been temporarily discovered. Namely Agaku Anatsu Sakuraba Yashimitsu and Kurosawa Akigabu. After the headquarters received the intelligence, dozens of analysts in the combat command center immediately began operating on the computers. The combat capabilities of these three people were analyzed. And the best response plan was derived through algorithms. Zhu Xing looked at the report submitted by his subordinates and immediately said to Wu Shifang, Very good. Fight them according to the original plan. Hold them back and try to force them to use their powers. Give the celestial team a chance to break through. Clear. Wu Shifang ended the conversation with the headquarters and then looked at the three people next to him. Since today is here, let's put life and death aside for now. Have a good fight with him. For Wu Shifang, Jiangming is his home. Once this family is gone, his relatives and friends will be wiped out by the moon eclipse. So he must fight to the death. Even if it means paying his life for it, it's worth it. Emo Xuanming and the others may not have as much dedication as him. But now that the matter has come to this, they can't retreat. Not only will their reputation be ruined if they run away from the battlefield, they will also be liquidated by the Jiangan region. It's better to fight for a future. Emo Zhongning gritted his teeth and shouted in a low voice. Okay, then let's fight with them. I want to see how much these neon awful bags weigh. The four people form a diamond formation according to the original plan, with the enhanced alien Wu Shifang blocking the front. Emo Zhongning and Li Weihai on the left and right, and Jia heading behind the crowd. Soon, a tall shadow slowly emerged from the fog. As the Yokozuna's great master, interviewed Su, his figure was the first to appear in front of everyone. Then came Yashimitsu Sakuraba and Akiga Kurosawa with playful smiles on their faces. With the help of Grey Crow, they could clearly find the enemy even in the thick fog. So they came to Wu Shifang and others effortlessly. When he saw the four people, Dogong Yanjin suddenly frowned, looking disappointed. Aren't they elites sent by Jiangan region? But why does he look so weak? Sakuraba Yashimitsu crossed his arms and said with a smile that he was probably here to test our cannon fodder. Just deal with it casually and it'll be okay. I think the back is their main force. Dogong Yanjin nodded. If that's the case, then he won't waste time with them. Seeing that the Eclipse members didn't take them seriously, Wu Shifang and the four others were angry. Although they don't understand each other, their tactical helmets have translation functions. So it doesn't affect their understanding of what the other person is saying. After all, they are also heroes in the outer city. Even if they are not as good as the well-trained elites of Blizzard City, they are not something that can be manipulated casually. Wu Shifang sneered. For People vs. 3. The advantage is mine. You seem to have got the situation wrong. As soon as these words came out, Sakuraba Yashimitsu, who looked a bit murderous, waved his hands repeatedly. No. 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 Don't get me wrong. He and Kurosawa took a few steps back in tacit agreement. Then Sakuraba Yashimitsu pointed at Daiko Inabu. And he is the only opponent you have. We promise not to intervene. There was an extremely playful light in his eyes. As long as you have the ability, you can kill him. Chapter 648 Unpredictable The northern team also encountered their enemies. In Jiangming Square, which is only 5 kilometers in radius, encounters are very easy to happen. What's more, those who have an eclipse moon have gray crows to guide them. Therefore, before Zhuifeiyu and the others found eclipse, eclipse was the first to discover them. There are only two enemies here. A strong man with short hair and a sinister square face, wearing rustic black rimmed glasses and a Yakuza villain with yellow spiky hair and a metal baseball bat. Based on the information they had learned before, Shuafeyu and others immediately knew the identity of the other party. The two people on our side are Kamaya Wadido and Akatsuki Shinichiro. Shuafeyu breathed a sigh of relief. Because according to the data, the combat power displayed by these two people in the first battle was not too terrifying. At least compared to Wu Shifang and the great worker Yan Jin they encountered. These two people did not show particularly strong combat power. At the combat command center, Zhu Zheng saw the news reported by the two teams and began to analyze it in his mind. Of the 13 Eclipse group members, five have appeared so far. In other words, there are still eight people who have not shown up. Even if you exclude non-combatants, there should be at least six combat-type aliens. Zhu Zheng crossed his hands to support his chin, staring coldly at all the alien shots on the big screen. 
It depends on what is going on with Zhang Yi. Unexpectedly, they had been waiting for a while in the southeast direction where Zhang Yi was. As a result, no member of the Eclipse group showed up. Zhang Yi set up his gun and aimed at the surrounding space on the top floor, just waiting for an enemy to appear and shoot him first. This is the edge of Jiangning Square and is limited by fog. He can still observe the surrounding space within 300 meters. However, because this place had just been bombed, high temperatures still remained on the surface. So there is no way to use the infrared device. After absorbing part of Yuan Kong's power, Zhang Yi's various abilities have now been greatly improved. Therefore, even an ordinary sniper rifle will become a powerful killing weapon against aliens if it falls into his hands. What's more, this thunderbolt was used by Liu Karen. Divine Machine Management. After the transformation of his abilities, he became a super hot weapon that fit perfectly with him. Thunder Plus. Precise Shooting. Plus Holy Silver Bullets. Even a Delta level alien can be killed in one hit. On either side of him, Hua Hua and Liang Yi remained vigilant, guarding against a sneak attack. Hua Hua squatted on the balcony, her amber eyes scanning the surroundings like radar. The animal's hunting instinct allows it to quickly discover all creatures around it. As for the good sisters Chen Xiao Xiao and Peng Li, they were staying cautiously underneath the building. Enemies appeared on Wu Shifang and Zhuo Feiyu's side, making them more cautious. Everyone felt that the enemy would appear soon. But as time passed by, their communication device could already hear the sound of fighting shouting for death over there. And not even the slightest change in the fog nearby. Um, what exactly is going on? Zhang Yi couldn't help but frown. According to common sense, since Eclipse has strong detection capabilities, he must have discovered the arrival of himself and others. But why did he wait so long and the enemy still didn't take action? Could it be that? Zhang Yi's pupil shrank, and he thought of a possibility. The kind of ability they possess. Can they see through Zhang Yi's strength? So out of fear and vigilance, do you not dare to send people here? What is the ability they possess? Zhang Yi murmured to himself. He was wary and thought his opponents were unpredictable and too scary. This is the case in the alien world. If you are not careful, you will lose your life and be wiped out by strange and unknown abilities. Because the mutation of every alien is unknown. Any kind of strange and mysterious abilities may appear. Even Zhang Yi, who is a top Delta level alien, cannot guarantee that he will never be killed by a low level alien. So he told Liang Yu and Hua Hua beside him to be careful. Once we find anything wrong, the first thing we need to do is to protect our lives. When Liang Yu and Hua Hua saw Zhang Yi being so cautious, their expressions became much more serious. Hua Hua directly transformed into a gigantic form, letting out a vigilant whine and looking around with her big head, for fear of missing any enemy that might attack from the dark at any time. Eclipse organizes this side. With Jinguji Saikairo's reminder, Ho Hein Jin also noticed the empty spot on the map. He touched his chin and murmured that Mayumi's divination would not be wrong. In other words, there are no enemies between the east and south areas. What conspiracy is the other party planning? Phoenix Academy's expression was playful. He didn't like the feeling of not being in control. But at the moment, he doesn't understand the purpose of Jiangan region at all. At this moment, Tsukamoto Nobunaga, who had not attacked, came over. It doesn't have to be that troublesome. I'll go over and take a look. He looked back at Mayumi Takeuchi. After all, Mayumi also said that I am in the southeast today. Phoenix Academy smiled slightly. Indeed, since Mayumi said it, there must be no problem. Nobunaga, I leave that direction to you. See what tricks the other party has up his sleeve. He waved his hand and said to the couple Takizawa Takashi and my wife Nanako on the side. Takashi, my wife, just follow Nobunaga. Yes, boss. Takizawa Takashi and my wife Nanako didn't have any objections. And they followed Nobunaga, who looked casual, in that direction. The gray crow on their shoulders guided them in the direction of travel. When the two parties meet on the battlefield, there is not much nonsense. It is just a fight. Wu Shifang was the first to encounter Dago Mianjin and three other people. And the battle started from them first. From the combat command center and the celestial team. You can clearly see the scene of their battle. Even the most arrogant Ding Shitong restrained his usual cynical attitude and focused on the images on the screen. Pride is not arrogance. Ding Shitong's source of pride lies precisely in the fact that he has never been careless in any mission. If not, how could he have topped the Blizzard City standings for three consecutive months? To use a saying from a great man, it is to despise the opponent strategically and value the opponent tactically. Only in this way can it become a great tool before the true details of the Eclipse are found out. Even if all three troops from the outer city are sacrificed, 
The god team will not take action. Everything is for the ultimate victory. Chapter 649 Clone On the battlefield on Wushirfang's side, the battle is about to break out. Sakuraba Yashimitsu and Kurosawa Akira silently retreated to the back as if nothing was wrong with them. In order to show that they would not interfere in this battle, they came dozens of meters away and found a collapsed pillar to sit down on. Wu Shifang stared at the giant in front of him, thinking in his mind that these guys don't take us seriously. But this is just right. For against one, our combined abilities may even have a chance to kill him. Thinking of this, Wu Shifang was inevitably a little excited. If they can kill a core member of Eclipse, they will receive extremely generous points rewards from the regional headquarters. Dogong Yanjin stared at them, raised his arms lazily, and waved to them. What are you waiting for? Are you afraid of four fighting against one? As a beast-type alien, Dai Gong Yanjin didn't even transform. Both his words and actions revealed extreme contempt. Hateful. Wu Shifang gritted his teeth. Let's do it. He reached out and took out the huge weapon box from behind. It was a black metal box. If you didn't look carefully, you might even think it was a small coffin. Boom. The huge weapon box crashed to the ground. Wu Shifang's body also underwent strange changes at this time. His body began to twist and squirm and soon it began to split from the middle. A large ball of yellow flesh fell off along half of his body, and then fell to the ground in a sticky state, like dough with too much water. But soon, the sticky object expanded and gradually turned into the shape of a person. It was a naked man who looked exactly like Wu Shifang. This is Wu Shifang's ability. Doppelgangers. Although he was naked, his appearance and body shape were the same as Wu Shifang's. This is part of his body. Wu Shifang was formerly a courier in Jiangning City. He grew up in an orphanage and grew up in loneliness. So his inner loneliness made him desperately long for love and companionship. Therefore, his ability is to split himself and get another reliable comrade. He believed that for a powerful enhancement type ability user, what could be better than having two bodies to take advantage of his abilities? So now, what appears in front of Dagong Yanjin is no longer one powerful enhancement type ability user, but two. Dagong Yanjin opened the weapon box, which had two sides. He took out a huge silver horn bow from it and handed it to the clone. And he himself took out two huge copper hammers from the other side. The beating drum, earning golden hammer. The weapon of Mai Yuan, the general of Fubo in the Han dynasty, is the first of the legendary four powerful eight hammers and the weapon of the Yuanba, the most powerful warrior in the world. The size of the copper hammers is twice as big as an adult's head. Each one is made of solid alloy and weighs more than a hundred kilograms. It's like holding two adults in your hands as weapons. This kind of weapon originally only existed in legends. But in this mutated era, there are really people who can use it freely. The silver horn giant bow in the clone's hand also looked full of oppression. Wu Shifan stood in front of everyone and said in a deep voice, I will contain him from the front. You just use your own means to attack. The others were speechless. But their eyes were fixed on the great workman Yan Jin. However, they did not dare to neglect the two ronin who were watching the battle from a distance. If they really believed the words coming out of the enemy's mouth, they would be pure fools. Oh! It looks very impressive. Dogong Yanjin commented lightly. He assembled his dragonfly cutter, and with a wave of his hand, there was an astonishing sound of breaking wind. Superior! As soon as Wu Shifang finished speaking, people rushed towards Dogong Yanjin like a whirlwind, and his clone also opened his bow and set an arrow at the same moment. The huge silver horn bow was like a full moon. Whoosh! The sound broke through the air like the roar of an eagle. The speed of the arrow was actually the same as the speed of Wu Shifang's body, attacking Dogong Yanjin from two directions. Dogong Yanjin's eyes were focused, and he swept away the blurry arrows with a random sweep of dragonfly. On the other side of his body, Wu Shifang's heavy hammer had already hit his waist hard. When using cold weapons, experts will choose blunt weapons, because once hit, even just part of the body will quickly make the person lose combat effectiveness. Wu Shifang attacked from both sides, and it was difficult for most people to react. Agaku and Jin is not a speed-type alien, so he cannot knock the arrows away and then dodge them. But in the face of the heavy hammer that came at him, he only made a simple action. A thick palm quickly and calmly received Wu Shifang's thunderous strike. Boom! 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 The huge impact made Dogong Yan Jin take three steps back. He looked at Wu Shifang with a little surprise. What a pretty strength. But Wu Shifang was so frightened by this scene that he broke into a cold sweat. He tried his best to attack. But the opponent blocked it with one hand. What a powerful body and strength is this. 
unexpectedly. Dogong Yanjin did not get angry, but instead became interested. He smiled and waved to Wu Shifan to come back. Wu Shifan gritted his teeth, roared angrily, and charged forward again with two heavy hammers in hand. Two golden hammers, beating drums and urns, fell from high altitude, banging on the head of Dogong Yanjin with thunderous force. This time, Dogong Yanjin's legs were spread apart on the ground, like two pillars rooted in the ground. This is the most classic posture in sumo wrestling. It connects the earth and makes it as motionless as a mountain. The heavy hammer fell hard. And this time Adika Yanjin waved the dragonfly Kiri in his hand. Clang. The sound of metal clashing was deafening. Dugong Yanjin only knocked Wu Shifang lightly, sending Wu Shifang flying backwards for more than 10 meters. Wu Shifang felt that his back was numb and his mouth hurt terribly. When I looked down, I realized that my hands were shaking and bleeding. Is the difference in strength so big? Wu Shifang was stunned. Since the end of the world, he has been in Jiangming City and has always been respected for his strength. For the first time, he felt being ruthlessly crushed in terms of strength. But fortunately, he is not alone. While he was undergoing the main attack from the front, his teammates also responded. A black crab appeared out of thin air on the back of Dagong Yanjin. The crab's eyes flashed with a strange red light, getting faster and faster. When Dagong Yanjin reacted, a violent explosion sounded on his back. Got it. A joyful smile appeared on Imo Jingning's lips. His soul beasts are shaped by supernatural powers. In addition to being able to detect, there are also soul beasts that can self-destruct. The shot just now was combined with the ability of Li Weihai next to him. Li Weihai, like Zhang Yi, is an extremely rare space alien. It's just that his ability is different from Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi's ability is storage. And his ability is transfer. In space, he can mobilize objects of a certain mass. Even humans. The blow just now was a combined attack skill that he used his own ability to place Mo Zhongming's self-destructing soul beast on the body of Dagong Yanjin. Chapter 650 Earthly Immortal After the smoke and dust from the explosion passed, Dagong Yanjin's face looked extremely ugly. A large area of his back was scorched black, and the back of his clothes was burned off. Seeing this scene, Mo Zhongming couldn't help but raise the corners of his mouth. It seems that he is not as scary as imagined. Sakuraba Yashimitsu who was watching the battle from the sidelines, saw this scene and slapped his forehead helplessly. These guys are in trouble. Don't they know that this suit is what Dagongchio likes the most? Akiga Kurosawa nodded. With his size, it would be difficult to find a suitable suit. This outfit was specially customized by a tailor. However, Yashimitsu Sakuraba held his chest with some seriousness and said, However, the guy who came this time is indeed stronger than last time. Dagong Yanjin raised his head with a fierce look in his eyes. As if he wanted to eat people, he tore off his torn clothes, revealing his majestic figure. It's not that muscular look, but fat and strong, with a big belly. Anyone who really understands fighting knows that this posture is the most suitable for fighting. Dagong Yanjin looked at the pieces of clothes in his hands, stared at Wu Shifang and others coldly and said, You bastards. You actually ruined my last suit. I'm going to tear you apart. Although his back was scorched black. There were no wounds. Mo Zhongming's explosive soul beast didn't even cause him much pain. As a Yokozuna, what he desires most is a strong enough body and the power to destroy everything. And after becoming a stranger, he really got it all. Mo Zhongming swallowed and my self-destructing soul beast didn't blow him through. The power of his self-destructing soul beast is no less than that of TNT explosives. Wu Shifang noticed the anger of Dagong Yanjin and said to his teammates that the attack is effective. Let's continue. He also wanted to replicate the results of the first attack. Although his hands were dripping with blood, he still grasped the two heavy hammers tightly and rushed towards the great worker, Yan Jin. The clone also raised his bow and set an arrow. And another arrow that pierced the air roared towards Dagong Yan Jin. Needless to say, Mo Zhongming and Li Weihai cooperated again, just waiting for the moment when Dagong Yan Jin was distracted by Wu Shifang. He placed the self-destructing soul beast on him. Even if the initial results are limited, there are many of them, and they can keep trying. Then we will definitely be able to find the weakness of Daigo and Natsu. But this time, they miscalculated. Daigong and Jin stopped playing around, raised the dragonfly Kiri with both hands, and took the initiative to attack. Yokozuna, who was more than two meters tall, swung his three meter long dragonfly Kiri and slashed Wu Shifang's head down. Wu Shifang's reaction speed was not slow either. He raised the heavy hammer with both hands and held it in front of him. When? 
The moment the weapons collided, Wu Shifang felt as if his arms were hit head-on by a truck weighing dozens of tons. His hands went numb all of a sudden, and the heavy hammer in his hand was knocked away. Wu Shifang reacted very quickly on the edge of life and death, and quickly rolled on the ground to avoid the falling dragonfly. The ground that was burned into scorched earth by the incendiary bombs immediately collapsed due to this blow. Large amounts of mud and gravel rose into the sky and fell down like waterfalls. Completely. Not the same level. Wu Shifang broke into a cold sweat. He only took over twice. And the opponent didn't make any serious moves the first time. His hands were already useless. If the fight continues, he will definitely die. Not much. He still has hope. And that is his teammates. The clone's arrow shot through the soil towards the great workman Yan Jin. Mo Zhongming and Li Weihai did not waste the momentary opportunity that Wu Shifang had obtained, and had already placed a self-destructing soul beast on the head of Dagong Yan Jin. The crab clawed at his head, and then started to explode. Dagong Yan Jin had a cold face, and he casually blocked the incoming arrow with his right hand. Dragonfly Kiri. Then the other hand pulled the self-destructing soul beast directly from the head, then placed it in the fat palm of his left hand, and shook it hard. Puff! The self-destructing soul beast exploded. But it didn't completely explode. It was comparable to the power of TNT explosives. But now it made a dull sound like a fart. In the end, there was only a cloud of black smoke rising in the palm of Dagong Yanjin. There was no expression of pain on his face. And he spread his palms very casually. With the thick palm meat intact, Dagong Yanjin had a sarcastic smile on his face and deliberately opened his hand to show him O Zhengning and the others. Is this your method? Too weak. If you dare to come here and hunt us down even if you are of this level. Isn't this just asking for death? This terrifying power and defense left the three of them dumbfounded. How can they fight against the gap in absolute strength? At this moment, the ground beneath Dagong Yinjin's feet suddenly collapsed. And his huge body sank in unsteadily. A huge gray monster was revealed in the soil. It was a super mole with blood red eyes and more than two meters long. Jia heading. Huazhou city. A person with orc ability. Ability code name. Earthly immortal. No matter how great your power is. You can't use it if you don't have a foothold. Jia heading made a harsh and strange sound in the form of a mole. Then, while the Gong Yao Yanjin fell to the ground, its sharp claws stabbed the Gong Yao Yanjin's body. The target was his most vulnerable part, the Kakubi. Even if he is a man of steel and iron, his rectum is soft director of the anorectal department of the African savanna. No matter who it is, this set of anorectal surgeries will never be tolerated. Although the method of digging out the anus is shameful. In a life and death battle, any method that can kill the opponent is the best. This was also the first time that Dagong Yanjin felt the breath of danger. And his anus suddenly tightened. Go to H. L. The giant mole made a piercing cry from its mouth. And its claws, which were comparable to sabers, were aimed at the anus of Dagong Arinjin. While his teammates were fighting in front of him. Jia Heading was waiting for such an excellent opportunity. Seeing such a scene, even everyone in the combat command center couldn't help but crane their necks. Expecting Jia Heading to succeed with one blow. But at this moment, a deafening roar erupted from the sunken cave. Dai Gong Yanjin finally used his ability. A mythical creature. Chao Hu. Hot air spurted out from his limbs. Directly sending the giant mole transformed by Jia Heading away. A hot wind rose into the sky from the cave making Wu Shifang and others outside feel like they were being burned by flames. A huge brown figure rose into the sky and then landed hard on the ground. At this time, Dagong Yanjin had transformed into a Thai tiger, holding a huge dragonfly cutter, and showed his fangs towards Wu Shifang and others. This time, he was really angry. No one can remain calm after almost having their anus eviscerated. Under the earth, Jia Heading did not stop moving. He frantically started digging into the ground. He he he. I'm underground. What can you do to me? As long as you give me a subal opportunity, I will definitely tear out your intestines. Chapter 651 Xiao Lingling Dogong Yinjin's eyes were fixed on the ground. The next moment, he raised his right leg, and then stepped down hard. Boom! Centered on his right foot. The ground shattered like glass. The soil deep in the earth began to explode. And the entire land was no longer complete. But Jia Heading, who was more than 10 meters underground, felt that the ground had become compacted, and tens of thousands of tons of soil suddenly squeezed onto his body. Ah! He let out a wail. Puff! With a sound, blood spurted out from his mouth, and his internal organs seemed to be squeezed into a ball, just a dozen meters underground. 
he lost the ability to move. Although he is not dead yet, he cannot maintain the transformed state for a long time. If no one came to save him, he would die from severe injuries and lack of oxygen. Fortunately, at this time, Jia Heading did not forget that the people from the headquarters were watching here. He used his last strength to send a distress message to the combat command center. Headquarters need support. After the staff member in charge of his line received the message, he immediately reported it to Zhu Zheng. Zhu Zheng frowned upon hearing the news. But no response was given. Because so far, no more useful information has been obtained. They must ensure that the manpower dispatched by the Tianjin team can deal with the great work of Yanjin. What's more, behind him, there are two members of Eclipse who have never made a move. Tu Yulai spoke at this moment. The tasks here are a bit difficult to complete. It can only be solved by sending out enough capable investigation team members. Do you want to send Liao Hanglei there? Liao Hanglei is the deputy captain of the Tianshan team. And his combat power is second only to Ding Shintong. Moreover, his abilities are more suitable for dealing with the great workman Yan Jin. Zhu Zheng shook his head slowly but firmly. Wait and see. There were still two people who didn't take action. He noticed the presence of Kurosawa Akagabe and Sakuraba Yashimitsu. The abilities of these two guys work in conjunction with Dai Gong Yanjin. If Liao Honglei faced them, he would not have an advantage in terms of ability. Zhu Zheng crossed his hands and supported his chin. Looking at another battlefield with cold eyes, the god team cannot be used lightly, and sufficient intelligence must be obtained. In the northern battlefield, the fighting was carried out simultaneously. This is Zhuifeiyu's team, and their opponents are Kamaya Yuchi and Akatsuki Shinichiro. Kamaya and Akutsu are not as interested in one to many as Agaku. They are true villains who enjoy killing their opponents. As long as they can win, they will use any means. So the moment they appear on the battlefield, the battle has already begun. Inside and outside the Divine Valley, a person with orc type abilities, ability code name, Big Snake. He rushed out of the mist, his body twisted and deformed while still in midair. air. His head turned into a flat white snake head. His hands and feet gradually degenerated and white scales covered his whole body. Finally, he turned into a giant snake up to 15 meters long. The big snake roared and rushed towards the five people, its mouth wide open, with layers of densely packed inverted teeth inside, which made people's hair stand on end. Once bitten, there is absolutely no way to escape from its mouth unless the body is torn apart. This kind of visual pressure has caused Juafeyu's team to feel huge trouble. The five people spread out quickly to avoid being crushed to death by the big snake. The ground where the big white snake passed left a terrifying gully. Shuafeyu calmly took out his tactical backpack in the face of danger, and then flicked his hand, and dozens of black rifles were thrown out from it. Each gun head is equipped with a bayonet that shines with blue light. Xiao Lingling. Shuafeyu shouted towards Xiao Lingling. Xiao Lingling frowned. I know. As soon as she stopped on the ground, she stepped hard on the ground with her right foot and rushed towards the returning snake. She didn't look like a weak woman. But she didn't expect that the power she suddenly burst out would be so powerful. Facing the huge white snake, she nimbly dodged its attack from the air, and then came to the tail of the big snake. She hugged the big snake's tail with both hands and shouted angrily. Immediately, she actually picked up the 15-meter-long behemoth, spotted it around a few times, and then threw it away into the distance. Shuafeyu raised his hands, and the 36 rifles lined up in front of him, and then stabbed at the big snake like lightning. These are specially made weapons, with the most deadly toxins quenched on them. Just a slight scratch on the skin can kill an adult instantly. When Orochi saw these flying guns, a playful look flashed in his eyes. This kind of clumsy weapon couldn't penetrate his hard scales. However, he was a little surprised by the terrifying power of that little girl. After the big snake landed, its tail quickly swung into the air, sweeping across the flying guns like a long whip. However, Chuafeyu's eyes kept staring at him. When the big snake pulled out its tail, he just moved his fingers gracefully in the air, and those flying guns made a curve in midair, avoiding the big snake's attack. Telekinesis? Interesting. A dull sound came from the big snake's mouth, and 36 gun blades have been aimed at its head. Boom! 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 Continuous gunshots rang out, and dense bullets were shot at the big snake. Superficial, Orochi said mockingly. Shuafeyu frowned. The bullets use the origin bullets distributed by the headquarters, which have a good restraint effect on aliens. But the surface of the big snake is scale armor, which is not affected by the origin bomb. But just when the big snake was proud, its pupils suddenly felt a gust of wind coming. Call out. 
a large armor-piercing projectile hit its eyeball. Although there is a thick protective film on the eyes, the snake is still dazzled. Who is it? Orochi looked angrily in the direction of the bullet and tried his best to look far away. Only then did he see a cunning sniper aiming at him with a large sniper in the distant direction. Of course, ordinary sniper rifles cannot hurt the big snake, but veteran Yu Yang's ability can strengthen the weapon and make it more powerful. Just like the name of his ability, Weapon Master. Same. While the battle on Oroki's side was in full swing, Akutsu Shinichiro, who was hidden in the mist, seized the opportunity and aimed at Yuan Hao, who looked the weakest among them. He was holding a metal bat and with a ferocious smile on his lips. He aimed the stick at Yuan Hao's head and swung it. When Yuan Hao found out that a Jujin was attacking, his face turned pale with fright. He covered his chest and shouted Lingling. The next moment, Xiao Lingling, who was still fighting the big snake, appeared in front of Yuan Hao at a strange speed. Boom! Akutsu's metal bat hit her arm, making a dull collision sound. Akutsu was a little surprised. He knew very well how powerful this stick was. However, the woman's arms and body were not smashed to pieces. Xiao Lingling stared at him. Her eyes filled with endless killing intent. You dare to attack my husband. Do you want to die? Chapter 652 Focus on Steady Hands Xiao Lingling blocked Akutsu Shinichiro's metal baseball bat with just her body. This made Akutsu a little surprised. Even the enhanced aliens, including those who rely entirely on physical combat, can use weapons to some extent. What an arrogant little girl! Akutsu chuckled, and the strength in his hand began to increase. The metal bat had no rules. Just smashing it violently. As a member of the Yakuza, there are only two things he relies on to fight, and that is experience and momentum. Although he is a street-fighting gangster, he can use all kinds of tricks. So he is also an expert in actual combat. Xiao Lingling snorted coldly and jumped lightly on the ground. Her butterfly steps were very delicate, and her punches were also very fast. Boom! 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 Metal bats collided with fists. There was no expression of pain on Xiao Lingling's face. But she became more and more excited with the beating. On the other hand, Akutsa felt a huge shock force from the metal bat which made him stunned. This, is it really a power that humans can possess? The power erupted from Xiao Lingling's body was too terrifying. Even if it is an enhanced alien, it is still unreasonable. You know, the reason why Aga Kanobutsu is so powerful is because he himself is the Yokozuna who dominates the Suma world with his strength. The girl in front of me doesn't look tall and strong. Where does her strength come from? Soon, Akutsu discovered the problem. When Xiao Lingling was fighting, her boyfriend Yuan Hao stood behind her and kept cheering her up. He put his hands in the shape of a trumpet to his mouth and shouted hard. Come on! Come on! Lingling, Ling, you are the best! Akutsu suddenly understood. There is no doubt that Yuan Hao is a supporting type of alien. His encouragement behind him gave Xiao Lingling Ling a boost of strength. Kill the support first! Yu Jujin was about to pass Xiao Lingling Ling and attack Yuan Hao behind her first. However, Xiao Lingling Ling was staring at him. And of course, she would not give him such a chance. Don't even think about it. Anyone who dares to touch my husband will die. Xia Lingling's pupils burst out with a strange red light, blocking Akujin's path like lightning. Its speed was so fast that Akutsa couldn't break through. Cut! What a troublesome woman! Akutsa looked disgusted. Okay, let's kill you first! The battle in the western battlefield and northern battlefield is already in full swing. The southeast area where Zhang Yi was located was unusually calm at this time which made everyone confused as to what was going on. Zhang Yi felt suspicious in his heart as he listened to the battle report over there. Why don't the people who have eclipsed the moon come over? Could it be that there is some big conspiracy? At the combat command center, Zhu Xin also frowned. Why didn't anyone show up in Zhang Yi's direction? Is there a problem with Zhang Yi? Or is there a problem with the person who has the eclipsed moon? Tu Yulai turned his head and looked at Zhu Zheng. Zhu Shui. Zhang Yi and others' fighting style is not conducive to our plan. Order them to move towards the inside of Jiangning Square. Zhu Zheng thought for a while and nodded. He switched to Zhang Yi's communication channel and issued the order. Zhang Yi. Keep going. The enemy's actions in your direction are strange. And now you are heading towards the center of Jiangning Square. Check for information. Zhang Yi responded calmly. Received. After ending the communication, he looked towards the depths of Jiangning Square. The place was shrouded in thick fog, making everything unclear. If you move forward, you may encounter the large army of Eclipse Moon. After all, there are still eight members of Eclipse who have not shown up. Even with Zhang Yi's strength, 
He doesn't like to take risks. Seeing Zhang Yi's expression was wrong. Liang Yu couldn't help but ask what's wrong? What order was issued from the headquarters? Zhang Yidao said that the enemies here are acting strangely and asked us to investigate further. Liang Yu also frowned and investigated in depth? In that case, the risk will be greater. She looked at Zhang Yi. What are you going to do? Zhang Yi smiled and said, What else can we do? Since the headquarters has issued an order, we can just do it. Liang Yi was a little surprised. Zhang Yi didn't seem to be such an obedient person. But when she saw the meaningful smile on Zhang Yi's lips, she suddenly realized that this matter was not that simple. Sure enough, Zhang Yi led them out of the building, and then found Qin Xiao Xiao and Peng Li who were guarding them downstairs. Zhang Yi told them that there were no enemies here, and the headquarters asked us to continue moving forward. Qin Xiao Xiao and Peng Li looked at each other. This is how they should feel. You have been waiting here for the enemy to come over. How come you are here to carry out an encirclement and suppression mission? Well, it's time for us to take action. The two women nodded, and Zhang Yi took the lead and walked towards the inside of Jiangning Square. After advancing more than a hundred meters, Zhang Yi stopped. He pointed to a large building in front of the road and looked more carefully here. Let's defend here. Qin Xiaoxiao and Peng Li's eyes widened, and they were both dumbfounded. What? Right here? Didn't the headquarters tell us to enter Jiangning Square for investigation? Only Liang Yu couldn't help covering her mouth and secretly laughing. She was very familiar with Zhang Yi's style of conduct. It is really too much to expect him to be so obedient. Zhang Yi said righteously that this mission is of great importance and we must proceed with caution. So I decided to take a closer look here before making any plans. He only promised Yu Zheng to move forward, but did not say how far he would advance. Do you really want him to lead the team into the center of Jiangning Square and fight for his life with Eclipse's large army? He's not stupid. There is likely to be a stranger close to the level of Epsilon on the other side. And Zhang Yi will not be so conceited as to think that he can save everyone's lives. Anyway, the strangers in their outer city are not the main force. I just took some supplies. What are you trying to do with your life? Chen Xiaoxiao and Peng Li were completely speechless. Chen Xiaoxiao. They also know that the other two fronts have started fighting. So if they do nothing, wouldn't they just watch their mission points being taken away by others? Zhang Yi. If you do this, wouldn't it mean that our coming here is in vain? Qin Xiaoxiao couldn't help but said angrily. Her eyes were fixed on Zhang Yi. And she was already a little dissatisfied. But Zhang Yi said calmly that the task could never be completed. But you only live once. I think the prerequisite for completing the mission is to protect your own life first. Qin Xixia's tone darkened. However, we have a purpose here. Sorry. I can't be as greedy for life and afraid of death as you. Just to survive. I can let the prodigal run rampant in our land. Zhang Yi glanced at her and clapped his hands in approval. That's very well said. You are amazing. So, if you are not happy, you can leave. I'm not forcing you to act with me. Chapter 653 Disbandment Zhang Yi and Qin Xiaoxiao were at loggerheads. Qin Xiaoxiao herself is not very convinced of Zhang Yi being the captain. Now seeing that Zhang Yi was so stubborn, delaying her from completing the task and earning points. She became impatient and directly attacked Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi didn't tolerate her at all and told her that if she was unhappy, she could leave. Qin Shishu's eyes were fixed on Zhang Yi. She clenched her fists and was furious. She felt that she was really unlucky to have met such a teammate who was greedy for life and afraid of death. After Zhang Yi said what he said, Peng Li couldn't help it. She rushed up, put her hands on her hips, and scolded Zhang Yi. Just leave! With you as the captain. I won't even get a single point. People like you won't be able to do big things in the future. No guts. She snorted coldly and reached out to pull Qin Shishia's arm. Xiao Xiao. Let's act on our own. Qin Shishia's frown deepened. If they acted separately, if the two of them encountered the Master of Eclipse, they would not be sure they could handle it. But she couldn't agree with Zhang Yi's way of doing things. Seeing that if you stay, you can only continue to mess around with Zhang Yi here. It's better to leave and give it a try by yourself. Anyway, their mission is only to lure Eclipse. Not defeat him. Even if they encounter members of the Eclipse, they still have the Celestial team to back them up. Thinking of this, Qin Xiaoxiao said that's good. People of different ways should not work together. Let's part ways. Peng Li pointed her chin at Zhang Yi. We will gain points when the time comes. After we get the land in Linhai City, you will regret it. After the two of them finished speaking, they turned around and left without hesitation, heading cautiously into the thick fog. Zhang Yi looked at their backs disappearing into the thick fog and raised his eyebrows. 
They had no idea what level the opponents they encountered were. Not everyone has experienced the level of battle in Tianhai City. Perhaps for Pun Li and Chen Xiaoxiao. They are already very powerful as Delta level aliens. But they don't understand that there are differences between different people. So far, the boundaries between humans and aliens are very blurred. Although there is no concept of being divided into 19 levels, there is a very large depth between the same levels. A top level Delta level alien can instantly kill an ordinary Delta level alien. Even Zhang Yi didn't dare to be careless. Why were they so arrogant? Will the team of gods be trusted to protect them? Uh huh. It would be too childish to hand over your life to others. You asked for it. And you can't blame me if you die. Zhang Yi ignored them. But firmly chose to stay where he was and continue to observe the movements around him. It's not that he is unwilling to contribute to this mission. But he understood that the strangers in the outer city were all bait. The main force of the real action is the celestial team. But why can the Tianshan team wait for the opportunity to take action? But Zhang Yi can't? When necessary. Zhang Yi's combat effectiveness is much more important than that of most members of the god team. Therefore, he will not take action blindly. Be patient and wait for the enemy to reveal a flaw. There is another question that Zhang Yi has not figured out. That's why no one came from his direction. Why don't they come? Don't you like coming here? Zhang Yi held his chin and fell into deep thought. After Chen Xiaoxiao and Peng Li left, Chen Xiaoxiao contacted the headquarters immediately. Headquarters? This is Chen Xiaoxiao. We have separated from Zhang Yi and Liang Yu. They disobeyed orders and stayed outside Jiangning Square with an overly negative attitude. We cannot tolerate this behavior from them. Therefore, I chose to leave the team and act. Complete. After Zhu Zhang listened, he just closed his eyes and said calmly, I understand. Agree to act on your own. Jin Xiaoxiao was a little surprised. She originally thought that Zhu Zheng would be furious and then seek to settle the score with Zhang Yi. But I didn't expect Zhu Zheng's reaction to be so dull. But she wasn't sure of the senior management's ideas. So she had to give up. On Zhu Zheng's side, he checked Zhang Yi's progress and then stopped. Holding his forehead and smiling helplessly. I almost forgot. This guy has always played defensive counterattack. It's really hard for him to be a scout. You will be outside. And your orders will not be accepted. The aliens in the outer city nominally obey Blizzard City's orders. But that doesn't mean that Blizzard City can order them without restriction. Especially now. Asking Zhang Yi to go deep into the fog to find the whereabouts of the Eclipse Moon is almost equivalent to asking Zhang Yi and others to die. So Zhang Yi and Zhu Zheng played a word game. But they just walked for a while and then stopped. Zhu Zheng was helpless. However, this incident will not have much impact on the overall operation. The main function of the aliens in the outer city is to serve as bait. As there are no enemies in the southeast area, it is no wonder that Zhang Yi is on top. Just wait and see what happens. Zhu Zheng put his hands behind his back and looked at the other two battlefields again. At this time, the battle situation has quickly reached a fever pitch. On the western battlefield, the fighting situation on Wu Shifang's team became increasingly dangerous. Jia Heading, the earthly immortal, was kicked by Dagong Zhu Yan Jin and his internal organs were shattered. His life and death were unknown underground. And Wu Shifang, relying on the joint fighting with his clones, couldn't even block the three moves of Dagong Yan Jin. Yokozuna's power itself is terrifying. And he transformed into a mythical creature. Shouhu. After that, personal bravery alone is enough to conquer everything. Hold him back. Emo Zhengning shouted at Wu Shifang. Then he summoned a large number of self-destructing soul beasts. Preparing to give Dagong Yan Jin a big wave. Wu Shifang's body had his hands and jaws cracked by the shock. In desperation, his clone also put away the long bow and chose to fight the great Gong Yan Jin in close combat. He took the drum, urn and golden hammer from the main body and stood at the front of the formation. The clone can be sacrificed. But at most it will only cause Wu Shifang to lose some of his vitality. But creating suitable opportunities for teammates may cause harm to Agaka Yan Jin. Seeing the stubborn opponent, Dagong Yan Jin showed a contemptuous smile on his lips. Want to stop me? Just you guys are still far behind. He was like a speeding locomotive. Crashing into Wu Shifang's body and clone. Wu Shifang and his clone stood on the left and right. Roaring and vowing not to retreat until death. If they retreat, it will be completely over. If they fight hard, they still have a chance to survive. Boom. A terrifying crash sounded. And Wu Shifang's clone blocked the front. And his body was twisted into a mess. Wu Shifang's body flew out awkwardly with the help of the clone's unloading force. He fell heavily to the ground. Stretched out his hand to cover his chest. 
and began to bleed profusely. His internal organs had been smashed into pieces in many places. If it weren't for the enhanced alien, he would probably be dead by now. Just when Dogong Yanjin raised the dragonfly cutter in his hand to chop Wu Shifang to death. The next moment, the body of Dogong Yanjin suddenly disappeared from the place. By the time he came to his senses, the person had already appeared dozens of meters high in the air. At the critical moment, it was Li Weihai who used his ability to move objects to move the great work away from Yanjin. In addition to transferring the great work to Yanjin, Mo Zhongning's self-destructing soul beast also appeared next to him. Densely packed, hundreds of crab-like self-destructing soul beasts fell on him and clung to his body. Boom! A dense explosion sounded in midair. But as Dogong Yanjin fell from the sky, several people could clearly see that except for the scorched black hair, there was not even a single wound on his body. Chapter 654 The God Team is here. Wu Shifang and others were filled with despair at this time. How are they going to fight against such an enemy? Before carrying out this mission, they also thought about how powerful the members of Eclipse were. Even though there was an example of the first battle, that battle itself was a test of the waters, and the strength of the alien organization involved was not among the best. This time, the dozen or so people selected were all at the top level from the outer city of Jiangan region. If the four of them fight against one person, even if they don't win against Dagong Yanjin, they will at least pose a certain threat to him. However, the reality is so cruel. Although they are both Delta level aliens, the gap in strength is huge. He? What a monster. Mo Zhengning covered his head and said desperately. Dogong Yanjin looked at them with interest. Your cooperation is very good. It's just a pity that it's a little too weak. Mo Zhongming's self destructing soul beast is good at sneak attacks and can sneak up on opponents without knowing it. However, it is difficult to maximize its power by transforming it into a soul beast with supernatural powers so that it can have both reconnaissance and bionic functions. But facing the top work aliens, his ability became a complete joke. The great engineer engine raised the dragonfly Kiri in his hand. The fun is almost over. Let me send you on your way. He raised the dragonfly cut in his hand, aimed at Emo Zhengning, and struck at Emo Zhengning. Its attack carried the power of thunder, and its terrifying power made the air explode. And at this moment, from the distant mist, a meteor broke through the sky and hit Dogong Yanjin hard. Dogong Yanjin's eyes narrowed. The man's timing was very clever. And he struck at the left side of his body at the moment he waved Dragonfly Cut. The timing of the attack is very vicious. At this time, it was impossible for Dai Gong Yanjin to stop him. His left arm quickly rose up and was directly blocked in front of him. Boom! R. The meteor-like heavy object hit the left arm of Dogong Yanjin hard. The heavy and terrifying force caused the Yokozuna's body to shake, and he had to step back more than 10 steps to the side before he could release the force. Wu Shifang, Mo Xingning and Li Weihai, who were in despair, saw the scene, and their eyes gradually lit up with signs of hope. They knew that the god team was coming. Looking at the entire Jiangan region, the team has the highest mission completion rate and is the most legendary. Boom! The flying meteor crashed to the ground. When Dai Gong Yanjin took a closer look, he discovered that it was a huge anchor tied with chains. Crash. In the direction where the chain extends. A figure is slowly walking in the mist. You can leave now. Let us handle the next thing. Three figures appeared in the thick fog. They were all wearing silver combat uniforms and looked extremely gorgeous. Making them look like gods. The person walking in the middle had shoulder-length hair. A feminine face. And a deep smile on his lips. He is Bai Chunyu one of the two vice-captains of the Tianshan team, who once communicated with Zhang Yi. There were two other people beside him. One had blue hair and a stern face. There was another one who was wrapped in heavy silver armor, with a thick iron chain wrapped around his right hand. The heavy anchor was thrown over by him. Li Taichong raised his hand, and with a shake of the heavy chain in his hand, the heavy anchor rose into the air. After drawing a parabola in the air, it returned to his hand as lightly as nothing and was carried on his shoulder. When the three of them appeared, Dogong Yanjin no longer looked at Wu Shifang and the others. Even Yashimitsu Sakuraba and Akira Kurosawa, who were watching the battle from behind, narrowed their eyes. The Celestial Team. It is said that they are very powerful. How powerful is it? You'll know after the last fight. Bai Chunyu said to Mo Zhongning and others, Please leave quickly. Your mission has been accomplished. The further you go, the better. He glanced at Mo Zhongning and the others with his peripheral vision. Otherwise, if they start fighting later, they won't be able to take care of you. Emo Zhongming and Li Weihai nodded quickly. 
at this time. They wish they could run back immediately and never get involved in this battle again. Fortunately, the two of them had consciences. And before leaving, they dragged Wu Shifang, who was beaten like a dead dog. As for Jia Heading, who was buried deep underground, he was currently under the feet of Da Dong Yanjin. They did not dare to save him and could not save him. The three people fled the battlefield in embarrassment. After leaving and reaching a certain area, the medical staff following from the headquarters arrived carrying a stretcher. Quick! Save him! Either he does it, Mo Zhongning said to the medical staff. The medical staff reached out and touched Wu Shifang's neck and slowly shook his head. It's no longer okay. As the main force that withstood the frontal attack of Dagong Yanjin, Wu Shifang withstood almost all of his power. With that last blow, all his internal organs had been ruptured. Although he died in this battle. As the captain, he lived up to his mission. Mo Zhongming and Li Weihai looked at his gradually cold body. Silently, without saying a word. After a long time, looking at Wu Shifang who was put in a body bag, Mo Zhongming said, as if he had lost his soul. We think too highly of ourselves. Northern Line. The battle for Zhuifeiyu and others became increasingly difficult. The Orochi. The incarnation of the inner and outer Tao of Kamaya has extremely terrifying defense and attack power, forcing them to invest three people in the battle. However, after getting familiar with Zhuo Feiyu's gun blade and locking Yu Jingyang's sniper point, Kamaya Naito quickly took the initiative on the battlefield. As a last resort, a third person also joined the battlefield. Wugu City, Lu Yuchen. While Zhuo Feiyu and Yu Jingyang attracted the attention of the inner and outer Taoists in the Divine Valley, he quietly hid in the dark and activated his own powers. He opened his mouth, and a slender stream of green mist spurted out towards the big snake like a long dragon. Soon the big snake was enveloped in it. An extremely disgusting stench overwhelmed the snake. This thing is... Poisonous? The big snake suddenly realized what this thing was. Lu Yuchen sneered and said, No matter how hard your scales are, you still need to breathe. Right? I imagine your guts must be softer than your scales. Both Suifeiyu and Yu Jingyang subconsciously stayed away from the poisonous mist. They knew very well how strong Li Yuchen's poisonous mist was, with 0.01 milligrams capable of causing death. Even if they are wearing tactical helmets, they are not willing to be contaminated at all. After the big snake writhed in the poisonous mist for a while, it suddenly looked up to the sky and let out an ironic laugh. Ha ha ha! Stupid bastard! You think you can kill me? Not only did it not escape from the poisonous mist, but it opened its big mouth and swallowed a large amount of poisonous mist into its mouth. Watching this scene, Lu Yuchen and the others felt their scalps go numb. He? What is he doing? The cold vertical pupils of the inner and outer Taoists of the Divine Valley looked down at them. I am a poisonous snake. The big snakes inside and outside the Divine Valley are poisonous snakes. Chapter 655 Zombie Lu Yuchen never expected that his abilities would be completely restrained by the inner and outer Taoist priests of the Divine Valley. The poisonous mist has no effect on the poisonous snake. And he becomes a useless person. Ho! Oh. The big snake opened its mouth and spat out a mouthful of dark saliva at Lu Yuchen. Lu Yuchen recovered from the shock and ran away in a hurry. But he couldn't avoid the saliva at his speed. And his body was still stained heavily. Laugh. The well-made Yin Yun combat uniform was directly corroded by this mouthful of saliva. And it quickly spread to the inside. Even half of his shoulders were melted away. Ah! Lu Yuchen let out a wail of extreme pain. He rolled on the ground like a maggot. But soon, his body turned completely black, and he could no longer move. This is the fate of a foreigner whose abilities are completely restrained. At this time, he is no better than ordinary people. Yu Shengyang and Zhuo Feiyu felt their hearts sink. Was Lu Yuchen killed instantly? Two against one. How would they deal with this prehistoric beast? The big snake stood upright and looked down at them coldly. Next. It's your turn. As for Akatsuki Shinichiro, he was fighting with Yuan Hao and Xiao Lingling, compared to strangers like Kamaya Wadato and Aga Kunobutsu. Akutsu Shinichiro's ability is mediocre. It's just an ordinary enhanced alien, using a metal bat that street gangsters usually use. At the beginning, Xiao Lingling could even take some initiative in the battle. Her strange power is very terrifying, and it is extremely rare among enhanced aliens. A weapon that can compete with Akutsu with his pure body. This all comes from Yuan Hao behind her. Yuan Hao looked weak and weak, without any fighting ability. But he just stood there, shouting hard for Xiao Lingling to cheer up. Come on! Come on! Lingling! You are the best! With his encouragement, 
Xia Lingling's pupils also glowed with a strange purple brilliance. And her strength and speed were greatly improved. Yu Jujin knew that Yuan Hao was a wet nurse. But Xia Lingling was blocking the way. So he had no chance to break through. So he used the simplest and most straightforward fighting method to kill Xiao Lingling. As the fight continued, his metal bat swung faster and faster. Slowly, the initiative on the battlefield changed. Xia Lingling started to fall into a disadvantage in the competition for strength. A worried look flashed in Yuan Hao's eyes. Why is it happening like that? Lingling is obviously invincible. His little white face bulged in dissatisfaction. It must be that my cheering voice was not loud enough. I have to work harder. So he put his hands to his mouth and shouted even louder. A strange purple light appeared on the surface of Xiao Lingling's body. She opened her mouth. And the two sharp tiger teeth began to grow longer. And the nails on her ten fingers also extended ten centimeters. Each one as dark as a dagger. She looked like a vampire at this time. Ah! Xiao Lingling roared and rushed towards a cushion. A kutsu laughed wildly, swung the metal bat with both hands, aimed at her body and smashed it. The game should end here. Akutsu Shinichiro. Enhanced Alien. Ability code name. The Ultimate Hero. As a gangster who has been on the streets of Chiba for many years, fighting is a common occurrence for him. What he longs for is the courage to become more courageous and invincible as he fights. And his abilities are just like his people. As long as the battle continues, his power will become stronger. It can even be said that as long as the fight lasts long enough, his growth will have no upper limit. And he can even fight against Epsilon level aliens. Of course, this is only a theoretical statement. When facing an opponent with a similar strength level to him, as long as he survives until the end, he will definitely win. But now, Akutsu has accumulated enough pride points. Akutsu's baseball bat collided with Xiao Lingling again. But this time, he cunningly avoided Xiao Lingling's sharp claws and hit her side with a baseball bat. It's hard to imagine that a blunt baseball bat can tear a person's body apart. However, the reality is that when the speed is fast enough, the power of a baseball bat is not much different from that of a katana. Therefore, Xiao Lingling's body was cut off directly from the waist. In her stunned eyes, her body was split into two, and she rushed out under the influence of inertia. Boom! Boom! The two bodies fell to the ground. Yuan Hao's face turned even paler. He clenched his fists and shouted, You bastard! How dare you hurt my Lingling! Um! Injured? Yu Jujin carried the baseball bat and looked at Yuan Hao speechlessly. They have already been cut in half. Do you call this an injury? Soon. Yu Jujin understood why Yuan Hao said such things. Because Xiao Lingling fell to the ground. Hundreds of blood-colored thin tubes suddenly extended from the middle of her two bodies. And then connected together. As the blood-colored tubes contracted. Her two bodies merged firmly. And even every muscle was tightly sewn together. It's just that through the horrific wound. You can see that the flesh and blood are lifeless. Like zombie meat that has been frozen for many years. Xiao Lingling got up from the ground. Her expression became cold and terrifying. And she stared at Akujin. What the H? L? Akutsu said calmly. It turned out to be a zombie. The alien leader of Sixing City, Yuan Hao, is a person with control abilities. Capability code. Zombie manipulator. Xiao Lingling jumped into the air and returned to Yuan Hao's side. Yuan Hao came to her with a nervous look on his face and reached out to caress her body. Honey. Are you okay? Fortunately, you are already dead. Otherwise, you would have been killed just now. He held Xiao Lingling's arm with a happy look on his face. But this expression gave people a creepy feeling after considering Xiao Lingling's status as a zombie. Sure enough, it was right to kill you in the first place. He said with a gentle look on his face. Even the staff at the combat command center couldn't help feeling a little nauseous after seeing such a scene. A female staff member covered her mouth and almost vomited on the spot. He actually spent such a long time in love with a corpse. Moreover, if Xiao Lingling is already dead and is a corpse, so who is speaking with her body? As long as you think about this kind of thing in detail, it makes people sick and scared. Akutsu looked disgusted. He turned out to be a dead pervert. Still a schizophrenic pervert. Chapter 656, 100 Step Divine Fist Even with the bonus of zombies undead power, Yuan Hao's abilities are limited. And as he continues to fight with Akutsu Shinichiro, who can continuously improve his combat power. There is no suspense about the outcome of this battle. Xiao Lingling's body was beaten to pieces. And after being put together with difficulty, it was beaten to pieces again. And Zhuo Feiyu also died in the mouth of the big snake. At this time, Deng Shantong, who was still behind, finally couldn't stand it anymore. 
That's almost it. They are not on the same level as the Eclipse people at all. And if they continue to fight, they will just die in vain. It's our turn. Zhu Zheng received Deng Shintong's application to fight. But he still hesitated. However, only five members of Eclipse showed up. There are eight more people in secret. It seems that they also know our plan and have second-hand preparations. Deng Shitong smiled slightly. However, we cannot expect to have 100% grasp of all information in every battle. Such a task would be too boring. Zhu Zheng looked at the big screen and saw that the western and northern fronts were almost collapsed. If the celestial team is not allowed to take action, everyone on the field will die. So he nodded. Okay, you are allowed to fight. A confident smile appeared on Deng Shintong's lips. And he glanced at his team members. It's our turn. This time, the task was completed beautifully. A Jujin walked up to Yuan Hao and pointed the bloody baseball bat in his hand at his head. Hey, let me kill you too. Then go down and reunite with your woman. In the other direction, Yu Shangyang and Zhuo Feiyu were defeated by the great snake god Valley inside and outrode even in a two-on-one situation. They were both killed and then swallowed into their belly. Akutsu raised the metal bat in his hand high and dropped it hard. But suddenly, he felt that his arms were weak, and all the strength in his body seemed to be drained from his body. Bang! The metal bat fell to the blackened earth. He looked down at his chest. Very suddenly, a deep depression appeared in his chest. Wow! A large mouthful of blood spurted out from his mouth. And then, there was a sharp pain in his chest. It seemed as if a big hand had dug into his chest then gripped his lungs hard and crushed them to pieces. Kamaya Yuidio returned to his human appearance, and Akutsu's accident made his pupils shrink. He understood that the real special forces from Jiangan region had appeared. Those people are their biggest threat. The man inside and outside Kamaya suddenly turned his head to look into the thick fog in the distance. But before he could prepare for defense, he felt an unbearable pain in his lower abdomen. It was as if his internal organs were being stirred crazily in a washing machine, and many steel nails were placed in it. Wow! He suddenly lost all his strength and fell to his knees, spitting out blood. Deep in the thick fog, a tall and muscular figure slowly walked out. It was a man with a beard. What a great ability! It's a pity that if you meet me, you will only be slaughtered, he said extremely calmly. One of the two vice captains of the Tianshan team, Divine Fist Liao Hongle, appears. With just one blow, he destroyed both Kamaya Wadaichi and Akatsuki Shinichiro although the two had already experienced a big battle before that. But you can still see his amazing strength. Unlike the western battlefield, only Liao Honglei came to the northern battlefield. Not all of the Eclipse people showed up. And it was impossible for all of the celestial team to be dispatched. According to the algorithm of the Combat Command Center, Liao Honglei's ability is the most suitable for dealing with Kamaya Wadaichi and Akatsuki Shinichiro. Because his ability is a very rare space system. Combined with his own powerful Bajikwin technique, he has derived an extremely deadly killing method the 100-step Divine Fist. Within 100 steps, his attacks can ignore all physical defenses, even penetrate heavy armor and skin, and directly attack internal organs. It can be said that he is a killer of melee aliens. Liao Hanlei didn't say any nonsense. He didn't even look at Yuan Hao who was still alive. He stood firm and punched the fallen Shindu Naito. And deep in the thick fog where Wei Ming was, a pair of cold brown eyes slowly opened. Sure enough, the celestial team appeared. Just when Liao Honglei punched out, there was a violent churning in the thick fog. And suddenly a huge three-headed dog with its body burning with flames jumped out and roared towards him. This is a three-headed demon dog that is three meters high and five or six meters long. The red flames all over its body make the surrounding air dry. However, this flame did not have any impact on the mist created by On Myoji. Liao Honglei's pupil shrank. He didn't expect that there was someone in the other party secretly. It seems that no one is a fool, and they all know to have a backup plan. Then, let's see who has the stronger backhand. Liao Hanlei punched out, aiming at the torso of the three-headed demon dog. However, the body of the three-headed demon dog only twisted strangely. Although its color became darker, it pounced on Liao Hanlei with unabated force. Seeing this scene, Zhu Zheng couldn't help but his expression became serious. He is a person who releases abilities. Tu Yu Life frowned. It was a bit bad now. No one thought that the other party still had this hand. And judging from the power of the three-headed demon dog, the person hiding in the secret is very powerful. They originally thought that it would be most appropriate for Liao Hanlei to deal with the enemies on the northern route. Who would have thought that the other party would actually have a backup plan as if they had guessed what they were doing? Kamaya Wadaichi and Akutsu Shinichiro, 
who were knocked to the ground, covered their chests and abdomen. Although they were seriously injured and coughed up blood, they did not have the slightest fear. Instead, they laughed wildly. Ajujin said, no wonder. My luck today is Shuji. The inside and outside of Kamaya said coldly, but it would not affect the result. Liao Hanlei avoided the attack of the three-headed devil dog with his agile movement, but he saw the mist on the opposite side rolling, and several tall shadows slowly walked out. It was a middle-aged man wearing a suit, with his head raised and gold-rimmed glasses. Beside him were a group of supernatural beasts that were obviously condensed with superpowers. A giant ape with a height of four meters and a golden body. A fox with six tails and a silver body. A blue bird whose body is blurred by a whirlwind. And the gray crow floating on his shoulder. The true Onmyoji of OSU Kananji Temple, Jinguji Saikaro, is a cadre-level member of the Eclipse Group. Jinguji Saikaro put his hands in his pockets and looked at Liao Hanlei impatiently. Your ability seems to be specially designed to restrain melee combat? So what if you fight me? Chapter 657 Bait When the battle between the western battlefield and the northern battlefield was in full swing, John Yi's side seemed to be forgotten. And the calm was too terrifying. Even the combat command center didn't know how to issue orders to them. After Zhu Sheng saw the disastrous defeat of the aliens from the outer city in the other two places, he had already determined in his heart that the members of the Eclipse team were no less powerful than the Celestial team. If Zhang Yi were asked to investigate in depth, it would be like asking him to die. Therefore, Zhu Sheng temporarily gave up his plan to let Zhang Yi act again. After all, some of these alien fires in the outer city need to be preserved. This excessive calmness made Zhang Yi increasingly confused. He couldn't help but secretly wonder, what was the reason for the abnormal situation here? Could it be said that people with a moon eclipse are afraid of themselves? It's probably unlikely. Although he is very powerful, he is only at the level of investigation captain. Judging from the opponent's strength, he must have a powerful alien of similar level. Could it be that they didn't detect me? Zhang Yi even had such an idea in his mind. Although this is a bit weird. After all impossibilities are eliminated, the only explanation left is the most likely one. From his communication equipment, Battle reports from the other two places came from time to time. After learning that both groups of foreigners in the outer city had been completely destroyed and more than half of them were killed, he knew that he could no longer hide. The situation is worse than imagined. Although I don't want to expose my strength, if this operation fails because of my avoidance of battle, it will be too much. That kind of consequence is absolutely something no one wants to see. With my ability, even if I encounter a strong opponent, there is no problem in taking Lian Yu and Hua Hua to escape immediately. After Zhang Yi thought about this, he decided to give up his plan of waiting and take the initiative. However, he will not fight an unprepared battle. Thinking of Chen Xiao Xiao and Peng Li who had left before, Zhang Yi couldn't help but smile. The two women had already entered the fog first, just in time for them to help him explore the way. Zhang Yi put the big gun thunder into the different space. He turned to look at the demon cat Hua Hua beside him and reached out to stroke its head. Hua Hua. Do you remember the smell of those two women just now? Can they be found? Hua Hua meowed happily. They had not been gone for long. And Hua Hua could find them by following their scent. Zhang Yi smiled and nodded. That's good. Let's follow him. Liang Yi looked at Zhang Yi curiously and asked. Have you changed your mind? Zhang Yi said lightly. The situation on the battlefield is changing rapidly. The enemy is changing. And I should change too. Liang Yi spread his hands. But why don't you contact them directly? Zhang Yi said funnily that the reason is very simple. Because they don't trust me at all. On the other side, the trio headed by Sukamoto Nobunaga are also heading southeast. Since Takeuchi Mayumi's prophecy did not mention finding enemies in the southeast. My wife Nanako's expression was a little solemn along the way. This is the first time I have encountered this situation. Hopefully it was just a false alarm. After hearing this, Sukamoto Nobunaga said leisurely, I don't think so. Um, my wife Nanako and Takizawa Takashi both looked at Tsukamoto Nobunaga. Nobunaga's eyelids were drooped, always looking like he hadn't woken up. But in his eyes, there was always a light as sharp as the long light of his famous sword. The Great Prajna. He said calmly, I have studied the ancient Chinese siege tactics, and they usually adopt the method of surrounding three and letting one go. They deliberately left a loophole just to give us wrong guidance and let us break out from here. In other words, the enemy's main force should be in this direction. As soon as these words came out, my wife Nanako's expression turned serious. Our side is the most dangerous. Right? Nobunaga nodded and according to what the military manual said, it was indeed true. 
But after listening to Nobunaga's words, Takizawa Takashi burst into laughter. In that case, doesn't it mean we have to kill a lot of people? He wasn't worried at all that he would be killed. Takizawa Takashi raised his neck confidently. The divination Takeuchi gave me today showed that my fortune is very good. Nobunaga glanced at him without saying anything. But my wife Nanako glanced at him with hatred. You? When will you become more mature? Don't always think about relying on Mayumi's divination. Okay. Takizawa Takashi scratched his head. But we have always done this. Haven't we? Takeuchi's fortune telling has never been wrong. My wife Nanako sighed helplessly. That's exactly what you said. At this moment, the great crow above the three people suddenly opened its eyes. In the minds of several people, the voice of Shimanam and Field Satoru came. Nabunaga Ryuza with Izawa. The enemy has appeared in your direction. There are two of them. Please proceed with caution. They suddenly appeared nearby. And I suspected that they were people with special abilities from the Jiangan region. Be careful. As soon as these words came out, the expressions of Nabunaga and the other three people became serious. Nabunaga's right hand was pressed on the long and narrow handle of the great Prajna Changwang. At this time, the two people, who were still unaware of their discovery, were cautiously heading deeper into the fog. Who else could they be? Of course they are the two sisters Chen Xiao Xiao and Peng Li. Disgusted with Zhang Yi's inactivity, the two decided to take action on their own and strive to earn the most points in this mission. At that time, they will not only get rewards from Blizzard City, but also take over the territory of Linhai City. This is extremely tempting to Chen Xiao Xiao and Peng Li, who are highly motivated and long to become strong women. Even so, the two of them were extremely careful when moving forward. They made a plan. And this time, they were mainly responsible for detection and testing. Once he discovers the opponent's top master, he will immediately run away without hesitation. After all, the two of them cooperated tacitly. And with the help of their abilities, their ability to escape was also top-notch. Even without the help of that coward Zhang Yi, they can still complete the task brilliantly. This is Barbie Girl. And it was amid this misunderstanding that the two parties finally met in the small Jiangning Square. The moment they saw each other, everyone felt a little nervous. Even Tsukamoto Nobunaga, a master of swordsmanship and one of the best in the world, immediately reached out and grasped the handle of the sword. Is this a member of the special forces of Jiangan region? Chapter 6 58 2 Breaks As for Mayumi Takeuchi, she was in a slightly bad mood today. One is because today's battle gave her a dangerous aura. But this is not the main reason. The most important thing is that someone actually escaped her divination and suddenly appeared around Jiangning Square. She didn't realize it until the other party came within three kilometers of them. This feeling is her awakening. Takeuchi scroll. The first time since ability. And it was precisely because she failed to predict the arrival of the enemy from the southeast in advance that some subtle unpredictability occurred in today's battle plan. The encounter between Tsukamoto Nobunaga and Chin Xiao Xiao and Peng Li was a bit dramatic. The three members of the Eclipse group regarded them as members of the God team and did not dare to be careless. Chin Xiao Xiao and Peng Li panicked when they saw that there were three Eclipse members here. Damn it. They didn't come out earlier or later. Why did it happen at this time? If they had shown up earlier, at least Zhang Yi and Liang Yuhua would be around. Five people versus three. They still have hope that they can delay for a while and wait for the support of the god team. But now that there are only two of them, what can they do to fight each other? Peng Li's heart was pounding. She used her communication device to ask Chen Xiaoxiao what we should do. We couldn't beat him. Do you want to escape? No. Calm down. Chen Xiaoxiao decisively rejected her proposal. Her eyes looked at Nanako Nana and Tsukamoto Nabunaga. Who were each other? Takizawa Takashi is a long-range alien who uses a railgun to attack. They still have a chance to escape. But it belongs to my wife Nanako. Itachi. But he is known for his speed. Tsukamoto Nabunaga doesn't have many scenes in the video record. That's because he killed a team of aliens too fast. These two people are here. And if they run away, they will only make the other party aware of their weakness. That way, there would be no chance to escape. Calm down. We have found their traces, and it is already part of the mission. Chin Xiaoxiao opened the communication channel immediately. After thinking for a while, she also opened Zhang Yi's communication channel. Here are Chin Xiaoxiao and Peng Li. We found the Eclipse members in the southeast. Three in total. The headquarters had already discovered the situation through monitoring equipment when they encountered it. Zhu Sheng's eyes immediately moved away. Did their people finally show up again? Now, there are only four people who have not taken action yet. He knew that with the strength of Peng Li and Chin Xiaoxiao, 
they would never be able to defeat the other three. So he also opened the communication channel with Zhang Yi immediately. Zhang Yi, Qin Xiao Xiao, and Peng Li met the Eclipse people. They can't hold it for long. You have to go over immediately to support them. Zhang Yi has already received news from Qin Xiao Xiao. He raised the corners of his mouth slightly and said lightly, Received. I'm already on my way. There are only three people on the other side. And Zhang Yi has already estimated the strength of those three people. He and Liang Yu Hua Hua are enough to handle them. So this battle is 3v3. Oh, by the way, why not 5 versus 3? Because Zhang Yi didn't think that Qin Xiao Xiao and Peng Li could be of much help. Even if he could, he didn't need these two to share the results of the battle. You know, the pricing given by the headquarters to each Eclipse member is a very high point reward. Let's go. But we don't have to rush. Zhang Yi said lightly. At least Qin Xiao Xiao and Peng Li must know how arrogant they are and pay the price for their arrogance. As for whether they will die, what does that have to do with Zhang Yi? They are unfamiliar with it. And if they are dead, Zhang Yi can also complete the mission of the southeastern route, even completing tasks beyond the expectations of the headquarters. Qin Xiao Xiao and Peng Li stood there, keeping alert, but did not dare to attack or escape. They were extremely nervous, hoping that the nearest Zhang Yi or members of the god team could come and rescue them. However, the person who was eclipsing the moon noticed something unusual. Nabunaga's ears moved slightly, and he heard the rapid heartbeats of the two people. That's a heartbeat caused by excessive stress. If these two people were really members of the special forces of the Jiangnan region headquarters, they would never react like this. Could it be that? Is it a trash fish? Seeing their vigilant looks, Nabunaga became more determined in his thoughts. Just try it and find out. Thinking of this, the man and the knife rushed out like lightning. People are in the air, accompanied by choking. With a sound, the great Prejnal light flashed through the air like a white bolt. Chin Xiao Xiao and Peng Li knew they were exposed and shouted. Be careful! The two were already ready to fight. So their powers were activated instantly. Two white lights appeared in Peng Li's hands and connected to Chen Xixia's body. Her ability is Priest, which can improve Chen Xixia's strength and speed defense and can quickly heal all non-fatal injuries she suffers. Chin Xiao Xiao, on the other hand, stood in front of her and her strengthening abilities blessed her body. Her two long legs that had been trained to perfection kicked off the ground, and a circle of blizzard spread from under her feet, rapidly expanding in a circle toward the surrounding area. At the same time, a long blade popped out with a clang from the bottom of the white boots she was wearing, facing Nabunaga's simple but extremely fast sword. She performed the Brazilian war dance and blocked it with the blade of her right foot. Ping! The blades collided, and the huge force directly launched Chin Xiao Xiao away. But she landed gracefully in midair, and then danced nimbly on the snow. Nabunaga glanced at her feet. The ground had been frozen by her into a huge skating rink. Wearing skates, she began to rotate quickly along Nabunaga, looking for the right time to take action. Oh! Nabunaga just said this lightly. He did not catch any trace of Chin Xiao Xiao, and even slowly closed his eyes in front of the two of them. A field with a radius of 50 meters centered on him began to appear. This is one of his abilities Tian Yuan. With himself as the center. He sits in the center of the chessboard. And within a radius of 50 meters. He is within the range of his sword. Chin Xiao Xiao danced quickly on the ice. Looking for Nabunaga's flaws. But during the process. She was surprised to find that Nabunaga's sword drawing posture had no flaws at all. In addition. My wife Nanako and Takizawa Takashi were beside me. Making Chun Xiao Xiao completely unable to concentrate. At the moment when she was confused. Nabunaga caught the hesitation in her movements. No one could clearly see how he drew the sword with his right hand. Only a white bolt streaked through the air. When the blade passed by, Chin Shishia's leaping body was broken. Her waist was cut neatly. And even the cuts in the muscles and intestines were as smooth as a mirror. Because the knife was so fast, she didn't even have time to feel the pain. Chapter 659 The Disappearing Hexagram Nabunaga's sword is too fast. A master of I.I. Slash the speed of drawing the sword can split bullets. As a top-notch swordsman in Japan, Nabunaga's sword speed can also reach this level. After becoming an alien, no one knows how fast his sword is. But there is one thing. In one of the two major organizations of Neon, Izumo, it is recorded. Among the 13 people in Eclipse, Nabunaga is in O2 in terms of combat power. Two parts of Chen Shishia's body were thrown away. This result made her pupils shrink suddenly. For the first time in her life, she felt so hopeless and powerless. Peng Li was also scared and turned pale. Fortunately, 
The two blessing rays in her hands were still connected to Qin Xiao Xiao. She shouted loudly and hurriedly dragged Qin Shishia's body back. Those two bodies were used by Peng Li in midair. Priest. The forces are connected together. Fortunately, Nabu Nada's knife was very fast, and the cuts were as neat as a mirror. So the splicing was quick. Jin Xiao Xiao stood on the ground with a pale face and staggered. At that moment, the blood all over her body went cold. On the lower abdomen, the tangential incision was still there, and a circular bloodline slowly dripped down the snow white skin. It's like something that has been forced together, and it makes people worry that if they move even a little bit, the upper half of the body will fall off. Peng Li said nervously, Stop moving. Your injury is too serious, and it will take time to heal you. But both of them knew. Where would they have time? Right now. It's a certain death. What the H, L. It turned out to be trash fish. Nabunaga put away the long sword with a bored expression. He was so disappointed. I originally thought that I met an elite person this time. But who would have thought that it would be so weak? He wasn't even worthy of letting him use his sword. Get rid of them quickly. My wife Nanako said. Don't worry yet. Nabunaga raised his head and looked into the distance. Perhaps the real opponent has just appeared. The mist surged, and several figures slowly walked out. Yes, very keen intuition. The leading man had an evil smile on his lips. He tilted his head and looked at Miyamoto Nabunaga, especially the katana in his hand. What age are you still playing samurai games here? When Peng Li and Chen Xiaoxiao saw them, they felt as if they had seen a savior and shouted excitedly that you are finally here. The three people who came were members of the god team. The leading man also held a knife in his hand. But it was a very big knife. As heavy as a dark door panel. His face was tattooed with mysterious spells. Which looked extremely strange and gave people an unfathomable feeling. At this time, Zhang Yi and others also arrived here. Originally, Zhang Yi thought of letting Qin Xiao Xiao and Peng Li lure out the eclipse. And then take action himself to solve the problem. But I didn't expect that this time the people from the god team arrived first. Xiao Tian, a member of the Tian Shan team, glanced at Zhang Yi and said in a cold tone that you are wasting your time. So the higher-ups ordered us to take over the battlefield. Just in time. Take these two useless women away. Then get out of here right now. The next battle is no longer something that strangers of your level can interfere with. After Liang Yu heard this, he didn't express anything and just glanced at Zhang Yi. The corners of Zhang Yi's mouth turned up slightly. Since he showed his hands and came over professionally, there is no need for us to stay here. Withdraw. After saying that, he looked at Chen Xiao Xiao and Peng Li, and his eyes naturally fell on the horrific wound on Chen Xixia's waist. Can you still leave? Chen Xiao Xiao had been holding on just now. After all, he was cut in half, and it would take a long time to recover. She pursed her lips, a little embarrassed to look at Zhang Yi. At this time, she deeply regretted her blind decision. Zhang Yi's caution was justified. They all underestimated Eclipse's strength. Zhang Yichong winked at Hua Hua. And Hua Hua came to Qin Xiao Xiao and lay down gently. Peng Li quickly helped Qin Xiao Xiao get on Hua Hua's back. Her hands never stopped healing Chen Xixiao's injuries. Zhang Yi did not stay here to delay the fight between gods and gods. And immediately left with the people. After walking out for a while, Qin Xixiao's weak voice came to his ears. Zhang Yi. Thank you. Zhang Yi glanced at her. There was no need to thank me. It was just convenient. Chin Shisha's face turned a little strangely red. Firstly because of internal injuries. And secondly because of shame. Peng Li sighed sadly. When we came to perform the mission this time, we originally thought we could make some achievements. But who would have thought that it turned out to be a joke? The huge gap in strength made them realize the reality. But they can't be blamed for all this. After all, this is their first time fighting against Eclipse. The experience of running rampant and invincible in their own city made them overestimate their own strength. But Liang Yu came close to Zhang Yi's ear and whispered, Why didn't you take action just now? With your strength. Solving the three of them shouldn't be a big problem. Right? Zhang Yi looked at her and asked, Do you know what the other party's strength is? Liang Yu was stunned for a moment. Then said, No matter how strong they are, they can't be stronger than you. Right? You are someone who can even trap and kill you on Konya. Zhang Yi Dao said that it was because I planned for a long time in advance. Collected a large amount of intelligence and force many people to be my pawns, and finally won with difficulty. Remember, never underestimate any opponent. Don't rely on instinct to evaluate your opponent and fight with blind confidence. The purpose of our coming here is out of the remaining trace of morality in our hearts, not for the limelight or to gain mission points. Now that the god team has taken action, let them fight to the death. 
Liang Yu looked at Zhang Yi's resolute profile with a hint of laziness and couldn't help but burst into laughter. I really can't see through you more and more. Zhang Yi said that there is no need to see through. Just follow me in action. And when they left, Nobunaga and the other three didn't pay attention at all. In their opinion, these people are just minions. And the members of the god team in front of them are the real opponents. But at this moment, the voice of Shimanamino Satoru came from the minds of Nobunaga and the others. Nobunaga? Ryuzawa? My wife? Are you three okay? Please reply if you receive it. Nobunaga and the three looked at each other, feeling baffled, because Shimanamin Satoru's voice was very anxious. As if something terrible had happened. Nobunaga responded that we were fine. What happened? After receiving Nobunaga's response, Satoru Shimanoba breathed a sigh of relief. Mayumi Takeuchi. He looked at Mayumi Takeuchi not far away with her head in her hands and a look of confusion and fear, and slowly said to the three of them, Just now, the three of you disappeared in Mayumi's divination. Chapter 660 Pursuit The Shrine Maiden of the Eclipse Group The 37th Generation Descendant of the Takeuchi Family Mayumi Takeuchi At this time, I fell into deep self-doubt because of her most proud ability. Takeuchi Scroll It actually lost its effect just now. It was as if there was something that forcibly erased her prophecy ability. Therefore, Phoenix and Jean immediately asked Shimano Minoba Satoru and Nobunaga to contact each other. Shimanoba Satoru conveyed their words of peace to the Phoenix Institute. No, there must be something covering my eyes in that place. Mayumi Takeuchi said. It makes me unable to see clearly. I really cannot see clearly. The Phoenix Academy suppressed the smile on its lips. The biggest trump card of the Eclipse team is not him. Phoenix and Jean. Nor Aga Kunobutsu. Nor Jinguji Saikairo and Sukamoto Nabunaga. It's the witch Mayumi Takeuchi who has the power of prophecy and can seek good fortune and avoid misfortune for them. Once there is a problem with her ability, the entire Eclipse group will be unable to move on the land of China. The Phoenix Institute had an idea and walked over to Shimanamanoba Satoru to ask them what happened there just now. Shimanamano Satoru truthfully conveyed the Phoenix Academy's problem. At this time, the three Nabunaga were confronting the three members of the Tengen team. Trust me, I still passed it calmly. Enlightenment Ghost. He told Shimanamanoba Satoru what had just happened. From the beginning when they met Chen Xiao Xiao and Pengli. To what happened now? A cold light flashed in Phoenix Academy's eyes. The moment you disappeared from Ayumi's vision was during the short period of time when those few people appeared. So, the problem lies with a few of them. Especially the two people and a strange beast who came later. You must find them and kill them. The Phoenix Academy understands that those people are the gaps in Takeuchi Mayumi's abilities. Once the other party realizes this, they are in danger. Nobunaga hummed. His pair of lifeless fish eyes did not leave the three people in front of him for a moment. And he softly said to Takizawa Takashi and my wife Nanako behind him that the three of them were handed over to me. And you go hunt down the guys who escaped. We must bring their heads back and show them to the team leader. Takizawa Takashi and my wife Nanako also understand the importance of the matter. Well, I'll leave this to you. But don't die. After Takizawa Takashi finished speaking, he called my wife Nanako to leave with him. My wife Nanako's body was swaying like a whirlwind. Itachi. The ability starts to activate. She dragged Takizawa Takashi's arm, jumped into the air, and chased Zhang Yi and the others in the direction they left. This scene directly angered Xiao Tiani and the other three people in front of them going after strangers from the outer city in front of them. Wouldn't it mean that you didn't take them seriously at all? But just when they were about to intercept, a piercing sword light passed between them and Takizawa Takashi. His wife Nanako. Senhen sword made people feel cold all over. And even the earth was cut into a deep ravine that was tens of meters long. Nabunaga stared at them and said slowly, Where are you looking? The opponent is here. Shao Tiani stared at Nabunaga with cold eyes. The two teammates behind asked what to do? Should we go over and chase them? Judging from the strength of those people just now, if we don't take action, they will definitely be killed. But Xiao Tiani raised the corner of his mouth. It doesn't matter. Being able to hold off two Eclipse members with their lives is still very profitable. He raised the giant sword in his hand, pointing the blade directly at Nobunaga's head. Our mission is to kill the members of Eclipse. Three against one. He is dead. On the entire battlefield. With the fate of the Celestial Team. The aliens from the outer city also officially exited the stage. Zhang Yi, Liang Yu and Shen Peng were about to leave Jiangming Square and go back to the armed helicopter to rest and wait for the results of the battle. But at this moment, a cautious light flashed through Huawei's eyes. 
It turned its head to look behind it and meowed vigilantly. Soon, without needing to be reminded, Zhang Yi and others also felt the movement coming from behind. That was the sound of breaking through the air caused by high-speed movement. Someone is chasing me, Zhang Yi said lightly. Jin Xiaoxiao and Peng Li's faces were full of nervousness. At this time, they already understood how terrifying the members of Eclipse were. Now they have almost no ability to fight. If there is another Eclipse, they can only rely on Zhang Yi and one beast to fight. But based on their relationship, Zhang Yi would definitely leave them and run away. This made Chen Xiaoxiao and Peng Li extremely nervous. Sure enough, a moment later, my wife Nanako dragged Takizawa Takashi and chased me from a distance. After seeing a few people on the ground, a cruel smile appeared on Takizawa Takashi's lips. Hey, these bastards haven't gone far yet. They didn't pay any attention to Zhang Yi and the others. After all, they have already seen the strength of Chen Xiaoxiao and Peng Li. Judging from the actions of the other party, Zhang Yi, Liang Yu and Hua Hua are also so-called strangers from the outer city and are not the elite of the god team. Especially after the celestial team appeared, they didn't say a word and chose to run away in despair. This further strengthened the thoughts in the minds of Takizawa Takashi and my wife Nanako. These people are all low-level fish. They can be killed easily. The two move quickly through the air, blocking the path of Zhang Yi and others. Aren't you here to hunt us down? What are you running for? Takizawa Takashi looked at Zhang Yi and the others arrogantly and said. As he spoke, he had six coins clamped between his fingers. Peng Li's little face turned pale. She was still using. Priest. Ability to help Chen Xiaoxiao treat his injuries. Although Chen Xiaoxiao is fine now. Once she stops treatment, Chen Xiaoxiao will die in less than ten minutes. Because her internal organs were all filled with cracks at this time. Therefore, the two of them cannot fight it. Is it possible to rely on Zhang Yi and the others? Peng Li even began to despair in her heart. Damn it. Why are they chasing after me? Why didn't the people from the god team stop them? Chin Xiaoxiao gritted her teeth and whispered to Peng Li that if it doesn't work, I will risk my life to hold them back. Peng Li, your abilities are very useful. Go help Zhang Yi when the time comes. Then try to escape with them. Peng Li's face was full of sadness. Although she wanted to refuse, the current situation did not allow her to be pretentious. With tears in her eyes, she had no choice but to nod and agree to Chin Xiaoxiao's suggestion. Facing the two Eclipse members who suddenly pursued him, Liang Yu silently put his hand on Long Ming's knife handle. Zhang Yi's hand held her down. Liang Yu looked at Zhang Yi in confusion. But Zhang Yi said with an indifferent expression that your ability is not suitable to deal with them. So I'll do it. Moreover, I don't have the time to waste time with other fish. Chapter 661 Instant Kill Combat Command Center Zhu Zheng and Tu Yunlai stared at the dozens of pictures on the big screen. Mayumi Takeuchi At this time, the battlefields everywhere have entered into fierce battles. The strangers in the outer city have withdrawn one after another, and the celestial team directly confronts Eclipse. After the previous preparations, they have also found suitable opponents for the Tianshan team, making it easier for them to display their abilities. At this moment, the situation on Zhang Yi's side seemed more helpless, because they were the only alien team from the outer city who did not die in battle or retreat on the battlefield. Their opponents were two members of Eclipse Moon. There was no expression on Tu Yulia's face. The death of strangers from the outer city will not affect the overall situation on the battlefield. Zhu Zheng only glanced at it briefly and immediately turned his attention elsewhere. In his opinion, there is no possibility of Zhang Yi and others winning. Even if two of them escaped by chance, it would not help the entire battle. But not far away from them, Bailey Changqing, who was one of the planners, was staring at Zhang Yi. Only he understood that once Zhang Yi used all his strength, few people on the entire battlefield would be able to stop him. Only, at that time, how should he explain to Zhu Zheng and other Blizzard City executives about concealing information? Bailey Changqing was very troubled in his heart, and he could only pray silently that the situation would not develop in a direction he did not want to see. On the battlefield, Zhang Yi held down Liang Yu, who was about to take action, and slowly walked forward alone. Such a scene fell into the eyes of Chen Xiaoxiao and Peng Li. Their eyes widened, and they almost thought that Zhang Yi was going to rebel and surrender to the enemy. Takizawa Takashi and my wife Nanako also stared at Zhang Yi the prey in their eyes with playful faces. My wife, Nanako, asked, Does he want to surrender? Takizawa Takashi smiled and said, It's a pity that we only need his body. As soon as he finished speaking, Takizawa Takashi raised his hand, and a powerful lightning storm condensed around him, finally converging on his fingertips. Only my railgun, 
with the addition of powerful electromagnetic force. The six coins instantly penetrated the space, drew a long silver dragon in the air, and came to Zhang Yi. But in Takizawa Takashi's imagination, the scene of Zhang Yi's body being penetrated like butter by a hot knife did not appear. The electromagnetic gun, with powerful destructive power, actually disappeared three meters in front of Zhang Yi like a bull in the sea. Takizawa Takashi's pupil shrank sharply. What ability is this? Why did my attack disappear? Such a scene made the eclipse couple show surprised expressions. My wife Nanako let go of her arms and frowned slightly. As if this guy had some skills? Chin Xiaoxiao and Peng Li also looked surprised. Is this his space power? Chin Xiaoxiao frowned. But it was useless to just defend. Seeing that his offensive failed, Takizawa Takashi had an angry look on his face. He put his hands into his pockets and heard a jingling sound. When he took them out again, he already held two large handfuls of coins in his hands. Let's see if you can handle this attack. Takizawa Takashi laughed wildly and used his thumbs to flick the coins toward Zhang Yi. With the added ability of the electromagnetic gun, each coin is countless times more powerful than a bullet. Coupled with the electromagnetic power it carries, it is extremely powerful and can even penetrate the armor of a tank. Coins flew towards Zhang Yi like a barrage of cannons. Zhang Yi still stood where he was, letting Takizawa Takashi attack him. In midair, countless electric arcs were like silver snakes, sinking into Zhang Yi's alien space from a hundred meters away, and finally disappeared without a trace, without causing any ripples. After all the coins in his hand were ejected, Takizawa Takashi was dumbfounded. The attack he is most proud of can penetrate even a tank. Why? It has no effect on the guy in front of me? My wife Nanako saw some clues. He absorbed all your attacks. She pointed to the ground in front of Zhang Yi. You see? The coin disappeared. In other words, it was absorbed somewhere else. This guy is a space system user. Zhang Yi will not wait for them to finish talking before taking action. After Takizawa Takashi's round of attacks ended, he also took action. Very suddenly, Zhang Yi took a step forward and disappeared in midair. When they appeared again, they were behind Takizawa Takashi and my wife Nanako. He opened his right palm, pointed it at the duo, and opened the door to his dimension. The whistling electric light was like a hundred silver snakes, shooting towards the backs of the two of them. My wife Nanako's ability is Itachi. She is very sensitive to fluctuations in the air. The moment she sensed the danger, she didn't have time to remind herself that the man disappeared in a flash. But Takizawa Takashi does not have such good speed. A series of electromagnetic cannons hit him from behind. And before he could even turn around, his body was beaten into a sieve. The power of the rail gun was indeed powerful. When it penetrated his body, it was like a hot knife being immersed in butter. A good person was beaten into tatters and riddled with holes in 0.01 seconds, like a shabby hornet's nest. Takashi Takizawa, a member of the Eclipse team, was instantly killed by Zhang Yi with one blow. Such a scene left Jin Xiaoxiao and Peng Li stunned. The members of the Eclipse team, who were so frightened in their hearts, couldn't even take one of Zhang Yi's moves? Is Zhang Yi so strong? The two of them stared at Zhang Yi blankly. Their jaws closed in surprise. At this time, their brains were in a state of shutdown, and they even lost the ability to think. But Liang Yu and Hua Hua looked not surprised. My wife Nanako was very fast, and she escaped the range of Zhang Yi's attack. After seeing her man being killed, she angrily shouted to your envoy in a shrill voice. I originally thought it was just a simple hunt. But unexpectedly, it ended up costing my husband's life. My wife, Nanako, was heartbroken. But she was worthy of being the ruthless member of the Eclipse group. And she looked at Zhang Yi with hatred. The next moment, her body disappeared from the spot. And her entire figure was blurred and invisible. Around Zhang Yi, a raging storm suddenly rolled up. The figure of my wife Nanako was in the middle of the storm. A strange music came from all directions. It's a pity that Zhang Yi couldn't hear anything. The two worlds junction is a perfect barrier. It can be said that there is an alien barrier between him and the real world at this time. Therefore, all sounds were isolated and all attacks contained in the Shakuhachi melody were completely absorbed by the extra-dimensional space. Zhang Yi took out two large silver pistols decorated with violets with both hands, slowly raised them, and pointed them at the nothingness in front of him. My wife Nanako's speed is so fast that ordinary people can no longer catch it with the naked eye. Zhang Yi's body also experienced some changes, and he was trembling slightly at a strange speed. Twenty times faster. Bang bang. Inaudible gunshots rang out. And the next moment, my wife Nanako's body was violently thrown out of the wind barrier, 
and was thrown to the ground like a torn sack. Chapter 662 Surprises Everyone John Yi looked at my wife Nanako, who was impaled on the ground indifferently. He didn't save his bullets and shot her twice more in the chest, making sure to hit her heart, and then shot her in the neck. Bai Zhao's power was very powerful, especially with the blessing of Zhang Yi's superpower, which directly broke her neck and rolled her head away. At this point, Zhang Yi was completely relieved. In the stunned eyes of Chen Xiaoxiao and Peng Li, Zhang Yi walked over and put the two bodies into a different space. This is a battlefield. Zhang Yi is not in a hurry to absorb their powers. Anyway, absorbing them will not increase his strength much. But this scene was observed by the staff of the combat command center. In the command center, every staff member is responsible for monitoring combatants on the field in real time. After all, there were too many people. Even Zhu Zheng and Tu Yunlai couldn't stand it. They need to observe and report promptly. After seeing Zhang Yi kill two Eclipse members, the staff monitoring his movements turned their heads and reported to Zhu Zheng with some surprise in their eyes. Commander, something is wrong with Zhang Yi. Upon hearing this, Zhu Zheng lowered his eyes and looked at the staff member. He sighed and asked Zhang Yi calmly if they died in the battle. No. The staff member looked weird. If she hadn't just seen it with her own eyes, she wouldn't have believed that Zhang Yi killed two members of Eclipse. Um. As soon as these words came out, the atmosphere at the scene suddenly changed. Zhu Zhengwan, Xin Qing Tu Yulai, Bailey Chongqing and others all looked at her. Since the war began, no battlefield has achieved effective results. Even though the celestial team was dispatched, the battle was still stalemate. However, Zhang Yi, a stranger from the outer city, actually killed two Eclipse Ronin? Zhu Zheng immediately said to bring up the scene there. The staff immediately operated to highlight the battle situation on Zhang Yi's side on the big screen. But the battle was over at this time. And Zhang Yi was seen cleaning the battlefield and collecting their bodies. The bodies of Takizawa Takashi and my wife Nanako were lying on the ground. Facts speak louder than words. Zhu Sheng's face was shocked. How did they kill these two people? Zhu Zheng thought it was Zhang Yi and others who relied on their numerical advantage to surround and kill Takizawa Takashi and my wife Nanako. Even so, you are proud enough. After all, this is the first time in this battle that the members of Eclipse have been killed. The staff took a deep breath and said that the battle ended too quickly. Zhang Yi killed them all in less than 30 seconds. When she said this, she couldn't help but murmured in a low voice that maybe the two Eclipse members were too weak. They didn't even have the slightest resistance. And were killed too simply. In the face of the absolute strength gap, the battle ended so quickly. Zhu Zheng, Tu Yulai and others quickly realized this. They absolutely do not doubt the strength of Takizawa Takashi and my wife Nanako. Because in the first battle, these two men easily wiped out an entire alien army. Maybe they are not as good as Adaka Nobutsu and Tsukamoto Nabunaga. But they are definitely not weak. Only Evergreen looks at Zhang Yi in the picture with a hint of smile in his eyes. You guys can always create surprises for people. Oh, it would be better to say that it is because he is too stable. So he always acts like he is not very powerful. At this moment, multiple alarms suddenly sounded in the combat command center. Commander, the situation on the northern front is not good. There are also problems on the western front. Liao Honglei and others. Problem occurs. Zhu Zheng's pupils shrank sharply. How could this happen? Where is Deng Shantong? Tu Yulai said that he had gone out alone to take down the opponent's main formation. I think there is nothing wrong with this. If you kill the opponent's team leader, the eclipse will become a mess. Zhu Sheng's face was gloomy. Even if the mission is completed, we cannot accept it if the Tianshan team suffers too heavy losses. It's a pity that the Black Robe team suffered heavy losses in the last battle of Tianhai City and has not yet recovered its strength. The other four investigation teams are all performing tasks in the outside world and have not returned yet. The God team had to go up. When Zhu Zheng thought of this, his eyes suddenly looked at Zhang Yi in the picture. Zhu Zheng's eyes suddenly lit up. Isn't this the best helper? Zhu Zheng immediately contacted Zhang Yi and gave him instructions. Zhang Yi, don't retreat just yet. Immediately go to the nearest northern front to support. Others can come back first. Zhang Yi said calmly. In the communication channel, he knew that the battle situation on the other two lines was not ideal. Now that the main force of the celestial team has been dispatched, it is reasonable for him to go to help. How should I put it? He would not take the initiative to ask for a fight. But if there were arrangements from above, he could do it as long as it was not too dangerous a task. It is a relatively flat state. Anyway, with his ability, if he goes alone, 
There will definitely be no problem in saving his life. So Zhang Yi said to Liang Yu. Take them back first. I'm going to take a trip to the back front. Liang Yu knew that after Zhang Yi exposed his strength. He was targeted by high level people. There is no other way. But those who can do more work are too common. Even in companies. Leaders always like to grab capable employees and ask them to do more work. Do you want me to come with you? They should be able to leave on their own. Liang Yu said. Zhang Yi shook his head. Your current strength is not enough. Liang Yu's personal combat quality is very high. But when it comes to the level of supernatural powers, she is far behind. Although she is a Delta level alien, she has absorbed too few alien origins. You can even fight a dozen ordinary force leaders when you meet them. But compared with the extremely vicious thugs like Eclipse, it's really not good. Zhang Yi felt that he might have to think of some ways to help her improve her strength as soon as possible in the future. In this case, she can become his right-hand man and at least give Zhang Yi some help when he fights. Zhang Yi's attitude made Liang Yu a little unhappy and her mouth curled up. As a master-level martial arts master, the last thing she can accept is for others to say she is weak. Zhang Yi couldn't help but smile when he saw this. Even Liang Yu, who usually seemed indifferent, had such a cute side. Okay, now is not the time for fun. Will you be obedient? This gentle tone made Liang Yu's face turn red. I just listened to you. She pretended to be cold, but secretly clenched her fists. Zhang Yi left a few people and walked towards the western front marked on the nebula. Liang Yi looked at his back and had no choice but to walk over and take Hua Hua, Chin Xiao Xiao, and Pun Li back to the armed helicopter to wait. Chapter 663 The King Meets the King The moment Takizawa Takashi and my wife Nanako died, Jumanoba Satoru, who was in charge of communications, felt it. He raised his head in astonishment his eyes surging with disbelief. Seeing his appearance, Feng Wang Yuanren asked Shishuwu, What's wrong? Shimanomino Satoru raised his head and looked at Phoenix Inan and murmured about Ryu's and my wife. Died in battle. Phoenix Dean's pupils shrank sharply. Even Takeuchi Mayumi, who had been kneeling on the ground in fortune telling for everyone, screamed. Impossible. This is absolutely impossible. She lay on the ground and clenched the Takeuchi scroll with both hands. The scroll that was manifested by the supernatural power was slightly deformed by her. Her eyes were blank. And she said with a panicked face that there could be no problem with my divination. Today, both of them have good luck. How could something happen? Shimanomino Satoru said that it might be because of the stranger who appeared on Nobunaga's side. This sentence gave Phoenix and Jean and Takeuchi Mayumi a wake-up call. Not long ago, a strange person appeared over there, which caused problems with Takeuchi Mayumi's divination. Phoenix and Jean said coldly. Could it be that someone can block Mayumi's divination? Shimanoba Satoru calmed down. And he carefully analyzed that both Takizawa and my wife died in that place. In other words, can the existence of that person distort Miss Takeuchi's divination? Wouldn't that become a distortion of the law of cause and effect? Mayumi Takeuchi's abilities. Takeuchi scroll. Can predict and predict people to judge good or bad luck. Since the establishment of the Eclipse group, her predictions have never been wrong. This ability to predict the future is also called a causal weapon. It can be said that its existence is one of the biggest trump cards of the Eclipse group. And now, Takeuchi scroll. The prediction actually went awry. Both Phoenix and Jean and Shimanoba Satoru understood that it was not Takeuchi Mayumi's prediction that failed. But someone distorted the results of her prediction. Mayumi Takeuchi covered her head and said in pain that there was someone outside the numerology. I can't see his future, let alone predict everything about him. Phoenix Inneren walked to her side, hugged her slowly, smiled and comforted her softly. It's okay. Mayumi, you've done a great job. As for a guy like that, just kill him. And I will definitely kill him for you. Mayumi Takeuchi slowly raised her head, looking at Phoenix Inan with weak and worried eyes. However, if that happens, some of our partners may die, because my prediction for them failed. I can't see their future clearly. Phoenix Academy Rin smiled. This is war. And no matter what kind of accident occurs, it is our own choice. And so far, we still have control over the direction of things. He stroked Mayumi Takeuchi's head. Sometimes, you shouldn't put such a big burden on yourself. I'm still here. In the past, they did rely too much on Mayumi Takeuchi's abilities. But before they got Mayumi Takeuchi, they were also extremely powerful aliens. If you can't see through numerology, just kill it. Feng Wang Yuanren's eyes burst out with an awe-inspiring fighting spirit. Perhaps the journey was so smooth that it made him a little boring. 
But this time, things finally developed differently. That's exciting, isn't it? Takeuchi Mayumi suddenly thought of something. And she hurriedly told Shimanamino Satoru to call Hanachio back. Because today's book of prophecies says that Naru's Hanachio's fortune is bad. Therefore, Phoenix Academy Renkai did not send her out to carry out the mission. But stayed around the formation to take charge of security. According to common sense, if the enemy does not break through the surrounding players, it is impossible to reach the perimeter of the formation. Shimanoba Satoru closed his eyes and was about to contact Naru's Hanachio. But at this moment, a cold and lazy voice came from not far away. Are you looking for her? The sudden sound made the three people in Eclipse startled. Being so close to them, they were not discovered. Moreover, where is Naru's Hanakio who is in charge of security? Why didn't she alert the Phoenix Academy and others? Among the weapons, a tall man slowly walked out. He has long flowing silver hair and is as handsome as a woman. It's just that he is holding a half-dead woman in his right hand, which makes people feel a bit sad. Flower Chio. When she saw the woman in his hand, Takeuchi Mayumi couldn't help shouting. Isn't that man carrying the ninja in their group? Naru's Hanakio? Phoenix Academy's eyes narrowed. Although Naru's Hanakio's strength is not top-notch among the entire Eclipse. As a ninja, her detection and escape skills are very powerful. But she didn't even have time to raise the alarm. And was killed by the man in front of her. This shows how powerful the opponent is. Is Deng Shitong the captain of the Celestial Team? The person who came was none other than Deng Shitong. When Deng Shitong heard the person in front of him say his name, there was a smile on his lips. Oh! Have even you Neon Wanderers heard of my name? It seems that you are not so uncivilized. Much better than a guy from a small seaside town. At the combat command center, all attention is focused here. Zhu Zheng commanded seriously. Zoom in the picture on Deng Shintong's side for me. Put it to the maximum. Everyone understands that the battle between the captain and the team leader is the highlight of this battle. As long as the opponent's general can be killed, the battle will be completely over. If Deng Shitong is defeated, Blizzard City's operation will also be declared a complete failure. If Ren of the Phoenix Academy is defeated, Eclipse Moon will also be defeated and become a piece of loose sand. The outcome of the battle here will also affect other battles on the battlefield. The general's defeat directly affected the mentality and morale of all the aliens. Deng Shitong threw Naru's Hanakio to the ground with a smile on his face. Looks like I'm in luck. There are actually four Eclipse people here. If I kill you, this far should be over. Right? But who of you is the general? Deng Shintong's eyes swept across the Phoenix Academy and the other three people. And finally, he waved his hand indifferently. It's okay. They are all going to die anyway. Just kill them all. Phoenix Yuan Ren lowered his head. And his body suddenly started to tremble. Deng Shintong looked at him in surprise. Are you so scared? Phoenix Yuan Ren's body trembled more and more violently. He suddenly raised his head and let out a loud laugh and his eyes were filled with crazy excitement. The captain of the Tian Shin team must be the highest level combatant in the Jiangnan region. If I kill you here, those idiots in Jiangnan region will stop bothering me. The Phoenix Academy is staring at Deng Shitong. You will die here today. Shimanamino Satoru stopped his enlightenment ghost ability. No need for the Phoenix Academy to say anything. He quickly ran over and helped Kiyuchi Mayumi up. None of them are fighting type aliens and they are not qualified to participate in this captain leader level battle. With the strength of these two people, even if there is a slight trace of aftermath, they can be killed instantly. Chapter 664 Snow is falling on the world. The battle between the generals of both sides is about to begin. And this news was quickly notified to all combatants by the combat command center and Shishimanaz Hang Satoru. Phoenix Yuanren. After hearing the news, Zhang Yi couldn't help but look towards the center of Jiangning Square. He narrowed his eyes, and seemed to have felt two powerful forces slowly rising there. In fact, they were two forces no less powerful than his. An idea suddenly came to Zhang Yi's mind. Do you want to take advantage of the moment and go over to support Deng Shintong? But he gave up the idea the moment it came up. He didn't understand Deng Shintong's abilities. Nor did he understand Eclipse's trump card. If abilities cannot achieve good coordination or even have some restraint, one plus one may be less than two. Moreover, he could not guarantee that Eclipse Moon would not have other backups. At the headquarters, a perfect plan has been made to allow strangers from the outer city to create good fighting conditions for the Celestial Team. I believe Deng Shitong is enough to deal with the situation there. Zhang Yi curled his lips and said lightly that even if the worst situation occurs, it is within the scope of what I can accept. Previously, the headquarters asked us strangers from the outer city to act as bait to force Eclipse to reveal its strength. 
Then this time, I will use the people from the God team as bait to test out Eclipse's trump card. He no longer paid attention to the battle in the center of Jiangning Square, but followed the headquarters orders and quickly rushed to the northern front a few kilometers away. Fighting was taking place on all battlefields. And with the demise of the celestial team, the battle officially entered a fierce stage. On the western front, there are Bai Chunyu, Li Taichong and Luo Tianxiang, facing off against Daiko Yin Jin Sakuraba Yashimitsu and Kurosawa Akiga. Seeing that the vice captains of the Tenjin squad were all gone, Sakuraba Yashimitsu and Kurosawa Akira couldn't continue watching the show. The two people stood up and silently walked behind the great engineer Yin Jin, but kept a dozen or so bodies away from him. It seems that even teammates don't like to get too close to this monster. When Dagong Yanjin fought, he couldn't tell the difference between friend and foe, because his power was too strong and he couldn't control it well. The number of companions who acted with him before had been killed by almost double digits. Bai Chunyu put away the smile on her face. Her expression was frighteningly cold. Let's start. Let's make a quick decision. We don't have much time to waste here. As soon as he finished speaking, his whole person suddenly became illusory. And then very suddenly, his body began to disintegrate not collapse, but turning into countless white snowflakes. Snow is falling on earth. As Bai Chunyu changed, the surrounding air temperature seemed to drop a few points, completely annihilating the remaining warmth after the bombing. Even the falling snow in the sky became more and more dense, covering the entire battlefield. Disappeared? Dagong Yanjin narrowed his eyes and stared around carefully. No, he's around. Suddenly, there are more and more snowflakes in the sky. And the Luling snowflakes are so dense that they can obscure people's sight. Suddenly, from three directions, large groups of blizzards came toward Dagong Yanjin. Dagong Yanjin clenched the dragonfly Kiri in his hand and slashed horizontally towards the whole body. But this kind of attack has no effect on millions of pieces of falling snow. The next moment, the blizzard came in front of him and drowned him. Call out. Call out. Call out. Call out. Call out. Thousands of snowflakes were flying. But the sound they made was strangely like flying knives cutting through objects. The originally soft and white snowflakes turned into extremely sharp blades at this time. And countless six-edged flying knives began to cut ruthlessly on the body of Dagong Yanjin. Small wounds appeared all over his body. And blood spilled out. That feeling is tantamount to being cut into pieces. Even a body as strong as steel and iron bones cannot withstand such intensive attacks. There was a look of pain on Dagong Yanjin's face. Get out of here. He waved the dragonfly cut in his hand wildly. But no matter how powerful he was and how sharp the weapon was, he couldn't chop thousands of snowflakes. Roar! Dagong Yanjin let out a roar. And powerful momentum burst out from his body, forcibly dispersed the flying snow in the sky. However, there were more and more snowflakes in the surrounding space and even formed a huge sky dome above his head. Bai Chunyu's incarnation of snow floating in the world is specially used to restrain strangers like him who only have brute strength. Dagong Yanjin heard Bai Chunyu's cold voice echoing around him. No matter how powerful you are, can you break snowflakes? Dagong Yanjin was about to say something when suddenly, a hole appeared in the snow wall in front of him, wearing heavy armor and holding a huge anchor. Li Taichong rushed over like a humanoid titan. The anchor in his hand aimed at his head and smashed it down. Boom! The great worker hurriedly blocked the ship with a dragonfly cutter, and the collision between the dragonfly cutter and the anchor made a deafening sound. The collision between two top-level enhanced aliens directly caused the ground beneath their feet to be shattered to pieces. There was a solemn look in Li Taichang's eyes. With the help of Bai Chunyu's snow-floating world cover, he actually launched a surprise attack. But it was actually blocked by the opponent with one hand. Dagong Yanjin showed his white fangs and looked at Li Taichang's eyes exposed from the armor with a wild smile. The power is pretty good. It's indeed interesting. Arrogant! Li Taichang held the anchor in one hand to attack while the other hand held a long chain. At one end of the chain, a meteor hammer the size of a human head was tied. He raised the meteor hammer high above his head and smashed it towards the great workman Yanjin. But Bai Chunyu's offensive did not slow down at all, and continued to attack the body of Dagong Yanjin with countless flying snow. No matter how hard the steel body is, it can't withstand his scalpel-sharp snowflakes cutting tens of thousands of times per second. However, Dagong Yanjin did not fight alone. After seeing this, Sakuraba Yashimitsu and Kurosawa Akira's troops immediately took action to support him. Sakuraba Yashimitsu held his right wrist with his left hand and opened the five fingers of his right hand and pointed it at Daigo Nabunatsu. An invisible shock wave was released instantly. 
Bai Chunyu was about to continue his offensive when he suddenly found that his body sank and his movements became sluggish. Li Taichong also felt that his hands and feet were getting heavier. This is gravity? They immediately understood what each other's abilities were. Number 13 of the Eclipse Team Yashimitsu Sakuraba Ability Code Name Gravity Field Gravity can be enhanced indiscriminately within a fixed area. This ability had a great impact on Bai Chunyu. Because his snowflakes in the human world are transformed into thousands of snowflakes. They are greatly affected by gravity. But for the powerful Daigong Yanjin, this level of gravity field is neither painful nor itchy. Chapter 665 Snow Mountain Thunder Falcon Sakuraba Yashimitsu's gravity field greatly eased the pressure on Daiko Inabu. This is not the first time that the two people have cooperated. Dagong Yanjin can adapt to this doubling of gravity. But Bai Chunyu and Li Tai Chong were a little uncomfortable with it. Dagong Yanjin grinned. Of course he would not miss this opportunity. He waved the dragonfly sword in his hand and chopped it down on Li Tai Chong's forehead. As a Yokozuna, he didn't know how to use weapons. His fighting style is very simple. That is brute force. Break all laws with one force. Mrs. Lee stared at the situation, quickly retreated and distanced herself, and then swung the 10 meter long chain in her hand towards the great engineer Yan Jin. The tip of the meteor hammer pointed directly at his chest. Blunt weapon attacks do not need to be specifically aimed at vital points. As long as they hit the body and cause damage, the opponent can quickly lose combat effectiveness. Although Dogong Yan Jin was conceded, he had experienced Li Taichun's power and did not dare to accept it easily. But for an attack from this distance, he could deflect it with one hand using Dragonfly Cut. Li Taichun wore heavy armor, but his movement speed was not slow at all. He fought at a distance in order to adapt to actions under the gravity field. Soon, he mastered the method of attacking in this gravity state and began to skillfully fight with the great master Yan Jin. Once upon a time, he was also China's first class martial arts performing artist and a master of using meteor hammers. After gaining superpowers, it made up for his physical deficiencies and truly made him a powerful alien. In terms of technique, I am top notch. In terms of strength, I am also top notch. Li Taichan said so. So when he met the bear like Yokozuna in front of him, he showed no fear at all. He believes in himself and his team. Bai Chunyu's offensive was affected and the gravity field was a bit terrible for his abilities. When snow falls on the human world and encounters a gravity field, it becomes difficult to fly. He said to Luo Tianxiang, Help me kill the guy who manipulates gravity first. Luo Tianxiang replied, Received. He lightly kicked the ground with his legs, and his whole body rose into the sky. In the air, he grew a pair of huge white wings, and his body transformed into a huge bird. Luo Tianxiang, a person with orc-type abilities, a rare species of beast, Snow Mountain Thunder Falcon. Luo Tianxiang quickly flew hundreds of meters into the air. Even at such a long distance, he could see everything on the ground clearly. This comes from his ability, Eagle Eye, which can dynamically capture everything moving on the ground. He locked the position of Yashimitsu Sakuraba, opened his mouth and spit out a white lightning bolt, which struck down like a sharp sword. The speed of lightning was too fast. But this time, Luo Tianxiang transformed in front of several people. So they had been prepared for a long time. The moment the lightning fell, Sakuraba Yashimitsu's body jumped backwards strangely and actually retreated dozens of meters away. His body was light and airy, as if it had no mass. In addition to being able to release the gravity field externally, it could also be applied to oneself, making him equivalent to walking on a planet that weighs half as much as the moon. Therefore, his speed and strength can be greatly improved. Luo Tianxiang let out a loud cry, and the lightning in his claws condensed, and lightning struck down towards the ground one after another. Eclipse's trio are all within his attack range, and soaring high in the sky. He looked down upon the earth like a king. From this distance, almost no one can attack him. This is his favorite kite round. But at this moment, Akira Kurosawa reached out and threw off the black leather jacket on his body, revealing the huge black hand cannon on his right arm. It's hunting time. Kurosawa Akira raised his hand cannon and aimed it at Luo Tianxiang in the air. He pulled the trigger without hesitation, and a ray of yellow light shot up into the sky, turning into a bright beam of light, and instantly arrived in front of Luo Tianxiang. Uh-huh. Luo Tianxiang turned around and dodged Kurosawa Akira's attack in the air. As the king of the air, he is also very fast, and this kind of cumbersome hand cannon attack cannot hit him. When Bai Chunyu saw this, he was about to turn into Piaoshua and go to help when he suddenly heard a cry for help coming from behind him. Vice team, 
Come here and help me. In just 10 seconds, the battle between Dagong Yanjin and Li Tai Chong has been carried out hundreds of times. Daigong Yanjin's offensive method is extremely simple and crude. He just rushed to Li Tai Chong and forcefully forced Li Tai Chong to compete with him for strength. The heavy and sharp dragonfly chop kept hitting his hand. It was obviously a sharp weapon. But he used it as a blunt weapon. After all, for Dagong Yanjin, he was not good at using weapons. He chose Dragonfly Kiri simply because he admired Honda Tadakatsu, Neon's legendary warrior. But when fighting, he still felt that it was more convenient to use it as a stick. Li Taichang was also angry, holding the anchor with both hands, and chose to fight Dagong Yanjin. But after the fight, he realized something was wrong. In terms of strength, he is no match for Dai Gong Yanjin. The 3 meter high Shiatora form after transformation made Daigo Nobutsu, a Yokozuna, nearly invincible in the field of power. Ping 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 pong. Dragonfly slashed hard at the anchor. After dozens of collisions, Li Taichong felt that his hands were almost losing consciousness, and his spine was getting cold. After a hundred rounds, his legs finally became unstable and poof. He fell to his knees with a sound. However, Dagong Yanjin had no intention of stopping. Looking at the guy in front of him, who was wearing heavy armor and struggling to support himself. The violent emotions arose in his heart. He was going to smash the coward hiding in the armor in front of him into a living pulp. Finally, Li Taichung's arms could no longer support him. Even though he was wearing a battle armor tailor made by Ding's Industries, the gap in strength between the two sides was still too big. Dago Mian Jin shook his right hand, and the anchor in his hand came out. Bai Chun Yu saw that Li Taichung was no match for Dago Mian Jin. And he was not surprised. After all, the opponent was the second in command of the Eclipse organization. So Li Tai Chan didn't expect to win against him. The reason why I brought Li Tai Chan here was to hold him back from the front. Although Li Tai Chan made a cry for help, his body swam along the ground very quickly. The thick iron chain in his hand was thrown at the legs of Dagong Yanjin, trying to restrain him. Seeing this, Bai Chun Yu said to Luo Tianxiang through the communication device, Contain the two guys behind. And I'll help Li Tai Chan kill the big guy first. Okay. Leave them to me. Luo Tianxian looked down at the ground from a height of several hundred meters. And dozens of lightning bolts shot out from between his huge claws. Shooting at Kurosawa Akagabe and Sakuraba Yashimitsu. The two men were forced to retreat. Their methods were very unfavorable to Luo Tianxian. Luo Tianxian soared above the nine heavens at such a high speed that even Kurosawa Akira's hand cannon could not aim and fire. Chapter 666 the way of power. Li Taichang was defeated by Dagong Yanjin head-on. So he could only use his skills to move around to delay time. And then shouted to Bai Chun Yu for help. Seeing this, Bai Chun Yu had no choice but to turn around and cooperate with him to attack Dagong Yanjin. A storm of ice and snow swept across the sky. Covering the sky and covering a large space. At this time, Bai Chun Yu had transformed into tens of millions. And even breaking some of the snowflakes would have little impact on him. On the other hand, Daigong Yanjin, due to the transformation characteristics of the orc type, was unable to wear armor. Leaving his skin exposed, being attacked by Bai Chunyu for a long time is like being cut with a blunt knife. Sooner or later, he will be consumed to death. But this time, Daigong Yanjin was not panicked by Bai Chunyu's attack. Many people mistakenly believe that these Yokozuna, who are full of flesh and weigh several hundred kilograms, are idiots with only four limbs and little brains. This kind of idea has always been scoffed at by Dagong Yanjin. How can a warrior who fights with his body achieve victory on the battlefield if he does not have enough wisdom to deal with his opponent? If he were that kind of simple thing, he wouldn't be able to survive until now after the end of the world. It's simply ridiculous that you want to use the same trick against me. Dagong Yanjin smiled, revealing a mouth full of white teeth. Then, in the constant attack of the blizzard, he did not dodge the millions of snowflakes flying knives but raised the three-meter-long dragonfly cutter with both hands high. His hands moved the dragonfly cut and danced at an extremely fast speed. Soon dragonfly Karito began to rotate like a windmill, and then formed a huge whirlwind around his body. Bai Chun Yu turned into thousands of snowflakes and was dragged by the whirlwind, and actually lost the ability to move. This guy, Bai Chun Yu was shocked. He didn't expect this big man to think of a way to deal with his own ability so quickly. But at this time, if he releases his transformed form, he will definitely be directly strangled by Dai Gong Yanjin at close range. Don't try to trap me in this way. Bai Chun Yu shouted loudly. And the snowstorm in the sky began to disperse into the distance. However, the movements in Dai Gong Yanjin's hands became faster and faster. 
and a hurricane visible to the naked eye formed with him as the center. The strong wind pressure formed an absolute pressure gap and forced Bai Chunyu, who was trying to escape, to gather around him. No matter how Bai Chunyu's incarnation tried to escape, he was ruthlessly dragged back. Damn it. Damn it. Bai Chunyu finally started to panic. But before Li Tai Chan could take a breath and come to help him out, all the falling snow around him was condensed together by the whirlwind artificially created by Da Dong Yanjin. Bai Chunyu turned into a large group of solid icicles around Da Dong Yanjin and was squeezed together by the wind pressure. Da Dong Yanjin jumped up high and then slammed the huge cyclone-shaped icicle into the depths of the earth with one slap. Then he stamped his right foot violently. The earth shook violently and the earth and rocks collapsed. Bai Chunyu was temporarily sealed under the earth in this way. Although Bai Chunyu couldn't be killed by doing this, Bai Chunyu couldn't get out of the trap for a while. Seeing this scene, Luo Tinxiang and Li Tai Chong were a little panicked. Bai Chunyu is the main force among the three of them. Now that Bai Chunyu is sealed, the two of them obviously have a huge lack of combat effectiveness, especially against a terrifying orc type powerhouse like Dago Nianjin. Their attack methods will be difficult to be effective. No, Vice Captain Bai must be rescued. Otherwise, Li Tai Chong would not be able to stop that monster sumo wrestler. Luo Tianxiang had to change his attack target. He quickly spun in the air, then rushed towards the direction of Dagong Ya Yanjin, spitting out sharp lightning bolts from his mouth and claws, aiming at Dagong Ya Yanjin's torso. Daigo Anatsu's speed was not his strong point, and he could not avoid this lightning attack. Bolts of lightning fell directly on him from the sky, sparkling with lightning, crackling, but the streaks of lightning traveling around his body did not cause much damage. Dagong Yanjin smiled coldly, and said that an attack of this level cannot hurt me. Luo Tianxiang's power is lightning, but this is just the biological electricity transformed by his power, not real thunder and lightning. Otherwise, with the power contained in the thunder and lightning of 100,000 volts, even Dagong Yanjin would not dare to force it. Luo Tianxiang's pupil shrank suddenly, and he felt something bad in his heart. There was even an urge to run away. They underestimated the goals of this operation. The strength of these neon ronin who came across the sea is not weaker than their team of gods. Luo Tianxiang gritted his teeth. He knew that he had no other choice at the moment. This battle was watched by senior officials from the headquarters. He must not escape. Thinking of this, a larger ball of lightning began to condense in his mouth. He wanted to deliver a fatal blow, at least to force the great worker, Yan Jin, to leave that land, create opportunities for Bai Chunyu to escape from difficulties. However, just as he was accumulating strength, Dagong Yanjin suddenly made a strange gesture. He raised the dragonfly cutter with his right hand, lowered his body slightly, and stretched his slender body like a big bow. Oops. Luo Tianxiang immediately realized what that guy was going to do. I have to get away quickly. He fluttered his wings and wanted to fly. But that dragonfly cut came directly through the space. Dagong Yanjin's speed is not very fast. But he has the best physical strength. With the blessing of this power, the dragonfly cutter directly sent out a harsh sonic boom in the air. A blow several times the speed of sound. Luo Tianxiang did not dodge the blow. And his body was directly penetrated in the air. The huge dragonfly cut even penetrated his body. And continued to fly towards the sky for a distance with scarlet blood. Luo Tianxiang felt that at this moment. All the strength had been drained from his body. Looking down. He saw a huge hole between his chest and abdomen that was transparent from front to back. Immediately. He fell headfirst from a height of several hundred meters. Lao Luo. Li Taichong's eyes were about to burst when he saw it. He was extremely angry and frightened at the same time. Bai Chunyi was sealed. And Luo Tianxiang was penetrated through the torso. His life and death are unknown. Now that he is alone, how can he compete with the three people in front of him? Even wearing the armor tailor made for him by the Ding group. He could not help but feel fear for the coming battle. The reality left him no time to think. Even though he had thrown away his own dragonfly Kiri, Dagong Yanjin looked at him with a sneer. But he rushed over like lightning. Ah! Li Taichong roared angrily, dragged the chain, picked up the huge anchor, and then rushed forward. Chapter 667 Liao Hale vs. Jinguji Saikaro Dagong Yanjin suppressed Bai Chunyi with one move and penetrated Luo Tianxiang with one shot. In just a few moments, he killed two of the three powerful members of the celestial team. Such a scene can be clearly observed here in the combat command center. Zhu Sheng's teeth gritted loudly. It wasn't that the god team couldn't be defeated, but it was hard for him to accept that they were defeated so quickly and completely crushed. Not just him, 
even Tu Yulai and others did not expect such a result. Obviously, they have used the best personnel allocation method on the battlefield. Only Li Tai Chong was left struggling to support himself. But without the help of two teammates, he was helpless. Dogong Yanjin looked down at him condescendingly. His excited eyes were like a beast that had encountered its prey. It had been too long since he had encountered an enhanced alien of this level. Any previous enemies would have been easily crushed into balls by him. Only Li Tai Chong could fight him hand to hand for a period of time. Come on. Boy. Let me see how long you can last. Li Tai Chong broke out in cold sweat on his forehead. But at this moment, he had no other choice but to fight to the death. He gritted his teeth and touched a switch in his glove with his right hand. Immediately, a short needle appeared from the armor device on his arm and pierced directly into his skin. Blizzard City's biotech drug, compound number two, can allow him to burst out with huge power in a short period of time. However, this drug is still in the experimental stage and has serious side effects. The reason why it is assigned to the investigation team is to allow them to use it in desperate situations. And even if he survives the immediate crisis, he is very likely to die within a short period of time. However, he didn't care much anymore. Compound number two quickly entered his blood and flowed through his veins. A strong burning feeling rose from Li Tai Chung's body. He felt like he was going to explode. That kind of powerful power almost burned him to death. He urgently needed to find a place to release this power. Dogong Yanjin saw this change in him. And the smile on his lips became even more excited. No one should come over. I want to fight him one-on-one. -on -one. Li Taichong's eyes were red. And he roared and rushed towards the great engineer. Yen Jin. Ah! On the battlefield. Flesh and blood flew everywhere. The sound of astonishing explosions and weapon collisions resounded throughout the sky. Only three minutes later, Kong returned here again. Gu Feiyu's head was held in the hands of Yashimitsu Sakuraba. By Chunyu's life and death are unknown. Li Taichong. On the other hand, has completely disappeared. All that was left was his strange-looking set of thick armor and blood flowers everywhere on the ground. He used compound number two to constantly push his limits. And in this high-intensity battle, his limbs quickly disintegrated. The northern front was completely defeated at this time. Dagong Yanjin's eyes were a little disappointed. Is this the end? What a pity. I haven't been that happy for a long time. The heavy gunner Kurosawa Akage behind him said calmly that the outcome of the battle was already determined. Wasn't it? Miss Tikeuchi's fortune-telling has never been wrong. At the combat command center, Zhu Sheng's face was terrifyingly gloomy. His voice has changed a bit. How could this happen? Total defeat. Actually a total defeat. When Lan Qingqing saw Zhu Sheng's appearance, he quickly stepped forward to comfort him and said that after all, the opponent was also Eclipse's top combat power. Now we have confirmed that Eclipse is as powerful as the investigation team. As long as other battlefields can be won, especially Deng Shintong's beheading. We will still be the winner. Zhu Sheng raised his head, the gloom in his eyes as scary as ink. He said nothing, his eyes fixed on several other fronts. On the northern front, the situation was reversed. Vice Captain Liao Hongle came alone. There are two vice captains of the Tianshan team. One is Bai Chunyu, and the other is Liao Hongle. However, although the two are at the same level, their responsibilities are quite different. Most of the time, Bai Chunyu serves as a military advisor and logistics manager, and Liao Hong Lei is an extremely pure martial arts sect, at the expense of Jingyang Zhuifeiyu and others. He gained insight into the abilities of Kamaya Yuidio and Akatsuki Shinichiro. The sudden surprise attack was completely destroyed without the two of them being prepared. Just when Liao Hong Lei was about to kill two Eclipse members, a huge flaming red dog appeared from the thick fog and pounced on him. On Myoji Jinguji Saikairo, the number two member of the Eclipse team, joins the battle. He carries five Shikigami with him. Golden Giant Ape Golden Pill. Silver Six-Tailed Fox Silver Pill. Cyan Blue Bird Blue Pill. Red Three-Headed Dog Akamaru. Gray Crow Gray Pills. Liao Honglei saw Saikairo Jinguji appearing on the battlefield. With a proud fighting spirit on his face. Neon on Myoji? Interesting. The leftist secrets stolen from China are now being used against me. Do you really think you can win? Jinguji Saikairo could naturally understand Liao Hongle's taunting him through the translation function of his headphones. A sneer escaped his lips. I remember an old saying from your country of China. The disciple does not have to be inferior to the teacher. And the teacher does not have to be better than the disciple. It seems you have all forgotten this sentence. He stared at Liao Hongle and said word by word. We have realized something better. Liao Hongle suddenly moved while he was speaking. He was as fast as lightning. Lowered his body. 
and rushed towards Jinguji Saikairo. But Jinguji Saikairo just waved his right hand, and Kanemaru stood in front of him, blocking Liao Hongli's way. At the same time, the three-headed demon dog Akamaru was also burning with H, fire, and attacked Liao Hongli from another direction. Liao Hongli observed everything around him calmly. The three-headed dog and giant ape appear to be close combat Shikigami. But there are foxes, bluebirds and gray crows beside him. That gray crow has been found in everyone in Eclipse. I haven't seen him show any fighting ability. He should be an auxiliary person. Liao Hongli basically made a judgment in his mind. He reacted extremely quickly and punched Kanemaru in front of him. The power of the hundred-step divine fist sent out shocking ripples through the air. And the next moment it came to Kanemaru. Bo! Inside Kanemaru's huge body, an invisible wave slowly appeared, directly tearing a huge hole in its abdomen. But immediately, a golden light appeared from Kanemaru's wound, repairing Kanemaru as intact as ever. Kanemaru roared and rushed in front of Liao Hongle, raised his fist high, and smashed him on the head, like a mountain bearing down on him. Chapter 668 The Core of the Spell Liao Hongle avoided Jin Wan's attack with his strong body, but the ground where he had just stood was booming. With a loud noise, the earth shattered. Its power is so huge that it is jaw-dropping. It is definitely on the level of a delta-level enhanced alien. Liao Hanlei had already realized at this moment that the golden pill was not a living thing. Otherwise, almost no creature within a hundred steps could take his punch without being hurt. The only explanation is that it is something condensed with supernatural powers. On Myoji, Shikigami, right? Liao Hanlei's expression became solemn. This was his first time facing such an opponent. Worst of all, he had no idea how to break it. However, Jinguji Saikaro Shikigami would not give him any time to think. Akamaru roared and rushed over. Three huge heads spitting lava, directly melting the ground around Liao Honglei. Liao Honglei's eyes glanced at Jinguji Saikaro in the distance. There was a calculation in his mind. Since we don't know how to quickly deal with the Shikigami, wouldn't it be enough to just kill the Anmaoji? But this is easy to say, but extremely difficult to do. Not only were Kanemaru and Akamaru besieging him, Jinguji Saikairo was also surrounded by Amaru and Jinmaru, who were watching him. But just when Liao Honglei was struggling, a prompt from the combat command center sounded in his earphones. Liao Honglei, the Shikigami of Anmaoji must be condensed with talismans as the core. As long as you can destroy the talisman, you can kill the Shikigami. Liao Honglei received the reminder from the combat command center. But he was not happy because the giant beasts in front of them are so big, but the Anmaoji's spells are only as big as a palm. How is he going to find the so-called core and destroy it? At this point, we can only give it a try. Liao Hanlei gritted his teeth, stepped firmly, aimed his right fist at Kanemaru's head and hit him hard. The power of the hundred-step divine fist passed through the space and directly reached its head. Kanemaru's head was instantly distorted, but it didn't explode. Kanemaru is the representative of the power among the five major Shikigami of Jinguji Saikaru. It has the strongest strength and defense properties. Within a moment, Kanemaru's head returned to its original state. It howled, as if it was angry this time. And the speed of chasing Liao Hanlei increased more than a step. The spell is not in its head. When Jinguji Saikaru saw the scene, a contemptuous smile appeared on his lips. Some people really watch too much anime and subconsciously think that the key point will be in the heart or head. But they knew this. And Jinguji Saikaro certainly knew it too. The two giant beasts, Kanemaru and Akamaru, surrounded Liao Honglei. One used violent bombardment, and the other blocked his movement with surging magma. But Liao Honglei was calm and moved around with his dexterous movements. The two Shikigami had no way to deal with him, even putting aside his superpowers. Liao Honglei is also a master of Bajiquan, with extensive training skills. In addition, he has a suit and weapons and equipment made by Ding's technology, which makes him even more capable of close combat. If he would be defeated by two mere Shikigami, he would not be worthy of sitting in the position of deputy captain of the Tinjin team. Liao Honglei dodged and avoided the joint attack of Kanemaru and Akamaru. He reached out and took out a black grenade from his waist, picked up the ring with his right thumb, and then threw it towards the two Shikigami. A spherical black light exploded, covering both Shikigami. Jinguji Saikaro couldn't help but look sideways. Because ordinary thermal weapons have little effect on Shikigami. This grenade is obviously also a product specially designed for aliens. But soon, Kanemaru and Akamaru emerged from the explosion intact and continued to pursue Liao Hanlei. These two violent Shikigami were running on the ground like crazy. 
Their red eyes filled with a desire to kill Liao Hanglei. Shikigami have no ability to think. Once they get a certain instruction, they will continue to execute it. And the order they received at this moment was to kill the man in front of them. Jinguji Saikaro saw that Kanemaru and Akimaru could not cope with Liao Hanglei at all. He waved his right hand, and the huge six-tailed white fox next to him took a few steps forward. It raised its head and stretched its long, white neck toward the sky. Then the pink fox mouth opened. A ball surrounded by hazy white light began to condense on its head, and slowly became the size of a human head. The next moment, the huge ball of light turned into a dazzling white light and shot towards Liao Hanglei. Its speed is so fast that it is difficult to catch it with the naked eye. Liao Hanglei himself was attacked by Jin Wan and Akimaru. And at the same time, he had to face Iwan's spell attack. So he was inevitably a little embarrassed. But fortunately, from the beginning, he never ignored the movement here. The moment Jinru's attack hit, his fist also hit him. The hundred-step divine fist collided with the spell in the air. And the two huge energies caused a terrible shock. At the same time, Kanemaru and Akimaru had surrounded Liao Hanlei on the left and right. Liao Hanlei was not panicked at this time. His eyes were fixed on Saikaro Jinguji, who was controlling the Shikigami in the distance. This time, facing the siege of Shikigami, he did not escape, but chose to take the initiative. No matter how powerful the Shikigami's abilities are, they are just control objects without intelligence. As long as you are familiar with their abilities and attack methods, you can find strategies to deal with them. Liao Hong Lei first avoided the three-headed demon dog whose body was burning with flames. Then he took the initiative to face Kanemaru, who represented strength. Roar! Kanemaru's whole body is surrounded by the golden light of Anmyoji. This light can make it fierce and powerful. Liao Hong Lei, however, was calm and collected, attacking it face to face. The two fists crossed in the air, but did not collide. Kanemaru's fist missed, and Liao Hong Lei nimbly dodged it. The next moment, Liao Hanlei actually got into the gap between Jin Wan's huge body and hugged its waist with both hands. The penetrating power of the hundred-step divine fist violently impacted the inside of Kanemaru's body. In close combat, his hundred-step divine fist is even more powerful. It can directly penetrate all defenses and shatter internal organs. Kanemaru's body suffered this blow and immediately began to twist and break. Then Liao Hanlei started to exert force. Leaned back, and actually knocked this huge golden ape over three meters high upside down. Boom! With a throw from his back, Kanemaru was planted into the ground like a tree stump. Liao Hanlei quickly stood up, aimed at the middle of Jin Wan's legs, and punched him hard. There seemed to be a miserable scream coming from the depths of the earth. Immediately, the golden light on Kanemaru quickly dissipated, and a broken spell fell to the ground. Liao Hanlei did not expect that Jin Wan's charm would be hidden in such a location. However, this is also related to the success of his tactics. If you don't know where the talisman is hidden, wouldn't it be great to find it? Chapter 669 You are already dead. Liao Hanlei quickly killed Kanemaru and killed one of the five Shikigami around Jinguji. This development shocked everyone in the combat command center. Anmyoji's fighting power comes from Shikigami and spells. As long as all the Shikigami are eliminated, Jinguji Saikaro will become a lamb to be slaughtered and will be killed by Liao Hanlei at will. A smile appeared on Liao Hanglei's lips. His eyes fixed on Saikaro Jinguji in the distance. The murderous intent in his eyes was unabashedly released. But Jinguji Saikaro just pushed up his gold-rimmed glasses with an expressionless expression. Then, he casually took out another talisman folded into the shape of an ape from his pocket. Go! Jinguji Saikaro recited the spell silently, and then threw the charm into the air. Golden light enveloped the spell, and then an identical golden pill was quickly generated. Liao Honglei's pupils suddenly tightened when he saw this scene. Even at the combat command center, the smile stopped abruptly. After killing a Shikigami, the other party summoned another one so easily. Tu Yulai said to Liao Honglei that it was not that simple. The talisman is the core of the Shikigami, and destroying the talisman can indeed kill the Shikigami. However, if the opponent prepares enough talismans, the Shikigami will not be able to kill them all at once. However, his power consumption is real. As long as you continue to kill his Shikigami, he will soon be unable to maintain the consumption of this power. After all, maintaining the operation of the five-headed Shikigami at one time consumes a lot of money. Liao Honglei nodded. Of course I understand this, but this kind of consumption is not a good thing for me. His expression was a little solemn, because he is a melee alien. Saikaro Jinguji is an Anmyoji who is good at magic, industry specializing in surgery. R. 
Liao Hanlei mainly used his skills in close combat. Therefore, in terms of the total amount of supernatural powers, it is definitely not as good as Jinguji Saikaro. In this kind of war of attrition, he would most likely not be able to defeat the opponent. But if the trick of killing the Shikigami doesn't work, then the only way to win is to kill the Anmyoji himself. Liao Hanlei figured this out. He knew that he could no longer waste time on Shikigami. Liao Hanlei quickly took out a large pistol with his left hand, pointed it at Saikaro Jinguji, who was several hundred meters away, raised the gun and shot. As a strong man with a military background, he is still accurate with his left hand. Black origin bullets were fired from the muzzle one after another. If Jinguji Saikaro represents art, then the origin bomb happens to be his nemesis. Jinguji Saikaro frowned, and the blue bird guarding him flapped its wings fiercely, and a huge gust of wind suddenly rolled up in front of him, hovering around Jinguji Saikaro like a tornado. Although the origin bullet could destroy the demon, such a huge wind still caused the bullet to deviate from its trajectory. Jinguji Saikaro's eyes showed some caution. Someone once told him about the origin of Jiangan region. This thing, if you are careless, will probably be killed directly. Even if he is a Delta level alien, it won't work. Continue the attack and kill him. Jinguji Saikaro raised his right hand, raised his index and middle fingers, and began to stimulate the power of the Shikigami. The five colored light around the Shikigami became even more dazzling, and Kanemaru and Akamaru rushed towards Liao Hanlei again. Liao Hanlei had a cold face and tried to use the origin bomb to attack the two Shikigami. It does have an effect, but it cannot destroy their core. At most, it can only consume the supernatural energy in them. This approach cannot achieve effective results at all. What's more, there is Inwan watching over there, and an energy cannon blasts over unexpectedly. If the fight continues like this, Liao Hanlei can only be in a passive state, as long as the slightest flaw is revealed. He has no doubt that these terrible Shikigami will tear him into pieces. Even in such a situation, Liao Hanlei can still remain calm and collected. He has carried out missions on the verge of life and death countless times. The firm will he developed in the army allowed him to remain calm despite changes. Liao Hanlei remained calm and continued to fight with several Shikigami. But in his heart, he began to calculate the distance between himself and Jinguji Saikaro. It's about 350 meters away. At this distance, if I want to kill him at close range, it will take three seconds. However, we must first get rid of these two Shikigami. Secondly, it is very troublesome to have the Shikigami who controls the wind beside him. Liao Hanlei quickly had a battle plan in his mind. Wow! He put away his pistol and waved his left hand at the same time. And with his movements, more than a dozen bombs were scattered across the entire battlefield. Jinguji Saikaro's eyes narrowed. And the blue bird quickly set off strong winds to avoid the approach of these explosives. But those bombs took effect the moment they landed. However, contrary to Jinguji Saikaro's expectation, they did not produce a series of explosions but instead burst out with dazzling white light. So bright that he almost shed tears. It's a high-intensity flash bomb. The entire battlefield was bright. And because it was so bright, nothing could be seen. Jinguji Saikaro couldn't see Liao Hanlei's location either. But at this time, Liao Hanlei was wearing tactical goggles. This latest technology developed by Dang Technology can see objects in the dark and avoid losing vision in bright light environments. The effect created by this high-intensity flash bomb was to temporarily render Jinguji Saikaro unable to move, let alone capture his position. So the moment the flash bomb lit up, Liao Hanlei moved. His legs swelled up and his speed increased to the extreme. It only takes three seconds for him to arrive in front of Jinguji Saikaro. Facing an Anmyoji, Liao Hanlei got close to his body. Even without using his powers, he could beat him into a pulp with just a pair of fists. Jinguji Saikaro sensed the crisis and he understood what Liao Hanlei wanted to do. Asshole. He cursed loudly, then turned around and tried to escape deeper into Jiangming Square. However, how can an Anmyoji compete with an enhanced alien in terms of speed? The next moment, Liao Hanlei appeared in front of him, with a cruel smile on his lips. You are already dead, Liao Hanlei said. But at this moment, the panic on Jinguji Saikaro's face disappeared. He looked at Liao Hanlei with a strange smile on his face and the corners of his mouth got wider and wider, reaching to the base of his ears. Liao Hanlei felt a chill run down his spine, and he immediately realized that he had been tricked. But now, he had no time to escape, because Saikaro Jinguji had already held his arm tightly. Chapter 670 The Oriole is Behind Liao Hanlei used a strategy to get close to Saikaro Jinguji. 
he thought he had succeeded and was about to punch Saikaro Jinguji in the head. But Saikaro Jinguji in front of him suddenly became strange. He grabbed Liao Hongli's arm and his body began to crack. In just an instant, he lost his human form. There were cracks all over his body, but a heart-stopping white light emitted from the cracks. Burst. Suddenly such a voice came from far away. The white light around Jinguji Saikaro suddenly became blazing. Violent explosions rumbled throughout the battlefield. Even other fronts can hear it clearly. Due to the light, the combat command center did not know what was happening. But the powerful energy reaction here still attracted everyone's attention. Everyone looked nervously at the area glowing with white light. After more than 10 seconds, they slowly regained sight there. But the scene in front of him made Zhu Zheng's pupil shrink. And he almost couldn't help but run down from the podium. Because they saw Liao Hongli's body in tatters and lying on the ground covered in blood. The strongest combat uniform on his body was already in pieces. However, in the same place, Jinguji Saikaro's figure completely disappeared. Roar! Kanemaru and Akamaru roared and rushed over. Lying on the seriously injured and dying Liao Hongli. And started biting bloody and cruelly. That kind of horrific scene made the faces of the staff at the combat command center distorted. A female staff member couldn't bear this scene. Covered her face and cried bitterly. Although they are used to seeing life and death. They have not experienced such cruel scenes. But the man bitten to death by the Shikigami was the vice captain of the Tinjin team. It was difficult for them to accept that that kind of being could die in such a tragic way. In the thick fog, Jinguji Saikairo silently lit a cigarette for himself. He said quietly, Who told you that Anmyoji would be careless enough to appear in the middle of the battlefield? The person who appeared in Liao Honglei's vision before was not Jinguji Saikairo himself at all. It's a puppet he made using a lot of explosives and spells. From the beginning, that was the trap he set for Liao Honglei. Otherwise, just relying on the words of those Shikigami. Jinguji Saikairo understood that they had little hope of killing the vice captain of the Tinjin team. Thanks to that person for the information. He sighed softly. Otherwise, if he encounters a strong man like Liao Hongli head on, there is a high probability that he will die. As for the combat command center, there was total silence at this time, and no one even dared to speak out. They carefully and secretly looked at Zhu Zheng's expression, only to feel that there seemed to be a thick black cloud covering it. Both fronts were defeated, and two vice captain level figures of the celestial team were killed. Such tragic situations have been rare since the Jiangnan region was established until now. Especially the investigation team that carried out the mission this time is the celestial team that ranks first in the standings and has a 100% mission completion rate. Xu Sheng was expressionless, but there was an undercurrent in his eyes. If he hadn't been in front of so many subordinates, he might have become furious. Tu Yulai said in a deep voice. Now, we can only look at the results of Deng Shintong's side. As long as he can win, then we will be the winner in this battle. However, if Deng Shitong loses, the consequences will definitely be unbearable for Jiangnan region. Because that would not only mark the complete failure of this operation, this incident will further spread to the outside world, causing a serious setback to the prestige of Jiangnan region. Zhu Zheng's guard son Lu Xuan pushed up his glasses. He looked at the images on the surveillance camera and felt suspicious in his heart. However, he glanced at Zhu Zheng and then at several senior figures in Blizzard City present from Tu Yulai, to Lanqing City, to Evergreen, when his eyes fell on Bailey Chongqing. Sun Lushuan's eyes lingered for a moment longer, and then he took them back. Some words are not appropriate to say now. After all, this battle is not completely over yet. However, the Celestial team lost in several lines. There was a strange smell. They have given up hope on other fronts, and only hope that Dang Shitong can perform a gorgeous beheading operation. But at this time, Zhang Yi, who had not attracted much attention from them, had already arrived near the western front. Jinguji Saikairo slowly walked out of the fog. Kamaya Yuchi and Akutsu Shinichiro have almost lost their combat effectiveness. Their internal organs had been shattered to pieces by Liao Honglei. If it weren't for their physically strong bodies and stronger vitality than ordinary people, they would have died on the spot. Jinguji Saikairo came over, took out the healing potion from his body, and gave each of them an injection. It's really embarrassing. Jinguji Saikaro sighed. There was still blood flowing from the corner of Kamaya Naito's mouth. And he frowned in displeasure upon hearing this. Are you mocking us? Not really. Jinguji Saikaro shook his head. I just wonder if it wasn't for that guy's help. With our strength alone, it is too difficult to compete with the Jiangnan region. Cut! Akatsuki Shinichiro said disdainfully, no matter how powerful they are, won't they still lose to us? Jinguji Saikaro glanced at him. Don't forget. 
The Jiangan region is more than just the Tianjin team. If we meet another investigation team next time, it may not go so smoothly. Akatsuki Shinichiro smiled. But now, we have won a great victory. Haven't we? He raised his head and said with emotion that indeed Miss Takeuchi's divination was correct. I have Shuji's luck today. Even if you get hurt, you can still live well. Before he could finish his words, Kamaya Wideo who stood beside him suddenly shouted, Be careful. Jinguji Saikaro's eyes tightened. But he immediately summoned Shikigami to protect himself. Akutsu also felt that there was a danger approaching. But at this time, it was difficult for his body to even move. Even though he was aware of the danger, he was completely unable to avoid the attack. Puff! A silver bullet entered between his eyebrows and then penetrated through the back of his head. The Eclipse team, Akutsu Shinichiro, was defeated. Seeing the death of Akutsu Shinichiro, the Kamaya inner and outer priests yelled that there was an ambush. While shouting, he rolled to the ground. But this approach could not save his life. Even though he lowered his head, the holy silver bullet representing death still penetrated his head and shot directly into his skull from the top of his head. This is the space system. Precise shooting. Ability. For Zhang Yi today, even if he shoots with his eyes closed, the bullet will not miss even half a point. What's more, his targets were only two seriously injured Eclipse members. Chapter 671 Scared Off When Zhang Yi rushed to the western front, Liao Hanlei had been killed by Jinguji Saikaro. But Zhang Yi keenly discovered that there were two seriously injured and dying members of Eclipse on the battlefield. Of course, he would not let go of such a good opportunity and decisively shot for a follow-up shot. Saikaro Jinguji's abilities were unable to intercept his bullets. So he could only watch as Zhang Yi killed two of his teammates. However, after confirming the death of Akutsu and Kamaya, Jinguji did not hesitate at all and decisively chose to have the Shikigami protect him and retreat into the thick fog. After a while, they were fully armed and unfolded. The two worlds are bound together. Zhang Yi walked over slowly. He held two white owls in his hands and scanned the entire battlefield with sharp eyes. Although it was shrouded in thick fog, as a space alien, he was very sensitive to air fluctuations. Nowadays, as long as there is a living thing within 500 meters, even the movement of breathing will be sensed by him. Soon, he noticed the people and other existences hidden in the thick fog. A golden giant ape and a three-headed H, L dog covered in flames rushed out of the thick fog and attacked Zhang Yi from the left to the right. Zhang Yi calmly paid attention to the movements around him and spread his hands to the left and right. Seeing that Zhang Yi didn't dodge, the two huge Shikigami rushed towards him one after another. Kanemaru raised his casserole-sized fist and punched it down with a roar. Akamaru swallowed scarlet lava in his mouth, and the three huge heads let out an irritating barking sound. Puff! A large mouthful of lava was aimed at Zhang Yi's head and sprayed out. However, the magma did not approach Zhang Yi. Instead, it disappeared into the air and was taken into a different space by Zhang Yi. However, Kanemaru's fist came directly in front of Zhang Yi. Its power was so strong that after the fist hit it, the entire body was directly brought into the alien space without leaving a trace of ripples. Although Akamaru's speed was slower, he was only behind for a moment, and his huge body was also absorbed into the different space by Zhang Yi. Oh! To be precise, they ran in by themselves. Deep in the thick fog, Jinguji Saikaro was so frightened that cold sweat broke out on his forehead. Although he still didn't know who Zhang Yi was, and what his abilities were. He used two Shikigami, but they were put back effortlessly by the opponent. Obviously, the opponent's ability can restrain him. After collecting Kane Maru and Akamaru, Zhang Yi looked at Jinguji Saikaro. The distance between the two sides is about 400 meters. Just right. In his right eye, a distorted white light began to slowly emerge, and the terrifying power of space quickly gathered. At this moment, Jinguji Saikaro felt the crisis of death. As a stock trader, he was extremely cautious by nature. So at this time, Jinguji Saikaro did not hesitate. Turn around and ran directly into the distance. Zhang Yi was stunned for a moment, never expecting that the other party had such a stable person. It takes about a second to release the divine power. During this frontal release process, if the opponent is on guard, it is indeed difficult to hit. Zhang Yi's eyes suddenly looked towards the direction where Jinguji Saikaro escaped. He felt unusual fluctuations. There must be someone in that direction. However, the fog was too deep, and he knew too little about the battlefield intelligence. If you chase after it rashly, you may fall into the encirclement of the Eclipse. He was not willing to face several high-level warriors of Eclipse at the same time. After thinking for a while, 
Zhang Yi did not go deep into the thick fog to pursue, but decided to collect the loot first. After confirming that there was no one else around, he quickly walked over and collected the bodies of the two Eclipse members. After their heads are destroyed, their origins will quickly dissipate, but there will be no such problem if they are placed in a different space. Zhang Yi carefully put away their bodies, but looked at the direction where Jinguji Saikairo left with some doubts. He didn't understand why Jinguji Saikairo didn't choose to continue fighting him after he took action, but chose to escape. No, it could also be a retreat. Because of other things? Zhang Yi frowned slightly. It can't be because he knows my strength. Right? This is even more impossible. Even in the Jiangnan region, few people understand Zhang Yi's true strength. Jinguji Saikairo has the ability to single-handedly kill the deputy captain of the Tingen squadron. How could he be afraid of him and retreat? Zhang Yi didn't know that the other person was as cautious as him, and could even be called a pessimist. As soon as he discovered that Zhang Yi's ability might be restrained by him, Jinguji Saikairo left his companion's body behind and ran away without hesitation. As for the combat command center, news of the battle situation here was also reported to Zhu Zheng. Zhu Zheng. Tu Yulai and others were stunned. They never thought that in the end. It was not the god team who accomplished the feat, but Zhang Yi, a stranger from the outer city, only everlasting. He sighed in his heart and was not surprised at all by this result. It can even be said that if it weren't for Zhang Yi being too steady and a more radical alien, the battle scene at this time would be even more dazzling. Zhu Zheng murmured that he didn't expect that Zhang Yi was so powerful. If I had known this, I should have reassigned the tasks. Lan Xinqing said that he was just picking up and killing Kamaya Wadaichi and Akatsuki Shinichiro. When Tu Yulai heard this, he glanced at him faintly. However, he scared Jinguji away. Moreover, he had previously killed the husband and wife team of Eclipse. But he relied entirely on his own strength. I even think that this guy's strength can give him a run for his money with a deputy captain level figure. Lan Xinqing's tone paused. And then he said coldly that if he was really powerful, why had he kept hiding it? If we had gone to support other fronts earlier, maybe the current battle situation would be completely different. He looked at Zhu Zheng. Zhu Shui. I still feel that this person's heart is not completely loyal to Blizzard City. As soon as these words came out, Bailey Chongqing sneered. Poof! The sound was too harsh in the combat command center. Lan Xinqin looked at Bailey Chongqing angrily. Evergreen. Why are you laughing? It's okay for Bailey Chongqing to spread his hands. I just think that we can't use Blizzard City standards to ask strangers from outer cities. Right? And this time, among the strangers from the outer city, Zhang Yi performed best. Lan Xinqing really couldn't refute this. He could only say that he was able to help his comrades, but deliberately retained his strength. This kind of thing is something that I, the elite of Blizzard City, would never be able to do. All right. Zhu Zheng stopped Lan Qingqing's unreasonable troubles. At this time, he was not in the mood to listen to the bickering between Lan Qingqing and Bailey Chongqing. The current problem is what he cares about most. Lan Qingqing quickly shut up and stopped talking about this matter. But soon, he thought of another way. Now that we know Zhang Yi has some strength, why not let him continue fighting against Eclipse? In this way, it can also help other Celestial team members on the field. Having said that, the battle on the field did not go smoothly. Moreover, Deng Shantong had already reached the base camp of the Eclipse group and was fighting with Phoenix Yuanren, the leader of the Eclipse group. That battle will determine the outcome of this operation. Zhu Xun looked at Zhang Yi in the screen. After thinking for a moment, he said to Zhang Yi, Your mission has been completed. Now withdraw? Lan Xinqing was shocked when he heard this. Zhu Shui. Zhu Xun ignored Lan Xinqing's words and just silently ended the communication with Zhang Yi. Too many people have died in this battle. The next battle is between Deng Shitong and Phoenix Yuanren. Chapter 6 72 4 kills to end. When it comes to fighting at the level of Deng Shitong, even if ordinary aliens join, it will be for nothing. And now Zhang Yi has completed the task very well. No, it should be said that he has completed the task far beyond Zhu Xing's expectations. Zhu Xing hopes to retain this good seedling. If possible, let him join Blizzard City. And he may become a captain level combatant in the future. Zhang Yi was a little surprised by Zhu Xing's order. He originally thought that Zhu Zheng would let him continue to provide reinforcements on the battlefield. Zhang Yi would not refuse such a thing. After all, with his strength, it is completely easy to clean up the mess. And he can also pick up heads and get points as rewards. Even if you encounter an enemy that you can't deal with, there is still no problem in escaping. But Zhu Xingdu said this. Obviously he had enough confidence in Deng Shitong and others. 
Zhang Yi is not a pushy person. So he calmly observed his surroundings and slowly evacuated the battlefield. Zhang Yi left Yangming Square with a glorious record of killing four Eclipse members. Shortly after he walked out, medical soldiers came to greet him. Zhang Yi just smiled at them and said, I'm fine. When several medical soldiers saw this, their eyes were greatly surprised. And they looked at Zhang Yi with eyes full of respect. Because during this operation, more than half of the aliens in the outer city were killed or injured, and almost no one was intact. Zhang Yi was the last person to come out of the battlefield, although they didn't know what happened on the battlefield. This was enough to make them awe Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi returned all the way to the armed helicopter, seeing that it had been converted into a temporary intensive care unit. Most of the surviving strangers from the outer city, except for Liang Yu and Peng Li, had suffered relatively serious injuries. Yuan Hao was lying on the stretcher, his face weak and pale, as if he was about to die. And his girlfriend Xia Lingling stood beside the stretcher bed with blank eyes, saying nothing, like a dead person. Zhang Yi saw the horrific wounds on her body and the flesh and blood that did not look like a living person. Only then did he understand why Xia Lingling was not included in the count of strangers in the outer city. Mo Xingning, Li Weihai and others were not easy either. The battle just now dealt a heavy blow to them. Not just physically, but mentally as well. They are essentially the same as the Eclipse organization. They are all stragglers who are not affiliated with any official organization. However, when fighting, the gap in strength is simply like a chasm. If the Celestial team hadn't arrived in time, all of them would have died. Therefore, everyone casts strange and envious looks at Zhang Yi, who returned safe and sound. Zhang Yi ignored them and walked straight to Liang Yu and sat down. Qin Xiaoxiao has almost recovered after being treated by Peng Li and given medication by the medical team. Although he cannot fight in the short term, his life is not in danger. She looked at Zhang Yi with a bit of awe in her eyes. She saw with her own eyes that Zhang Yi killed Tu Xia in an instant. Zhang Yi, have you completed your mission? Qin Xiaoxiao asked cautiously. Zhang Yi thought for a while and realized that Zhu Zheng's order to him was to support the northern front. But when he arrived, Liao Hanlei had been killed. However, he also killed Kamaya Neichi and Akutsu Shinichiro. And overall, he fulfilled his mission. So Zhang Yi nodded and let it go. As soon as these words came out, everyone present from the outer city was shocked. Even the medical staff on the side couldn't help but look sideways. Mo Zhengning looked at Zhang Yi in shock. Don't tell us that you killed the members of Eclipse. He lowered his head and murmured that those guys were as strong as monsters. Li Weihai shook his head. That is impossible. Only people from the Celestial team can fight against them. As for us strangers from other cities. Ha uh ha. -huh. We are just cannon fodder. Zhang Yi originally didn't want to deal with a few people. But hearing their desperate tone. I couldn't help but sneer. Are people with lunar eclipses strong? Why don't I think so? Is it possible that you are too weak? As soon as these words came out. Several people who were already frightened by the eclipse became angry. Mo Zhengming said angrily Zhang Yi. Have you really met the person who eclipses the moon? Do you know how strong they are? Li Weihai also shook his head. I heard that no members of Eclipse showed up at all over there. This may give you an undue misconception. As for your so-called completion of supporting the Northern Front, you must have just gone over to provide assistance and make cold shots. Zhang Yi sighed and leaned on the chair in the helicopter. He said in a gentle tone, Maybe it is really like what you said. It was me who had the illusion. Happened to meet four weak Eclipse members. And then took away their lives. That's all. These words suddenly changed the atmosphere in the helicopter. Even Yuan Hao, who was lying weakly on the hospital bed, sat up and looked at Zhang Yi in disbelief. R. You? What did you say? You really killed the members of Eclipse. Four of them. Chen Xiaoxiao and Peng Li also stared at Zhang Yi in astonishment. He? Killed two more members of Eclipse? Doesn't it mean that Zhang Yi single-handedly destroyed one-third of the Eclipse moon? This kind of record can only be described as terrible. This? You have to be kidding. Right? He he. The smile on Imo Shengning's face was a little stiff. Although he knew that it was pointless for Zhang Yi to lie about this kind of thing. But the actual experience made him unable to believe that Zhang Yi could kill four powerful Eclipse members. Even if you only kill one. It's incredible. Obviously everyone is a stranger from the outer city and the leader of a force. So their strength level should be about the same. Why can you be so awesome? Zhang Yi was too lazy to explain. He sat on a chair and looked through the window at the center of Jiangming Square. Now, all he had to do was wait. Waiting for the outcome of the battle between Deng Shitong and the leader of Eclipse Moon. At the Combat Command Center, everyone's eyes were fixed on it. 
Deng Shitong is now their last hope. But even though the situation on the field was far from ideal, Zhu Zheng felt more stable than anyone else. Because he believed in Deng Shitong's strength. Behind Deng Shitong stands the armed forces of Blizzard City and the technological power of the Deng Group for decades. Right in the center of Jiangning Square, Wang meets Wang. And the collision between two captain level strangers finally begins. At the same time, the Eclipse Group, the Combat Center, and the strangers in the outer city all felt the terrifying aura that made the air freeze, erupting from the center of Jiangning Square. Chapter 673 Praise of Light. While other fronts were still in a stalemate, the battle between Deng Shitong and Phoenix Yuanren had begun. Everyone knows that this battle is the one that determines the outcome of the battle. Shimonoba Satoru quickly took Mayumi Takeuchi away from the battlefield. A battle of this level is not something they are qualified to approach. Next, we can only leave it to Phoenix Yuanren to deal with it. After the two teammates left, Feng Wang Yuanren stared at Deng Shitong with a smile. Two fierce eyes revealed under his newsboy hat. As long as I can kill you here, I think the old men in Jiangnan region should completely wake up. Deng Shitong smiled and waved to him. You can give it a try! Phoenix Yuanren put away the smile on his face. From the depths of his eyebrows, a bright red mark quickly emerged and then spread along the cheeks on both sides, slowly forming bright red and dazzling markings on his face. It was a colorful red, deep red, bright and bright, with mottled stars twinkling in it. It was as if red stars were running through his skin. The blood-colored markings gradually spread to the back of his neck and hands, and finally covered his entire body. A powerful and suffocating aura emerged around him. He didn't look tall and strong at first, but now just a pair of clenched fists gave people the feeling that he could blast away the sky. The leader of the corroding moon, Phoenix Indus Ren. Those with special abilities. Capability code. Phoenix. Phoenix Yuanren's body was surrounded by red blood. The temperature of the surrounding space increased rapidly and large tracks of ice and snow began to melt. He did not rush to take action, but looked at his opponent Deng Shitong not far away. Come on, show me your power. Deng Shitong smiled and nodded slightly. Okay. The moment his voice fell, his arms spread out to both sides like angel wings. Then, an extremely holy and magnificent light centered on him and exploded in all directions. The color in Phoenix Yuanren's pupils suddenly disappeared. Even his dark pupils turned white at this time. He seemed to be in a vast white space, with nothing disappearing. Not even his own body can be seen. Deng Shitong, captain of the celestial team. Those with special abilities. Capability code. Praise of light. His power is light. It can give people light. And it can also deprive people of light. This move. World of nothingness. Under this, everyone except him will lose sight. And nothing can be seen except a vast expanse of white. Phoenix Yuanren was not far away from him but he could no longer be seen. Deng Shitong raised the corner of his mouth slightly, stepped out with his right foot, and appeared in front of Phoenix Yuanren the next moment. Then, he punched him hard on the head. Although Phoenix Yuanren lost his vision, his fighting instinct was still there, and his keen intuition of danger let him know that Deng Shitong was approaching. When the fist went past by, he quickly blocked it with his arms. However, after all, he was half a beat behind Deng Shitong. If the masters competed, the outcome could be decided in just a moment. As long as you are half a move behind, it may be fatal. However, even if the Phoenix Academy couldn't see anything, he could still accurately block Deng Shintong's attacks again and again. This made Deng Shintong a little surprised. Phoenix Yuanren, who was possessed by the Phoenix power, fought back and forth with Deng Shintong. The blood-colored markings flowing on his body greatly increased his strength and speed. Interesting. The smile on Deng Shintong's lips became even thicker. Just that. So what? White six-pointed stars flashed in his eyes, which were platinum stars shining in the sky. A white holy light shrouded his whole body, making him look even more glorious and majestic, like a god coming from the dust. This is his ability. Blessing of the Eucharist. Adding brilliance to his whole body can also make him an invincible existence in close combat. The power of light and the power of the phoenix clashed at close range. Deng Shintong's speed became faster and faster and his power became more and more terrifying. At the beginning, Phoenix Yuanren could react with his fighting instinct and took over Deng Shintong's moves. But slowly, even if he could catch Deng Shintong's move, his body couldn't react. Even though his body reacted, his strength was completely crushed. The field was shrouded in white light, and neither the combat command center nor anyone else in Eclipse could see what happened here. This is why no one has ever known Deng Shintong's true ability. However, 
Zhu Sheng had full confidence in Ding Shitong. Because of Ding Shitong. This is the highest masterpiece produced by the cooperation between Jiangnan region and Ding group. Whether it is ability or mental equipment, Ding Shitong is at the ultimate level. He is an idol created by Jiangnan region. A god who inspires confidence in the people of Jiangnan region. Therefore, from the end of the world until now, any mission performed by the celestial team will be completed perfectly. In one-on-one -on -one situations, Deng Shitong has never lost. No one can see the extent of the fighting in the field. But the astonishing explosions kept ringing. And the sound of flesh colliding on the battlefield was like beating a huge drum. Puff! Deng Shitong's fist penetrated Phoenix Yuanren's defense. Forcefully knocked his arm away. And hit his chest hard. Phoenix Yuanren's chest dented directly. And a clear fist mark appeared. With a smile on his face. Deng Shitong grabbed Phoenix Yuan Ren's shoulder with his left hand and then punched the wound with his right fist containing infinite power. Phoenix Inner Ren tried desperately to struggle, but the serious injury on his chest prevented him from exerting any strength at all. Poof! This time, Deng Shintong's fist directly penetrated Phoenix Academy's chest and stabbed through his back. The bright white uniform is still so gorgeous. Even if it is stained with blood, it is as gorgeous as plum blossoms blooming on the snow. The smile at the corner of Deng Shintong's mouth slowly faded. Is the leader of the Eclipse team so vulnerable? He couldn't believe it. But in front of him, the touch of his body was extremely real. And he could clearly feel the beating of Phoenix Inner Ren's internal organs. But at this moment, Phoenix Yuanren, who had been punched through the chest, slowly raised his head and gave him a bloody smile. The next moment, Phoenix Yuanren's body burned. He grabbed Deng Shintong's arm tightly and refused to let Deng Shintong leave. The red flame was so hot that even Deng Shitong couldn't help but frown. He is wearing a battle suit made of the most advanced technology in Blizzard City. Even the combat uniforms of the other five major investigation teams cannot compare. But even so, the flames produced by Phoenix Yuanren's spontaneous combustion still made him feel a bit of a terrible crisis. Chapter 674 Immortality Deng Shitong sensed something was wrong with Phoenix Yuanren's spontaneous combustion flame. Without any hesitation, he tried his best to break free from the shackles of the Phoenix Academy and retreated far away. While the red flames were burning, the corners of Phoenix Academy's mouth were still smiling. Even though his body was already crumbling, there was no expression of fear on his face. What the H, L. Deng Shitong stared at the Phoenix Academy cautiously. He knew that the leader of Eclipse Moon's ability was definitely more than that. But, so what? Since the beginning of the war, he has encountered more than one difficult opponent. As the flames burned, Phoenix Academy's body slowly fell down. However, the flame burned even more fiercely, and Deng Shitong heard a loud cry. The red flame turned into a fire phoenix with three heads. And a moment later, the burnt body got up from the ground again. The black dust dispersed, revealing a strong body. Although the body was naked, it was full of power. Phoenix Inner Run was reborn from the ashes. But where was the slightest scar on his body? Perfect. Almost like a new baby. For the first time, Deng Shintong's eyes showed a solemn look. He remembered clearly that his punch penetrated Phoenix Yuanren's chest and almost broke his heart. It would be impossible for a human to survive with that level of injury. But why did this guy appear intact again? Is it because there is no one hit kill? Deng Shitong licked the blood at the corner of his mouth. It was the blood from the Phoenix Academy. Then, I'll kill you again. Around Deng Shitong, the radiance blessed by the holy body became even more blazing and his speed became extremely fast, as if he was the incarnation of light. The Phoenix Academy, which had just been reborn from the ashes, was once again approached by Deng Shitong and punched. Phoenix Academy had a smile on his lips and put his hands in front of him to block it. Although his vision was deprived, he had a special way to predict Deng Shitong's attacks. Just outside the fog, the Miko Mayumi Takeuchi slowly knelt down in the ruins. She slowly cut her wrist open, and large areas of bright red blood flowed down and merged into the Takeuchi scroll in front of her. The nourishment of blood makes Takeuchi Inu become magical. And in Phoenix Academy's pupils that had turned white. There were signs of reincarnation spinning. The battle between two top aliens is still a collision between flesh and flesh in the end. The Phoenix Academy, which could deprive people of their sight, took the absolute initiative in this battle. The Phoenix Academy relies on special abilities and passive defense. Although he also tried to launch an attack. His lack of sight always slowed his pace by half a beat. The red phoenix fire burned on his body. But he could not catch Deng Shitong's body hidden in the light. Puff! This time, Deng Shitong turned his palm into a knife and penetrated his heart accurately. This time, let me see if you are still alive. 
Deng Shatong stared at the Phoenix Courtyard and spoke word by word. But this time, the Phoenix Academy still rose up from the ashes intact after spontaneous combustion. Deng Shatong finally confirmed the Phoenix Academy's abilities. Immortal, even if you are hit in a critical area, you can still be reborn through the fire. This ability is indeed a bit troublesome. Because no matter how you kill, unless every cell of the opponent is destroyed, the opponent can be resurrected again. The Phoenix Academy is reborn in perfect form. He said to Deng Shatong with a joking smile. I'm sorry. The greatest advantage of me is that I cannot die. An unkillable person can use various means to kill any opponent. Deng Shatong didn't care. He snorted and couldn't be killed. Then wouldn't it be okay if I kill a few more times? He does not believe that there are people in this world who cannot be killed. All carbon-based organisms will die. Or, it's because he didn't find the Phoenix Academy's life gate. Or, the number of kills is not enough. But it doesn't matter. He will keep killing until the Phoenix Academy can no longer be reborn. Deng Shitong stroked his cheek, and his voice became colder. My teammates are still waiting for news of my victory. And I don't have that much time to waste with you here. So, let's speed things up a bit. Dashumi. The illusion. In a daze, Phoenix Academy's eyes regained sight for the first time. He actually saw the distant figure of Ding Shitong in the vast white world. But before he could be happy, Ding Shitong's shadows stretched infinitely along with the whole world. And the scene around him began to change in bizarre ways. He saw the bustling city of Kyoto. And the next moment, he returned to the wilderness of Kagoshima. From the past to the present. From the countryside to the city. The noise of earthly fireworks can even be heard in our ears. This is... Illusion? Although the Phoenix Institute realized what was happening, he could not stop it. What his eyes see, and what his ears hear are lies. Boom! Phoenix Academy's head exploded like a watermelon. He lost his sight, and even his hearing was disturbed. He was unable to deal with Deng Shintong's attack. Outside the mist, Takeuchi Mayumi's blood began to fade on the scroll. But without hesitation, she stabbed her wrist again. When the weather is too cold, the wounds will condense quickly. So witchcraft has to be performed frequently in this way. Shimanomino Satoru looked at this scene and felt a little distressed. Everyone knows that doing this may result in the loss of the entire arm. Even witches with extraordinary abilities are no exception. But in this regard, Takeuchi Mayumi did not hesitate at all. In the illusion, Phoenix Academy stood up again. He didn't seem to be affected at all. No matter how many times he died, he could perfectly resurrect from the ashes. Moreover, after his rebirth, his condition did not diminish at all. Impossible. This is absolutely impossible. Deng Shitong frowned and made his own judgment in his mind. Even if rebirth is an ability, it still requires consuming powers. Even if he doesn't appear to be damaged. In fact, the power consumption must be huge. As long as I kill him a few more times, I will definitely make him disappear completely. Deng Shitong didn't panic at all. He doesn't believe that there are really unkillable people in this world. Compared with others, the Phoenix Academy has no advantages in other aspects except being more resistant to killing. Come on. Let me see how many more times you can die. Deng Shitong quickly came to the back of Phoenix Academy like a radiant light. He raised his right leg like a long whip and aimed at the back of Phoenix Academy's head and hit it hard. But this time, even though the Phoenix Institute was deprived of the ability to see and hear, it still accurately blocked Deng Shitong's attack with its arms. Chapter 675 Great Shumi Illusion the ability to use vision to influence hearing, smell, and taste is called synesthesia. Deng Shintong's ability, Sumeru Illusion, is used to influence the enemy, making the enemy's spirit and body completely in different spaces, and then beheading his physical body. As long as you fall under this kind of illusion, even closing your eyes will be useless. Therefore, according to common sense, no one can block his attack after being hit by an illusion. However, Phoenix Yuan Rin did it. Although Deng Shitong was obviously superior in terms of strength between the two, Phoenix Yuanren's obstruction still gave Deng Shitong a big shock. He couldn't understand. What did this man do? Fight stubbornly. Deng Shitong's fist was aimed at the Phoenix courtyard. And with this punch, it seemed like thousands of fists were attacking at once. As the most cutting-edge product of the Deng group's biotechnology, his physical strength is comparable to the top enhanced aliens. This is why Zhu Sheng believes that Deng Shitong is the most perfect alien and may break through the shackles of his own alien level in the future and reach the Epsilon level. From a foreigner's perspective, Deng Shintong itself is a perfect existence. Attack and defense are integrated. Whether it is magic or close combat, it is impeccable. 
There was no luster in Phoenix Academy's eyes. But his body instinctively resisted Dang Shintong's attack. The collision between the fists made a deafening roar. Sound. It doesn't look like two strangers fighting each other, but rather like two rhinos wrestling. The Phoenix Academy's fighting power is really terrifying. Even when they almost lose their five senses, they are still able to fight with Ding Shintong. But in this situation, he suffered an inherent disadvantage after all. In an instant, the two people had exchanged hundreds of moves. Ding Shintong's fist broke through his defense and penetrated his chest again. The Phoenix Academy quickly stood in front of Ding Shintong in a posture of rebirth. There was a sneer on the corner of Ding Shintong's mouth, and the fighting spirit in his eyes was high. He reached out and pulled out an ice blue pistol from his waist. Before the Phoenix Academy was completely reborn, he rushed over and aimed a shot at his head. The jet black bullet is very different from the ordinary origin bullet. It has a white wing on it. It is a bullet specially designed for Ding Shintong. This kind of bullet can not only destroy demons, but also contains extremely terrifying genetic toxins. As long as it enters a person's body, it will quickly spread throughout the body along the blood. Quickly, and completely corroding a person. Even strangers will quickly disintegrate if they are shot into the body by such bullets. After Dang Shatong was shot, his body quickly turned black, and he died again. Then, continued to rebirth. Dang Shatong is not an impatient person. He has encountered many difficult opponents. But this was the first time he saw a foreigner like the Phoenix Academy, who could not be killed no matter what. And who would be reborn in a perfect form immediately after being killed. In terms of strength, he can defeat the Phoenix Academy. But here, how is he going to kill the Phoenix Academy? Could it be that he really can't be killed? No, there must be a way. It's just that if I continue to waste time with him here, the result may not be what I want most. It would be better to try to seal him away. Dang Shatong figured this out. With his strength, it would be easy to kill the Phoenix Academy many times. So he would naturally have a way to subdue him then take him back to the regional laboratory and hand it over to the scientific research department for analysis. There will always be a way to deal with him. Thinking of this, Deng Shatong began to change his combat strategy. He took advantage of the resurrection process of the Phoenix Institute and took out a silver rope from the backpack he carried with him, and then quickly tied it. During the process of resurrection, the Phoenix Academy had no power to resist. After he was resurrected, his body was already tightly bound by Deng Shatong. Come back to Blizzard City with me. You miscellaneous cultivator. Dang Shintong held the Phoenix Courtyard with one hand and said coldly. But at this moment, the Phoenix Academy, who was tightly bound, suddenly laughed. The laughter was not loud at first, but soon it became more and more intense. Why are you laughing? Dang Shintong asked with a frown. The Phoenix Academy looked at Dang Shintong and smiled brightly, but his eyes were still cold. Being able to kill the famous captain of the Celestial Team makes me laugh. Of course, what he spoke this time was not neon language, but broken Chinese. But these joking words made Deng Shatong furious. He punched the Phoenix Academy hard on the head, causing blood to spurt out from the Phoenix Academy's head. But Phoenix Academy didn't pay attention. He was still laughing. Without any warning, his whole body exploded. In front of Deng Shatong, he exploded into the air, and large swaths of blood rained down with a crash, which of course also splashed all over Deng Shatong's body. Deng Shatong is a very clean person, which can be seen from his liking to dye his hair white and wear silver white clothes. However, the self-destruction of the Phoenix Institute actually caused his whole body to be covered with thick blood, which made Deng Shatong extremely angry. However, before Deng Shatong could clean up the blood stains, he suddenly felt as if karmic fire was burning all over his body. Deng Shatong was in severe pain. He looked down and saw that it was no hallucination, but that his body was really starting to burn. The Phoenix Institute's blood flowed along his clothes and onto his body. And the silver-white combat uniform was stained unsightly by the blood. The blood flowing with colorful colors did not solidify and turn black after leaving the human body. Instead, it burst out with more dazzling brilliance. Then came burning. The raging flame soared into the sky, turning Dang Shatong into a burning man. Dang Shatong let out a painful wail from his mouth. And he tried his best to urge. Blessing of the Eucharist to resist the burning of the flames. But the temperature of this flame was so terrifying that he was caught off guard, and it was too difficult to resist. At this time, from the broken flesh and blood, the Phoenix Academy stood up again. His eyes were coldly staring at Deng Shatong who was burned by the flames. And he grinned. This time, it's your turn to rise from the ashes. Not everyone can withstand the power of the Phoenix. 
It took him thousands of death reincarnations to withstand such power. Time and time again. It was burned by the blood in the body and turned into ashes. And because. Immortal. The power is revived again. I don't know how many times I experienced this pain before I learned how to control this power. Phoenix's blood is the most terrifying fire poison in the world. Die! Phoenix Academy let out a loud roar and rushed towards Deng Shitong, who was burning with flames with his naked body. Deng Shitong struggled to hold on and resist the burning of the Phoenix fire. At this time, he could not even open his eyes. But at this moment of life and death crisis, something suddenly occurred to his mind. Obviously with his strength, he can absolutely defeat the Phoenix Academy. Even though he couldn't be killed, as long as he was well prepared, it would be easy to seal the Phoenix courtyard. But why does it feel like the other party knows everything about him? And even this battle is a trap?